back to watch the throne day three this is final day so of course my name is bam i'm joined here by the one and only max Catchem, and of course snorlax on the side and you know we got the slime just you know temporary holding on the, on that crown for who will be crowned today here at Washington. And man, it's been a heck of a tournament. I know it's been absolutely insane. I feel like a lot of players have been on waves, right? A lot of times we see in when we go into day three on an invitation, I almost feel like you kind of know who's playing super, super well and who's just kind of checked out. They're just not performing as their usual caliber. But I feel like I've seen people fall down rise it to the occasion fall down again rise to the occasion right it's just very fluid right now and it's crazy like i still feel like i'm not necessarily sure who we're gonna see in this like top three top four heading in this top eight man like there's a lot of ways that people could be in a spot where oh i might just be guaranteed to just end up being in the you know end up being in top eight or yeah i might just fall off i might not even just make it there at all right we see stuff with a cola cole in a very precarious situation man yeah, I think this tournament has really highlighted just how close everyone at the top of Ultimate is right now. There are so many players that you might expect to have gone undefeated or just really dominant in their pool, and they weren't. You know, Spargo had to qualify through the gauntlet, coming out third seed of his pool, which is pretty shocking. But then two players, or three players rather, I think have stood apart from the pack and really shown that they're extremely consistent, borderline mm -hmm. unstoppable. Those three being Akala, Mia, and Sonics. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and you can see how locked in everyone is, too. That intro video was actually just like, all those shots were taken here, and everyone's game face was on for pretty much every single match, too. Like, I know, like, usually you can see sometimes people when they're playing, playing friendlies, and you can see how, like, how happy they are or, like, how upset they are, but it really seemed like everyone was focusing regardless of whether they lost a stock or not, right? It's just as soon as, as, soon as you, like, take a stock or you lose one, right, you're, you're not, there's no celebration or no, no time to mull over anything, right? It's right, just back right. in the locked in what's the next thing that's going to happen yeah so let's take a look at this bracket right now this top 16 breakdown and of course joining us is the one and only my boy hazardous matthew in what, the building what, what up, up man? what up guys what up, good to see you i saw you guys on the couch i had to hop in here because mm -hmm. Thinking about the bracket, I actually saw a lot of players this morning for breakfast and just talking about this bracket, dude, I'm so excited. This is like, what a great way to kind of close out yeah. uh, the last month of our year here yep, in yep. Smash Ultimate. What up, chat, by the way? What do you guys, I don't know if you guys already covered this, but what are you most excited to see today or, or to start things off? Hey, we just got started, so yeah. you could tell us. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, let okay, us know, let us two, know. two sets really stick out to me, and one is for Legacy, it's Light and Tweak. I love, mm -hmm, I can watch yeah. those guys play a best of, of a thousand, right? Yeah. Just so good. Legacy stuff there, and then... Akola Spargo is like, dude, I, yeah. I want to see Akola make some adjustments. I want that to be a great set is what I want. I'm not yeah. necessarily saying I want to see one win or lose, but what I'm saying is I'm a lot of pressure I feel like is on Akola, and I don't feel like you don't say that a whole lot in terms of uh, a specific matchup, right? He usually is the favorite by a decent margin, but like, obviously it's been Spargo for a long time, and, and Mia recently has been catching up too, so I'm just pumped to watch it. pretty much all these sets, man. Yeah, yeah. man. It feels like uh, Mia and Sonics are just like really starting to come up and threaten Akala in that number one spot. Uh -huh. And both of them won their last encounters with him at yes. poor priority. So now he's gonna be put into his bracket demon to kick things off. And if we see Akala go to losers round one of this tournament, I don't even know what to say, man. He's yeah. had close calls already with Webb, right? Uh, so I think a lot of people's eyes are on him. Yeah, yeah. man, it's I, crazy. I think Akala has, He's kind of, I said this in the, earlier in the bracket, but he's slipped by a couple times. He's had a lot of close game fives, period. Obviously yep. won against Webb at this very tournament, too. So he's, it, it's also, it's impressive. It's like a credit to him, but also the fact that he's so close to being beatable all the time is, is something we got to watch out for, right? But the fact that you call it clutch up and, you know, X Factor or whatever you want to call it, but he definitely has that, too. X Factor, baby. X Factor, mom. Yeah, it, it's kind of, that's like the match that most people are like really kind of like, keeping their eye on is a Cola versus Spargo, right? It's, mm -hmm. it, I mean, that narrative has been played out for like such a long time now. And like, see, it's nice to see these matchups happen. Light versus Tweak, right? Always, always fun to watch. A Cola versus Spargo, it's like, I, I know what people think about like Steve and stuff like that, but I don't know how they do it, but they always make matches so like fun to watch. Yeah, I know, a thousand percent, man. But yeah, I mean, it makes sense, right? Because it's not just like the fact that you're looking at people who are both in contention for the number one spot, right? There's still a debate to this day about people being like, ah, oh, should have been Spargo, ah, oh, should have been Akola, all these things, right? So now where you're seeing more humanity in Akola, right? There's mm. more people beating him outside of Spargo. It's like, man, you gotta hopefully clutch at this one because people are definitely getting better at the Steve matchup. And if he loses, 
he's gonna go against some people like a couple people already that are pretty good at that matchup right like uh -huh. it there there's definitely a chance where Akola could lose to Spargo and then not make it through loser side right yeah right definitely like, definitely possible there's killers there's he's like he's human now he bleeds now right yeah. So true yeah there was that's a, a scary thing there was a lineup yesterday where Spargo potentially could have gone like oh and three is pool like, <laughs> yeah based yeah on, yep. you know like it's just insane man or at least go down two games that AK said AK is another one who's had so many close calls this tournament so right. many amazing sets have been played so far man it's just been it's really been a treat to watch all the games right I, yeah man I, I do want to bring up like um that that consistency that MK Leo had at the start of like Smash Ultimate for such a long time, right? Like now he's seeing Nicola like rise to the top and see if he can stay that consistent too, stay on the top. It's hard, man. Yeah, it's even, so hard. Even for a fraction of the time that Leo did it, yeah, right? Barely. barely even, man. Look what he needs to do for a fraction of my power. Is exactly. that yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Steve? Yeah. Like, yeah. And, yeah, exactly. With the character yeah. that you know, so many people have just like bemoaned for yeah. the two years that he's been out. Absolutely. So I don't know if it's a matter of people are starting to figure out Steve, people are starting to figure out Akula as an individual, mm -hmm. right? Like, I'm not sure what the recipe is, but the loser of, uh, I'm sorry, the winner of Light and Tweak, by the way, is going to have to play the winner of Mia and Buzz. So that could set up for a Tweak versus Mia run back. Right. Yeah. Extremely close pool yeah. set. Tweak was one stock away from winning 3 1. And then Mia showed that, you know, despite his relative uh, newness to the U.S. tournaments, right. he, he doesn't care, bro. This man's yeah, not. I, oh, he's, care. he's locked in, man. The whole tournament, <laughs> I've seen him walking around. Bro. He's just. <laughs> He's got that Formula One suit oh, on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. F0, 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 zero, F zero, F zero. They Yo, Bam and Bam and Mia are repping the racing right oh, now. And I say this about Mia so much. And in the highest regards, is Mia plays like a jerk, and I love that. Like, oh he, yeah, he, that's he how he plays. He's out bullying top players. Like he. You roll twice, and he will position himself for the second roll and already be charging it up smash, dude. Like, he is, bro, kid is a fiend, is the yeah. way I like that. And I mean this in the highest regard. Like, he plays so disrespectfully. He didn't come here to be your friend. I'll tell you that much. Absolutely. Yeah. Bro, Absolutely. The, the charging down smash in your face because he knows you're scared of him and will spot dodge whatever error you yeah. just did. Yeah, he definitely cuts deep with his yeah. uh, his plays. It's yeah. personal. Yeah. I yeah. think it's <laughs> personal. My favorite fun fact about Mia is the warm up with light from port priority you mm -hmm. know what i'm talking about how uh light had to fight akala and he was looking for steve practice and mia was like oh let's play wow and he's like dude what do you mean isn't that your boy he's like no i want to outperform him at this tournament so i will warm you up I so you that. can beat him yeah. so i look better and so i can beat so you i look I'll, like yeah. yeah well yeah. that too yeah. but so w. i look like the strongest <laughs> w. player w. in japan wait wait a second he's no dummy you, bro. you don't you don't think that maybe he's taking notes though for Mia? Or our star, I mean, star I'm sure Cola? he has his own, like, several hidden agendas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Oh, See, double yeah. agent for sure. Double agent. I don't think they're that hidden, by the way. Bro, he's got one agenda. It's number one. Yeah, yeah. Number one. <laughs> bro is going to get it. I don't like, care who you are. I don't care if you're my countryman. I'm trying to win. Yeah, I love that, too, because I feel like for a while, Ultimate, it's been this uh, nice guy act. Uh, let's just hug after every yeah. set. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Get that shit out of here. I'm so happy you're my friend. Oh, thank you. You got to kill each other. Well, that's why I love Light and Tweet, because, like, they love each other's friends, but they hate each other as competitors. They right. they that want energy, to beat yeah. each Tweak, other so bad. Tweak said he would actually fight like in real life, like, <laughs> yeah. which would also be hilarious. By right. the way, no, that'd be great. I wish you guys knew <laughs> right here oh, on no. the on the blue carpet yeah. <laughs> in the ring. The blue carpet fight will be red. Crown. Fight for the crown. I wish you guys Jesus, in, in the chat and at home knew Tweak off camera a little bit more because the dude is hilarious. He's, he's very completely funny. unhinged yeah. in a good way. Right, but you know he's a little shy about it because he doesn't want to stir controversy. But yeah. the, look out for potentially the the boxing card of Light versus Tweak one day. Oh, that'd, be, that'd be so, <laughs> so funny. That'd be dude. so funny. That'd be so funny. Just ridiculousness. Yeah. I mean, at, at the end of the day, they are still really good friends and want to see each other succeed. But yeah. that was only true until they run into each other but in the bracket. Honestly, I think that makes the perfect rivalry. Right? We yep. talk about Larry Bird and Magic Johnson, like those kind of things. Yes. Where it's like. When we're, when we're on the Love court, that. you are absolute trash. Yeah. I can't wait to show how bad you are. Yep. But like that, but you always respect that person in a way, like, because that, that elevates you, right? Like mm -hmm. that that speaks to how good you are because that's that's your rival, that's your person. So yeah, it's it, like it's so nuanced. But I I love to see those key robberies and like. You got to hate this person till death, and you got to love this person till <laughs> death. That is what makes a quality rivalry. That, and I'm so excited to see these guys Right, play. I think that's what makes, like, this tournament so exciting, too, right? There's so many matches that you have no idea which way it's going to swing. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, 
Web yeah. JP definitely like playing so well, and then the, suddenly the match is kind of sweet. Oh man, man that, just, that was a heartbreak. Yeah, yeah it's so rough. Man. Yeah. yeah, he's overall in a content place with it because you know his main thing when he came here was that he wanted to prove that he belonged, and I think he is certainly yeah. Yeah. Oh, that for goal. Sure. Yes. And he just he's a young player still, and this is his first Summit style he's event. Got time. A lot of big sets. It's just closing them out, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's just closing. That's like the hardest thing, right? Yeah. Well, that's yeah. like that's one, of, especially with Sheik, such an execution heavy yeah. style character that is prone to getting cheese at low percentages. We've seen it. How many times has Mr. R done that? How many times has Mr. R yeah. put people? Uh, I'm up three stocks to one in game five, and then just loses. It just happens with Sheik sometimes, and yeah. it's something that the character is incredibly strong in my opinion. But you also need to have a, a rock solid mental to win, and you're playing against people like Luto who have done yeah. it a so billion time times. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And against he had a really rough pool too. Not making excuses for him. I mean, pools are pools. Like yeah. it is, you're going to run into bad matchups in life, but it still was tough. And I, I want to bring it back to the Magic Johnson Larry Bird comparison because those are two individuals who are from completely different walks of life, completely mm -hmm. look outlooks on life and how mm -hmm. they live their life. And I think that's so true for so many of our ultimate top yeah. players too. There's so many awesome and different personalities from so many different parts not yeah. just of our country but of the world it's yeah. so like I mean, me and Akola, they're yeah. so different too yeah. like yeah. that's yeah. my favorite Crazy. part about smash man is that you just meet people from all kinds of different backgrounds and upbringings and stuff and you're like wow like suddenly i feel cultured and all i've done is play a video game yeah. and yeah. travel right. around yeah. the world that's that's one common thread man it, yeah it, yeah and but, Dude, we see it with player growth too. We all knew AK is this humble, quiet kid who just loved One Piece, but bro, he was talking shit yesterday. I, I was gonna like, say, I yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah. I love that. Character Light growth, versus man. AK is kind of creeping up as one of these new rivalries in Smash, and they have the set record to prove it. Well, currently, let's start winning for it to be. Right. Yeah, well, as he's as sleeping, the underdog, he <laughs> he's sleeping right now. I left him in the room. He snooze. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I mean, someone make sure to clip it and send it to Light. I, I think <laughs> the fine. fact that the underdog has been winning the recent sets makes it even more exciting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, AK has always had that competitive drive, right? He just he puts on a front for. For the viewers, not just it's just like just like uh, tweak, right? Just not to try to stir any controversies, but hey, man, that guy is fiercely competitive, man. It's he true, and he's actually our, our first <laughs> set up against Leo, so yeah. that's gonna be yeah. really fun to watch. He did beat him at Summit way back in March, or was that the yeah. September one? No, it's the last summit. The, the March one, it's yeah. One where he killed Chuck during Mafia. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah legendary <laughs> moment. I was so happy he qualified. <laughs> I, I think AK and yeah. Webb were the two biggest stories of like almost doing it that forward smash on spargo from ak yeah, that didn't yeah, kill him yeah. you know web going game five with akala and gluto and just not being able to close it out so look out for these guys because you know they're trying to polish that yeah. they're trying to lock in for finals day and that speaks well for their you know for next year for 2024 for them honestly right yeah like it, it's what a way to come through in terms of their growth right like you, you said they would just wanted to prove that they can hang and oh they can hang, right? They, yeah. They can do damage, that's for sure, right? I, I'd like to throw Luis in there, too, because if he had oh, won yeah. that game two over Sonics, where it was just literally, it was 1%, right? Could have been literally 1%. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. so, yeah. it would have changed. It would have been 2-0, which is a very uh -huh. big deal, especially mm -hmm. against Sonics or against anybody really of yeah. the caliber. Uh, so, yeah, there's been a lot of almost calls. Yeah. Unfortunately for our socials that watch the throne, there were no actual offsets that happened. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. It's all good. Well, yeah. It's still great sets, so hot sets. And yeah. the last thing I want to highlight before we move into this match is the um, the NorCal boys. Luis and Karama are definitely showing up and showing out this weekend. Karama managing to make it to finals day on the winner's side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Luis defeating MK Leo yesterday, yeah. having that close call with Sonics, that, you know, 1% timeout game. Man. I'm really glad that this region is showing that their guys have got what it takes. Hey, yeah, they've, been, they've been working real hard, man. I'm really proud of the boys, man, holding it down for sure. I think, too, I love Karama. I think we all do. Like, it just has a player and personality in our scene. Like, truly, like, the, the young gun upsetting MK Leo in prime Leo form. Like, mm -hmm. that was one of the biggest upsets we've seen in Ultimate history. But we know the kid has the tenacity and the drive to make anything happen. And I think there's a lot of pressure. I mean, you talk about being a global esport. With that comes the global pressure, too, especially because mm -hmm. he's got – shout out to my homies in EU who are watching right now. Yes, sir. He's got a lot of pressure on him because a lot of people have eyes on him. And that's a lot – to deal with at a young age to have to handle. I mean, right. there's a lot of people watching, and I think he's just done such a fantastic job with it. I think he's doing it very gracefully, and he's still learning along, along the way. He's still a young player in this uh, ultimate meta, and he's he's coming up, though, man. I mean, obviously, he's, he's been coming up for a while. Yeah, I, I, yeah. F I feel like also just, like, one, one of the things for all these players, too, is just, like, being able to keep that confidence the whole way through, right? Having these, like, tight games with a lot of uh, t a lot of these players who have their legacy and they they know they're well respected and stuff like that and you give them a little bit too much respect and you lose your own confidence like you, you don't want that to happen so i'm glad that like we're seeing the confident uh confident web jp we're seeing the confident karama we're seeing the confident louise coming into these matches 
All right, look at the head-to-head -head here between MKLeo and Apollo Kage. The players are already on the stage, looking like they're queuing up to go. So 2-1 in the most recent sets in MKLeo's favor. Lifetime 3-1. So there's one other one from, a, I guess, a longer time ago that we're not really going over here. Either way, in the invitational style format, AK beat him. That's actually, two these are sick-ass pictures, sorry. Yeah, they really <laughs> yeah, are, yeah. man. <laughs> Shout-outs to everyone on production, not just yeah. the stream side, but also the photography side and... You know, all the graphics and, and art team as well. They, yeah, they've been working so hard. I, and what, we've been walking around the venue, and these guys have been running around the venue too, right? Like, everyone, shout to you, Bam, too. Like, just all of you guys putting in so much effort for this event, like, for real. Like, I, could, I don't know how you guys are even awake early oh. in the morning and, like, stay so late in the night. Uh, on the caster side, too, you got to really give it up to Charles and, and EE and Bam. Yeah. I mean, you guys exactly. put in so much damn work, and, uh, you know, this event wouldn't happen with you guys. I love you guys, and so happy that we could put this uh, together. But we're going to work on the loser side of things. Leo, uh, Mexico City in Mexico, not in the uh, United States. Yeah, man. <laughs> just uh, my favorite American little, city. Uh, this is a little city. thing I want to point but, out that I noticed it as well, Chad. Uh, yeah, Missouri in the United States actually very cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. yeah, definitely cool. <laughs> it's, it's my favorite too. state of Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> but it's wild too, because uh, AK being an 11th seed at a tournament, and then there's only like how many people behind him after that, right? Just one, right? Or like or a couple, four, five, whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 And man, like yeah. just that yeah. just speaks to the talent pool. In the building. Exactly. <laughs> Bro, Mexico State with the U.S. flag in chat. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to see what we have for Bloom and, and Glutes. Uh, yeah. Where's Gluto uh, coming uh, from? <laughs> Do you make him Italian for a day? We got to yeah. get a W. You know, we need on, representation. Come on. Imperialism I'm is real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Gluto, USA. You <laughs> USA. USA. Down, Blue, USA. You are Tarek. American now. <laughs> All right. Everyone is America. Thank God. It's that time, folks. AK versus Leo. I think the character lottery is also something that's up for question right now. Is it going to be Joker? Is it going to be Byleth or Aegis? Yeah, it is the Aegis. We have the little cheater yeah. production monitor. Leo has been using them this weekend. Use them to defeat Ken. Yeah, yeah, true. I, I think I do like the Aegis for the matchup, too. I know uh, people are kind of like doubting the Aegis for MK Leo, but I think if he does like find the time and refine the character, there's a lot of potential. Like, I, I mean, Light said it best, right? This character kind of cheats. Actually does cheat, for sure. So, something I want to point out, I was talking to AK this morning, and I asked him, because his C4s have been hitting this weekend, like a lot. At first it was Tarek, I'm like, oh, Tarek's just running into them, which is weird. Tarek obviously very good with his movement, I'm like, that's crazy. But then he hit Light with a thousand of them too, and also got Sparkle with some good C4s. I'm like, bro, what are you doing with C4 that's so different? He's like, if in the air I Z grab a grenade, I can also drop C4 at the same time. So he's kind of sneaking the C4 down with other explosions yeah. and stuff. He goes, it's a small thing, I'm like, bro, that is not, you're not gonna see no. that by me. That is not a small oh, thing. Yeah. That is ridiculously yeah. good, man. Yeah. And C4s have been winning in games and sets, so yeah. curious to see if he does that against Leo here, how ready Leo will be for that. Yeah, man. And you know, I got a shout out, man, uh, our old hand man, Johnny Westside, man. Oh, Johnny wow. Westside. Wow. Wow. Yeah, West. Bring it back. Because he's one of the guys who found a lot of, like, pioneered some of these, like, early stuff, like early meta, right? He was like, dude, you can do like some of this crazy stuff with things still. Um, and he found like, you know, a lot of these Z-drops, all that kind of thing. So I love that we are seeing like at this point time, AK man, holding it down, using all that tech, the next evolution of it, right? But it's always nice to see early tech fully realized. Gonna fade back with uh, that. Oh, oh well, no, no. <laughs> fading too far. Yeah, didn't land on the, didn't get it to the ledge. Sometimes the old tech of getting back on stage works dividends, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Since, since Smash 64. Yeah. I was going to say also, AK. Oh! I was say, AK C4s have been good except for that one. That AK Spargo. Remember that one? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the AK up. Classic, dude. Yeah, there's always yeah. one. Be doing that, also, man. look how hard it is to keep track of the C4 on the stage like this, uh -huh. where there's all these gaudy designs on the floor. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, in the background, too. Snake is like. truly like the embodiment. Like, he's a great character, obviously, but so much of it is human error, right? Oh, yeah. like, how much do I get hit by grenades? How much do I lose track of a C4? And over a five game set where you're doing that, the entire time, it's about. Oh, okay. Oh, no, oh, he tried to sneak him. Okay. He tried to sneak him too, bro. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Uh, he has one of my favorite advantage states in the world. Like, he really oh, does, bro. It's creative, it's fun, man. You see, a, it's a little different every time. With AK's advantage state. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think you really do have to play so careful around grenades. Like, if you're if you're comfortable with grenades existing in that space too, like 
not dashing in right when they're about to explode it. Understand? It takes some time to cook, right? Yeah. Ooh, nice. Snake I'm, knows that timer way better than you do as oh, well. Oh, absolutely. And uh, you mean, of course, you always have that nuance too, where like Nade's explosion is actually smaller, right, for Snake versus mm -hmm. the other characters, right? So even if you're watching Snake and you're like, okay, I can bomb and weave in this way, actually, no, you can't. It's different for me than you, right? I'm literally built different. All right, that platform just such a danger zone. I feel like the stage is amazing for Snake. A little surprised to see it playable for game one, but that's it. I mean, he's great on PS2. He's great on Battlefield. Yeah. Name a stage that Snake I isn't know. completely it's, fucked it's up. It's like the Mario really. thing that we were talking about yesterday with Karama. Like, where do you take him where he can't kill you in one hit? Like, yeah. it doesn't yeah. really exist unless you get FD somehow. True. The, the camera be assisting Snake too, right? Yeah. You can't even see the C4 once they're like at, at a certain angle on the platform. Like, where yeah. did the C4 go? There's definitely certain characters that like nice. do get an advantage just from moving the dynamic camera of Smash. It's so funny. <laughs> nice. Sonic is one of them too. Probably. Yeah, I mean, sometimes oh. you can't see the C4 behind a character portrait or yeah. just where the camera is nice. aiming at all what, the loops all loop. day? Oh, he's making Dang. an S. He's making a W with that. Man. Golly. <laughs> wow, AK with a very strong game one. I think really the narrative here is what character is Leo going to go? Is he going to try one different one every game or... Bro. This is loser's bracket, by the way. Loser, this is out. Like, yeah. let, let's let's call it what it is right now. Leo on the back foot, big time. That was a clean two stock. Yo, two right. Nikitas off stage. Gonna go back to Mithra though and try to make some changes happen here, dude. Loser, this is out. I can't believe it, man. Some days of big invitations like this are so exciting, but also so like they're kind of sad, man. Like I want to see Leo and, and AK play so long, but. We only have so much time in a weekend, boys. Right. We only got one, man. We yeah. move forward, for sure. Nikita's so hard to deal with in this matchup, too. Like, we saw in that last clip, that last, the, the S, the snake in a round. Like, MKLeo tried to hit the Nikita, but Snake has all the advantage in that situation and yeah. also does it safely. Yeah. Well, it was, it was tricky, too, because, I mean, Pyramithra have unlimited switches, you know, for air dodges and can time the way they get back, but twice, AK was just ahead. It looks a like good matchup now, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, this is an active hitbox, right? So it's like you just stick it there. I don't, yeah. I don't care if you're switching. Yeah. You're switching to this bomb real quick, all right? So this is like you, yeah. missile real quick. If you put the explosion out, yeah, uh -huh. as he did. Fighting Snake as a sword character is tough because obviously you want to have these giant hitboxes nice. that can outrange him and hit him really hard with the Pyra, for example. But you have to play so carefully against grenades. Your big hitboxes actually work against you because they yeah. have a higher chance of tripping them. Yeah. Yeah, your precision has to be just like that much better, right? Normally you do want to have like that good spacing, but usually you want to like land a good hit and you want to know, like, you want to make sure that it connects. Sometimes you overshoot a little bit, right? The yeah. spacing game like Paula Kage is playing is really good against Sorties. You know, I do feel that Pirate is uh, like helped a ton in this matchup specifically yeah. because of that additional range where you're at that point where her tipper range is something where you can kind of ignore some of the explosions all right going in from snake so i do love to switch here from leo hopefully you can make this work yeah the tricky thing though is when you switch to pyra if you're not strictly in advantage state catching up the snake is really tough snake mm -hmm. loves fighting slower characters oh. so see already almost turning that into his favor yeah. going back to the mithra yep Switch it back to oh he's all switching all around. I yeah. like that just to get yeah. down you get more air mobility, uh -huh. faster fall speed. Yeah, absolutely, Max. Yeah, um, I, I feel like I really want to see that Mithra purely be more so the movement like you were talking about. And just staying in the corner, AK is so content. He knows he doesn't even really need space to back up. The grenades are going to do a lot of work for him, and he doesn't need to build damage either. He's kind of like Grown Man Steve. He hides under the platform, throws the grenades, creates this pseudo wall of explosions in front oh, yeah. of him. Look at that. He's about to take the percentage lead. He was getting bodied this stock, honestly. Yeah. He was down big time, but Leo yeah. couldn't find the KO. It still can't. Mithra is so go. weak, but there. if you're kissing the blast zone, you're going to be kissing that stock goodbye. Yes, sir. All right, opportunity here to step back. We'll get some extra damage. Trying to get a bear. Oh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> opener, not going to get him, man. We are prone. That back air out of shield can start so much damage for Mithra, but Snake low profiling yeah. it with the back air landing lag. Right, and I feel like there's not too many situations where you are going to do out of shield stuff against Snake, right? Like, most of the time it's like, okay, you wow. land, you shield yeah. an uh, up tilt, and maybe that's your opportunity. But Apollo Kage is not holding forward. Yeah, even no with way. the stock deficit, he knows Ooh. he doesn't really need to go in. The residuals are eventually going to catch mm -hmm. up with Leo. Not the most extra credit, but still, things are looking promising for Leo this game. Yeah. Let's see, but now he's electing to go a bit more mid for him, man. And this is kind of where we saw him Huge. fall apart before, too, right? Because of those explosions. It's just so hard to navigate with that smaller sword. And it's crazy, because I think AK, like, there's there's two main parts, right, of playing well. I mean, there's a lot of parts of playing Ultimate or playing Smash in general. It's that slow gameplay, but on top of that, the good, fast gameplay, too. And I think AK does a great job switching gears between the two. Yeah. And also, because of that explosive advantage state, he can sit back and wait for you, and then he hits a grenade uh, on that 50. Where does that come from? Exactly. 
I like that. Yes, sometimes you just gotta throw it out, man. Just pressure him, right? It's because they're gonna get caught and they're just their standard projectile gameplay. So you step back. AK's a madman. He tried F tilt one and then looking for a panic option. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's true. I remember playing Brawl week one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 You know, that's good that you catch that too because MK Leo oh, has not I been see. panicking at mm. all in these situations, right? Like, if he's far away, he knows if he like rolls or air dodges in, he's in a bad situation. And even like losing your. Stay, oh, stay, stay to being right off the nice. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, that, that was beautiful yeah, by Leo. That, that was so key there, man. Good catch. Oh, no, no, double jump. Jump. no double jump. Yes, oh, really yo. bad. Okay. Bro, Pyro Fair is here? so helpful in this match. Wow. Oh, nothing. Dude. That was so good for Mel Palakage. Yeah, Leo's been hit oh, by what? so many of those grenades <laughs> wow. on the way yo, down. Backbreaker. Kick <laughs> yeah. off. <I'd> leave. <laughs> now. Now. <laughs> All right, staying on Pyra here, Snake at 85, I could see it. The kill window for down air to up smash is certainly valid. Of was, course, your neutral's a lot worse with this one. That was the weirdest yeet I've seen in this game. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's so aggressive. Push like, your skull into the blast zone. That was insane. That's but one of my favorite throws. It's oh, cool. Great. He has some of the best animations of the game right through the grenade. But so good. unfortunately for Leo, not going to get the KO. Good opportunity here. Moving around the explosions. Nice shot by AK again, setting up the defensive wall grenades. Both in, both in neutral and in disadvantage. It's so good. Taking a very creative path back to solid ground yeah, here. Right yeah. into the tilt. Yeah, all right. I like it. King of Fundies, man. I think, right I think that's clean. the like counterplay playing against Snake is being able to track really well. Well and stay in that zone where like, okay, I can catch you if you like stay fading in the direction or catch you if you try to be reverse. It doesn't matter. You're mm -hmm. just going to be in my zone constantly. Yeah, especially for uh, when you're looking at Pirate, right? Just because of that big sweeping sword, up air, up tilt. That air dodge trap is so powerful. And because of her drift as well, she can like, once she gets under Snake, she has a really good time shadowing him. And you then, you do that up air. It's like, yeah, maybe the hit lag, the explosion still hits you, maybe. But that can just, at that kind of percentage, you don't care. That's a wrap, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When all you need is the kill, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Of course, normally, you know, when you're in these low and mid percent scraps, those grenades are really working against mm -hmm. Leo here. We've seen so many times these big, meaty, or multi hit aerials yeah. forcing Snake to drop the grenade, and then he gets hit away, and then the explosion happens. So you're not even really trading with both the grenade and your opponent. That's so huge for Snake. Yeah. All right. Just step back here. Oh, good there. Clean stuff from AK so far, man. Huge damage already, 70 to basically nothing. Leo with grab should be pretty good damage here. Oh, nope, never mind. Wow. Yeah, exactly what you're saying, Max. Yeah. In those situations where you hit Snake away, and Bam said it earlier, those grenades are smaller for Snake than it is for you. Yep. Also, back air to back air, not, oh. not being true on Snake because he's too heavy to be in enough hit stun. Yeah. Uh -huh. That was insane. Yeah. Yeah. Ball, Max. Yeah, not usually just a straight up true combo, right? No gaps at all, but no. just the weight class plus, Damn. plus having frame that one. Yeah, <laughs> frame one get out. Unfortunate. <laughs> Ooh. Plus frame Wait. Oh, Yo. Okay. Oh, no. You're crazy. No. F smash at the ledge twice, bro. Isn't it insane that Apollo Kage used to be known as like these like snake that boxes? That's, and now that's a team Mexico killer right there, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spargo and Leo, jeez. <laughs> the you, better watch, you better watch out, Sky J. You play against AK. Oh my god. god. Wow. <laughs> the sticky. It was just the tech invincibility that got Leo away from that. And AK is working on a three stock here. It's only been a minute and 15 seconds. Yeah. Damn, it, I, dude, this is right. A three stock after I thought Leo looked so incredible in that game. He made the right adjustments, he but really here comes did. AK on his counter pick. Like I said, that's grown man Steve. He's going underneath the platforms. He's backing away and throwing grenades at yep, you, man. Set up shot. Grown man Steve. This is a character you rarely make comebacks on, especially of this size. Leo's going to somehow have to find a kill setup and then play two perfect stocks. Right. Even if all AK does is trade grenades, it, eventually it'll kill. And, and yeah. uh, AK is looking so good moving, right? Like now with like two stocks lead right here. AK is moving and even like Jeez. falling straight back into his own grenade too. It, like it does not matter for him. Yeah. Dude, I, wow, the first wow. dash attack. That yeah, was a really nice tempo mix up. And I think uh, Lael was actually going for a side B there too, right? But actually caught him in the beginning animation. Good stuff oh. there by AK. Man, yeah, this is looking like a three stock, man. This is, this is rough. Yeah, and even if not, it's still going to be a huge uh, win for AK. Oh, four four. Yeah. there you go. Oh, my God. Oh my four God. for four, man. Heat-seeking missile. He even disarmed it, too. But that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, the explosion, it just doesn't really matter. The the, way, with that big vertical recovery going up to the ledge, like, it's just such great timing from AK. Yeah, man. It was a dark Dang. time when Snakes actually found that one out when they were like, wait a minute. If you actually, if they, yeah, you can counter by hitting the, like, missile, but 
if you just go ahead and just disarm it immediately after, the explosion happens anyways and you're cooked. Nikita, right? Nikita it's went so through good. Nikita. peaks and valleys of how yeah, good it was, right? It like in the beginning of the game, it was like the best move ever. And then <laughs> yeah. people, people realize how to move around it, how to disarm it and hit it. It's like, oh, it's it's Jover, right? Like this move is ass. Uh, no, we're so back. Like this move yeah. is just ridiculously good, dude. It's insane, non committal off stage yep. pressure. And if you make it back, you're getting ledge trapped by Snake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Leo switching to Jover right now. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Maybe we are so yeah. back. Wait a minute. It's a Joker or Jover. We're not sure quite yet. Yeah, yeah. we will see to be determined. Golly. I think it's a good idea too, right? Because the Aegis' recovery is so linear, right? That's how Apollo Kage even got that, that down smash too. He set up the situation, knew there was no jump, and just charged the down smash. And Ooh, the Nikita no. makes it so Ooh. rough, right? I think Joker is probably a good idea. Uh-huh. It yeah. makes it, I mean, if you're not getting around the Nikitas, literally four stocks dropped in two games. Uh, you, you gotta, you gotta switch it up until you're ready to deal true, with that. Because AK's gonna take. You can't give him free socks all day, man. Because he certainly will not give us back. I think having long-range tools and yeah. a more reliable recovery yeah. yes. are going to be huge for him here. And one of the big things too, they can't necessarily go ahead and throw nades at you because uh, bullets will hit it, right? So gun is actually Ooh, a really right. phenomenal tool against nades. Now you got to bring a gun to a grenade fight right here as Leo is. First stock going to a man. Oh, oh bro, wow. And he, he uh, the back air is just ridiculous. We saw him space around Snake up tilt, which is so hard to do. Yep. I don't know if you have that huge hitbox, I guess, but it, helped. it definitely helps a lot. Wow. Pull that face. Wow. Oh, the parry. That fade was OD. Jesus. What a transaction yeah. right there between those two. Beautiful. And you can see the slender frame of Joker is going to help out against that AK advantage state, man. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite thing about watching these players oh, here oh. this weekend is like seeing how much <laughs> discipline people have playing within the range of uh, other people's like threat bubbles. Yeah. Right? They, they're so good at like staying right outside of the, the opponent's range and being like, okay, I know I could press a button here, but if I do, I'm going to get hit. So I'm going I'm yeah. to chill. I'm going to chill. It's, it's not just how uh, skinny Joker is, but how low he is to the ground when yeah. he's moving oh, that too. Dash his, is his low dash is yes, sir. It's, it Low profile showed us up tilt. Yep. It's how good it is. It's insane. Two characters with insane dash Ooh, attacks for beautiful. breaking the zone, True. by the way. Yeah. yeah. These are two of the best dash attacks in the game straight up. Oh, yep. facts. Oh, the grenade not going to set up into anything. Gives Where's AK a chance going? to reset high. <laughs> hey, that's the question, He's right? Yeah, 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 all yeah, the time. Yeah, everyone always asks that question playing nice. against me. Huge, huge to get that stock, and you got the Arsene meter too. The awareness from Leo, very nice. Getting the non Arsene KOs is going to be enormous for him. Mm -hmm. Guns is huge in this matchup. Oh, Jeez. It's, it's so good. It's so it's good. So good. It, it, honestly, even it's funny because even Bayo's guns who are not as good, it's like they get stronger in this matchup specifically because of how they interact with nades. Definitely. Do hers she, bounce them back or explode them? Dude, even them her extended, um, like if you just go for her like extended aerials and stuff too, it will explode them from like yeah. far across oh, the stage. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah, like jab, jab bullet arts? Yeah, jab bullet arts. Yeah, yeah she just be shooting, like, bro. It's so funny, yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Pew, pew. Only catching Ooh, the shooting. Joker hit. He's back. AK oh. might not be oh. 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 Okay. Oh. I mean, that was really good timing, but that hitbox is disgusting. So yes. really good stuff yeah. from Leo. Yeah. But he's been comboing very well off grains and uh, explosions the whole time. Probably the best part about that sequence is how he forced AK to go low like that exactly. to line up the layup afterwards. Yeah, that was so good, dude. You yeah. know what I miss? My fellow boomers footstooling Snake out of the C4 <laughs> detonation. Oh, that was great. It's still possible, but it's very difficult what because of balloon just, knockback. Uh, grab releasing him after the like, oh, yeah. You don't see that after, anymore either. Yeah, yeah. Cypher, yeah. Or Cypher, sorry. Yeah. Doing yeah. a move and tanking the cypher. Oh, I miss that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good time. What about just shuttle looping him? Yeah, all that crazy stuff. Let me just do the triple shuttle loop. Yeah, yeah. Bring that back. I'll, I'll press up B. Like, that's cool. Yeah. The, the funniest shit, though, was when they stale the shuttle loop so it doesn't do 7.2% anymore, <laughs> yeah. and they and just hit him, hit. he armors it, and they and fly they, off. They, they glide yeah. out, yeah. <laughs> so fire. My Classic. fellow boomers, by the way. So <laughs> my thank you for calling us out. fellow boomers. Just going to warn you guys. Yo, Snorlax, where's your board, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring out my skateboard. The boomer, boomer brawls, man. We got yes, game sir. five coming up. AK back on the the bastion, actually. Speaking of low profiling, man. Snake down tilt, disgusting. Oh, see, there's that dash I'm talking about, uh -huh. right underneath the grenade. Yes, sir. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think we're gonna see F tilt too much. I, we haven't seen it at all, actually, right? And that's what that low profile is pretty good at doing too, is just like getting away from Ooh. some of Joker's hitboxes. Ooh. Like Nair is pretty difficult to hit on someone that's that tiny. Love that grab, by the way. You saw yeah. the grenade just fall right out of Snake's hands. Leo doing Perfect a great timing. job playing against the disadvantage state of Snake. You can man, still do it, it's just he tough. He's weaving so well right now. The bear. Take that, man. Yeah, we'll, the take, cool we'll thing, take that trade. The cool thing with trades in this matchup too is that he does get our send meter. Like he's doing oh, it. Like yeah. obviously you don't want to take damage when you can avoid it, but dang, at least you're getting rewarded in some way. Yeah, don't. Get he is playing this matchup so Ooh, well. Wow. Yeah, get dash attacked. So okay, afraid of back air. He's so afraid yes, of back air at this point. You have to be. You gotta respect it, man. Fear and respect. 
Yeah, bullets. Yeah, I don't care. You can nade toss at me. That's done. I feel like as Snake, it's so hard to also stall out Arsene, right? Because he's getting so much mileage, even with just doing guns right here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Leo really doesn't mind not getting the kill with Arsene, wow. which he will anyway. Underneath yeah. the Don't grenade, care. he hit the low part of his hurt box so that he wouldn't set the grenade off until the second hit. Yeah, that's beautiful. 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 Great recognition. Most important thing about juggling Snake, try to hit him at the knees or lower, and you won't trip the grenade unless, of course, wow. he drops it and you're doing a multi-hit. Talk about turning an advantage into a disadvantage. We're seeing so much Arsene meter being built on explosives, man. The thing Joker can do so well in this matchup is play that long game, but uh, Nikita's still working out very well, again, especially when Arsene's out. That's gonna yeah, be tough. Yeah, good dash attack. Okay, another one. Remember nice. these guys. <laughs> tournament oh, lives right. on the line with this game. One of these guys is going home right after this. Huge situation right here. Arsene's ticking away, but Leo wants to extend this lead wow. off the top. No, oh my god. god. Not, yet. Not yet. No way. Jeez. There's so much patience for this play. Yeah. When the magnifier doesn't show them and they're yeah. just like in that awkward middle space. I was like, you no way, Snake dies at 80. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, come on, cameraman. It's it's oh, oh, you're dead. Yes. yes. Yo, execution crazy. Leo in the building, baby. We are watching the throw, baby. Oh, it is Joker just for Apollo Kage, potentially, man. We talked about that. Leo Ooh. switching. OK. All uh, Twitter, all Twitter saying, all Twitter saying, I knew it. He's yeah. just go Joker. Oh, I knew yeah. it. I knew it. I think it's crazy that you have well, to play. Well, hold on now. Hold on now. Wait, wait, oh, wait. The, oh, the so chat's precise. into it now, huh? I saw the, I saw the layover, all everything. Oh my God. Where are you layover, at right now? Layover is very funny though. It's great. It's for Joker personified. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. I'll give it up. <laughs> Oh, oh man, we Snake, Snake, as good as he is at holding leads, he's not great at making comebacks, Ooh, okay. man. AK, oh, I don't know how you grab. rush this man down. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, wow. Sir. The other thing is Joker gets so much off grab, too, which yep. I think is just so big against oh, Snake. Oh, no, very sad. Right. Bro, it definitely might be Joker. Oh, oh my God! You're trying to get me, bro! Get, oh, get off of me! Get off me! Don't look at me! Don't even, bro. Don't the look back at airs, me! That is just, I mean, AK brought the grenades, but he... Leo brought a shotgun with that back air. Dude. Oh my God, wow. dude! Breaking down the Cannon. door. Cannon. Golly, Leo with the reverse. <laughs> he was down one, two man. Switched to Joker and didn't drop a game. And honestly, looked pretty dominant. I think the thing is, uh, dude, the Aegis it, it did fine in game two, but dang, it, Apollo Kage was so good at that matchup. But it yeah. looks like. Joker, the number one thing he could do is that he can keep up with Snake at the long distance game. It's so important because, hey, you throw grenades at me, that's our send meter. If you don't, Look at I'm going to shoot guns at you, man, too. Such Jeez. patience here, man. Exactly, man. Yeah, I, I was saying, like, it's it's difficult to navigate around all the stuff that Apollo Kage is doing. And then also, on top of that, have that execution check on, like, okay, can I hit this first hit fair, like, drag down, up air, up smash. Yeah. Yeah, with all the grenades and stuff that you got to worry about. But, yeah, but this is this part was so sick, man. I mean, look at this here, right? What a reversal, Obviously, bro. yeah, you see a situation here. AK's like, I got to make a play here. This is my time. I have an opportunity here. He's nay. He's no, not at all. I am not afraid. I'm that not going to deal with that. See you later. That hitbox, you, I mean, Joker got nerfed in a lot of ways uh, yeah. at one point, but that, that hitbox has always just been one of the best ever. I mean, how many tournaments has Leo won with that move? Uh, I don't want to say alone, but how many times have we seen that windscreen, you know, for Leo to win tournaments? Fair, so. too, is just gigantic. I I, know, it's man. so funny that once you get Arsene, Fair out of shield becomes an actual option, and you have to worry about it. Dang. That's, I think, the, the biggest X factor Arsene brings to the table is that extra arc on all of his hitboxes. Right. Forward air, Good back point, air, yeah. neutral air. Look, you look know. at that, man. MK Leo beats Apollo Kaka. It's so Three, funny two, man, as five. seated, but as by seated, as but seated. So that's many crazy. People did not believe <laughs> at all. But you know what? Today, I'm sorry, MK man. My boy MK Leo's Blackbeard, man. He had to hold it down, yeah. man. Hey man, yeah, amazing, no, no way. amazing tournament for AK, for AK though. Yeah. Yes, sir. Almost always, beating Spargo, yeah. just really showing what he's got, taking light out in the process. But MK Leo, he said, hey, those swords, I'm trading a little too much. Let me put the medieval shit away. I'm busting out the gun. And it worked. Yeah. I think uh, Snake Speaking really. Speaking of the guns, man. Oh, what's up? Leo busts out the guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it easy, mom. Something, yeah. something. Yeah. Not, not, not to mention AK also, like, the weekend, like, literally so last weekend, <laughs> it's like he had to go through that onslaught, that gulag, to get into this event. So It's true. He, yeah, he entered uh, so hard. the gauntlet as, I believe, a fourth seed. Lost to Spargo. Started here on the loser side for Sunday. And now, I mean, it's not going to get any easier, right? You're only going to fight tougher and tougher opponents as the bracket progresses. So, Leo, we'll be seeing more of you later. 
we'll be seeing him, man. Congrats to sure. AK yeah, on a man. great weekend. Hey, I, mean, yeah, I love watching AK play. Like you said, some of the best advantage <laughs> in the game. But the Joker, it was such a like a very different matchup for him to play, right? It's so different than Pyro and Mithra. Mm -hmm. And he played, I thought he played the Pyro and Mithra matchup like perfectly, basically, from a snake point of view. Yeah. But I love that. It, it's this interesting thing with Leo where every, it's like the number one most talked about thing uh, in Ultimate. It's Leo's character. It's like, it what's is. he supposed to do? <laughs> and when he switches and it doesn't work, oh my god, Leo should have done this. But when it does work, he's like, see, I told you, it's easy. Just pick Joker. Like, it's just, it's tough, man. And, and I think a lot of players are going through that too. Tweak as well is trying to figure out how to use the secondaries as well. So yeah, and for Leo, I think they're all amazing characters, but they all have one or two or three really annoying matchups toward the top level that you're gonna run into that representative of. For Aegis, I think Snake is one of them. So good on Leo for switching that, but I mean, he needed Aegis to defeat Ken, for example, who's actually up on stage right now. Our next set is gonna be Ken versus WebJP. So Sheik versus Sonic, a much different yeah. match than the last D, one. Do you wanna hop on for this one? You wanna hop on for this one? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's coming over here. Uh -oh. Walk into the camera a little bit more. Uh, what did you gotta say, Phil? Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to say thank you all for watching. It's one of the core founding members of this event. It means a lot that we're able to get so many uh, people here in the chat, as well as, uh, you know, be very hospitable like to the players. Yeah, You're the, being uh, too nice. Say something mean about well, Ken. Well, currently, I'm actually uh, doing water runs for players, so I can't commentate as much oh, as I'd oh, like to. Here we got the water boy. Oh, here we <laughs> <laughs> Charles, Charles looks so Next confused time. when he said that, by the way. His, his ass is not getting water. <laughs> uh, I actually am, and I'll bring them up here to confirm. I'm not sure why you and a hired employee of the staff would question me. Oh, you, my you, you got to bring Ken water. water from you this weekend. All right, here bring we Ken go. Water on the, the stage, water man. boy. In Thank the you, building. E. Give it up. Adam Sandler over there in the building. Uh, <laughs> Bobby Bush. Bobby Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Bush -E -E. Oh, wow. <laughs> Foosball's the devil, Foosball. man. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, that's going to be our next match. Again, Webb on the weekend of a lifetime. Ken, I would say, a relatively unremarkable performance so far. N nothing, like, terrible, but also hasn't pulled off any insane upsets. Yeah, man. I mean, it's it's just been hard, right? He's just been so close. But, hey, maybe this is the time, right? Uh, now, this matchup in general is going to be quite challenging, and I feel that Ken has continued to improve as of late with his conversion game. Um... You know, this overall damage output is going to be kind of wild. However, Needles going to be a good stop to really kind of thwart and at least kind of throw Ken for a loop, right? When he's going, if he goes for more of a spin-based yeah. offense. So let's see if he can that challenge that. Right. The, this first game is going to be a really good determinant of really who's going to take the step. Right, right, right. Yeah. I, I feel like you're totally right that Needles is going to be pretty important here. And it's also just like how good is WebJP's like offense when it comes to like Keeping that advantage state, right? I feel like Ken has done such a good job, like staying away from uh, any potential like threats at the ledge, and also just like <laughs> throwing out all those like force smashes and willing to like actually change the tempo because we're not. I'm not used to seeing Ken uh, play a little bit aggressive and go for like these rogue up smashes. All right, all right, Charles here replacing Haz real quick. Charles Haz, he actually uh, covered my blog. I was supposed to be in the beginning. Kind of suspect that he took the one match that was like the most hype. For yeah, yeah, very strange. <laughs> and left he was with very Ken. generous to take the, uh, the no problem. AK. Like, anytime, Chuck. Anytime. Uh, yeah, what, a, what, a, what a guy. Welcome to this set, Chuck. But don't worry, I'll, I'll come in here for the Sheik Sonic guy. Yeah, best guy. This, best this, guy has. Best guy has. This matchup, I think, is actually good for Sheik. I think Sheik wins. You just have to play very defensively. But I think Webb has incredible defense. We saw that against the Cola, right? So I, I, I think oh. Webb could do a really good job here against Ken. Yeah, yeah, the uh, fabled, what, timeout Sheik? The time, yeah, I mean, <laughs> if, if if you choose to not interact with Sheik, Sheik can punish characters that don't want to interact with you, right? And I think that's the main thing. You don't have to play Sheik like that, but there's going to be certain matchups where characters are incentivized to not interact, right? For sure, and, you know, the hardest part is keeping that up for seven minutes in a best of five. So if Webb is really built like that, to go up against a Sonic player who played the last game timing people out, who played this game timing people out, then I'll be very impressed with him. I mean, not that I ha haven't been already. Yeah, I, I right. guess that, oh, that's yeah. true. I feel like Ken also just has been pretty good at being aggressive when he needs to be, too, right? Like, normally we wouldn't see him try go for, like, force matches at the ledge or even try to uh, call out anything when you're falling on top of him other than, like, a true confirmed. There's something right there, but Ken not able to find the follow-up for that back air. Oh, yeah, especially Sonic Nair into whatever you want, imagination, right? You can go back air, forward smash, and a lot of percentages here. Tries to get the grab, the dash attack. Not going to cross up, so the grab not going to connect here. A lot of scrambles, but the needle is able to break it up. All right, good step back there. The web going to find the dash attack, and that's going to close out that stock. 
Only at 100%. See, Jeff, let me go back throw. Potential edge guard. No, we're going to stay back here. Just go left track. Bear, yeah, look, trying to catch up that full hop. Not going to get it. I think having something to beat Spin Dash, like a transcendent projectile, is obviously just so huge against Sonic. Very now, big deal. <laughs> yeah, if Webb can play the stock lead basically infinitely, then he's looking good. Such a huge victory to get the first kill here. You guys remember when, like, Shikninos would stay on the stage, right? And it act like uh, an item and you can actually hit it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma imagine if, like, Spin... Imagine if you still had that in this game and Spin Dash just gets stopped by it. That'd be crazy. I'm right, just gonna teleport to the ledge, get off of the jump, and it's back to needle time, baby. Oh, yeah. Now that Webb is at too high of a percent for the Spin Dash confirms, by the way. Wow. Taking stocks is gonna be hard. Ken with the mix up off the ledge, Spin Dash to turn himself around, back cool. air to kill. Nice. Great up tilt right here from Webb JP. But nice reversals from Ken. Ken is uh, really pushing buttons right here. Well, and especially in this matchup, a lot a lot of Sonic players don't find themselves having to run offense without Spin Dash, right? Needles yeah. forces you to have to be a little bit more creative with your offense, right? And, I mean, in terms of, like, how great Spin oh, Dash is, geez. oh, man, the Needles right the up smash. That is going to be a huge confirm, a huge lead here. And now, Ken, in another situation where he has to run the offense, but... Needles is wow. going to cancel out the spin after the spin charge, so you got to try other things. Yeah, no, really phenomenal stuff. Like you said, man, that really forces a lot of Sonic to go into a run-based, you know, game plan, which is really strong in its own right as well. And we've seen that from Sonic and everyone, but a lot of times, a lot of Sonic are just so accustomed to playing a spin-based style. So once you're able to knock that down, they have a hard time. But Ken, you know, trying to make it happen here, getting some damage, not too far away, despite the kind of uh, overall, uh, you know, always kind of coming from uh, behind. But hey, you know, we're, we're seeing the stuff here from WebJP. Wow. Good jab, has the opportunity here on the right side of the ledge, trying to get a drag down on that area spin charge. I actually like the fact that he was going for that, because that shows that he's aware that that doesn't have any intangibility when it's airborne. Right. Sheik also just being a uh, much quicker character on the ground too. Not quicker than Sonic, of course, but being able to at least chase him down and force that, like, edge situation is so good. Oh, he wanted to grab the ledge. That would have been so much advantage for him, having a grenade to keep Sonic busy and that ledge invincibility. But that said, it's Ken in control of the stage. Not for long. Wow. Web oh, yeah. my God. Not center. Not, from not center. yet. Sonic is light, though, which is another great thing for Sheik. Like, just dash tag, KOing Sonic at like 140, 150. That's a big deal, that right? Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. And then bouncing oh fish God. center stage, yeah. That's I mean, crazy. There, there's so many times where Sheik, or the opponent of Sheik being heavy, really is a thorn in Sheik's side, right? Just having to get that one final hit. But mm -hmm. against Sonic, Sonic is one only weakness is the weight, right? Yeah, and it's not even that bad, honestly. Isn't he it's, like, it's not. like barely lighter than Martha and Lucina? Yeah. Yeah, kind of crazy, man. This character's got it all, but Webb has a game plan against it. Yeah. Really centered around those needles. If you can force Sonic to have to interact with you, that's when he's going to start losing those interactions. And look at that. The ledge man. pop needles. A reversal Auto to find reaction, a kill. dude. Look at that. At, at, what was he, 89 before the needles? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Webb is so good at getting these like air-to-air -air situations, too. Like Getting dragged down up air, and that has to be like mad preemptive. You yeah. jump, you mm -hmm. do the up air, and then fast fall. Like, you have to wait for them to actually reach you before you actually uh, execute anything. Yeah, fortunately that move is so active because of the multi hits, yeah. right? So you do have that chance to kind of call people out, air to air mm -hmm. them, and bring them down into a kill move. Webb, I think, really what set him apart from all these other Sheik players oh, is that he's so good at securing stocks. Yeah. And it's still hard for him. Well, this this almost reminds me of the last set we saw, right? AK versus Leo, where AK is playing the character where it's like, okay, I can chill back and mm -hmm. do whatever, right? And then Joker comes through and it's like, well, actually, no, if you, you chill, fight. right? If you chill too much. You're just gonna take damage from your own grenades because I'm gonna pop them, or I'm gonna get Rebel Guard down. Yep, I'm gonna right. get Big Bro in. Right, so Ken kind of put in that position where it's like, all right, well, I can't rely too much on my defense. I have to rely on my offense versus my opponent's defense. Stuck on the ledge. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ken nice. takes the percent lead off that as well. I know it's very slight and subtle, but it's still gonna come into play. It just means that Webb has to be on the chase. Yeah. Having that center platform will also help Ken a lot to avoid these like needles. But once you got him, once you have like that charge too, like you already know, like they can't really, you don't really have to think about too much about like, oh, okay, I'm in disadvantage right now, right? It's just like, okay, they, they have it now, I just have to go. 
Yeah, you just gotta let go. And uh, obviously, there's gonna be these certain moments, right, where it's like, okay, did you charge enough needles, right? Do you have anything here? Um, and if Ken sees WebGP kind of sitting back and not really on those needles, then yeah, he's, he's gonna pull the trigger. And you still always have to keep that in your game plan. You, just because someone has a counter option, you can't immediately remove it. Oh, trying to chase here. No, not gonna get the secondary bear on the air dodge. Ken just going side to side, content to make Web have to keep following him and put himself at risk. Okay, the jab's going to be some nice damage, but still a far cry from any kill setup here. Maybe a raindrop would do it, but I still think more damage needs to be done. Watch the needles from Ledge here. Okay, not going to happen. Ken going far back to the stage, doesn't want that reversal. Yeah. Tries to get some kind of defensive option, but Ken going to claim center stage with that spin dash. Right. Good stuff by Webb, right? Like, that's his reward because of those needles. You see that Ken now is playing back right from that ledge. So very important for him. Ooh. Oh, good dude. choice to punish that oh. with a down tilt and not with grab. Ken just double jumping out of that situation here. Another great thing about needles as well, you can outright just spin beat Sonic spin dashing. But you can also catch the landing and shoot this quick, right? A yeah. lot of characters that can chase spin dash are good against Sonic. Well, if she can do both, can stop the spin dash at the charge and catch the landing with either needles or just the sheer speed up throw. Should do the wow. trick here. Man. And just like that, Ken's gonna finally get the first lead of this set on this game too. I think the fact that Sonic can chip you out with the throw is so absurd, man. Yeah. Why? <laughs> this character is making you shield all kinds of blue spinny moves. Whoa, hold wow. on, okay. the grenade. Missing that ledge snap was huge there for Ken. Yeah, got kind of lacking, and now we're sitting at two stocks apiece here. Nice. Great air to air right there. That's so, it's so hard to also do that against Spin Dash. I know you want to like push a button too, coming down, but sometimes you you whiff, you get hit, and you get you take what 60%. Terrible situations to be in. Mmm. Good hit. All right, not gonna get a completion there on that up air. Just gonna get up air one. Good jab. Good di away there from Web. But I, I will say, I don't know how much experience Webb has in this matchup, and we know that Ken has a lot of experience, right? A good amount of Sheik's. Uh, I, th I think Sheik, in general in Japan, um, mm -hmm. a lot of the, the region thinks Sheik is a strong character, right? Yeah. So just more popular than the States. Yeah, I think in theory, bros, Sheik is definitely one of the best in the whole game. Theory, bros. In real yeah. life, bros, it's a little shaky, but it's Webb, hard. he's really coming close to delivering on the expectations some people have for Sheik. Yeah, no, think, I agree. Do you think Japan plays theory, bros? <laughs> Like they, their style the is now. a lot more theory it's closer bros. To theory bros. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like that. I like that. Yeah. I don't think necessarily their like expectations Only, for the meta yeah. are unreasonable uh, or like based on that, but like the style they embody is like they're going for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that that's like, what they're thriving for? Is right? that like the counterplay of ja like Japanese play styles? It's just like, oh, th this is theoretically the best option, so I'm gonna choose one that's worse. I right? think so, honestly. I mean, yeah, that's like, really where they usually falter because it's like it's so um, like. You just know what the game plan is, right? It's usually a bit more clear, even though it's a very strong game plan, but anything done in repetition is gonna have a gap, right? Yeah, so, yeah. And that's kind of where we tend to see issues. And also that's where we've seen some Japanese players do a lot better here versus when they're in Japan, because some of them do that's kind true. of play a bit more of how we play, more of the read base and stuff as well. Yeah, NA plays a part, for sure. Yeah. And Japan oh. plays pixel perfect to the best of their ability. Ken just running the same gameplay loop. Spin dash to one side of the stage, wait for you to try to chase him, punish you if you messed it up, and then just rinse and repeat that. Jay's looking to rinse and repeat. Another Fair one. Oh, oh, no. yeah, so Who fine. cares? Who tipper? That was so good. I think, you, I think you're totally right. The dynamic between like having the per, the percentage max is just... Look, look at Ken chilling, and WebJP is like really trying to force interactions. But like still staying so far away to where like okay, where where are the needles? Like you, you really have to get Ken to like press a button or something, yeah. get to you from that far away. Ken knows that you have to come to him. Needles or not, those are doing maybe eight, ten percent for a full stack. By the way, eighty-one seconds on the clock right now. Yeah. If he wants to, he can absolutely do this. Ken does not have to interact. He can make Web keep the chase up. He's either gonna kill him in time. Or there's no way he deals now, uh, what, 90 Ooh. damage. Ooh. Oh, hold up. Wait, though. I almost got the okay. second hit of Bouncing yeah. Fish there. And man, I, I gotta say, just in neutral, Ken's doing a great job playing around needles, even if there's no double jump, but go for things like homing attack afterwards, because that's another way to stall and then attack, right? Mm -hmm. And just to keep your way outside oh, of man. the needles here. Ken trying to close out this final stock, being a little bit more aggressive in terms of positioning. Yeah. <laughs> He's stalling out time, ah. and the bear caught you underneath. Not gonna kill though. All right, Webb 
how can you do this in 40 yeah. seconds? Is it even possible? I think it is. With Ray Sheik, it's two interactions, yeah. yeah. You need two really good interactions. The back air is not going to give those interactions to Webb, though. Ken sealing the deal, not even having to go for that. Yeah, right. And that's, a, that's the thing about playing Sonic, too, is like you can't find a solid interaction. Like You might be able to get a pot shot here and there, but you really are lucky to find like one good interaction. Like Finding multiple that leads to like your win condition is hard against this character. Well, exactly. We also saw... In these kind of situations, I, I think Sonic players are the most experienced when it comes to when the timer's like sub one minute, which is how the characters play, is what it is, right? Uh, but when you're in that situation, you're not necessarily playing to not get hit. You are playing to, oh, you are you are the opponent and you're forced to make interactions. You're forced to approach me, so I'm going to play around that. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to play to just not get hit. You don't have to mm -hmm. go for the timeout, right? Exactly. Yeah, and I think yeah. because... Like, Webb wasn't as experienced in that. That's why we saw that game five versus Akola, right? Just really tried to play the last stretch to not get hit instead of like, okay, well, Akola is forced to approach me, so I can get openings, I can get that final hit. And we saw exactly that from game. Yeah. Hey, yeah. when they come at you, you want to punish them for that because that extends your percent lead and secures your timeout win a little bit more. You knock Ken them farther that. away, they have to come back to the stage. That's yep. all time being yep. taken away. The game gets so fun when your opponent holds forward against you. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. right. I know everything you're going to do. All right, here we go. Game three, we saw each of them get their game plans to work out. In game one, it was a lot of those up air drag downs and needles into up smashes, right? Like all the kill confirms were hitting for Webb. In game yeah. two, Ken got the early lead and he never let it go. He has one right now, but it's much less sizable than what we saw in uh, Hollow Bastion. Yep, absolutely. Love the music though, we're on deck. Yeah, Battle she covers. Yep. Battlefield's the pick here, very interesting coming out from Webb. I feel like... I mean, the big blast zones, right? I, I, I feel yeah. like I don't see too much Sheik's counterpicking this stage, but Webb's gonna seem like he's pretty comfortable with it. Maybe it's a magic thing, maybe it's just a web thing. Personal, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. I think three chances, or really two chances to raindrop is nice. Yeah, yeah, true. And then, I mean, maybe just having that uh, top platform there to bouncing fish to, just mm -hmm. having that mobility option, right? What do you think about this stage at, at Sonic Band? Like, I feel like this stage is actually pretty good because you can just stay away from so many like bad situations because of the platforms. Oh, thousand percent. And it's funny too, actually, the evolution of Sonic over time when it comes to platforms. Sonic used to hate platforms. Right? Right. They used to absolutely despise it. Mm -hmm. They never, they wanted to play on FD all day, right? But then they realized, oh, surprise! If I do, if I hit you with a spin charge, a spin dash jump, and land on the platform, I have some guaranteed conversions into spring that I can do and literally can just kill you at like obscene percents, like 60, 70 percent, right? So uh, a lot of them have learned to maneuver around that stuff a bit more as well as, you know, use, using like wavelands and stuff out of aero spin charges. So I think it's a really good stage, uh, good setup for Sonic can maneuver around. Also kind of limits when people are trying to approach you when you're in spins and you're just holding it. So just, again, more time being wasted. Yeah, you have to excuse Sonic players. It took him a couple years just to figure out how to play neutral without spin dash shield, and then a couple <laughs> more years afterwards to learn combo extensions. Look where they're at now. Yeah. Wow, he even uses empty hop grab now. Yeah, I can, crazy. Wait, I can do falling aerials into a platform, into more falling aerials, and then into a rising aerial? Crazy. Oh, Ken getting that parry and no reward for it. Even still, yeah, first stock looking like it's going to go his way. It sure does. 81% kind of far away from dying here. That F tilt is so brutal, too. It, it like... Her box shifts so much it forward that you think, oh, I can punish, but when it ends, they're so far away from you. Yeah. Spin dash, forward air jab, just racking up this damage here. Webb, I feel like oh, we're starting man. to see the life exit him. Yeah, this is looking rough. Oh, oh my god. god. Wow. Yeah, I, I think... <laughs> yeah, Ken, Ken actually has been doing that all this weekend, right? Through those forward smashes at the ledge. And I think because of game one has been way more reserved about that situation. But now Webb actually hasn't been showing any reversals at the ledge at all. I like that from Ken. It feels like Webb is saving needles for the stock as well. Yep. I, I feel like we're not seeing the same, because when I watch a sheep, the main thing I want to see is how you use needles. And yes. I feel like Webb is using needles very different very from Very sparingly, game man. Yeah. I, I honestly don't think it's conducive right now because you need mm. to use, I, I think needles are in better, much more usage in this matchup to thwart the approaches and really like 
quite literally pin Sonic down, right? Like, no pun intended. Right. You want to make sure that he's not able to be super mobile so you can approach in the ways that you want to with Sheik and your amazing frame data and actually compete. When you're holding on to needles, you're taking that out of the, nice. the repertoire for neutral, and now Sonic just gets to run amok, right? And that's kind of what we've been seeing from Ken. I feel like the problem is that Ken doesn't have to do these ground level spin dashes toward Webb if he is in the lead. Right? right, right. We yeah. saw that game plan working out for Webb in game one because Ken was on the chase down, right? Yeah. Then you can throw the needles to try to either whip punish him or preempt his approach. But right now, Ken's just spin dashing and then either faking him out or jumping over and resetting to the other yeah, side. Yeah, and I think the stage also really helps Ken because if Web JP decides to start throwing out more needles, like what if you stay on the platform? At that yeah, point, you're, right. you're not really like in a threat zone for needles and you don't even have to think about like approaching too because there's two platforms. You stay on the left or the right. Yeah, it, it's, it's very hard when you, when you think about it because, yeah, the more platforms you give Sonic access to, then Needles, it, it changes the dynamic of Needles, yeah. right? And I yeah. think Needles is the backbone of why she wins this matchup on paper. Yeah. 100%. You just have to start hot because if you don't, yeah. and the, you like, get this. Like Max said, the first stock is Omega important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even the first, like, 50, 60%. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's just, everything, man. It's everything. Both this game and the last one, Ken on the right foot to begin. So, I don't know, Webb, I mean, you could still make a couple big plays. It's technically doable, but, man, Sonic, yep. just so hard to catch. Oh, 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 spot dodge. Oh, you hate those. Damn. Yeah, that I was, felt that one. Yeah. I'm so glad Ken's been doing that a lot more, too. Just so much more, so, so much more confident with, like, the grounded tools rather than just, like, using spin dash or spin charge only. Mm -hmm. Right. Time to duff. <laughs> and it, it looked like Webb trying to go for a parry there, but just, just a tad bit of charge coming out from Ken, and... Ken is doing a fantastic job of sealing out this stock. And, and like not even in a spin dash type of way, right? And again, just really shutting down the needle pressure. Look at that, such man. Such a great job. Look at that, bro. in the face. Why are you, why are you doing all that? Why I think he knew that? that there's no way he was going to punch that from that range unless he parried. Yeah. That's that probably a risk worth taking not considering today. you got one stock, 130 damage. I remember when I used to think Sonic forward smash wasn't the best forward smash in the game, but... Yeah. I can't also, really think also, by be, the way, yeah. chat, that circle was for you. I know you guys didn't see the forward smash, so I want to make sure I circled yeah. that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Just yeah, in case yeah, you missed yeah, yeah. yeah. it. I saw Chad pretty, pretty excited hey, about it, so Ken's I think that's for you, bro. That was the real hitbox, by yeah, the way. Absolutely. You perfectly <laughs> drew it. Yeah, true. <laughs> that move is cursed. It's gigantic. frame data. Yeah. W. All right, this time around, Webb winning that opening gambit here could be huge for him. Ken's stuck at the ledge. He just can't get opened up. I mean, Sonic has great BNBs at low percents, but of course she really known for that. That's her calling card as a character. Oh no, oh, no. this one reversal, so much damage. That was just a two piece. Yeah, up there to back air doing like, what, 31 maybe? Yeah, Ken's so good at recognizing the re reversal situations at the ledge, recognizes mm -hmm. when he can get a reversal and recognizes when WebJP could potentially get a reversal. He's been playing the ledge so well. And Ken, even with so little space to work with here on Hall of Bastion, so good at avoiding everything Webb is trying to throw at him. Oh. Nice, the call on the spot dodge. Okay, we are looking a lot better now. We close, a great opportunity here for Needles. A little too preemptive though. Yeah, Ken just gonna swing back right there, forward air. So oh. good at shaking them off you, forward smash, nice. Okay, full rack of Needles here. We saw Webb use it. Previously for an edge guard attempt, Sonic and she Ooh. both very hard to edge guard. Oh my god! Wait, what? That, yeah, it's yeah. He messed up. That, so, that was kind of hard. Void actually mentioned that's a very hard vanish yes. to do, where you creep onto stage and yeah. there's a very specific angle where you can go back onto the ledge and you regain your intangibility because you touched the stage. But it's a really hard angle. Webb did it twice in tournament. He did. And Void was impressed. He was like, and Void's a technical player. And Void was like, I'd never do that last soft tournament song. And right. I mean, this is the, I think this is the first time this tournament we've seen Webb mess it up. But so, so still very impressive, but dang, this is loser's bracket, man. Yeah, I think on day one, I saw him get a kill with it. And I was like, damn, that's really oh, good. No! no! Wow. 73 after the hit. Oh, Jersey, it might be Jover, boys. Oh, Wait, man. the cross up, okay. Okay, okay. Some, some. Do you believe in Rage Sheep? That's that's what it really comes down to. <laughs> I, yeah, I right? definitely don't. Because he. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, well then. Okay. Relax with the Zoomer vibes. Yeah. Dude, for and Rage the, Sheep, yeah. though, like anything can kill you. It's scary. And, yeah, with, yeah. With, and a grab can kill. It's scary. It's it's very. Especially against a character like Sonic. Sonic is like the king of straight hits, right? Yeah. All right, well, Webb, for the first time, you are actually facing elimination right now. What are you made of? Do you have what it takes to make this insane comeback? Yes, sir. 
Okay, the directional air dodge getting back onto stage. Webb not taking too much time, trading back and forth here with Ken. We'll see if he can find out some kind of strategy. You gotta dominate Ken two stocks in a row without losing this final stock here. But this could well be the last stock for Webb in this tournament. Or watch the throne here. He's had crazy performance, crazy close game five scenarios with some of the best in the world. Would hate to see him go out like this. Yeah, I, I know, man. I really like how confident Web JP has oh, been moving this whole time. Cooked, yeah. uh, as I yeah. say that, he gets picked up by straight air, back air. Damn, we didn't even get to see Rage Sheet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> man. The legendary Rage Sheet. Yeah. Rage Sheet. Did he go into his final form? <laughs> yeah. Rage Sheet doesn't exist. I just feel like uh, it, it's so easy to run out of steam against a character like Sonic, right? Especially when you're playing Sheik, who has yeah, to win yeah. so many interactions in every matchup she plays. Now you're fighting the character that, it, like, you get one hit per 20 oh, seconds, right? You have yeah. to work so, so hard for it. And Ken, really the embodiment of that style. Yeah, I, I really have to give it to WebJP. Like, the amount of discipline it takes to uh, play this matchup and still be willing to, like, press so many buttons, even though it hasn't been working out. Uh, man, it's hard. It's hard to keep yeah. up with this character. Mm -hmm. No weak nair into back air. We yeah. saw the back air that killed him on his second stock criminally early. She just doesn't have the durability, man. Like, this is definitely one of those characters that on paper is so, so, so good. But when it comes to the human element, you get punished extremely hard, man. I, I'll say it, I've been a Sheik doubter since day one of Ultimate. I love seeing the players make it work or try to make it work. Um, but it's a tough life, man. When you sign up for that, tragedy is sure right. to follow. When you ain't playing theories, bro. No, I, yeah. I'm playing Definitely human not. bros. Human bros? <laughs> He's a human. Yeah. There you go. I'm I, I love that uh, just analogy. Yeah. It's, it's so sick. But yeah, man. Um, great stuff to WebJP. I, I just really want to commend him on a successful campaign. Some amazing yeah. game five sets with some of the best in the world this entire weekend. And, you know, for those of you guys who, who don't know, too much about web you might be thinking wow this guy's probably been labbing chic since day one of ultimate you know to be able to play her at this level he played lucas and zss for the first like two three years of this game yeah the chic yeah. is a recent project Ac actually i believe after uh events started coming back in person mm -hmm. that's when the chic started coming around and it took some growing pains but now web is absolutely one of the best in the world with the character web is a grinder for sure yeah. how yeah. long has web been playing chic about a year i, I don't know a the exact little bit numbers. longer than a little that, bit I longer think. Yeah. Like one to, Close, one to two closer years. to two yeah closer I think. to two okay yeah because i i remember the first time i saw web playing in tournament it was zss okay mm -hmm. and then to my knowledge uh one or web was a player that believed in chic a yeah. lot of players told him like hey you shouldn't do it and he was like no nah, i think i think i got it i, I, I even doing. told him to his face i was like bro what are you doing you know what i'm saying but that said ZSS has also fallen off in a big way, right? Yeah. She's not yes. super relevant in the meta. Um, also, not too many reps these days, you know, with Mars right. not going to much. So, mm -hmm. uh, either way, credit to Web, man. And, of course, got to show love to Jersey. Everyone out there who is watching him from back home, thanks for the support. We love you guys. Yeah, I mean, just all the support from the community. Web was a voted-in player. But, I mean, if you watched some of the sets, you might have thought he was a straight invited player or a qualified player, man. Right. I think Web. Yeah. went up against the competition so well this tournament just couldn't close out some of those close game fives man it's just even getting one of those set wins against Gluter or, or, or Akola would have been amazing but I think Webb can really take a lot of this experience right all these really close game fives I mean those are the heartbreakers right those yeah. are the sets that you learn the most from and I, I think Webb this is a great way that he can start 2024 with 100% man I'd love to see this guy go the distance I think He's on everyone's radar as of the last couple months, especially. Yeah. Win over Light at Let's Make Moves Miami. Yeah. You know, yeah, big wins. Yeah. Two. And he kind of like shut up the doubters because everyone was like bitching that Webb got voted in. And then Webb just started getting huge W's at some of these other big majors. Right. right? And, and they're yeah. like, oh, yeah. Oh, he's yeah, actually like, good. Yeah. yeah surprise. <laughs> yeah. yeah. One of the best in Jersey for a reason. I mean, uh, iron sharpens iron, right? And yeah. one of the strongest states or regions in the world is Tri State. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, of course, he's going to be good. Uh, either way, guys, let's get into a couple slides to show off some of the partners that are supporting this event. Of course, we have Genesis 10 coming up in just about two months from now, down the street from where we are here at the Guildhouse. Guys, 10th anniversary of the biggest Smash Brothers series of all time. You are not going to want to miss this. Start.gg slash GX. Get in there while the tickets are still cheap. They're only going to go up. It's still worth every penny, but, you know, save yourself some trouble and save the TO some trouble. Let them know how many people are going to come through so they know what to expect. Yeah, no, absolutely, man. Absolutely. These guys have been holding down from day one. I mean, obviously, we had Genesis Black here uh, last weekend, and that was definitely a treat, man. And I love that they're continuing to build upon, uh, you know, so much great legacy because we need it right now. We need more people stepping up, and 
holding it down in the scene and uh, Genesis has always been ready to do so so shouts to those guys of course you guys are in there go ahead and check it out and you guys are also trying to not just check out stuff in person but you want to know what's happening overall in the fighting game culture go ahead and check out arcade press these guys are holding down this is where you can find all the info you need and talking about like tech and street fighter mk you know they do it all man they really want to make sure that you have that proper info in your feed so you know what's going on with the latest tournaments man go ahead and check it out of course at arcade press and the arcade press.com and combo devils man we had a great great showcase yesterday if you guys have seen some of the footage this game is freaking sick bro we have thunder rains here today um, charles and i were able to sit down and really talk to the devs and this thing is honestly it's, it's a beautiful thing i really think they have a, a really really diamond in the rough here and also too a lot of these guys you know coming from epic coming from Blizzard, like these guys are seasoned vets coming mm, together dang. to believe in a project like when you have this happening and oh by the way you know some of these guys ex uh, pm devs right like these guys are someone who really made a did something of note in the scene and they're really trying to make their own vision and you know from whatever you know from all the stuff i'm seeing right now looks clean to me man it's very very fun hope you guys enjoyed the, the showcase uh you know yesterday but yeah we'll have some more trailers going on throughout the weekend and of course collision make sure you guys come through you can register now at start.gg slash collision of course gonna be march 15th through 17th gonna have ultimate and melee in new jersey featuring zane spargo cody schwab mk leo axe Pluto, many more the list goes on and on as you guys can see there and don't forget about Low Tide City, the final one at the Kalari. Of course, it's back. And uh, we mentioned it yesterday, but they actually have a couple games you guys probably don't expect. There's, uh, of course, Ultimate Singles, Doubles, Squad Strike, of course, Melee Singles, Melee Doubles. But don't forget about Street Fighter Six and Street Fighter Six Cruise. That it, If you've never been part of a crew battle before, like, in traditional fighting games, it's actually so fun. There's so much theory behind, like, who you send up first and whatnot, and what characters you want to play against. and don't forget about Splatoon 3, too. And we got Nasby too. I, I already felt, you know, everyone's eyes going in my direction. This game is mad yes, fun, guys. I would strongly recommend giving it a shot. Got a great lineup of characters, great mechanics. Slime canceling is kind of like a dream come true in a platform fighter for me. You know, just get that Guilty Gear Roman cancel where you can freeze time and do whatever you want to your yeah. opponent. Trust me, it's really fun. It's really intuitive. Just yeah, come out of the box. You know, think outside the box. Come out of your shell with your gameplay, and you'll have a great time with this game. And, of course, they're a supporter of the event. We had some uh, exhibitions for that as well. So, yeah, big shout-outs to them. And, of course, you guys check out all the podcasts here. There's Lights Out, Tweak Talks, and Coach's Corner. New episodes every week. You can keep up with all the Smash action from all of the best community members and we have all these different guests as well throughout all different podcasts so new episodes every week make sure to check it out on all the different youtube channels evsu tweak ssb and smash university guys if you want to support this event a little bit further please check out the merch on start.gg slash watch the throne we got some beautiful threads big shout outs to spiff the best clothing designer that yes. esports will ever see guaranteed we got the event poster kind of a last supper vibes but you know let's go yeah. flip 90 degrees yeah big shout outs to b though for putting that together some amazing artwork some amazing clothing guys this event it's not cheap to run something like this if you want to give back to the community you want to help the second one go off without a hitch please support this yeah absolutely man and of course man we talk about support this event would not be possible if it wasn't for the legends that are house of 3k we got devin making sure everything is absolute quality man and go ahead and check them out obviously you already see the twitters you see the socials but i'm telling you right now a lot of the great moments you see in smash would not be possible if devin if dill weren't there right house 3k absolutely phenomenal people and i'm so glad that we were able to team up with them for the production of this event yeah you, you can tell when production knows about smash mm -hmm. you know what yeah, i mean yeah, and you, you can yes. definitely tell and yes. it just brings so much quality and even as just a caster from our pov it makes the broadcast so much fun and i i assume it makes that the same for you chat so i hope you guys are enjoying the show yeah all, all those uh moments where we get those like replays pretty much immediately after that like the first game the second game and stuff like that and the slowdowns like mm -hmm. they're on it 
Yeah, man, Devin is the GOAT, of course. I think he's a one-man show out here from the Core House staff yeah. this weekend. Yeah, but, yeah. you know, we got Dill, John, Helper, the whole gang holding mm -hmm. it down back home in Tri-State. Yeah, thank you guys all for tuning in as well. You know, this is for your entertainment, so I hope you're enjoying the show. All of the best players in the world under one roof, and we have two of the best Europeans, the, the best European versus someone who's hot on his trail. It is Gluttony versus Tarek, and if you uh, if you go ahead and look at the set record, I mean, you might be able to predict how this one might go, but their most recent fight at UFA was game five. Yeah. So Tarek is yeah. catching up. Yeah. I mean, times have changed, right? I mean, you can even look there um, in terms of the seating, right? And we're seeing uh, the rise of Tariq, and also at the same time, you're seeing like, well, not like a full decline, but like you're seeing first seed, now going into second seeds here for Gluttony. So you, you're seeing a lot of players where it's been this interesting trend. You kind of had Leo who like was going around and evangelizing Smash, as it were, teaching <laughs> all these other players here and there, you know? <laughs> and then Smash Crusade. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Spreading the good word, right? Yeah, spreading <laughs> the good word, you know? Spreading the good faith, right? And, you know, one of the people that he really sat down with was like, Gluto is so good. And he would play with him time and time again. Then Gluto started coming more stateside. And we saw his rise because we all knew he had that potential. Uh, and then he, you know, brought that back. Mm -hmm. And now you're seeing, like, the rise in general of EU. So hey. it's been a really cool thing to see. We've seen the same thing in Melee, right? Where the European players like Armada and Leffen, they were very, very good in Europe. But they didn't break out into that next level until they started coming to the U.S. and then bringing that skill level back home. And then, again, iron sharpens iron, right? Yeah. If your region right. levels up, if they start challenging you more, you're going to get better. And, of course, your whole region is. Yeah, I, I do want to talk about Tarek a little bit. I believe, like, he actually just started traveling to compete within this year, 2023. So, like, the rate of improvement, he's told me, has been substantial thanks to traveling out to more events and stuff like that. So if you guys are ever on the fence to coming out to uh, events, like, hey, there's so many big ones coming up. Make sure you get out there and really level up your game. It's true, man. I see a lot of stoop kids who are afraid to leave their stoop and kind of go to a <laughs> tournament and get humbled. I'll be real. I thought I, I knew I was some hot ass at my first tournament, right? And I was, rightfully so. But you just keep going. You keep showing up. And there's something to be said about playing against other tournament level players. Yeah. Especially when you travel as well, right? And you don't even have to necessarily get on a plane and travel, maybe do some carpools and stuff like that. But mm -hmm. making sure that your tournament experiences aren't always with the same group of people, I think is very important because you want to be really strong at adapting. And I mean, Gluto, one of the strongest, if not the strongest player at adapting, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, good damage there for Tariq. Good step back. I love that cross up there for that Nair. Going to find an opportunity here, dash attack. Not going to be able to get its mark, though. Ooh. Trying to get that up, man. Trying to close the stock early and start some kind of lead. Almost in that perfect spacing where he could have caught the roll out or the neutral get up with yeah. that up smash. Not necessarily the sweet spot, but still. Tarek holding okay, on right you. now. Monster. Oh, beautiful tech coming off the top. Yeah. If he didn't hit that tech, he was for sure dead. Yeah, Gluto is just always so phenomenal on these intentional footstools, right? In his edge guarding. I mean, he's one of the best to do it, man, honestly, on a consistent base. Oh, getting using the Hydro Pump against the bike. That's so important against Gluto. Gluto almost feels like the main force of his neutral comes from the bike, right? Mm -hmm. And definitely is ledge trapping. You have to deal with that coming down, and then you have to deal with Wario right there to punish whatever option you picked around it. Hold, hold right. on, though, the reversal. Yeah, back air. Gonna seal the deal on that first stock. Yeah, good drift there by Terry. He's gonna move on four at 145, though. So, yeah, straight hit will kill, as seen. And so now we're back to two stocks apiece. And yeah. a full lot for Pluto ready to go. Both, both of these players are so nimble, too. You can see how they weave in and out. The neutral is always so fun to watch between these two players. Pluto, of course, very exceptional in the air. But Tarek actually is doing a good job, like, air to airing uh, Plutonium when he can. Oh. Drag down, jab oh, lock. Oh. Too much jabs though. Yeah. You have to go for one because the other one just pushed them off the stage there. Mm -hmm. And I mean, to optimize damage, you want to go for two, but sometimes you don't have the space for it, right? Yeah. Oh, good catch. She's gonna go for double jump fair though. Not not any uh any big damage. But we're getting closer to that time, man. That waft is in the building. It's ready to roll. Yes, Let's see sir. if Gluto will opt to use it here on the second stock. Maybe if it gets a, a juicy up tilt or mm -hmm. up landing up air. Main combo starters here for at least the two-piece walk combo. Right. right. Tark just content to back up and let Gluto come to him. Small percent lead, and of course you don't run the risk of getting wafted from all the way across the stage. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. But the second you get near this man, 
worked so hard to jump in on Gluto, that up air. That was a pretty respectable disjoint on that. It's gonna turn right into a kill. I don't even know how he, how he found that up air, too. Tarek was doing such a good job, like, staying away from that kind of threat zone and waiting for Gluto to mess up right there. Tarek got a little impatient, tried to jump in on Gluto, saying I can air to air, but uh, that's what happens. Yeah, not gonna happen, man, especially when someone's center stage, right? Like, sitting right underneath that platform. It's just gonna be harder to get that jump in, and that's really what Gluto was able to use to land that waft. And now is in this great lead here. Looks like he's potentially gonna close it out with a two stock. We will see if Terry can make something happen. Get chopped, you know, sometimes you gotta have that daily frog to throw. Look how the lead snowballs. Once Gluto lands that walk, even if it's not to close the game out, just, you know you have to rush this man down. You're gonna keep running into those hitboxes. Right, because the second waft is charging, right? It, and that's the thing about Wario. It's like, when you have to approach it because of waft, it's very situational, right? If it's last stock and the, the waft is online, it's like, oh, okay, well, you already have full waft, whatever. But in a scenario like this, you know, having that full waft, even in that final stock scenario for a recovery scenario, it, it just gives them an extra resource. Yeah. You're not confirming into it. Right, yeah. And even half waft is still such a potent option. So, have to watch out for everything. Yeah. And even the edge guards, geez, the down airs. Gluto's been doing that all weekend. I'm glad we're seeing way more down air usage from Warriors because that move is going to be kind of ridiculous. But the jumps before the down air was so impressive from Gluto. We see Terry to go for so many stalls with the neutral B, right? So because of that, compensated with the jumps and then ripped the down air. Amazing timing from Gluto, knowing, and Gluto is so proficient at knowing that because you have to be with Warriors. Yep, right? yep. Very yeah. nuanced, right? Yeah, and like you said, he's, he's good at threatening, right? All these different types of recoveries. You know, coaxed him to go low, and the moment he saw that, that goes for a dare. And obviously, wow. you, we talked about the WAP being an extra resource. In that kind of situation, if you have WAP, and again, once you go low, that's a wrap. Like, if you're Greninja, you're going up with Hydro Pump, you're going to get hit, right? So, just a, another tactic that's going to be utilized from Gluto as we're going through as far as edge guarding. Yeah, oh, having yeah. no hitbox on the recovery is so Very bad for Greninja Wario. in this yeah. matchup. Yeah, down air with a lot of power, man. The knockback growth on that move is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's something we've seen him do a lot this tournament, particularly like Snorlax mentioned, just the down air edge guards, whether it be a two frame, whether it be a drop zone. And then even, I know you were talking about it, Ben, but I love when Gluto uses Waft to edge guard. Yeah. Not only is, can you just set up untechable scenarios because it's so strong, but it also puts you back on stage. That is the dream edge guard move, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, man. It's so damn good. Yeah, I, I think that's one of the cool things that we've seen from Gluto. He's like made a lot more He's gotten a lot better with his WAP conversions in terms of like, he has a horizontal, he has a vertical, but then he just has this raw stuff like, oh, I'm gonna parry, you know, I may use a WAP OS or I may just edge guard with it, right? Making yeah. sure that he can use that resource whenever possible, that so he's not pigeonholed into looking at only one win condition. Right, yeah, I think that bike usage that we've been seeing this weekend is a testament to that too, Bam, right? Like, he's been using bikes in so many different situations and been getting better at like using the hard toss, soft toss, like leading up to uh, any kind of edge guard situations or even just in neutral, right? It's pretty insane how much uh, Gluto's been innovating this character. Yeah. All right, okay. hey, opportunity. Oh, no one home. Yeah, but you see the weaving. I mean, just Gluto's so good at abusing Wario's air acceleration. And again, using the bike to kind of block off these shurikens, that's one of the main things Gluto uses bike for. It's one, to extend his range, two, to block these projectiles, right? Yeah. All right, Tarek with a very sizable nice. lead here, the forward air. Gonna finish off that stock here. Okay, now Greninja has some great low percent combos. Let's see what Tarek's able to string together. If you get that extra credit, if you make Gluto feel the heat, that's when we're gonna start to see his game plan crumble a bit. Yeah, no, absolutely. And now he's gonna go into like 30% here for Wario. You know, he's got his little rage as well too, so a good dash attack right here can lead into a ton of damage. All right, good catch. Something else okay, I want to point no out is uh, Greninja's out of shield game is terrible, right? Yes. Normally, Wario does kind of have to worry about how he's using his aerials to approach, mm -hmm. and that's not necessarily an issue for him here. True. Right. I, I did see Tariq uh, get a footstool out of shield, right? But he, uh, missed, he missed input, right, and got a nair instead of a dare on that. But there are some things Greninja can do, but again, that's going to be on the more technical side and universal side. To your point, these general options are going to be absolute trash out of shield, which is why the character is always going to be bobbing and weaving yeah. most of the time. I mean, and that's why we saw in, like, game one, Gluto did a landing back air and then did an immediate rising back air, because what are you going to do? Like, there's no option right there. Okay, oh, wow, let's look at the kill. One. Yeah, I'll Yeah, stop. didn't go for the up smash after the yeah, down right? Yeah, uh -huh. Tarek plays so good. Yeah, very, very good. Wow, three stocks to one here. Very different from this game 
one that we saw Guido pretty dominant and okay got him with the forward air there no walk required no big resources here so down a stock but you know the vibes. We all that. I tried to avoid it. I tried to avoid it. Just think about Wario doing the Sonic pose. Like, yeah. That's such a cursed <laughs> image. No, I think Guido do it, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know the vibes. Uh, I need a picture of him doing that, actually, for real. So I think the big question here is, is he going to use the WAPs? for the second stock or for the last stock. Personally, I think you do it to get yourself back in the game, and mm -hmm. then you kind of slow play it to build up another one, yeah. but with only three minutes on the oh. clock. I feel Glitter loves to do it once he gets down, he takes one stock, because the fear factor they have, oh, wow. right? Like. I, I think he just wants to take the stock. I feel like he does this a lot, where he... Guido usually saves it for his last, yeah. last stock. He, he, he wants the fear of God in your soul. <laughs> <laughs> last stock, last hit situation. Yeah, that's pretty true. I mean, like, what you should do versus what works for Gluto, who is the master of mind games and controlling you with fear. Of course, no one can really uh, glimpse into this guy's mind. No, it's hard. Ooh, that's a whole lot of damage. Okay. Oh, the fastball would have been huge right there. Could have been weak in there into a smash attack. Oh, oh man, it doesn't connect on that bounce it up some hit. Maybe that's why Terry went for the fair earlier, yeah, right? Maybe, interesting, maybe yeah. not as true here, but wow, so oh, it is oh. to do it. Oh, and we're eating. Oh no, is it happening, boys? Where's the restroom at? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the walk vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't find it. I'm not yeah. gonna make it, guys. I, 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 I gotta go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Far Phoenix ride. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, my goodness. Alright, seven percent here. Just getting closer and closer to that. Like usually what 40, 50 percent range is usually when we see uh Gluto go for these WAP setups, that up tilt, that up air. But we also see starting with the Nair as well, right? And just kinda of go for the corner carries. I think for Nair to work on Greninja, I doubt it connects at these earlier percent, so Gluto's gonna have to at least rack up. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, no, no, wait, oh, no, 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 <laughs> you, you're, you're right though, Charles. It, it is hard with a character like that because it, 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 that character stays so low to the ground too, right? So getting yeah, that initial... Yeah, I just initial... assumed that. Yeah, but I, I guess not. I, I, Gluto, Get Gluto the camera like, off me, man. <laughs> Gluto was like, yeah, it never works here. Let yeah, me mold in yeah, peace. Yeah. Got him. And the, uh, oh, GG's. Look oh. at this. It was the roll, and uh -huh. then the, oh, he's like, oh shit, I gotta roll back. The double roll. Oh shit, I'm in the look corner. Oh, you don't even know why he's moving. Oh, uh, uh, off a rising uh, there, yeah. no less. Uh, hey, what's good, baby? Ah, hold that real quick. Look at his eyes. Oh my goodness. Yo, you know it smelled crazy there, bro. Could, yeah. could you rewind <laughs> it? Did the second nair even connect, or was that just Greninja like no, landing it, on it, the it, ground? It was both. Uh, it was yeah, both. Oh, okay. But no, but the second year nair hit only connected because Greninja is a fast one and landed on the ground. Yeah, it has a landing. Exactly. Look at him. The uh, restand. Yeah. The re yeah. See ya. Yeah. There oh my god. We are locked in, baby. Bro. And then. Don't do up? it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Is it Rage Warrior? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, look at, his, look at his face. He's so happy. Bro is locked the fuck in. He is silly. So, impact landing is usually like two to four frames. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Terry could not shield here. No, but no, I think no, it was done. I, no, no, I think no that shot. was true. Yeah. True act. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yes. Okay. Bluto somehow bringing that one back. <laughs> somehow. Man. That when I whenever I see someone double roll, they're jammed. Yeah, like yep, you already done. showed your opponent oh, that yeah, you just yeah, completely yeah. respect them and fear them. Yeah, it's yeah. a mental boom. Yeah, like, yes, take, yes. Take, take my life now. Like, <laughs> never double roll. Yeah. Never show your opponent the fear. Yeah. You gotta do the triple roll instead. Oh not yeah. that. No. No. Yeah. Triple yeah. roll becomes yeah, big brain, right? Yeah. Big brain, right? yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, Gluto, he's so opportunistic. He knows exactly how to look for those and clearly reaping the rewards. Tarek, though, gonna run it back here to Town and City. I kind of like this stage for the matchup. I don't think that really had much to do with it, other than the fact that it makes Wap kill a little bit earlier. Yeah. Which really mattered that last game. <laughs> yeah, specifically. <laughs> Very much. <laughs> All right, we're gonna step back. But you do have the space, right? I, I, I do agree with you, Max. This, this... This stage has a lot of room to work with. Any character that's really quick and nimble, you want more stage to work with so you can just dash around and work money, yep. right? And of course, I mean, you can just go airborne too with that great full hop as well. Oh Greninja. yeah, Greninja has an incredible full hop and double jump. One, yeah. of, one of the best double jumps in the game, if yes. I'm not yep. mistaken. Yeah, absolutely. I was, actually, Greninja. I was actually surprised he didn't just try to jump over completely. But again, like you said, the fear of God was in his soul. <laughs> and yeah. he, you know, and he's like, cool. 
that first roll, roll was <laughs> almost certainly an accident, right? Yeah. Maybe like a dash shield, but your hands are shaking because you're fighting yeah. the bad yeah. man. Yeah. That, yeah. That the last big man. Why, why did God give Wario so much gas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do they feed this guy, bro? That's what I want to know. Either way, uh, game three here. Tarek still alive. There's still a chance. And a down tilt to up smash. Going to kick it off that on the right foot. Yeah, that platform almost screwed up that combo. Yeah, very close. Yeah, that's the worst when you see a platform like screw up a Greninja combo. It's like, ah, dang. Oh, yeah, wow. should have been a better character. See you. Down throw into <laughs> Nada right there. Okay, this time we're going to go for up. Couple up airs to follow. And yeah, that does get uh, Wario's uh -huh. entire moveset clean from underneath. The yes, tracking sir. is so good from Tarek. Yeah, you can see how high uh, Tarik can put some of these up airs, right? Because of the full hop, because of the double jump height is just so crazy. And just how fast those jumps are as well. Yeah. Yeah, Greninja, one of the few characters that really can kind of chase almost everywhere, right? You see that kind of in VSS. Obviously, see it with Sonic, too. Just extremely mobile, not just on the ground, but also in the air. This is a huge wow. lead for Tarik. Offstage scenario here, trying to line up this back air, the bike trades, but there's no bike here. Maybe, oh, but the platform coming yeah. to Pluto's rescue. Just in time. This transformation is the, the most messed up, by the way. It is, yeah. for yeah. sure. People yeah. died so early on this one. This, and, is a, this, this is definitely the alleyway. That's the, that's the robbery. Yeah, this is <laughs> the alleyway and the stretcher way. Because, yeah. like, yeah. we've seen so many players get stretchered in this specific, uh, you know, formation. <laughs> Gra grabbing someone on the platform right as it's rolling away is probably one of the best feelings, but when you get grabbed, you're like, why was I even there? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Thought he was about to clap it up. Not yet. Knocks off the bike, though. Ooh, Ooh the bear. last hit of the forward air right there. Okay. Gluto knows how to bring back percents. Like, I feel like this man's never out. Of course, it's lost, but, like, even without it. The bike juggler. Ooh, wow. Extra delay right there on the counter, and yeah. it's going to end up going through. But Tarek, his lead is slowly slipping away here. Oh, the oh, trade! Wait, Still alive? Wow. No, okay. Wow. That was a that Fantastic. was a gimp with bite. You that gotta knock God Wario bike. really low, and that I think that was a drag down trade yeah. because it was back yep. air. So since it was a multi hit property, got the you know the drag down mm -hmm. properties there. So wow, and, and Wario's not even a fastballer, so usually the floatier character is not as susceptible to that. But that was extremely cut cut coming out from Terry. Yeah, yeah back air is so messed up from Greninja too, because there are some like drag down like back air combos that yes. like are true. Like back air forward smash actually yep. works. It's, yeah, that back air drag down is pretty ridiculous. Brutal. All right, let's see. Tarek, did you learn from the last game? Are you able to clutch this one out? I low-key think timing him out would have been a viable strategy last time around, but now we got three minutes on the clock yeah. and a very healthy Wario, so yeah. I don't know if that's necessarily on the table. It's funny because we're, we're saying, like, Terry, can you clutch it out? And Terry's the one with two stocks. Yeah. Can you clutch this <laughs> one out? Yeah. Like, two stocks you know, one, but you you're absolutely right, Max. I mean, we've seen this scenario last game, right? Yeah. Feels like this guy is never losing yeah. until you see the victory screen, right? Yeah, the Gluto lives for this, man. I'm telling you. Always, I, yeah. he, he wants to make sure he had the walk on deck last stock, dude. He wants to hurt people. I swear he's an adrenaline junkie. Oh, free! Uh, yeah. He loves it. <laughs> He'll lose the first two stocks on purpose just to get, just to feel something. Just to feel something? Oh, yeah. oh no. Gosh, damn it. Oh, no. Oh, he he's he's nasty. Nasty. oh, what's up? Don't, well, don't roll, roll in. Don't yeah. roll in. Okay. Where you at? Never roll yeah. in for school. Look at him. Never. Yeah, he, he, he's just chasing him. Okay, you catch up the bear. Oh, the turnaround on the bike. Oh, no bike. Oh, so There's huge. no bike here. He's bikeless. He's going to oh, have to use walk. That's it. Yeah, Is he, he going to do it? Oh, yeah, yeah double jump. Yeah, he has to walk. Wow. All nice. right. Pluto losing his X Factor here. He's got to get it done in an honest fashion. I feel like Pluto can do it too, though, in this situation. So good at like racking up the percent still. Even. Oh, okay. Wow. Still caught off guard anyway. Good catch. Jeez. We saw Terry not pull the trigger. Uh -huh. Knew the platform test chase was coming. Didn't yeah. throw out the up smash, right? Waited it out, reacted, got the up air after the platform drop, and then finished the job there. Very nice stuff. Very clean stuff. And not getting too demotivated after that game number two was like, hey, I'm still in this set. I can still clean it up. Gets on the board here. Yeah, but I, I want to point out something. I do really like what you're saying, Mr. Rocks. I do agree that, like, Gluto is still in a position where that's winnable, right? You know, and that winnable. Yeah, and I think that's why he does that walk because it's either a people are too shook and they go ahead and they just lose it, like he just uh, beats them outright with the walk, or because they're so shook and they pick their poison, they'll take the lesser of the two evils. He racks up damage anyways, and if he does lose walk, he's still in a position now. It's close, yeah, right? Exactly. So he, there's there's the like 
you get the like the implicit and the explicit, you know, benefits from Waff, which is really so good for them. Good catch though there yeah. to me to close that out. Two one man. Isn't it insane that like the, in this game the rate of rising is in insane. Mm -hmm. Like characters that jump high get there immediately. Look at that stress, bro. Look <laughs> at that stress. Be like, uh, I swear to God, it takes yeah, years yeah. off your life oh, to fight this guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, there. Tarek was like, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Man. Win yeah. or lose. <laughs> You're losing years off your life against this dude. <laughs> And uh, it's crazy too because the whole time you like have the lead, you're, you, it against most other players slash characters. When you look at that scenario, you're like, oh well, you're fine, right? But yeah. against Cluedo slash Wario, the answer is you're not fine. I think in this game too, like more more people feel so comfortable when they're like down for some reason. Like if if you're up like two stocks to like someone's one, sometimes it feels even more stressful. Like I have to close this out. I know like light likes playing from behind more than being. Alive. Yeah, I feel like sometimes there's pressure on it's you like when you're winning. It's like, oh, I have to win. Like, shit. Like, I look so dumb if I drop this lead. Whereas well, you look really badass if you make the comeback. Exactly. I've heard, yeah, yeah. Because when you start getting momentum, it just feels sick, right? Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. I've heard too many players, like, say this. Like, man, I just keep blowing the lead. Like, I keep losing the lead. Like, I just have to get better at playing with the lead. <laughs> it's so hard to do, honestly, to keep up. All right, so Battlefield is the pick here for Gluto. See if Tariq can bring this back to a game five. Gluto started the set off with a 2-0 lead. Uh, a sp coming in with the robbery on game two. Uh, KOing Tariq at about 7% before the Nair. Nice, I like the situation Tariq set up right there too with the landing Nair. Might have led to a, a fair afterwards, but still finds the air dodge trap right and getting jazz against Gluto. Ugh. But Gluto... Still keeping the pressure alive, even with Targ's great movement. I gotta say, man, the games have been so even at the beginning, right? It's just like Ludo's usually ready to snatch it from you at the end. Last time we saw a different story, so maybe Targ this time will be able to replicate that. Again, it doesn't look like it's out of hand yet. Right. Also, another side note, just kind of unfortunate that in uh, we, that we have uh, both these players facing off because they're both Europe, right? Wish it could have been a little bit more of a mixed bag here, but nonetheless, both of these players have played a good amount against each other, but the fact that they got to play here at Watch the Throne, especially on the loser side of things as well. All right, and some new cheer. Tries to get the uppy out of shield. I love the forward tilts coming out from Tariq this weekend. Yeah, true, true. I, I feel like forward tilts kind of uh, underexplored with Greninja. It's it's not necessarily fast, but it's just the fact that you put out a hitbox saying like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stand my ground, you're not going anywhere. Yeah, I actually think it's like, like, it's really just underrated because you also gotta look at the, the nature of the character, right? The character is such a fast character, and so having something that has that kind of range, it's not the fastest tilt in the world, but it's also not the slowest one either. Mm -hmm. And it can set up situations where people are like, characters are gonna be low to the ground, maybe potential tech chases, or in a situation where they're like at that short hop height where, it's a danger to air dodge or double jump. So I do think that it's great that he's usually a bit more. Mm. Another down air edge guard right there. Getting so much mileage out of, out of Wario's head. He's got a helmet on for a reason. Oh, he's going up? Okay. Oh, I think he wanted that dash, man, to really chase underneath after he got yeah. that initial up air. But nice. oh, what? What? The heck? what? what? Greninja! That? Damn, that sucks. <laughs> man. I don't even know how that happens. Like that's, I feel like when you're that high up there, you're da you're definitely going off the top. Right. Well, I, I think uh, Tariq was just a little too far to the left since the tech roll was, or too far to the right because the tech roll was to the left there. Very unfortunate stuff. Uh, I guess there's very, you know, a bunch of different variables when it comes to that up smash. It is unfortunate, but I'm gonna have to shake it off here and try to get some kind of other confirm or a straight hit. Trying to wipe off the second stock, and Gluto still has walked online, has the lead as well. Yeah. Yeah, this percent I really feel like only weak neutral air is gonna set up into anything. Otherwise, you gotta hit that raw. So, oh man. My gosh, oh. So close to oh, no. oh my extra soul. Oh, it's just over. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy that like Gluto finds a hit and sets up like these terrible situations and not necessarily going for the true combos, but just going for the huh, I wonder if you panic here. And then afterwards just kind of Put you in that infinite, uh, infinite vortex of like, oh, you keep panicking, you keep panicking. You're eventually gonna get hit by the lobs. Yeah, I mean, 
it's again now i was kind of talking about earlier with the f tilt but that same applies like that spot right there when you're like just above the ground is such a dangerous situation right because if you air dodge you do have moves at that point in time where you land your air dodge is done and you still get hit by active moves if you double jump you get caught and now you got hit you're airborne and you don't have your double jump so it's it's a very it's a real legitimate mix up here in those kind of circumstances so good stuff by gluto to hold, close that one out but man he's his advantage is too damn good, man. This guy is just be robbing people daily, and you could see Terry has seen it way too often. He's grown up seeing this man rob all his countrymen, you know, day in and day <laughs> uh, out. So you already know the vibes, man. I could be, stuff. I could be different, bro. I yeah. the but I can roll look in at that. Look, that's, that's a crazy, down though. tilt. That's and that's what makes this matchup so like difficult for Greninja is your like combo starters are all <laughs> so low to the ground, but. Gluto's always in the air. Mm -hmm. They're great at punishing landings, but how wow. do you track landings from a character like yeah. this with yeah. so much mobility? Yeah. Oh, dude, Gluto, he's always been phenomenal at this, but I feel like when we saw him really kind of come into his own at the, like, the top top level yeah. has been like the aerial whiff punishing like that situation that circumstance right there where you try to look for a fair but drifts all the way back right in the perfect position for that roll and it gets a punish good stuff there but Tariq man what's going on brother Hi. um I just wanted to say like I appreciate the support a lot I'm happy to be here it's rough uh, <laughs> being a Tariq fan out here um I may need a moment, but I do want to say that I appreciate a lot that I even got in here. I just really want to say thank you because this opportunity is, has been a dream of mine. I may not have it one set, but I made it close against everyone that I played, and I'm proud of that. So, hey, hey. hell yeah! Hey, I love baby. Thank you. It's only up from here. It's only up from here. Hey man, very well done to Tarek this weekend. You you cannot walk into a tournament like this and feel bad about losing to anybody. Everyone here is so talented. Yeah. There's going to be someone who doesn't have a win on their record. There's going to be potentially more than one person yeah. that meets that same fate. So that yeah. is fine. I know yeah. my ass isn't taking a game off any of these yeah. guys, right? So I'm very proud of him for Speak coming for yourself, all the way <laughs> coming <laughs> all the way out here hey, hey, from yo. Germany, man, <laughs> repping Europe in a big way. It sucks that he had to play Gluto for elimination, yeah. but that's just how it goes. And man. also, like, Tarek yeah. is such a nice personality he to have is. around. Like, if you've ever, like, talked to him or hung out with him, he's so fun. And I, I just love the interactions that he has with so many other players, too. It's just... I'm glad that I'm glad that he's here, like for real. I mean, Leo almost got last place at this tournament. Yeah. Let that let that sink in. Yeah. One right? game away. Yeah. yeah, one game away was down in the set. Mm -hmm. So I mean, even seasoned players, the goat of this game, almost got that placement. The, these tournaments, these type of tournaments, are so hard to get it W's is. in. Just even just set wins in. Right? Yeah, no, absolutely, man. Like you said, just the general tournaments, but like the caliber of play. And recently, it's it's at a point where I think it's crazy that. I feel like we just got into the fold of being like, man, now we got to deal with the new number ones, Spargo and Akola, and that was the narrative, right? And then it feels now we're transitioning even more so because just so many people continue to get good at this game. Yeah. Like, people were just, like, so I feel good. like a couple months ago, I've seen people like, oh, the game's solved. Everyone kind of knows who's good and who's not good. Right. And then we're seeing, oh, a new person comes up. Oh, a new person, you know, knocking on the door. Yo, there it is. It's crazy out here, bro. Like, people are absolutely talented. I think just to be in the same league with a lot of these players is, you know, credit to you, man. It's, it's going to be hard, obviously, as a competitor. You want to win, right? You you feel like you let people down and all these things, but great showcase by him, and I hope that this is the start of a continued growth for him, right? So oh, for right. Sure. that's yeah, for what sure. I want to see from this, right? You got close, right? You get that, you know, proverbial monkey off your back, okay? Going to next year, swinging and making it happen. And yeah. plus, you still have the whole rest of the day to play some of the best in the world, yes. right? Soak up that experience, bring that back mm -hmm. home. And yeah, I really hope to see Tarek go even further in his career. But we have one set left for the Losers Top 16 guys. It's going to be another European representative who is kind of struggling to prove himself right now as well. Bloom Forever versus Luis, holding it down for NorCal. Player who is here every week, collecting his yeah. paycheck. Gonna feel right at home on that stage. And uh, a very young player in Bloom coming all the way from the UK. Let's see how he's able to hold a candle to one of the best in the entire US, but especially in California. Yeah, no, thousand percent. And I mean, yeah, you're talking about it, the hometown hero, Luis. 
And we got, uh, you know, this is a little bit uh, unique from, you know, uh, like a Summit style where we do have a lot more people in attendance and obviously we are in NorCal. So there's also going to be that kind of crowd vibe coming into this one here. Bloom, someone I, I actually even talked with Zomba yesterday and even he was kind of surprised that we... At the kind of showing that we've seen from Bloom. Not to say that he's like shown bad, but more so people have just been like a lot more proficient at the Bayo matchup than True. I expected yeah. going into the invitational, right? And so I think that might have taken uh, Bloom back, but I think he's incredibly talented. I really do want to see him do well, but bro, hometown hero, man, you know, you know everyone's going to be gunning for him. Yeah, both of these players here are grinders too. They're the, they were both the first people to come into this venue too. And Bloom is insane. Bloom walks up to anybody and asks for games. I think Bloom, like, before most of his matches, wanted to play with, like, people that he knew he was going to have to go against, right? Like, he walked up to Luis this morning and was like, uh, do you want to run games? <laughs> that's mad funny. I don't know if, you know, that's more of a new player thing, just not knowing the etiquette, or if he's actually trying to grime, or if he's just really trying to play. He's just trying to play, bro. Oh, didn't have double jump there. Dipped a little too low. That directional air dodge is coming out from Bayo. Not the best for grabbing ledge, particularly the up tilt up there. Not getting the sweet spot or up tilt back air. Not getting the sweet spot on that back air there. Oh, that's really gonna let Luis run away with the stock here. Because that, that is the confirm for Bayo, right? So if you're not gonna get that sweet spot, it's gonna be really hard to get this stray hit as Bayo. Yeah. I'm surprised that wish actually reached all the yeah. way over there on the soft press explosive flame. Bloom getting some damage in, but you're going to need more than that at this point. Forward air, a far cry from killing on the stage. Right. And whenever... It, oh, okay, there it is. I was just about to say, whenever it comes to, like, killing Palutena, it always feels like the Palutena has to, like, commit and mess up right there. Of course, dash attack is the biggest culprit when it comes to uh, Palutena's uh, dying at any percent. Yeah. Scouting that witch timeout. Luis, he has not forgotten this matchup from Smash 4, that's Smash for sure. Smash 4 big, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, there's some like different nuances to it too now in this game, right? Rising ABK instead of dive kick that you have to watch out for. I, I also do want to point out that like Luis actually has insane SDI thanks to the fact that like he's left-handed and yeah. the way that he holds his stick is with his thumb and his index finger, so he has uh, some crazy SDI. Tweak does the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's yeah, crazy. It's very strange. That's how I played on N64 controller when I was like six years old. That yeah. makes sense. To see tournament players do that is crazy. The hidden tech. You were right all along, young Max. <laughs> right? <laughs> Dang, that's, that's I, the I Max stuff right there. Ways, bro. I left my old ways. <laughs> no, I can't claim that because I was like, oh, my hands are big enough to hold the controller properly. Now <laughs> yeah. I don't need this shit. All right, this oh, is going to kill. That's a kill right there. All right. Also, and lefty gang. Find, oh, that's finds a way. Finds a way here at the 2 to 1. Uh, sitting at a 112, but we already know Bayo and damage racking, right? So, can easily take this and make this a far larger lead than we see right here. If there's one thing Bale's really, really good and consistent at, it's racking up damage. Oh, it's damage, absolutely. That's, that's for sure, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, right into the ABK, but great SDI on that ABK to the right there, knowing that, okay, the only other way you can get followed up here mm -hmm. is from another ABK. So, again, a lot of these Smash 4 vets really understand and know which direction the SDI based on how much resources the Bale has. Right. Well, I can't believe that up air didn't punish Witch Twist right there. Yeah. Could have been a stock for Luis. Bloom kind of getting away with murder and racking up some oh. percent as a result. Yeah, he's looking to rob him there. Ow. Yeah, smart move also. Luis has been looking at the ledge this whole weekend, getting those uh, back throws. Yeah, it's a great way for Apollo to just seal the deal on a stock. But is Bloom going to give you the grab? That's the question. Bayo with such long legs, almost feels impossible to shield grab her sometimes. Yeah. Bale. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. Gave her a little haircut right there. <laughs> yep. Last talk situation here. Of course, Apollo with some great BNBs to these low percents. We can see 40 or 50 damage come pretty pretty easily. But beyond that, I don't know. It's going to be a whole bunch of stray hits for Luis. Right. If yeah. you can find them. I, I think once you. Oh, okay. Goodbye. Oh, get kicked. Yeah. There's the sweet spot. So mm -hmm. that's how that confirmed looks with the sweet spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't be fooled. Yeah. I mean, both these characters are really tall as well. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be pretty susceptible to things like shield poking and stuff like that. I love mm -hmm. the setup coming out from Luis, kind of whittling the shield down and dashing in with that up tilt, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think also crouch in this matchup, if you're playing ba Bayonetta, is so potent against Palutena. Like, you really have to be hitting your back airs mad low or your fares, like, mad low. You don't really want to be using like fair too much as Palutena. Like it's a it's a good poke, but it really doesn't lead to too much, right? Bloom's like, man, I, I'm doing this and I can barely see the screen. <laughs> I know, man. 
Good head of hair there. It's the cost of having yeah. gracious flow like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, un it's unfair, man. It's unfair. The locks be locking for sure. <laughs> All right, man. We're going to get back into it. Great Six. opener there for uh, Bloom. You know, was able to find his mark, able to get a kill. I mean, we're still seeing a lot of great defense here from Luis, but he is on the flip side. He's having issues where he's getting kills. Like, you, you know, it's a hard life when you're getting a kill from up tilt from Polly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. That, that, that is not an optimal. Optimal way to play for sure. Here we go. Starting off already with some big damage. 52% on the board. We're on Hollow Bastion here. Looks like Bloom banned small battlefield and battlefield. Both battlefields. Yes. Taking off the map here. Oh, oh, tried to go into that second Witch Twist. Great FDI coming out from Luis. Yeah, I think you need a turnaround there to make that one a reality. But just, especially when you hit, when you get a starter from that platform, you can get some insanely early kills with Bayo. Things are really going Bloom's way in the beginning of this game, too, as well. Oh, looking for fair drag down into up tilt. Oh, which man. I'm yeah, certainly going to do it, yeah. Yeah, good, good stuff right there. Recognizing that Luis is a little, little bit anxious, really wanted to get uh, something in, get some damage, and swing that momentum back, right? I feel yeah. like Palutena is such a good character for Luis just for the fact that, like, you get one air, that momentum swings straight back. But if you can't find it, like, the way that Bloom's uh, denying anything, uh, you, uh, looks like you're going to win, man. Yeah. Luis trying to take a big bite with that down smash, man. It's not going to happen, though. I feel like making big plays like that Ooh. as soon yeah, as you're down a stock. Do it, but man, good damage. Yeah, now we can just edge guard, rinse, and repeat. Here it goes for ledge trap instead. Yeah, and even though that edge guard didn't necessarily take the stock, the damage, the positioning afterwards, so safe, yeah. and it was a good amount of about 60% there on that edge guard. So fantastic stuff coming out from Bloom. Wow. Up smash, wow. still not going to do enough with that sour hit coming out from Luis. Luis desperately trying to take this first stock here. The near drag down, not going to go into the uh, up tilt there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so finicky to get the drag downs with Palu because you have to get a hit that either grounds them or pops them up off of the ground in order right. to get certain combos. Yeah, there's a lot of finesse required for that. Yeah, yeah, finds the throw right there. No no ABK from the ledge, though. Bloom uh, really saving that one. Yeah, it, it's, it's like the monkey flip thing, right? Like, yeah. monkey flip is so mm -hmm. good that sometimes you just have to not do it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It makes them respect the threat of it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, a bunch of trading back and forth here. Oh, I love that witch time. Big hey, combo starter. Wow, Luis does have very good SDA. Oh, that was off insane. the Witch Twist 1. Yeah. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Not nice. had to have that to survive in the last game. <laughs> <Yeah>. Some things <laughs> never uh, no, leave. No, 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 not to survive, just to take 60 to 70. <laughs> yeah, true, true. No, I mean, like, just to leave a bracket without, oh, a, yes, yes. you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> without a salty car a car ride back. But. There, uh, yeah. Wow, yeah. great yeah. adaptation yeah. to yeah. the SDI, jeez. Yeah, so when you are going to be like, away or try to like, mix up and in on the cross up there, if they do go forward to the ABK, that's what pops them up, that uh, tail end hit, and you get that bear. Really phenomenal stuff there from Bloom to adapt to the DI that we're seeing from these. Ooh. Now, I want to point this out at Gateway Legends about uh -huh. five, six months ago. Luis defeated Lima there, I'm quite sure. Mm -hmm. So he's got some experience against top Bayos. He's got what it takes to beat them. The Bloom cut from a bit of a different cloth. They have very different styles, as we've highlighted yes. many times throughout this weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think Bloom's is probably better suited for a match wow. like Paul. I agree. I agree. He's less risk averse, right? But yeah. Uh, or oh. he's more risk averse. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Lima is, right? No, no, no. No, Bloom, Bloom. takes less risk. Takes yeah. less yeah. risk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our brains are a little melty. It's been a long weekend. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a very long weekend. I was like, risk what? <laughs> What's that? I love risk. <laughs> they probably got that in the venue. Yeah. Yo, we playing risk after the sport, boys? <laughs> <laughs> it might be time. Risk money match? I'm ready to lose. <laughs> be here till Genesis. Yeah. Okay, good catch. So a, One lot of, a lot of damage on Luis here. You bring it back. I mean, Paulu can just play great neutral over and over again, right? You, just this toolbox top tier. So if you just play really well here, you have all this rage. Bayo going to struggle there. to get this last hit, wow. but the same setup yeah. once again. The uh -huh. double ABK into the backer, getting a confirm at that high of a percent. That was like 150 to 160 range. How do you do it, Bloom? Yeah. That's so huge, too. And I feel like Luis was probably holding in on the ABKs to get behind Bloom on purpose, right? Make him right. overshoot you. But yeah, no, so he's look, just so, so look precise. at the second hit he gets here, right? 
So you get that side, and that's the one that will pop you up in an easy bear. That's such a good angle, too. Uh -huh. It has, like, zero knockback, uh -huh. yeah. Because at, at this percent, you usually, like... That was 160 something before the first ABK. Yeah. yeah. If he tried to witch twist there, for sure missing, right? Yeah. yeah. You can see was, the yep, DI line yep. right yeah. there. Great yeah. reaction. Yeah. Oh, so, wow, yeah, he did go out. Yeah, he and goes out. Wow, and so Jesus when you go out, Christ. that's where you get that little pop up, right? But like Bam was pointing out, there's different hits of ABK. So you also have to understand are you getting hit by the midway hit? Are mm -hmm. you getting hit by the tail the end hit, hit yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like the, the startup. Like yes. there's so many different hits of ABK. And I, I feel like Bloom can. Almost put your DI into a blender, yeah, right, and just sure. shuffle it all around and be like, actually, oh, you're at 160 and you think you're safe. Well, I'm confirming in the back here. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy that you gotta, ha you have to like adapt your SDI to the player too. Like, some characters, it's just like, oh, if you just SDI this way, you you know you can get out of it. But um, against a player like Bloom, like, and this Bayo, you really have to change it up. Yeah, no, absolutely. And just great recognition from Blue, man. Absolutely insane. There we go, Fair. Yep, absolutely. And that's a you know new combo courtesy of the the patch that happened buffs, right with yep. the F tilt. Yeah, that move still sucks, mad random but move what? to yeah. buff. But so at random. around like zero percent, you can now do F tilt or F tilt one two three into fair. fair one two three. Yeah. For yeah, that's cool. I feel like yeah. that's, it, looks that, like it should it combo into that. Yeah. 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 I mean, F tilt's mad slow, so like you deserve yeah, something like, for hitting it. It's like twelve it. frames. Yeah. Should yeah, if you be get it by that move, yeah, you should be getting blown up. Yeah. Yeah, it just fits Bayo's character profile, you know. Yeah, thousand percent. Either way, after Luis had a great start in this game, Bloom is fired back in a huge way. What's the ledge trap gonna be? Tries to jump for the ledge cancel. Yeah, I feel like once you commit to the jump, double jump, your opponent knows. Mm -hmm. You're looking for that platform ledge cancel yeah, every yeah. time. I know Paulus have been doing the like shortened teleport too, like from ledge drop, double jump. Yeah. You either go yeah. for teleport like deep to center stage, or sometimes you go for a specific angle where it's almost like a sh illusion shorten, right? Because you're mm -hmm. going into the ground, down yeah. and left, or down and right. Throw, and that's not going to kill yet, but now the opportunity here to mix ups. Oh, uh, for jab, not going to get it. Usually in those situations too, like most characters have like a great back air out of shield. Bale just gets away with it. Um, Wait, against, yeah, double jump, okay. Yeah. Against this Palu. I like the oh, punch wow. on the grab. Ducks so low with the heel He'll slide, slide right at there. One, like, at like 160, that's crazy. Almost enough to do it with the up throw. I think the next one might finally close the door on this yeah. first stock. But man, both characters not really known for their weight. Ah, hanging on one. so high here, yeah. Two yeah. skies. Playing that dance, right? Like, who, who's going to grab first? It's funny because right when Max said, I think the next one will do it, we saw a whiff grab coming out from Luis. It's like, <laughs> he knew what he wanted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He knew his win condition. <laughs> Man, 220. Oh, you know, I need to see that down throw. Oh, there we go. Throw throw too. <laughs> Bayo talking to him. Yep, yeah, absolutely. I think that voice line too means... early. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think Bloom's also doing such a good job with the, like you, you guys were saying earlier, with the teleport cancels. Yeah. It's yep. like, Luis has been teleporting to the center of the stage so much. I mean, Bloom has been, hasn't punished it, hasn't been punishing it as hard, but I feel like we can see like a really hard punish at some point. Okay, great setup here for Luis. Fading back with the ABK coming through. Not gonna combo, but these up tilts. Okay, mm -hmm. still picking up something here. Mm -hmm. Good stuff there. I'm gonna go for a Witch List 2, just gonna opt for the up air ender and then just game back to the ground here. Now it's Luis's turn. Ooh. Back air, oh no, denied by the bats. Yep. Yeah, it still has to take half damage. I guess we'll take it, but it doesn't feel as good as actually landing that back air. Luis oh. back in the lead here, just barely, ah. and that'll do it. Bam, what do you think those dash stacks on the platform are? There's no way those are dash stacks. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Maybe I'm, like I'm, a drop or runoff fair. Yeah, yeah right, sure, runoff sure. fair for sure, yeah. Because he, what, he, what he does, actually, I've seen him do where he does a fair at landing one, and then he runs off, and then he, because you get carried up again with the fair, he's able to take you to the extra platform. So he runs off and goes for another, like, fair one, too? Yeah. That's really smart. That's sick. Yeah, going, to, going from platform to platform, that's yeah, it's definitely hard. unique. Yeah, it's so dope. Right, Luis able to rack up some damage here, 57% on this stock lead. The jab trying to connect, but the neutral air dodge, not the directional. Whoa. And, huh? Whoa. Wow. That's some tech right there. Yeah. That invincible back air coming out from Paulo, probably one of the big reasons why this character is uh, still relevant. Yeah. Right. True. Nice little springboard for Bayo, though. Because I don't think that move got nerfed, right? The back air didn't get nerfed. I know, nope. like, dash attack got nerfed, grab range got nerfed, were like some of the big ones. Fair as well on oh, landing. Oh, yeah, fair. Yeah. yeah. That said, Luis looking pretty good to put himself on the board here. Stay alive in this set. 
Down throw still not enough to do it. Man, I thought maybe he'd at least try forward throw, but that does really only kill from ledge. Yeah, like, there it is. Right there. there. Good grab. At 200. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, little lower. Yeah. yeah. You know. 180. But you know what time it is, man. We do have damage on deck. 180 with rage, you know. <laughs> yeah. In the corner. <laughs> This is a, you know, a solid combo and a witch time. Yeah, you just gotta avoid some pretty big hits here. Uh, you know, we always talk about it. The damage isn't the hard part with Bayo, right? Yeah. You know, a couple of witch twists out of shield and you're good to go or first ABKs. Try to go for a heal side. That's a bigger combo starter there. And ba and Bayo can definitely get a cheese stalk if we see like an up tilt on a platform, right? Yep, absolutely. Oh. Drag down, tries to get the wow. panic option. Jab one. Oh, oh try to the shield up. Wow, very uh -oh. good from Bloom. Saying just wait a minute. Uh oh, time. Uh -oh. No, no way. way. No. Oh, oh man. man, the reversal oh. soon to come. No. No Will way. Will that do it? No shot. Yeah. No. Fail light, but not that light. Oh, okay. okay. Still but, alive. Yeah, we gotta run it back though. That's the thing. These fake ass kill screens. Oh, there oh. we go. That one's real. Jujitsu. Oh. Luis man. looking exasperated after that man. That was immaculate di coming out from Luis because if. He, if Luis didn't go back in, that was Witch Twist 2 in a fair, a thousand percent was going to be the stock. That's, yeah. that's the scary part, right? You never know what's going to happen. After you get hit by one thing from Bloom, it's like, okay, which way do I SDI now? Mm -hmm. Like, it's not even just DI, too. It's like both DI and SDI. Yeah, I thought Bloom was going to go for, like... Because I've seen Bloom go for setups like uh, up tilt and then you go for up air, up air, and then the second up air you're landing on the platform and then you can go for double up air, back air, Yeah. right? Yep. So yeah, like, we, too. we've seen that one too. So it's like Bloom has so many crazy ways to set up socks with Rage. And especially when the when the combo starter is up tilt, oh man, mm -hmm. that's like one of the best combo starters for Bale. True. And then you also get instances too where people, instead of going for the Witch Twist 2, they just go immediately into a fair, right? And try to slow fair and get oh, yeah, the, the yeah, yeah, delayed yeah, fair, well. right? Lima's yeah. really good at doing those slow delayed fairs. Yeah. Just for the carry closer to the blast zone, yeah. right? Ooh. Great call out. Yeah, that dash deck is pretty active. Wow. That was like a straight pop out. Yeah. Luis's SDI is evolving throughout the set. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's you, good, man. You and got, so are Bloom's routes. Yeah. yeah true, yeah. true. Very fun to watch. Oh, that was a single hit up tilt. Is it better to get single hit up tilt or both hits? I would imagine both hits, but you, it looks like you can still follow from the ABK, so maybe there's situations where the single hit's better so you can get a higher ABK setup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this character's so dynamic. The, the fact that you have to be ready for both makes it really hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, this character, man, if you're not prepared for the matchup, you are actually just going to get cooked. There it is. Uh, fair one, fair two. Beautiful. The corner carry into the jab. Such a strong confirm. Okay, here's an air. Gonna go for the reset here. The dash attack on the landing, which time not gonna connect here. Luis charging up that forward smash, going for a big read there. Yeah. Yeah, needs to make some huge plays right now. I mean, he's not down by much at all, right? I think playing it safe, going for the reliable stuff might be better for Whoa. right now, but when Bloom gets 50, 60 damage on the board like he might oh, do right oh now. Oh my gosh, and prepared for the tech J, so good. Oh wait, that tilt under the platform too? Very smart. Yeah, that could have been the stock if Bloom connected that up tilt, but still gonna rack up a good amount of damage, 91% here. Bloom really running away with this game four right now. And then there's that shortened teleport from the ledge that you were talking about, Charles. Oh yeah, yeah, very strong. Yeah, gets Luis back on, allows him to keep himself in the game right now, but needs to find this kill uh, right now, and he does. All right, up smash, cutting off that jump out. from the ledge. Yeah, great coverage too. I like how Bloom actually reacted to the ledge drop with a ledge drop. Mm. Oh, no. Gonna clean it up with fair. I mean, that's the one thing. I, once Bayo gets enough damage, then the Witch was too fair closer to the ceiling is eventually gonna get the KO, right? Exactly. Right, right. He was good, DI. Yeah. Such a rough situation right now for Luis. Down a whole stock. You gotta play this second stock so well, but it doesn't look like it's panning out too well for him. Yeah, and that was actually jump. a mix up right there. Bloom really could have done much there on Luis. Oh, no. uh, Wait, why? On the top. No, we're not gonna die. Why Why the kill screen there? It, it could have been the FDI because you're yeah, almost true. getting out you're, of the, yeah. the auto link. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? A heart attack for no you you want to like get hit Flash by the auto yeah. link like hits, right? With when you're that high, you don't want to get popped out because you might just die. Yeah, I mean you start getting flashbacks to Smash Four and those. Yeah. Are fun. <laughs> CSS. I hate when that happens. A B too. Oh.
PTSD. Oh. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> I don't want to go back, please. You please. know that game did serious psychological damage to us when we still bring it up five years into all of it. Remember that one horrible thing that happened in that game? <laughs> it hurt that, us all. That game hurt me. Yeah. yeah. And many others. My yes. war is not over yet. <laughs> 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 Go see oh, Godzilla. God. Yeah, go see Godzilla. Shout out to Godzilla, dude. <laughs> oh, oh, there it wow. is. Wow, get kicked. And man, Bloom will move on. Good stuff from Bloom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This yeah. Is a great, great set. Stuff. Yeah, like, really cool um, SDI coming out. So we got to see the defensive part against Bayo, and then the offensive like an adaptation coming out right. from the Bayo, right? I feel like that's always been theorized, and then people are like, "Oh yeah, I just adapt to your SDI." This is actual like clear cut. Look at it. Look at it. This is how it really happens. Yeah. It's all just like, oh, up in the air. No one knows exactly what it looks like, but this is it. Yeah, and it's it's hard, man. Like, it's not easy to read those split moments. Like, it's honestly like quality. Um, like, when you see someone like a really godlike tech chaser, right? And, like, it's not just the reactions, but, man, they just hold on to that information. Right. And then they leverage it when it matters most. And that's pretty much what happens, right? When you're dealing with these scenarios with, with, uh, with Bayo, right? When you're talking about top level with someone who knows good... DI and good SDI against this character, then it becomes a situation where it's just like so like multiple choice, right? And you mm -hmm. got to really oh, yeah. hold on to information, conserve some things. And Bloom is so good at that. You'll do some of the basic routes and kind of get a feel of how you like the DI and what situations. And then he'll bring out the big guns, and that's where he plays into your emotions, tries to coax you with the combo route to do a different DI or SCI, and then he goes from there. Right. I, I love the frame trapping, and I know you play a lot of Bayo Bam, so it's like even some of the routes where we see uh, Bloom go for maybe like one or two specials and just goes for an up air ender on a platform, right? But if you air dodge the up air, then since Bloom didn't commit to too many specials, then it's like, oh, okay, well now I can frame trap that air dodge with yeah. like a jump ABK. Yes. And then you're already pretty high up in the air, so it would have been better if you took the up air, but now that you air dodge, now Bloom resets all resources and then goes for ABK starter up in the air, and it's like, man, you're so, like, you're gonna take either a lot of damage or just straight up. Yeah, Bloom yep. was very cognizant of like, lethal percents right like right. We, we talked about like other characters that look at like certain percent ranges and stuff like that i feel like for bayo that like 40 to like 60 percent range was just like oh i can do anything and it leads to anything yeah. right like yeah so there, good there's definitely something to be said about what will win you interactions or get you damage versus what will take stocks or finish games yeah, right exactly. you do need to kind of conserve your plays and, yeah, and yeah. just not show everything until it's really the right time in the clutch moment bloom i think put that on display in a huge way throughout that set. Yeah. Um, but guys, I think that's gonna do it. That's all of the first round of losers tied up. Um, we had MK Leo, Gluttony, Bloom, and Ken moving on. So yeah, it's time to take a trip over the winner's side. We're gonna swap off the mic for now. We'll leave you in the very capable hands of some of our colleagues, and we'll see you in a few.
Good afternoon and welcome back to Watch the Throne 2023. It's your friend Rod and I'm here with my commentary OGs. I got EE Vizu, TK Breezy, and Coney. Fellas, talk to me. How we feeling so far? Uh, I would say fantastic. Um, it's really nice to see uh, the event has really uh, come together nicely. We got some great matches. Everyone's having a good time. Kind of a full house down there as well. A lot of people coming through as you can I kind of three see through our awesome setup, so I'm feeling uh, really good, really encouraged. Hope the rest of you feel the same. Yeah, man. I mean, we uh, already had some pretty high flying sets, but we're getting into even more high flying sets with, you know, all the action we've seen so far between mm -hmm. groups and then gauntlets. But now, you know, people are starting to lose their spots here mm -hmm. in this tournament as we round down to our top four and eventually our top one. How you doing? Too early to see good sets. Like, mm. it, like I, I, you know, 10, 10 o'clock the bracket starts, and then it's MK Leo versus Apollo Kage. Like, I don't know if it's because I got East Coast brain mm. and West Coast, you know, it's 1 o'clock over there. I, we should not be seeing MK Leo fight for his bracket life at 13th at 10 <laughs> in the goddamn morning. You know what I'm saying? Like, that feels a little weird. Uh, I, I feel kind of bad for the people who, you know, either didn't win a set or only won one set throughout the weekend. So, like, let's talk, like, Luis, Webb. Uh, Tariq, like these guys have put in so much effort and have really, I'm sure, turned some heads and made some fans. Unfortunately, a lot of them are out. Apollo Kage also, who yeah. I, I think a lot of us would have expected to go really far, but unfortunately, because of that death bracket between Leo and Spargo into Gluto, I mean, it, it's just been a, uh, a pretty sad tale for some players, despite really impressing us throughout the weekend. I mean, Webb, God, what a performance, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I think Webb is uh, definitely a uh uh, a story of like, look, I mean, you don't necessarily always get the win, but like that guy is going to be due very shortly. Uh, and like as good as he is coming into this, look how good he'll be uh, once he leaves and departs and, you know, kind of goes back to the tri-state. And it's really just like, it, you know, it sucks to lose, obviously, but the fact that he was able to have so many close games, I I thought that was very impressive. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm proud of him. I thought Louie did really good, too. He, he got two big wins as well, right? Uh, That's right. Representing NorCal. He had MK Leo and uh, who else was it? Be somebody else. MK Leo. Oh, he beat uh, Tarek. Tarek as well. Yeah, so yes. he had some very <laughs> solid wins himself, uh, for sure. Did did NorCal justice. But it, you just look at the loser bracket, look who's out already, you're just like, damn, like this is kind of that tournament right now. So I think a lot of people tough. who also got those like who didn't win any sets, I mean had some pretty amazing uh, you know, sets all together. Yeah. Know? For sure. A lot of those like last out last hit type situations uh, went into a lot of those game fives that we saw, especially with Webb. And then on the other side of town, Mia earlier had a very cl close call with uh, Tweet, who still obviously is in. But yeah, that was that was about to set the precedent super hard. But here, as we move on to, over to our next uh, set, it's going to be Mia versus the Buzz. The Buzz so far kind of thwarting this man every time he's got a chance to play him. But you know, Mia's kind of on the rise right now, so this might sure. be a different Mia. And little Birdie told me he might have a secret. Up his sleeve. That's yeah. right. There I, it is. I'd be mad if I was me. Seven other people I could be playing right now. You got to put me against the buzz. Okay, <laughs> buddy. How He's the first seed. Like, why well, I got to fight the buzz, How man? do you think Tarek felt getting Gluto? <laughs> That's true, yeah. How could this be? Of That's all right. people. Uh, okay. He's not even. He's German, bro. <laughs> oh. He's German. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did, did we mess up? Oh, oh, oh. That's crazy. <laughs> Somebody cut the break. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> cut the and the buzz uh, dominating over me of the Rosalina Game & Watch match. Eluding Mia thus far, but probably uh, locking in Steve. Mm -hmm. I almost said blocking in Steve. LOL, funny. <laughs> uh, probably using Steve for this matchup. Wonder if it's going to be fruitful for him. Obviously, DeBuzz kind of has his number right now. Yeah, very curious to see how it's all going to unfold. Of course, Mia, like you mentioned, has been on absolute tear. This isn't, uh, I believe I first crossed paths with him at Apex, which he did win pretty convincingly, if I may say so. And then, yep. you know, as you know, the tournaments uh, went on, you know, of course, he's certainly been rising to the occasion, but. You know, again, you're going up against, dare I say, kind of your your demon. I mean, me has, you know, trumped a lot of victories, but the buzz seems to be a tall order for him. You I mean, the, the buzz is just, he's just mm -hmm. so well studied in execution. If there's going to be a match that's a little bit tougher, too, he's going to try and exploit uh, every aspect of that. So the fact that, uh, as TK said, we did get that intel that the, uh, the Steve is going to be out to play. He's been working on the Steve a lot, really trying to refine this character. This is not just a simple pocket pick. At this point, I'd argue it's a, it's a true co-main, and it could uh, give the buzz a true problem. Let's find out. Okay. The more I see Mia in that fit, the more he starts to look like a, like a Power Ranger. Like, I saw like, Tweet saying he looked like a race car driver. Yeah. I was like, oh, I kind of like that. Wait a damn minute. Yeah, like, yeah, casual Power Ranger uh, <laughs> cosplay right there for Mia. But, yeah, no, as we go ahead and get into it, uh, B.A., I said, it's going to be bringing in the Steve. And, you know, I don't think that, 
this is like a character I feel like will work very well for his style of gameplay. You know, mm -hmm. execute one very, very good plan very, uh, very effectively. He's been able to do that uh, quite well with his Game & Watch. And I feel like Steve is another character that definitely has that. I just need to do one thing throughout the set until you figure it out. Mm. And that thing that you have to figure it out is very hard. Yeah. Another thing, too, Mia's going to spend a lot of time disengaging, which I, I don't think he does quite as much with Game & Watch, you know, so... You know, now has to you know figure out a way to obviously to build up these walls in conjunction with you know the wall that the buzz is you know figuratively building up too with Luma. You know, we seen him pilot that uh that puppet character to top professional efficiency yesterday, yep. and looking to rinse and repeat that here. Yeah. I mean, you know, one thing I will say that kind of works for me as advantage maybe or benefit, mm -hmm. knowing that Alcola already faced off against the buzz earlier on uh, in this tournament, got the W there. So right, obviously if you if you're in attendance to this or if you're just kind of in the know, Japan. Very kind of tightened it in that regard, right? They're always practicing with each other, always sharing a lot of intel, at least what we've seen them here at the American tournaments for sure. So I would imagine Cole probably had like a good hand in helping uh, develop the, the game plan for Mia, mm -hmm. uh, which could end up being very effective. I mean, pretty close right now. Kind of expect a Whoa. little bit more of a slower uh, pacing for sure, just the nature of the characters. But Mia aggressive as hell, bro. This is like a masher Steve. This is a game and watch Steve. Yeah, see, I was saying, I was like, I wonder what that dichotomy is going to be. Like, are you actually just going to break away and, you know, kind of play Steve the way that we all oh, yeah. have Damn. all known him how to play? Or are you going to get in their face? But the buzz in Mia's face right now, off stage with the nair courses, with the conditioning, ever so tightly at the ledge, and then boom, down there to shut it down. Oh, that's nice that you can use your bodyguard to get through these blocks. Unfortunately, though, we're using the bigger blocks now, man. We got a lot of resources on the side of Mia, who was just able to farm it up uh, quite quickly uh, there to get all this uh, iron that he needed. But, ooh. Okay. All right. I actually like that. Taking his attention and turning it to Luma momentarily. So, mm -hmm. put the buzz on the defensive. Luma popping. Their Rosalie is just using both jumps. Going yeah. as high as possible, trying to stall green Luma this okay. time. Hold on now. What can we get? Oh, okay, my, my man is well, he's actually willing to get in there. Good up smash right there from the buzz, though. Get all, that pressure off me. Not going to allow you to jump out and get the second part to be a command grab, too. Right. Uh-oh. Yeah, Mia's just swinging, man. Yeah. Swinging he's big, too. on top of him. Yeah, this is definitely kind of almost the opposite of some stuff that we see out of Akola, for sure. Yeah, the buzz seems to be very locked in. And also, more importantly, very comfortable with, you know, Mia's usage of the cart, too. And maybe this could be because of how well he handled Akola and some of those interactions yesterday. I mean, even mm. though he lost... One big thing that I think TK may have brought up <laughs> yesterday was just like, yeah, like how good, you know, when carts coming in the air, boom, back air every time. Yeah, man, I think I definitely want to see, uh, I, I just like the Buzz uses back air, or honestly just Luma's back, or Rosalina Luma's back air in general. Mm -hmm. That shotgun back air. Yeah. Should be able to make that back. Oh, wow. I thought he got hit, but it was the Luma. Yeah. yeah. I was Luma. like, huh? Bodyguard to the end of her day. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So where's your security? I got to have some ass for you. Earn of the Purple Heart posthumously. He is dead. <laughs> he is dead. <laughs> Has a little bit of iron, but not much. Gonna have to get down the hard way, maybe here. See if the buzz is able to chase. Minecart's gone. Uh -oh. But even without the, the iron, man, he's just chilling, swinging constantly, not even going back. Try to get more mats. Bro. He's aggressive, dude. Yeah, he most certainly is. And the buzz kind of looking for that gameplay a little bit. You know, if you're gonna approach me super aggressive, I know my you know win condition, especially with how I'm gonna interact out of shield. I think, again, the buzz at the ledge is microspacing with that crouch. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Nair in the corner, big wow. disjointed move. Uh -oh. Ooh, man. What you going to do about it? Yeah, bro, the star is doing all uh, of the work right now. Star is easily the star of the show. But we got to get uh, the buzz to, you know, get back into this w, um, back to this lead. Still got to lock Mia down. Mia's do been doing a good job of, you know, playing aggressive when we have uh, the uh, resources. But when I don't have the resources, like, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to farm it up. Yeah. I got time. It's, yep. I understand that you can break through some blocks, but there's still time that you have to spend Woo. focusing on that instead of me. Look at that. Right back into the mix. He's got the diamond in, in hand as well, and uh -oh. he's starting to rack up that diamond damage. That's oh, right. He's feeling it right now. Nice. Okay. Should be a back throw. Yeah, we've seen this kind of become an issue yesterday where, like, you know, the buzz so good at dishing out the damage, but when it comes to landing, it kind of be, can become an issue for Rosalina. You know, she's big, you know, very, very light, very easy to oh hit, my God, as you can see. Bro, you had no choice but to go the way I'm directing you. Traffic cop Mia holding it down. That kinda was crazy. Locked in there. Did he? He didn't SD at the end, did he? Because he flew. Hold on. Let me see this. So he gets a forward. That was, that was this, Look, look. This, no, no, no. This he road was is closed. This one, too. Here's the detour, though. Hit a detour, though. You did. Ooh. Boom. I might cue the Looney Tunes music. Because look at that tech. Can, he can make that, right? Mm -hmm. He goes backward. Yeah, he's fine. Okay. <laughs> I thought he was kind of far out. I was like, wait. But like, if he doesn't play Steve, does he know how to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can he come can he hit that? But he's probably fine. That was beautiful coverage right there. 
It really was no option he could have picked now, I think, right? Because uh, with the way that he set those blocks up, if the bus tried to go high and his reaction time was good, he's just getting up smashed anyway. So, Chad well, is saying he, forward air. Chad is saying he's dead there. Okay, I thought so. I just wasn't... You never know. Okay. Yeah, I think he knew it was going to be a red text. Like, he was like, I, I mean, it was over no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was like, you know what, bro? Yeah, that's full commitment right there. Like, look, ain't nobody coming back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Access to the stage is being just shut. going first. That's shut it. Shut off. All right, well done. So, the, uh, the Steve, like I said, I felt like this is... Uh, it says evolves past just a simple pocket pick. This is a character that he plays very proficiently, uh, and definitely uh, found success there against the buzz. Though I was getting a little nervous for him too, because I think on that second stock he had some questionable di and, and died a little bit earlier there. Mm -hmm. So the buzz started to make a little bit of a comeback, but couldn't quite seal the deal. So 1-0 in Mia's favor. If you're just tuning in, welcome. Finals day at Watch the Throne, and we got nothing but banger sets all day for your viewing pleasure. All right, well, let's see how this next match unfolds. You know, you brought up a really good point that the DI was definitely under investigation in that last game and almost kind of reinforcing the idea that the bus can be also a little aggressive at times. You know, he doesn't mind going off stage if he knows that down or any which way that that move hits is going to land. But wait a minute, we got the character switch over to Min Min. Now, you know, during the post show last night, he said that there is a possibility I might run some pockets. Yeah. Oh, oh no, you get your pockets right there. Right 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 you get your pockets You gave quite the layup. You gave such a layup. Everybody on the couch saw it. I feel like we was all LeBron for a minute. Like, give me that. Give me that. Everybody wanted to lay up that Rogers game. Oh. <laughs> well, well, well. That's right. I'm just pipping up here. Somebody, come on. Man, somebody Lord. help somebody help him out, bro. Like that was that is not the way uh, you want to start this match. However, though, you know, I haven't taken any damage yet. He's starting to get a couple hits here and there, trying to do the Mitman classic, controlling a lot of this middle area. But yeah, I think I think it's just steep. I feel like in, I don't know what the magic is on paper, and I really don't care to uh, like get the number. But I just feel like at certain points it's like it's GG for you regardless. You know, Steve put you off that stage. And, all right, man. Like, yeah, there's, good luck, there's, have fun. There, yeah. yeah, good luck, have fun. It feels like well, you fail 150-50, and it's just pretty much over. There's also a looming issue where we're picking Min Min here because we lost game one, but now we're in a counter pick war with Mia. You know he's going game and watch. Oh, Even yeah. if he loses yeah. this, and like you're gonna lose just by games, you might try to. You're gonna have to win two in a row down the line while dealing with the counter pick. So the buzz putting himself in a mm. tough spot yeah. um, after losing game one. This is just, I don't know, this is yeah. going to be difficult. She has some very interesting options, too, up close. You know, short hop and air, you know, out of shield, no down smash, up smash. I mean, she's not terrible, but just when it comes to, like, the right toolkit, see, there's one. Right toolkit on the behalf of me, and it's going to be a real bad time for me, man. They're yeah, going to have to do it the hard way for sure for the buzz. I mean, very least evening up the stocks. But me is just so far ahead at the moment. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly it's enough, it don't look like Min Min is that good at breaking blocks. I I, I thought she was gonna be way better at this, but yeah, the Buzz had a, a triple fair, the, just a well, just a dirt block or a wood block. That's kind of a kind of rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here we go. Okay, yeah. Catch you jumping. You know, it's a little bit easier when you have Rosalina. Uh, you could threaten with Nair and Backer once I do one of these high cards. But Min Min, of course, you know, just cut from a slightly different cloth. Oh my! Oh, oh barely oh. getting above that cart. Cardo was slamming into uh, him, but I, I'm seeing a little bit of light at the end of this tunnel now. Oh, hold on, it is starting to pick up. Okay, oh, he's got eating those mine carts. I think I like this. You know, you take the ram ram arm, you can really be threatened off stage without mm -hmm. actually having to be off of there. I do like that a lot. It's all going to be about positioning, and the fact that the oh, no! can trap at the <laughs> ledge without being anywhere near the ledge is absolutely crazy. Back throw. Yep, get him off the stage real quick. Gotta set that one up. The buzz taking the oh, lead only momentarily, like you knew. Once that thing is in power, just get the hell off the tracks. Mm -hmm. What a what a whiff punish! Like he, yeah. he just got dressed out of the range and be like, "Oh, I'm coming back in." All right, up smash, up tilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot they they kind of got that same animation, but here we go. Okay, looks like he ran away. You, uh, well, yeah, maybe. you're right. <laughs> he's I, I, it it might be it slot. might be just that arm. <laughs> that like, he, he's not dropping the the mega on it, but yeah, the ram ram is not doing it. <laughs> Blocks. She need like a shovel arm. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, this counter pick war actually kind of swinging back into the buzz's favor. I don't want to speak too soon. This is still me, of course, but definitely looking more doable than the first 30 seconds of this match indicated. Okay, nice. The fact you could cover both is so good. Yeah. Oh, oh geez. Geez. okay. Damn, the, okay, the buzz. Okay. Bad start right there, but great finish there for uh, the buzz. You know, he's like, you know what? I think it's, that's probably just a long land of how you play this character. Sometimes you just get gimped, yeah. you know? You yeah. can't let it be the, the end-all, be-all, but 
You know what I was kind of worried about was this the slick. Just the, Look at that. Yeah, the commitment of like swinging. Man, that was so smooth. You know, once Mimmin swings, she's kind of stuck That's in that. That's too far, bro. That, that I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I don't think a character should hit you from half screen. What the heck is that? Good heavens! The cameraman is struggling to get all this in the shot, man. <laughs> Good lord! How far back can we go? Bro, got hit right in there. That was a yeah. That was a. I wouldn't even enhance these right there. I was just a. No, Max sheesh. Sheesh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but either way, good stuff to the buzz being able to get that uh that W after the mm -hmm. hard start. But yeah, definitely. I mean, really, really like you know hammered into that that second that first stock of Mia on his second. Really didn't take too much damage at all, and then was able to actually just kind of capitalize all together on this uh second stock. Yeah, that. yeah. Going into this, I was a little terrified because like. You know, again, you break that zone that Mimmin has. Now you're in her face. You probably think, I'm going to swing big. You know, I'm going to just, you know, harass Mimmin. I've broken the zone. You know, she's committed to swinging the arm, and I'm already in your face. But wait, I got up smash out of shield. You know, I got options still. I might have threw, you know, Mia for a loop. But we're back to the old classic right here, Rose and Lena. This? Oh, okay. So we didn't change stage, yeah. and nobody changed character. So I guess probably the Mia asked the Buzz changed back because he didn't want to fight Min Min Game and Watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he changed back now. So now, but that's the thing is he has to win this now mm -hmm. at least one of these games. I think this was absolutely the correct pick though. Like you know, it's like you kind of know the writing on the wall for the other matchup. At yeah. least with this, he's still giving himself a fighting chance because he's done. He's kept the games close. Yeah. That's not been the issue. It's just about closing it out. So he also does, buzz, did go three woman for Cola, so he has the opportunity. Yeah. He has the weight of, of beating Steve. You know, he's got a lot down on lock it in right here. This would be a huge win though for him. Uh, not only is it the flex game, but you know, being able to pick if you want to go back to uh, amendment on that last game. Well, I if, they, if he gets this W, man, this is a great this start is, too. This is telling me too in. that he doesn't necessarily have the respect for uh, me and Steve as well. Yeah, he, I'm, he's I'm, not he, afraid. Yeah, he's just like, you know what? It's Steve. It's Mia, but I don't know how well y'all go together just yet. Honestly, this stage is seems pretty good for him too, because look at that—he has all this horizontal space to send out Luma to break the blocks. I feel like this stage is—I don't know—not interacting with Mia here seems to be favoring him uh, quite a bit. Yeah, you know, we have so much terrain where you have to jump in on the bus. Just give him more time to kind of scout out your approach. Uh oh, oh, that's a big old card. Ooh. Hold on, and we, well, we don't got—we don't have those. He is a much more aggressive Steve too. You can't just be swinging at the bus. I, yeah. I, yeah, I think that's more. Right? I think more space is what the buzz wants here. He thought he wants small battlefield because he wants to close the distance and get somebody like a Cola Steve. Mm -hmm. But he's like, oh, me is fighting. Yeah, he's I coming want more to me. space. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Might be a bit of a uh, you know calibration here. My man is actually getting absolutely outspaced here, right here by Devez. Uh It's been a lot of uh, situations where he was looking for that final hit, and finally, okay, That's does strong. get it. Yeah, but it, like the buzz has been getting some nice whiff punishes on uh, Mia, just kind of fishing toward him and uh, kind of whiffing right in his face. So here we go. Put that woman back in there. That nair and back here, just kind of the bane of Mia's existence too, man. Every time he breaks away back here, the minute you come from the other side of that wall, I got an aerial waiting for you. Up smash. Getting some decent sized damage there. Luma out of the picture right now, but still landing uh -oh. with Nair. Red. Pretty safe on shield, man. Hold up. We back? He's never right. No. <laughs> Very rarely. Very rarely. Look at this comeback, though. Just swinging aerials upon him. He only has two iron. Sends one to end the buzz of stock and gets the star chaos. So it gets a little bit more time. Damn. Strictly iron swinging. No tussling right there, man. That's Mia Classic. All right, the buzz, man. You don't let the game start to escape you. And this is definitely where Steve can run away with it like it's nothing. These are ro this robbery percentages right here. Oh, a thousand percent. Okay. Got to stay focused. It's kind of like the reverse of what we saw in the last game. Okay. This time, Mia making the uh, the grand comeback. Okay, both sides filling each other out towards the middle of the stage here. The Buzz has a bit of work to make up here. And of course, always tossing out that Nair just in case Mia decides to jump over the block aggressively. You know, Ooh. I'll take a tray. Oh, mm. showing your hand too early right what there. What happened here, man? Yeah, I, I that, the first stock looked great, and Mia yeah. said, you know what, I'm locked in now. So mm -hmm. It was only like 60 seconds. It, it feels like a minute ago we were fine. Uh-oh. Okay. In there, but yeah, 76% already. Mia already going to have the diamond on deck. Oh, yeah, this, this last stock has become increasingly hard. For uh, for the buzz. That's right. Okay. Maybe slowing this match down a little bit is what Mia needed to do. The whole idea of just swinging big on the buzz has never paid off for anybody in the history of Smash. But Mia, of course, figuring that out on the fly and disengaging a bit more, letting his uh, dare I say innovation 
you know, character design get the job done for him. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Hold up, big cart. Oh my lord. That is a, that's a one-seater right there, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Ain't nobody hopping it. Uh-uh. Yeah, man, I actually got, that was a, that was a lot that you got off that one cart too, because yeah, Luma's gone, uh, well, Luma is now back in Ugh. the pitcher, but is it too little, too late? That Luma's gone to bed, oh, almost lived, but nope, not with the double tap of Steve. Okay. Oh, that was a good uh, sort of setup by DeBuzz getting, he got stuck what on his own block. Oh, oh, turn it around, you go, what okay. the heck? Okay. What you say? He's doing tricks. <laughs> He's doing he did a donut. Rob, when you say Rob, put it in reverse, Terry. Put it in reverse, Terry. <laughs> Back it up, Terry. 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 <laughs> Terry. <laughs> what you doing, Terry? Back it up, Terry. 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 Oh, Lord, Terry. <laughs> Watch this. You. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, I ain't never dude. seen Steve. What the <laughs> fuck? I, I, I That's crazy, something. bro. I think I forgot something. He said, I spin the block till we dizzy. <laughs> How did he drift yeah. the mine cart in a 2D game? Uh, yeah. In a 2D he, game. He drifted it and got boost off that drift. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, oh, Mario Kart. <laughs> okay, hold on, player. Good lord. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that oh was a pure uh. comical ending to that one, but impressive nonetheless for Mia. Jeez. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's, yeah, we Look love at Mia's that. face. I, I, I do that. <laughs> oh, that's good. Back to Min Min. Uh, ooh. Three, I mean, even if we win this, we're in trip. What is this song? This is so like. What the hell is this? What is this, this lullaby ass? Bro, Wait, no, it, it, it picks up. It picks up. Oh, does it? Does it? it? I, yeah. Oh, I don't know right. if I've ever listened to it. It sounds like. Uh, it's like the Adams family or something. Like Luigi's <laughs> Mansion stuff. The baby room. That's right. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. It doesn't pick up that well, but yeah, it I definitely. See. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely well, yeah. picks up more than a lullaby, though. Oh. Okay, the immediate recovery. No, thank you, my friend. I'm coming back oh, to the Oh, it's this song. Yeah. I just never heard the beginning. Oh, okay. wow. Me either. Okay. That'll work. We always talk all over it, I guess. That's but. true. Or some chatty cats. Yeah. Here we go. Game at number four. DeBuzz back on the Min Min. Woo. Open to force a game number five. And honestly, you know, even with that really crummy start he had in game number two, still was able to pull it back and get the W. So if he has a pretty hot start in this one without an early stock loss, could be very doable. Oh, oh yeah! Well, uh, put put the arms up. Yeah, put bro. your arms my, up. My bad. Snuck, <laughs> snuck under that one. My bad. <laughs> Negro Domus, okay. <laughs> this is how game two started, though. No. He this, got yeah. a, he died super he, early he on him and still won it back. He's able to lock down. Uh, we'll see if he can do it again. It's not easy. And then you gotta think about the next game. How you win in that? That's, yeah, bro. That's, that's really one. that's really the, the tell right here. Because I mean, whilst the buzz does have three characters, and he still has to. There's a certain matchup he's gonna want to have to avoid, so he's probably stuck into just going Rosalina regardless, and uh, to avoid the game and watch. Yeah, I'm almost curious if like the game plan that you know the buzz may have had in the beginning, you know those a couple games ago, starting to maybe disappear a little bit. Like I get it, you can stand at the middle of like the Pokeball range of the stage and just swing arms, but you know sooner or later I'm gonna break that zone. Oh man. But yeah, see, I'm in your face with it. Come on. Yeah, uh, ain't, ain't a Nair out of shield quick enough to save you from this, man. You ain't lying. Nobody committing right there, but Buzz it will land in there. And big one, not quite enough. Mia surviving just barely. Okay. Okay, building up the wall right now. And just swinging through it. All I need is just this one window right here. Good He's Lord. Trying. He's trying to use that window, but yeah, it's, just, you know, it's just not, not big enough, bro. <laughs> he keeps throwing it in, but it keeps uh, still clashing one of the other blocks. So, either way. Yeah, I mean, it has been a while for the buzz to find, try to find this stock and Mia, you know, with this type of rage. One good, I was gonna say one good play and you're yeah, gone just like good. that. I'm mo I'm moving in and moving on with this uh, set if you can keep this type of momentum up. Yeah, that stock was was very clean. I mean, that was just a lot of misdirect with the minecart to secure the KO and the buzz really gonna have to play from behind right now. But I feel like this losing streak Mia's been on against the buzz is finally gonna get snapped depending on how this next stock plays out. We know it only starts with one right here. The Buzz finally waking up here in this set. Getting one on the board, but me, of course, again, disengaging, not being the aggressive threat we've seen in game one and two, just backing off and again, letting Cart kind of break the zone for him. Ooh. Oh my God. If, if he just gets stock value like he did from that first stock, it's over. I mean, that first yeah. stock, he lived to 150 and it felt like the Buzz hit the, uh, the megawatt neutral air at like 130 or 140, still didn't kill. Woo! Ah, yeah, My double goodness. spike and emphatic win for Mia. May have solved the DeBuzz uh, enigma yep. here.
And kudos to uh, to Mia too, <coughs> just sticking with the game plan as well, right? With Steve mm -hmm. all the way through, didn't seem like uh, Game and Watch was even going to be an option. Mia was committed to get the job done with Steve, and no doubt does just that. Yeah, bro, he leveled up like just in the middle of the set. Bro. He did, like, like just in the middle of the third game. He's like, you know what? I, I remember everything now, and after that, just stop losing for the entirety of this. So this last game, not looking uh, great for the buzz at all. But at least he knows he can, you know, he can strike blood. Uh, yeah. With the Min Min as well today, so I think he's won with all of his characters at least once. I like so. to think so. Oh, oh yeah, that was just that's nasty. The Mr. It's it's crazy too. I think it was like the Buzz beating Mia at SmashCon that secured his ticket to watch the throne. If I'm not mistaken, I believe so. Something like that. So well, that last arc seemed kind of checkmatey, right? Throws out the mine cart and then jumps to cover the high. If the Buzz goes high, hits him with the forwarder. Well done. To me, of finally defeating the Buzz, uh, as far as we know, I think the first time, right? I, I mean, would think so, well yeah. Well done. We saw the graphic before. It was 0-3 uh, for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now it's 3-1 victory here. So I think that job. also says a lot, too, to be able to checkmate the Buzz like that. There's not very many players who can do that, let alone do it on the fly. You know what I mean? Usually it takes a tournament or two or, you know, you go home and really, re you know, review the VODs in order to figure the Buzz out. But the fact that he was just like, you know, I'm dialing it back. No more aggressive, Mia. You know, I'm just going to slow it down and kind of play your game. Almost beat him at his own sort of style in a way. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the new Mia, though, so we do got to give him the the, the yeah. props. My man has definitely been on a tear uh, through the later half of this year. So. Definitely. And we're getting to see it on full display as he's been able to handle some of his old, you know, older bracket demons. Uh, sure, sure. Pretty handily. 3-1 sure. victory right there. Uh, it's been quite a bit of top twos. Uh, in the you know the last few months, so yeah, he, he's had some breakthroughs, man. I mean, break breaking through, finally being able to beat a cola consistently over there at mm -hmm. some Japan events. Obviously, you know, as we just saw beating the Buzz, mm -hmm. uh, that kid is. Uh, well, I don't want to say kid. That 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 young man is really coming into his own. Yeah. I think there's like I, I I heard from the players like there's like this confusion that he's like 15 or something like that. How old is he? Apparently, he's 19. Oh, he's still a kid. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Oh, oh no. gotcha. Well, that's just yeah. an accurate that word. word. He, he said it. it. He's like, he was really about to give us like some yeah. information. Yeah, that that is that. crazy. <laughs> Interesting. All right. But yeah, no, that's, uh, that's going to be it for that first winner's quarters. That does mean that Mia will be moving on to winner's semis. Uh, and then we'll be getting to our next one. It's going to be Tweak versus Light, an old classic. Mm -hmm. These guys always get a chance to, you know, run up against each other at some point in time. Man. Why do these guys play at every tournament? Oh. It's messed up. It's messed up. And literally every event has these two play. Uh, seems to be. Can we do something about the seating? It's right. crazy. And look at that <laughs> lifetime, lifetime head to head. Oh my god. Oh, well, 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 well. Lights out on top. <laughs> See if Tweet can we'll even it, it back out to 10 10 today. But that's oh the thing god. is, it's like, it, it feels like these guys can go so back and forth. Depend and it's kind of streaky a lot of the time. It feels sure. like one of them will beat somebody, you know, two or three times. I'll go back. You see Tweet with that two win streak. Meanwhile, Light winning at Port Priority 8. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So, I mean, I'm, I'm excited to see these uh, sets all the time. It's just you know, two of my favorite players uh, playing each other, piling their characters to the utmost heights. You know, Diddy, uh, Diddy Kong, Overhero by Tweak, pretty much seen as the best Diddy. And then uh, Fox uh, from Light, who is yeah. undoubtedly, that's right. you know. You know, he also he had to put that one on. Uh, he had to stake it when we were at Port Priority. He had to play against Kananabe. Yep. Yes, he did. Remember, he Super said, I am the, he worded it, but you know what I'm saying? We had him mute it for a reason. I'm the best effing fox in the world. He even did the world thing with his fingers. I said, you got it. Like, <laughs> with, I mean, I never questioned you, but you got it, man. He had to remind people, bro. I That's respect right. it. Sometimes they forget, man. That's but them up smashers going to remind you, man. So. There was a period of time where Tweak Sephiroth was able to, uh, I'm mm -hmm. just going to say it, steal games. Mm -hmm. It felt yeah. like he shouldn't be winning those, and he would, like, steal a game away from light, and that one game will be enough to swing it because he would win the other ones with Diddy. But mm. that has become uh, less viable, let's yeah, say, because uh, that fact. last time they played, it, did, uh, it didn't do any favor. Not too well, but that was last time. This is this time here at Watch the Throne, our other winner's quarters match underway. Again, and to me, this is my favorite rivalry in Smash right now. Mm -hmm. Is uh, I feel like White's got a couple of them, but this is the hallmark one, him versus Tweak, and it's always a banger. That's right. I mean, if you want to sell tickets to your tournament out there, Teals, I mean, you might want to invite these two. Let's just put it that way, mm -hmm. okay? And here we go, man. Game number one is most certainly here right now. And the ground game, as always, belonging to light in these earlier exchanges. Uh, dash attack is scary. Up tilt, once I break that zone, is scary. I mean, you already know how light gets down. All right, man. So I, I like, right now, light is definitely threatening in that area where Tweak has just not felt comfortable to drop mm -hmm. a banana yet. Yep. He's dropped one so far, but I hadn't been able to get really a confirm off of it. That's why he's been kind of going hand oh. in hand, banana, banana less diddy with light until he can finally create some space. And, uh, well, Light's not trying to hear any of that. Okay. 
Go well, back air action. Looking good. Yeah, we're just coast to coast with it right now. Approaching with Nair. Just need that one entry point right Ooh. there to turn into the final hit. Reverse on the splits, though. Clean stuff right here on Light's behalf. Yeah, he's looking real prime and ready. Said he was studying for this last night. It doesn't matter how many times I've won, bro. I got to do it again tomorrow, so I'm going to do my best. I'm a big fan of both these guys, but it's crazy. Only one of them can go forth. Oh, man. They're trying to take the banana pill away from him. I mean, that's oh, something that, that not beautiful. a lot of players can do. Yeah. Oh, I managed to get out of there as well. I thought he was going to be a goner for sure. Either way, though, yeah. Gavin has not been able to grab too many uh, chances at using the banana, Ooh. but the down air is going to do it. Huge hitbox <laughs> and huge play right there yep. from uh, from Tweet. And Tweet will do that, right? He will he will take those chances and those kind of calculated risks, uh, <laughs> just knowing the reward is just so beneficial and the timing was perfect on that light, though the immediate retaliation and these two right now about as even as you would expect in game one. I mean, this kind of reinforces the idea of how important the offstage gameplay and the corner is for both of these two. Both of these two trapped like no other Diddy Kong frame for it down tilt. Then, of course, we've seen everything that light can definitely bring to the table. But the offstage gameplay, I mean, it's just so dangerous. Down tilt, yeah, there's, there it is. One down tilt for the threat. F tilt to keep you ba uh, back off stage. Light kind of reeling back in his chair, taking a deep breath. Maybe realizing he's running into the offense a little bit too much. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Might yep. need to dial it back. We were talking about that when he was fighting Apollo Kage. He wasn't able to switch up his timings and his approaches too much. Tweak seems to be this defensive Ooh. wall. You can see him under the platform. Light can't come in horizontally. Yeah. So Doesn't want to jump in on it either. Yeah, Tweak will be content to take his time. It, it, Light's going to be the one trying to push the pace a lot. Going a lot of these dash attacks are just getting met by shield. Oh. Oh, we have to switch that up a little mm. bit. Yeah. Any kind of just grab, but what do you do there? Wow. Like he was in reflect, but the banana's right under you. You don't have jump. That's that's a tough spot to be in. I feel like sometimes the better option is almost just to like pray that they don't catch you out of like the slip animation. I've seen sometimes people just slip on purpose just to keep them away. But you might need the Firefox. Yeah, or even you might that need to up yeah. the other way. Like get me out. There's oh, some nice frames pressure. around you. Yeah. Hold on, man. He dropped the sleeves up on this last stock, and it's definitely showing him the gameplay right right now. Find himself a stop. Ooh. Maybe not though. They got light saying, I don't care where your sleeves are at, or tweet saying, I don't care where your sleeves are at, I'm still going to play my game. Ooh, okay. a little hesitation. Got to call some an opportunity at that stock, but right back on him. Oh, back nice. up. I like that back here. Oh, he's being very creative with his ways coming back to ah. stage. And just, again, the fearlessness of Tweak putting Ooh. the screws to light. Okay, not working with a lot of shield in that corner, Tweak said, I am out of here. Will not let you have any of those. Nice. Four throw again. Could have went for the up smash as well, too. I believe the quickest one in the game, but decided to go for the safer of the two options. But unfortunately, that option coming back to bite him. Still with the lead, though. Yep. Yeah, maybe didn't think it was going to, uh, you know, finish the game. Or, you know, sometimes now it's paralysis, bro. Like, uh, you know, uh, I, I don't, when, when I, the grab is in your face like that, you're just like, yeah, I got a free one. Free one. There's that so many was, other yeah. ones. You I don't do. know if that force match That's a dash attack. You know, yeah, that was a dash that, attack. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I think that was an instant dash attack. You can see him kind of yeah, frustrated like with himself. Bit of a uh, misinput yeah. here. Let's take a look. Another look Had to have been a dash attack because look at this. And then, yeah, that was not supposed to happen. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Wow, wow, wow. No, but boom, nonetheless, boom. I mean, you make a mistake, Tweak is going to capitalize <laughs> off of that. Don't even think twice about it, so. Ooh, Bro was like, I am literally out. Uh -huh. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I like the gameplay in the beginning of the match right here, though. You know, keeping him away from the banana peel. Not to say that Tweak oh, can't no. play without it. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hand, hand on the forehead. Man, How did this happen? He's so <laughs> He's so tricky. Oh, man. All right. Silly monkey. Here we go, yet again. What do you mean by that? <laughs> game two. It's about to be a silly game. PS2 again. That's right. That's right. Two very un unserious fellows, <laughs> what Twitter.com uh, says, are up here playing right now. And this time, Tweak right now kind of holding forward, taking a page out of Light's book. Great percent on the board right now. I'm, look, I'm taking the banana pill from you. Yes. Yeah. Love these earlier percent exchanges. Light just in your face with it, keeping you away from your tool. All right. Yeah, I think one thing for Light too, especially against Tweak, like yeah, like he can drop a game or he might drop the first game, what have you. He doesn't get discouraged. Like he, at all points of times, like it's not only about like just he wants to win. Like he just believes he will at all points. That's just how. His brain kind of operates against Tweak, which I think is great. I almost feel like Tweak feels the same way, you know sure, what I mean? Sure. Like, it's a very healthy, healthy rivalry between the two. It's one of the reasons we get such compelling oh, matches like oh this. No. Dude, the mistakes what? from Light right now are really starting to add up. Oh, man. And if Tweak was a real one, he would jump off. Yep. Well, bad friend, man. Bad, bad friend. Bad friend. Need me a clean homie stock for that Come one. That's right. On, dude. All right, well, 
Uh, yeah, not the not the way that you want to start this matchup. Oh, uh, or your second game. Uh -oh. Sure, but, oh, now he's getting trapped. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, I think we should suspend the match. That's we right. should wait until light feels better. We <laughs> should we should take this I match think his off. Tummy hurts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like he's going to uh, cause some hurt right there. Great catch with the up air. Only down 48. That's nothing for Fox. Low percent combos is what this character does. He's just trying to get in there, trying to find some hits. You got to mix up the approach options, I feel like. You know, again, these dash attacks are so good. Your short hop nair is very, very safe on shield. But, again, they're very telegraph options. You know what Fox is looking for. The issue is that it's just so just you know it's just so much and it's so hard to stop but if you can scout it out you'll be in a really good position and i think tweak is just doing just that yeah like we're talking a lot about fox uh, about light not really playing on point but fox is a character that takes a high level of execution yes. and precision to be able to get in and tweak it's just making it so much harder for him with his gameplay with the banana he's able to tech roll away and light not really going for that full stage tech read that we sometimes see him go for yeah, and that's kind of what those little mistakes i was talking about earlier like he's, he's not completely on the mark and still keep so he's not going to go for that. Yeah, yeah. If, he can, if he can just clean it up a little bit, I think he can definitely seal this game away. Okay. Let's find out, though. But Tweak has been so engaged and he's playing so well. At the same mm. time, that forward tilt, Great. just a compliment to that statement I just made. Mm. It keeps this lead intact momentarily. Yeah. Sometimes it's just like the little things in the corner, like a down tilt just to reset your, you know, F tilt when you least expect it. Uh oh. Oh wow. Let me uh -oh. Go ahead. oh my god. He absolutely oh, took that game, bro. My man. Goodness. And you can see kind of the emotion there. Like oh, of course you and Fairfax there. It felt like Tweak yep. was a little uh, mean on that one. If you watch his player cam, so so uh if you watch it, he puts down the banana, covering the low recovery, and then just kind of jumps over him. Man. That no, that was that was a that was a perfectly executed uh <laughs> bait really if you're really yeah. there on the left side so he's oh, like yeah. yeah i'm stuck at the ledge and then he turns into his own stock yep look at that he oh unfortunate uh, had, had it landed yet he so didn't touch the ground yeah. Yeah, that's insane wow that little interaction was huge and really swinging it in the favor of tweak he's up two games to none we're gonna shut light out in this set <laughs> this is not what i was expecting i'll say that much okay you see these two having sets that go down to the wire, but right now Tweak, truly a different beast. Hey, bro. Well, well, I, think I think we're going to be looking at a 10-10 after this pretty soon. Mm -hmm. uh, but just with the way, oh. just with the fire right now that Tweak is playing, as long as he can keep this light lit as uh, as bright as it is, yeah, yeah, this should be over pretty soon. But don't want to take anything away from uh, from light. Oh my God! I mean, that's that definitely to make some comeback before, yeah, but dead. wow, yeah, that's not crazy! Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I don't normally no see it hit that much. Yeah, like, that this was. Is, his timing is it's just there. It's dead on. on the money. It, it's so funny to watch these two play because it really does. Like sometimes you'll see matchups come into play more often, or you'll see two players that you know kind of stomp one another or whatever. It really feels like these two is just whoever's playing better that day. Yeah. Which you love to see in Smash Bros. Yeah, definitely feel like it's tweak right here. Yes, the parry at the ledge too. I mean, catching of the Firefox on the way up, very risky business. Okay, yeah, I'm back to the ledge with it. We're not quite seeing, you know, the runoff nares, you know what I'm saying, like the, the threat with forward air off stage as well from like, you know, keeping this one purely at the ledge, maybe just for the sake of where he's at in the match right now. Oh, oh my, my god. Yeah, boy, he has been just on oh, the mic. Every step oh. that Light is okay. taking, Tweak is just there to meet him. Goodness. Even right. then, I feel like that was just a mistake from Tweak. Uh, instead, he still had the right option to try to thwart out that uh, illusion, but. Oh. Light, luckily, Light was able to get uh, through in time. Oh, I tried to parry it. He's been parrying so, like, on defense, he's parrying every time he needs to, and on offense, he's stuffing every time Light tries to come in. He'll just hit him with something. There it is. Another one. That's how I mean. There's you only see so him many. He's, he's yeah. flickering shield. Like, mm -hmm. you see it as Light's jumping. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that task sometimes is a little easier when, you know, you only have so many approaches. I just, just looked at him. Just stared him in the eye and did it. Yeah. All right. Well, clean up duty for light, but he has got a mountain to climb right now, and yeah, well, I guess Tweak escorting him up one way or another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. It's like somehow this mountain is still growing. Like, <laughs> oh, man. oh, all right. Don't, I was like, don't let it happen to you again. This is literally the same setup. Yeah. So, at the ledge, Tweak with the banana gets the down throw uh, of the banana and gets the fourth throw off the stage. You gotta watch yourself on the way back. But luckily, though, he's able to fight his way out that um, situation and get some good damage too. Mm -hmm. Tweak right now with a very commanding lead, just playing this one very safe, just again trying to stay out of that burst range for dash attack, not allowing him to, to jump in uncontested anymore. But he does have him in a corner, and this is where Light has shown a lot of promise in the past. I'd like to see him maybe rekindle that flame. 
Yeah, being able to lock somebody down in that corner, it felt like he just kind of gave it up to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord. Hey, Ooh, okay. Again, these parries really just aiding Tweak so much more. I don't think I've ever seen him do this many parries, like against Light. Yeah, he is playing with oh, next level uh, confidence I, I, I and like Light. Just idea. Not able to connect anything until that point. Huge conversion into that up smash could be the spark he needs. I don't know. That might be one of the first up smashes we've seen. Honestly, like, I, 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 we didn't far see between. any of that. Yeah, few yeah. And far between. I mean, he has had just not been able to take too many stocks here in just in this set in, uh, in general, though. And now he's a little three-piece now. He's setting up for the down tilt up smash for the finisher if he can find it. Yeah. Banana hit into pretty much anything, too, should be able to uh, work as well. There it is! Uh, uh, Boom! Uh, my goodness. He wow. was just better today. There's yeah. no real way to say it. Like, Tweak was just playing better. And, that's it. And that's not like, and that's not a knock against light. I mean, sometimes... It's today. Yeah, it's exactly. Today. Sometimes you have present. it, sometimes you don't. I don't think he had it today, man. Even when I was talking to him earlier, he didn't have that usual confidence that I love about him. But it's all good. It's just one one winner set. Can definitely bounce back in losers. But uh, kudos to Tweak. Just playing unbelievable. Uh, obviously, you could tell very well studied in that matchup, as you would expect when uh, the current score right now is 10-10 in sets. Yeah. That's insane. That's right. That's right. Love that for those two, man. Great 10 -10 rivalry. Now. Yeah. Great rivalry again, but uh, yeah, put his put his ten in bold today. though. Put yeah. his ten in bold. That's right. I mean, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely popped off here in this uh, specific set, man. A three zero, some very very dominant games uh, throughout. It's a very good situation. This is one I wanted to I wanted to go back to uh, game two. Was that when he got that like crazy ender? That's probably game two. Yeah, I think yeah. so. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Did we catch that one? Yeah, because that was that was clean, bro. This right here, yeah. Oh, ah. Ooh. Yeah, that, that was me. So, yeah, he so said, don't this. jump. He picks it up. You, you literally cannot jump from here. Yeah. Because you would have got hit by the banana, thus still probably having to go for uh, an up B. But yeah, through the banana forward, don't jump. And then. Mm. And watch him in the player cam. He's like, yeah. I did that. D just like, I don't. There's a, there's a level of confidence that this play suggests just to know that he's going to have to go for that and be able to cover and get that kill at 10. I mean, you can see in the player cam just finally that thing that I've been sort of thinking about labbing out. You can see it afterwards, like when it cut to him in the full cam. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you've seen it aggressively. You've also seen it defensively, too. I think when you are parrying that much on your opponent, especially for a character like Fox who needs that short hop nair into something, who needs that dash attack, I mean, you've taken away, like, essentially 70% of, like, how the magic happens with that character. And I think, you know, Tweak just playing out of his mind like that, I mean, just really reinforced the idea that I'm, I'm just the more confident player today. I'm better. I'm more confident. You know, when you jump in, even if, like, you don't get the parry on, on light, it's like, okay, I'm still in your face. Mm -hmm. And there's a good chance I'm quicker than my opponent. So even if I miss, what are you going to do? You're not going to outbox me. But parry? What are you going to do, man? Let's yeah. take the mic from E for one second because you know what they say. Better player, better podcast, you know? That's what Ooh. they say. That's what they say. Sheesh. That's what they say. It's 10-10. I'm sorry, oh I'm I, sorry I, Phil. It's well, even. It's even. <laughs> the, the thing I love about that is that Spargo uh, Light is also like a dead even lock for uh, long-time really? running rivalries. Yeah, very, very even in sets. So. Oh, man. All right, here you go, Phil. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, you know, that's it. That's all he wanted to here say. Come on now. Hey, listen, he tried to eat. Well, before you got here, he definitely hit the well, well, well. Because well, it was 9-10, and now it's like, well. Hey, you know what? Why don't you make yourself useful and go get tweaks so we can talk to him? Uh, yes, he will. Tell him I asked for him. His ass got to be ready for Mia. Yeah, bro. He's, that's he's, what he's, he's got, he's got some things to think about. That will be his, uh, and that will be like a uh, run back for him, too. You know, he's right. take it to game five in the, uh, the literal first match, I think, of the, of the weekend. Yep. So. Yeah, uh, before we get into Hold the on. next side of things. You wait. guys do the slides. I'm going to get tweaked. All right. Before we do the next side of things, man, let's go ahead and do Why did he have this? You could have just went. Fuck. <laughs> February 16th right. through 18th, 2024. We're going to be at Genesis X, San Jose, California. That's where we're at right now, actually. We're right down the street from the venue of Genesis X. And we probably will be here every night after Genesis X if you want to come hang out. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, definitely hang out uh, with us at start.gg slash GX. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic event. Um, almost all of them have been fantastic. So, yes, no Pro misses. Pro said almost. No, no. Right. <laughs> they, 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 they hey, hey, man, I, I didn't go to one and two, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. But three up until now, you know, we were there for that, and it's been a phenomenal experience. And just like, you know, our friends over at RK Press providing you an awesome experience on the internet as well, just really en encompassing what the fighting game culture is these days and showing us how transcendent it is, how many different environments, how many different art forms we can take the fighting game culture. We see it in Street Fighter with, like, how that's kind of remixed itself back into, like, the urban and, and hip-hop sort of era. We're seeing it with Mortal Kombat. We're definitely about to see it in tech, and I know TK and I are very excited for that, and we'll see it with so much more. This renaissance of fighting games is here, and you got to follow Arcade Press on social media to stay up with the latest and the greatest.
Also, let's talk a minute about Combo Devils. Got to see this game a bunch last night. Looks uh, very intricate. A lot of pieces and a lot of things to get good at in this game. Combo Devils, a brand new platform fighter. We've got a bunch of setups. If you guys can hear me out in the crowd, I don't know if you can. Give me a thumbs up. You guys can't hear me. I was going to say, we no, got some no, setups. If you want to play. You. Oh, you can't? All right. If you guys want to play, there are some setups right over there. If you guys are not there, if you're listening to us on stream, wish list it now on Steam. It's a brand new platform fighter with uh, combo center gameplay, 1v1 modes, 2v2 modes, a roguelite mode, which I love. I yes, love sir. that kind of stuff. And rollback duck code. Check it out. Love that. Collision 2024. That's right. Tri-State is back. You know, believe it or not, friends, those of us who just joined the community, there was a time where we even questioned, can you host a major on the East? You know, like, you know, we do them all the time on the West, but can we do them in the East? Collision, of course, saying, yes, we can. Collision, let's make big moves. You name it. We got tournaments out there for you. Featuring Zane, Spargo, Cody Schwab, MKLeo, Axe, Gluto, and so many other talented players. You will not want to miss out on that. Collision 2024. Register now. Start.gg slash collision for more information. It's crazy to how like times have changed because back in the day, like yeah, when we first like in the broad days, it was all about the East Coast. That's right, yeah. Zenith <laughs> like, you and all to, that. You had to come there for that. But you know, speaking of some more things that are a little more closer to the East, but still, you know, not all the way over there yet. We got that low tide city. That's gonna be a round rock right next to Austin. Uh, you can definitely come hang out with us. Last one, the last one uh, at the Kalahari. So if you're trying to get into your water park tournaments, this is one of the greater ones to go to. Mm -hmm. We got, uh, it's gonna be May, so therefore the heat should be back up, which means it's gonna be a good time to be out mm -hmm. and chilling in the waters as well. Definitely check it out, Low Tide City 2024, start.gg. Oh, and before oh, okay. we get back into the slides, we have a uh, quick visit from a guest. Tweak is here in the building. And yeah. he uh, wants to talk to him, so I'm going to give him my spot. There you go. Uh -oh. There you go. Uh -oh. Oh, he got something to say. Oh, uh -oh. he mad. He mad. <laughs> he said, I better not hear about this on the podcast. <laughs> no, no, nothing like negative. I just thought uh, we should definitely try and get more players up here, especially after they get Ws. They'll be in a pretty good mood. I, I wanted to hear from you specifically, Tweak, because... Going into that, it was 10-9 mm -hmm. in That's sets in, yeah, in Light's favor, but yeah. uh, you played that very dominantly. I'm just going to you know say it for what it was. How'd that uh, kind of unfold in your head? Yeah, sometimes we kind of trade that kind of set. Like yes. last, the set before this one was the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I did look. I like looked up, and I saw the set count. I was like, damn. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if I win, it's like it's just even. But yeah. if I lose, like then I got some work to do. So I, I yeah. don't know. I. I, one of my favorite things about light is um, when we play, and if I if I if it's my day, he takes it much more humbly than I do. It's yeah. something I admire because like when I lose to him, like I get mad. Like, yeah. And mm. even even against him, I'm like, bro, like this character, like this matchup, blah blah. blah. So like, mm. even last time we played, I told him, I'm like, bro, like, like not only were you the better player today, I think you're the better player in general, and like, um, like I just respect the fact that even if I like clown on you, like. You, you you take it like way much better than me, so it, I feel like that's the best kind of rival to have. Yeah, a humble sure. king, a humble king. It helps as a person, helps as a player. Like, and and if we're talking Smash, like the matchup is really really bad for Diddy. So I mean, someone as good as him and um, someone as much as I pl like, it's basically a test. Like, can you win this tournament today if you can be like, cause yeah, yeah. matchup does, player, yeah, like, yeah. rivalry. It, it really does feel like it, whoever is the better player. We keep using this phrase like on that day, yeah, like in that specific circumstance. Yeah. So there are so many things that go or in into like an hour. Span exactly. Of time. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. well, there's so many things that go yeah. into tournament play that people don't think about. Whether it's like sleep routine or food, like who's digesting mm -hmm. that day, who has slower reaction time, faster. There's so many different things. But today, it was very clear that you were just yeah, you're on it, man. I try sure. to stay healthy with it, but I mean, I think I think everyone on this couch knows I'm like I'm like fueled by like revenge. Yeah. Like I I, I always want to play the person who beat me last right. time. Yeah. So he was relatively. You're hard. a rage monster. You're right. Yeah. yeah. Like. Okay. Yeah, and I wanted to it bring keep, something it up keeps too. Me, it keeps waking me up to keep competing, but yeah. like yeah. my next match is like the number one person on my list. So. That's right. Yo, how, how <laughs> important was uh was like the parry game for you? Because I noticed like even if you don't parry a character like Fox, short hop in there, he's still in your face. Dash attack still in your face, uh -huh. which again now becomes a scramble. But you were like, I'm just shutting it down at the door. I'm parrying this, letting him know like you're not going to jump in for free anymore, keeping you out. Like, I noticed, like, that was just way more of a thing. I think Coney brought it up, too. Like, you were flickering a lot more, just like, I'm ready in anticipation. Yeah, shield on, shield off, shield yeah, on, shield off. Yeah, so I called. I've been calling with, with Pink Fresh every day. Um, nice. Not every day. The last two days for this my boy. Event, especially after my first my first set, I had a loss. And I was like, all right, I want to take this serious. Like, I want to wear the headset on the stage. I want to call with Marcus. Like, 
prepare because I've been playing uh, with a kind of new style in neutral the last week or two. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit risky going into an event like this, but I think <coughs> it's on the verge of clicking, if not already clicking. Sure. Um, and I had my usual game plans for light that is like important, consistent, and I need to do it. But the one that was a bit risky was actually the parry. But I, I told Mark, <laughs> I was like, I'm actually going to do it. I'm not only am I going to try to parry, I'm going to try to parry out parry him. Oh, sure. And he was like, Okay, Gavin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's like, okay, if you do that, how about you only do it game one and see how it goes? And mm -hmm. I, I'm like, okay, but like deep down, I'm like, I'm doing it. Yeah, <laughs> oh god, you yeah, already god. committed like, to it. Like Charles and Marcus have to deal with that for so long, where like all of a sudden I'm like, hey, I'm gonna do this, and they're like, wait, wait, that like wasn't on the on the routine. But yeah, that that was the plan. Um, I just feel like my parry's leveled up. So yeah, like, yeah. Who better I, to test it against than him? Yeah, I don't want to keep you for too long, but you said the number one person on your hit list to get a rematch with is next up. I'm assuming that's Mia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How are you feeling going into that? Honestly, I wish I could say more positive things, but like, despite losing game five all the time, like, I honestly don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I'm, I'm gonna try to just play better. Uh, maybe like just focus on making it hard to lose my stock and all that we stuff. I don't know. It, I, I'm just gonna play my heart out. <laughs> we didn't see the Sephiroth <laughs> at all when you guys encountered earlier in group stages on Friday. Yeah. Any chance Seth makes an appearance, or is it all Diddy? I'm gonna say no chance. No, no chance. My man. Oh, that he? character kind of bad. He's yeah. awful. <laughs> kind of. <Yeah>. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> just got there, right? I mean, I that's just, as quick as option, yeah. ain't it? I just really like the character, so I try. But, I got you. Uh, no, that's awesome. If I you also kid. really like banjo. Let's try that. I, yeah, hey. Try some banjo. Maybe Man. some. Hey, you know what? Underrated some Bowser, key. Some Bowser <laughs> Jr. too already. Yeah, yeah Jr. Right? versus Steve. I don't, nope. <laughs> that sounds fun. I can, I can see the perkies are hitting on the couch, so I'm going to let you uh, <laughs> get back to it. Too. Yeah. Thank you so much, and congratulations on your big one, buddy. Perky dance made me do my perky dance. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at some more slides, though. Uh-oh! That's the Brawl, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 1 theme, but that's the one that, that, that is forever in my heart. Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 is now available on all platforms. That's right, all platforms. Featuring your favorite Nickelodeon and Nicktoon fighters like Jenny, SpongeBob, Patrick, Aang, and Raphael. And even one more turtle. Check out Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2, available right now. Extremely fun game. There that's right. Go. And how about oh. this? I mean, we just had two of the uh, members of some of these great podcasts on your screen right now with new episodes dropping every single week. We're talking about Lights Out. We're talking about Tweet Talks. And we're talking about Coach's Corner. You can check them all out all on the respective YouTube channels at EEVSU, Tweak SSB, and Smash University. That's right. Lock in. And, of course, lock in on the sticks, off the sticks, any which way you can. Of course, watch the throne. We are providing something really awesome for you guys. The threads have been immaculate this weekend. As you can see, EE has the jacket on. TK was rocking it as well earlier. Max and so many others. Please check out the shop, okay? We really brought in a lot of cool people to help collab the right way. I feel like a lot of times tournaments, they kind of do a lot of things in shop or in-house. Excuse me. We wanted to make sure we reached out to the community and collab properly. So Spiff, of course, had a helping hand. Of course, B, Art by Ghoul Runnings on Twitter. Go ahead and shoot her a follow. We brought something for everybody. And House of 3000, you know these guys are running the production all weekend here. You should hire them for your event. Mm -hmm. A House of 3K based out of New York City on all of these wonderful platforms. We have Devin in the booth right now with us, running the replays, the guy behind the camera. We were talking last night. Mm -hmm. I was talking with Devin about this. It is so refreshing and cool to have somebody running replays that gets the game. Like, we saw the... Um, that light uh, missing his double jump, yes. losing him. We were like, wow, what happened? That's weird. And, and Devin caught that the, the double jump was there, and he didn't touch the ground on down yeah. tilt. Having somebody that knows what they're doing and yeah. getting that fresh perspective and pair of eyes that understands the game is very powerful. Oh, I, I it's, hard agree. It's I've, good. I've been commentating on Devin's streams for like, I mean, we all have for like the last, you know, five, six, seven years, whatever. And every year I'm next to this tablet, and every year I don't use it because I just don't trust myself. I'm, just, I'm not using this. I just feel like well, I might turn the stream off or well, something. Well, maybe you should switch spots with our next guest. Iken <laughs> has actually decided to come up and join us. You guys know Iken Ryu Extraordinaire finally got a break from his university to come hang out with us for a weekend. My guy, how are you enjoying yourself so far? This event has been absolutely incredible. Love I it. cannot believe the amount of gameplay we've been seeing. I'm finally free from EE side stream. Yes. Free. Thank happy, you, by the way. Of course, happy to give you many <laughs> top player friendlies, but no, this event has had so many heartbreakers, so many hot sets, and I'm just happy to be up here commentating a set or two. Yeah, yeah. sure. Well, you picked a good uh, you know, second half of the block to come in on because uh, needless to say, we got another <laughs> banger. It's going to be Sonic's taking on Karama. Mm. Uh, lifetime. I can't head believe to head. that. Just only one. I'm, I, I'm really surprised they've only played one time. But yeah. 
there it is. I think it's uh, Sonic's rise has really been in the past year, and Karama is somewhat, I think, just by Mario, the way that he operates, can be hot and cold a mm -hmm. little bit. We sure. know he has the potential, but sometimes he runs up against some pretty tough matchups. Sure. Uh, pretty, you know, whether it's like, you know, depending on the character. So I think uh, I'm surprised these guys have not played more, but it's 3-2. Super Mario versus Sonic the Hedgehog happening again here today at Watch the Throne. That's right. Curious to see how this is all going to unfold. I know we were talking with the Buzz last night during the post show, and I brought up the point of, like, you know, I have Fireball. I have certain small options to try to lock a character down, but none of them is fast as Sonic, you know. Yeah. But there is going to be a point in time in this match where Karama gets the lead, and Mario's out of shield game, a kind of OD, better than Sonic. So Mario can be a campy son of a guy, too. Yeah, I'm interested to see how this one's going to unfold for sure. I mean, you kind of look at Sonic's and, you know, when everybody's kind of putting up their mock picks, like, a, you know, he's at the top of a lot of people's list to actually win the entirety uh, of this event, playing very hot. Thus far, has yet to drop a set. So, mm -hmm. you know, Sonic's is kind of that guy for sure. But Karama, I will say this, there's just something about playing on your hometown turf sure. that just inspires. It inspires you. You got a nice crowd down there as well. And they were very vocal for Louis. Can't imagine it's going to be deterred when Karama's on stage. I feel like uh, if you remember back in the days of like old PGR rankings and stuff, there was a specific thing for X Factor, That's which right. is like this player could, you know, show up and pop the hell off yeah. right out of nowhere. And I think Karama's is exceptionally high, and we could see this happen. And and this would be, I think, a pretty big upset. Sonics is on one of uh, the runs of his life. Right? Sure, he's sure. he's in contention for top three in the world, if if not even higher. I agree. The guy's incredible. So I already put him there to be honest. Yeah, yeah I mean, this, this guy is what he's been doing since Gamble. He has built a foundation that is. Mm -hmm. Uh, no cracks, in, yeah. in my opinion, thus far. And of course, big win at Fort. And it feels like, like the the best is yet to come. Yeah, like it feels like he's he's, he's still only getting up. better. Yeah, he's not plateauing. No, absolutely not. So let's see how it goes. I mean, you know, you brought up a really good point of like, Krama could just be the most dangerous player in the world just due to the sheer nature of just being able to pop off at will. We've seen it at Frostbite. I think that was my first time really becoming, you know, what I'm saying very familiar with this gameplay with how he handled Leo all those years ago. Let's see if we can repeat history right here with Sonics. Yeah. Karama did, uh, sorry, Karama. Uh, I can. You play friendlies with all these guys. Did you get any insight on uh, how they might approach any of this? I've noticed Karama's been playing very confident in terms of making sure that he gets a lot of whip punishes with his aerials and crab. But something that I really want to see is the use of Flood. Because mm -hmm. after Sonic spin dashes and jumps, he's in Ooh. the air. Oh, this could be an edge guard. Wait a minute. Nah, we're good. Uh, but Flood could be really, really good at disrupting Sonic's movement after spin dash jump because he's very vulnerable and Flood pushes people really far away in the air. Okay. Uh, I already started ch ch charging it, so we're going to see if it comes into play later on. Okay. Yeah. That's a really good point. I think the Buzz also brought that up too. Flood's going to be a big di uh, difference maker in this Ooh. matchup. Not to the ground, though. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> Not on the ground. Not on the ground. I'm wondering, I'm wondering how easy it is for Karama to get those, like, the, the jackpot up tilts, the huge up airs that sort of link into stocks super early. I feel like Sonic is so fast and so evasive, so nimble. How are you going to land that to be able to extend it on the platform, especially mm. when he's under the platform himself? We're you seeing, gotta go through it. We're seeing a lot of center stage camping, which is like waiting for me to spin dash to catch a jump and go for an up air. Like right there, he went for the swing. Right. Uh, if he gets something like that, he can maybe convert into a ladder at this percent. But right now, it's going to be a game of if Sonic wants to bite. Right? Yeah, 100 brand. Well, Sonic's, you know, I always say this about him. He is not just a defensive demon. He can, his offense flows just as well. But when he does decide to kind of put that defense on, it's very hard to crack because he is not somebody. He doesn't get antsy. He doesn't get, you no. know, that, you know what I mean? Like he will let that clock run if. Need be, but if need be. as you said, Iken right now in some dangerous percentages, so maybe not going to risk any, you know, because Karama, his conversion rate is just insane. It's so you just, just absolutely, cannot yeah. give him that opening, and he's very well aware of that. It's monstrous, man. Sonic's just right here, man. Nerves a steal, and of course, maintaining this lead, really controlling the narrative <laughs> of the match. I think that's so important with these two characters. Like, whoever gets the lead, they have to do a really damn good job of holding on to it. No Nair that time. Almost threw him off there. Oh, there's the back here. Yeah. As, as we get to the later stages of Ultimate, five years in, I think there's a real premium on characters that set the pace. And yes. I think who does that better than Sonic? And you see a character like Mario who's stubby, kind of a brawler type, having to chase him from left to right. You really have to make these opportunities and these moments count because at neutral, he's just going to win straight up yeah. just mm -hmm. by spin dashing. So, yeah, Karamo was able to get, like, what, 20-something percent off that string? And now we're back to where we are. And that actually all started from a fireball clank. Like, dragon moves can clank with spin dash. You can get, like, really good CQC mix right there. So if Karama plays smart with his tilts and jab, he can maybe get a clank into his favor. Yeah. 
We'll see if he can try to break that zone quick enough to possibly get in his face. Mario, of course, can check your temperature. Very, very quick jab. I believe a frame faster than Sonic's jab, too. So, I mean, he's armed to the teeth in terms of speed, but like you said, you just have to ch uh, chase, excuse me, Sonic's down, and that is a task within itself here. Yeah, this is really where, like, the struggle is because as good as Mario is, he's got to put his hands on you. Sonic does a good ah. job of the evasiveness right here. Take your full oh. control. And you're yeah, going to see that man. because there's no reason not to commit. Mario being so stubby that recovery not bad, but Sonic is just well-equipped to cover it. And even with Kurama taking that stock there, still finds himself an entire one behind. Yeah, we're, we're half the game is over now. We're coming up to three and a half minutes. Sonic's with a full stock lead. No reason to suggest that he's going to hit the gas really at any point he's found the winning strategy karama mm -hmm. impetus is on him to uh try to adapt but good good luck man uh -oh. it's gonna be tough yeah uh -oh. it's very it's very apparent very just important that sonics plays this game i mean you just don't want to get into a slugfest with a character as good out of shield as you know mario is so it's certainly exactly what we need to see right now nothing off these fireballs really it's nothing even too fancy from Sonics either, right? Mm -hmm. It's just you're just seeing pure efficiency on his end, like just good decision making, and that, that's you know when you, especially when you get a lead against Mario here, that's all you need. We're hitting under three minutes uh, with two stocks to go. We could see a timeout if Krama doesn't make an opening oh. happen in, but oh, this could happen. Okay, double fair. Not a lot of characters can do much about that. The first hit, very very quick, very hard to break out of. Cape the spin dash. Cape it. <laughs> He'll go the other way. He'll die. Oh, Run up there. Yeah, Chroma's looking for these up airs, trying to get a ladder kill, but it, Sonic is just not biting to give it to him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sonic, I'm, I'm, I'm pitching the tent right now, man. Cue, cue the campfire songs. <laughs> C-A-M-P-I. <laughs> song. It's, it's present right now. It's getting to that point for sure, but, you know, again, I, I would say it's a compliment to just how dangerous that Sonic does pick Karama. There's a oh. lot of distance to cover, man. It's a big stage. There's the platform there. Sonic's is just going to go to the ledge. It's just... But we love this stage as Mario because we kill at 40. So That's I right. get why we pick it. Got to get the hit first, man. How are you going to get happen. that hit, man? Yeah. 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 He, could lose, he could lose here and still instantly just run it back. Like, just... Okay, double up nah. here. I like that. Don't commit. There's no reason to. Yeah, play this one as safe as you possibly can. And the thing is, Sonic's disadvantage is that Krama doesn't convert into anything. That just spring, that air dodge is going to bring him out of so many situations that would normally be the deaths of so many characters. Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, man, Taki, I'm just milking this one at this point, man. Playing for stats. What's up? Fair? No. They're actually a little off the mark there that time. Trying to check the temperature. I like that. That one hit jab. Trying to read the roll in or potentially a directional air dodge into, into F Smash. We've seen a lot of that from Ken yesterday. Yeah, fast. Oh, this one is uh, looking just about wrapped up. It doesn't need to have to go to time. But uh, time is definitely up for that stock. Sonic's dominant performance in the opening game of that winner's quarters matchup. I it? think we got to change the stage. Yeah, bro. I was going to ask. That's fast, I think yeah. we got to change the Where would you stage. go? I can, I'm curious. Uh, I'm thinking something like Smashville or Small, but assuming Sonic's, he probably banned those. Ain't no way you're getting that. Yeah, yeah, absolutely <laughs> not. yeah exactly. So. Mwah! Going to give him a kiss. Going to give right. him a kiss. Kiss of death, man. Mamma Mia. There you go. That's it. Uh, yeah, Sonic's is just... Uh, I mean, just always putting on a master class on how to deal with all characters off stage. You know, of course, Mario, no exception. You catch them quick enough, that first hit on fair is frame five. A lot of characters don't have a move quick enough to even trade or clank or even try to beat it out, but Sonic's right. I mean, just look at the replays. There's another one. And the time is just so threatening to fight under yeah. with, with pressure going on because yeah. as you go three minutes, two minutes, one minutes, you have to make a move, and a move wrong move against Sonic can just easily be a stock. Yeah. So we got small, though. Let's see what happens over here. Okay, well. Sonic's Much less space first. to have to traverse to true, try to chase true. down uh, Sonic, which... Well, we'll see if that plays into his advantage. But the problem with Sonic's is, like, even if you do chase him down, it's not like his uh, scrapping potential isn't high. He's very good if you get close to him yes. even still. This is, he can fight you. He just doesn't yeah, have, he doesn't to. have that, to. That's yeah. what I continue to like, try and stress about the fact that Sonic's offense is, is insane. Mm -hmm. Like, this is not somebody who's just trying to run away from you, bro. It's like the nature of the matchup makes it more beneficial. Sure, I get it. But he will scrap with you uh, to Cody's point. And I think we might actually see a lot more of that. If we win in this, uh, this battle right now, I got him in the triple digits right out the gate. That's right. Stock in danger already. Oh, almost gone to 60 seconds right here, man. 
There's the homing attack. He's been pretty oh, aggressive here, man. He like, really is, right? I mean, he's really just holding forward. I mean, even with the spring, too, being able to edge guard without actually having to be off stage is huge in this matchup. And it's a huge mix-up, too. You go from the last game where it's, like, really, you know, patient, Jeez. taking your time, not he's, really approaching as much, ah. to just this offensive onslaught that's just leaving him really kind of confused. Like, oh, damn, I was certainly not expecting that switch up. Mm -hmm. These F tilts on the neutral getups are just two in a row for Sonic that led to uh -oh. a oh. oh! That kind of used to be what you did against Sonic players because they just had that one sort of easy bake strategy. It's like, all right, but once I get in, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Yep. Now they know what they're doing. That's We're right. five years in and we've learned to play the game. Yes. It's different. And thank God. And Sonic with the stock lead is one of the hardest players, if not the hardest player to beat in Ultimate for sure. Yeah. Hey, there's the Nair. Karma has to make something happen here. Not getting anything off these fireballs. Love that dash attack, though. Of course, Sonic, you know, no hitbox on their recovery. Mario can make quick work of that off stage. There's a fireball, finally. Nice. I mean, to Karama's credit, he's getting a lot of simple. Catch the air dodge? A lot of simple no, I don't things. think he makes oh, it. Does. Right. The yeah. air ball, what the heck? A lot of simple <laughs> things really added up there. So Sonic just really didn't get too much off of that lead at all. Karama took that stock, and I just heard all of NorCal yell down there. They're <laughs> actually rooting for their boy. I thought I heard that, too. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> it sounded like a fan kicking on. Like, I heard, like, a <laughs> I didn't know if that was the crowd it's or the little, heater. It's but. a little bit more enthused when it's closer, right? That last game was just like, oh, mm. yeah, good job. You're still down two stunts. Yeah. But here, it's very even. Yeah, so. very good point. The this is, this is where the mistake's going to hurt the most for both players. Right. Okay, do you really want to play the aggressive game versus Karama again? Mario's off is out of shield. Very terrifying, but again, Sonic is supposed very to be good. Oh, yeah. yeah, only took air dash, not the grounded one. It just it's too fast. Yeah, I think Flood is stronger versus people in the air, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another fireball back up. Don't touch me. Nice. Yeah, they're starting to spiral a little out of control right now for Karam. Ask for out a way to keep these boots on to center stage. We do have Mario with Rage at Rage percent though, so one grabber up air could lead to a stock. You're looking for it right there. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, just able to eat through the fireball there. Yeah, in air, uh, aerial spin charge and spin dash don't clank actually, so mm -hmm. they can go through the fireball, but the round of one has to stop. It's uh, very good for going through projectiles. Maybe anticipating him just throwing one out for free just to see if he will jump and then figure out a way to maybe break that distance a little bit. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Get that spring out of here. Watch the F-tilt. Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, here we go. Party time. A little bit too far. Good DI plus Rage, just not quite stringy. They stopping him in his tracks, though. Another flank. Okay, and he's just dancing our circles around him. Karama right here, just struggling right here to maybe get a solid footing in the neutral, just to get a word in, if you will. Uh oh. Uh, oh, that, oh, that, oh, that sucks. Oh, yeah, that spring just the camera kind of messing him up on that, too, because the camera wasn't quite caught up, mm. I don't think. Might have been able to air dodge attack, but I'm not even sure. It looked pretty far away. Yeah, a couple of unfortunate circumstances in that interaction are going to give Sonics uh, the ability to continue piling on to this lead. And honestly, might be trying to work on another two stock. Okay. Uh, right now, really uh, has to figure out a way to mount this comeback, but I think it's going to come at the cost of possibly him just breaking that zone physically and getting in. But that's such a tall ask right now. Wait a minute. Okay, couldn't quite stuff him out with the back air. Up air is on lock right now. Yeah, Sonics is locking down center stage still well. Chrome mm -hmm. has to make some kind of move to get the stock back. Yeah. Not going to be able to play the patient game here for too much longer. Hey, Good maybe. Heavens. We've seen, uh, you know, the utilization of Nair, just how long that move lasts. You know, I think when Sonic des uh, does decide to fly in, you know, Nair is just already lingering on the way out, looking to possibly get a trade of yeah. something, any sort of percent. Oh. It, is, it, it is insane to me how good Karama is and how much Sonic's makes this look that much more one-sided. Right? You just nullify like, Mario's just good when he hits you. Yeah, the character just can't do anything. Like you don't, you don't have it. Mario's you know? good when he fights you. Yeah. You just don't get the fight. Like I think, I think to fight Sonic, you need either stronger punishes, like a la a yeah. Okay, so he yeah that time he got under yeah. You need stronger punishes. Like a, um, like a, like a Kazuya, sure, right? Sure. So when you lock him down, you actually get a kill. Mm -hmm. Or you need bigger disjoints or a way to actually hit him as he comes in. Maybe something like a fast attack or quick move. It's like, yeah, he tried to go I under, see, just see, clipped okay. it. I see, yeah. Yeah, I can see how this could be tough for Mario. I mean, he gets so much base, he's just being able to outbutton the opponent. Or if not, outbutton him outright. At least match him in terms of speed and, and utility. But 
Sonic is just one of those characters where like I have similar buttons to you, but I don't have to use them like Phil said. I can actually just like disengage and yeah. now you have to come to me, so yeah. yeah. Let's see what the game plan is going to be. It's like we're switching yeah, over we to, had to do Roy? something. Kurama did mention he was working on a Roy, but I don't know if it's going to work. No, I, I don't think it, I don't think it works. But you do need something because again, it's like you you with any other character, you are banking on Sonic to mess up. Yeah. You are yeah. banking on the big punish. Like I brought a Kabzia earlier, but that's not good, that's right? right? It's just like if you do hit him, you kill him. Maybe there's been a couple times where I've seen it, it, it's sparingly, right? But I've seen Kurama kind of bring out a secondary. They're usually sorties because. Outside of Roy, I think the last one I saw was a corn. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Varian levels of success, for sure. Uh, but, you know, as you guys said, you got to do something different here. The Mario didn't look like he even had a chance. So maybe this Roy can spark something. We yeah, are, yeah, 100%. We, we are also on Town and City, and this is Roy's stage where he kills you at 40 and he takes your hands. So. Oh, I mean, you, uh, yeah, if, you, if you double edge dance jump. while he's spin dashing at maybe, the ledge, right? But good luck <laughs> getting there. Of course, this is all done with the implication that you can actually lock Sonic down. Now, once Roy gets you in the corner, you got the frame five jab. And, Kind of like what you talked about, Cohen. You get a very less is more sort of mentality. I hit you once, and then there's an initial death hit afterwards where Mario has to kind of dance with you a little bit you more. Yeah, string some stuff. Yeah, there it is. The I jab into there. I mean, this is good percent, but you got to turn this into a stock. Well, trying to make something happen, that's for sure. But right now, it is, yet again, all Sonics at the moment trying to control the pace of this drama. <laughs> Bringing that sword. Trying to get in there very safely. A few mistakes you want to make. If you're Roy, especially you don't want to get chucked off the stage. No, you definitely cannot afford to have that happen. But here's the corner control right now. I love Sonic holding ledge here. His ledge hang is so good, and Roy does not have any options to cover that ledge hang. Oh, so he's he out. Has to hold it. Yeah. <laughs> he holds <laughs> so long. He ran out of stamina. <laughs> Tired hands, yeah. yeah. I love that, man. Yeah. Sonic's just kind of nodded to you, like, yeah, yeah, you got that. You got it, man. Yeah, I don't get in. the vibe he feels pressured at all. No, no. Like, he's just. He's I mean, just chilling, bro. Sonic yeah, no. has like, Roy, such, such a good ledge hang from Sonic, and Roy has nothing to hit that, essentially. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, Sonic's not afraid of the corner control, the position police, whatever you want to call him. He's just, he's just not afraid. There's no urgency. That said, though, I mean, even after that unfortunate first stock, it's more even than you would think. I mean, 60% mm -hmm. difference isn't that high. No, not at all, especially to be playing a character like Roy. I mean, this character's kind of crap damage. Yeah. Nice. There's oh, an up air. Quick juggle? Nah, spin shot out of there. Oh, ah, come on, he's right there. Mm, that was a wild fair, too, man. An approaching one into the jab afterwards. Tech chase? Ah. Oh, I love that. I gotta imagine Sonic's is confident, obviously, but you don't want to play with your food. Like, if you're gonna, you know, if you're gonna try and put this away in three, you need to actually put it away. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Oh, man. Yeah, that's it. Stuff like that can be so scary because he connects that. That could be your stock. EE -E predicting the future up here, man. Yep. Oh, Got it. it's tough because like there, there's clearly the legs are a little wobbly mm -hmm. with Roy. You know, it's like we're still kind of learning this a little bit. Obviously, as Roy is, it could mop pretty much anybody in the venue, not in the bracket. But it's just as an answer to Sonic, you just gotta have a little bit more confidence on those hits. Yeah, gotta really want it. I think you know he's copy and pasting a lot of stuff that works with Mario over to Roy, which on paper you know works in a lot of scenarios. But now we're in a deficit versus Sonic. Oh, oh, my my hit him with the Y I auto. Yeah. The yeah. schoolyard bully, 1940s punch right there. That's that the was me. Get That's him the out of here. Right there. That's the <laughs> Yeesh. All right, there it is. 3-0 and a handshake for mm. Sonics. Looking as dominant as ever. And again, one of the favorites in this tournament. So advancing thus far to semis, we are just tuning in. We've had Mia. We've had tweaks. Sonics now joins those ranks, and momentarily we'll settle it between Spargo and a cola. Yes, sir. This is uh, the, the 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 Sonics problem. I think is an interesting one because uh, throughout Smash history, we've seen characters kind of come up and dominate and start really doing well. And people are like, okay, what is the answer to this? Mm -hmm. What do I have that can beat this challenge presented to me? And usually, it's another character or it's something that directly beats that thing. In Sonics's case, it's like. It is a character, but more than that, it is a concept. It, it is. is this. It's a thought it process. Is, it, yeah. is a th it is a ball on the left and the right side of the stage that is invincible mm -hmm. <laughs> at a certain point. What do you do about that ball? And I don't know what the answer to that is yeah, for most yeah. of these players. I mean, what, what would be the answer? Because, I mean, again, I could be a little novice in this wheelhouse, but does Sonics have any losing, like, uh, hard losing matchups? Like, do I do I go disjoint, you know, and try to outswing them? Like, what do I do here? Usually... 
Sonic has a pretty hard time in two main matchups, which is Fox and Aegis. Fox sure, is sure. able to lock him down because of the dash attack, and Aegis is a whirling pool of Mithra and Air. Yep. But both characters can get edge guarded really hard by Sonic. Yes. So it kind of comes down to a situation of if Sonic is playing good and he catches you where he needs to be, matchups don't really matter as much as if you can catch him in the first place. And mm -hmm. we saw on that set, Krama tried the Roy, tried the Mario. He had threat ranges where he can get the kill. Plat tech chase from Roy, down throw up air ladder percent for Mario. But if he couldn't get the hit and Sonic was playing evasive and baiting and hitting everything he needed to do, like three F tilts on neutral getup, like mm -hmm. how do you hit him, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good What's point. Up? Both characters oh, kind of okay. milk a lead really good, but I think nobody does as well as Sonic. Mario can yeah. because you have to kind of get up on him and play the out of shield game, which most people just can't oh, do. Beautiful. But, you know. Oh, is this Sonic's coming through? Oh, man, it's feeling vibey up here. It's feeling vibey up here. Uh -oh. <laughs> this guy. Don't don't time us out up here, man. There we go. We only con for two hours. <laughs> how do people How do people win? Like, seriously, what are people supposed to do? Please tell us. Any advice? Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> Put it on, brother. You in the booth. I cannot reveal that secret. I'm sorry. Okay, fair. <laughs> well, that's fair. The tournament's not done yet. The tournament's not done yet. Nah, good job, man. Um, I, I gotta ask you, you know, we're... Okay. I know, I know you. You had, you, you had no doubt you were gonna win against Mario, right? Yep, yep. When he brought out Roy, did that throw you through a little bit of a loop? Because it looked like you got a little bit more laxed, I want to say, at least. More... Oh. You got a little more laxed. Like, you were kind of chilling a little bit. Dude, I mean, I love Roy. Like, <laughs> I, I was like, oh, this is better, actually. Yeah. So I was chilling. Uh, Mario, yeah, I mean, I've been playing Mario since Smash 4 because, mm -hmm. like, I, I used to I used to play Dark Wizzy on, on Wi-Fi, like, yep. literally religiously every day and sure. every night. So I'm just really good against Mario. I'm also really good against Roy because I fought, like, Cola, I fought Goblin. Yes. I play Roy myself, so I know how Roy works. Mm -hmm. So I was honestly chilling for the most part. Yeah, that yeah. was probably one of the uh, more comfortable draws I think you could have got having to go into that uh, that winner's quarters. Who's up next for you, Tweet? Uh, no, it? it's Spargo. Oh, Spargo or, or Akola. Well, yeah, obviously, yeah. you know, you and Spargo go back and forth. I'm sure you're comfortable in that. Yeah. Akola, though, I know you just like, man, yeah. give me, give me. <laughs> <laughs> Bring him here again. Bring him here again. <laughs> Bring him here again. Bring him here. He said, Daddy got the belt for you. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like your bracket path a lot, actually, though, man. I, I think you have a lot of matches that are just like, you know, you're just either going to win or like, you know, for a fact it goes back and forth, but you have that additional clutch factor that you can really kick it into gear. So how are you feeling about the just the tournament in general? I'm going to talk to you. I feel pretty good, honestly. Uh, if I'm being completely honest, though, I was like a little nervous coming sure. into it. Like, sure, sure, sure. I mean, I was literally debating like, man, like, obviously I was going to come, but mm -hmm. I was like, man, I'm not going to come. Like, I'm playing like <laughs> trash right now. <laughs> I'm not coming this. Sorry, but like. Honestly, I don't know. I just sucked it up and uh, regained my confidence. Yeah. I played offline. I think that's what changed. Yes, yeah. that helps a lot. <laughs> nice. oh, I yeah. Online offline. cheese happens, bro. That's, that's right. right. Uh, yeah, online's a different game. But uh, yeah, I mean, I feel pretty good. Like, I like my bracket. I like the the remaining opponents, like my projected paths, even if I win or lose. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. There you go. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, great stuff, man. I mean, I, I've always been a fan of yours since day one. You know that, man. So you're a real one. That's ace. Hey, I'd like to think so, but I want to see you definitely do well this weekend and keep doing well because you've been playing out of your mind. Thank you, man. Thank I you. got a question for you mm -hmm. before we let you go. Is there any world where you uh, bring out like a true secondary? <laughs> yeah, do you I'm, even I'm just have curious. Those? I'm do not even. Does Sonic one? need I'm not it? I'm telling you, I'm just curious. Oh, that something, does like, Sonic even need it? I don't though. think he does. He doesn't I, at yeah. all. I'm just curious. Like, would that ever happen? I'm Honestly, yeah. maybe not now, mm -hmm. but like. Back in the day, I remember, I think it was the first time I played Light at Momocon last year. I was actually debating going Roy against him. Oh, mm. okay. Really? So you yeah. really are, like, in, in it with Roy like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I mean, at the same time, though, I just love Sonic way too much. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and and it's like, I don't know. I don't want to, I want to set an example for other Sonic players. Like, you don't need another character. Sure. Yeah. Because back in the day, like in Smash 4, and even in this game to this day, there'll be people saying, like, oh, Sonic loses this matchup, or Sonic does not, can't do good in this matchup. And it's like, dude, he can. Like, I want to set that example. Like, if you play Sonic. You just need Sonic. I think I think you yeah. have. I think all the other ones are dual mains. I think you're the only like just solo Sonic main. Obviously, being the best one in in the world. So, yeah. Well, I'll tell you yep. what, man. You you you're a bunch of still a bunch of spinning blue gems, but <laughs> <laughs> you know damn well I'm always proud of you, brother. Man, Good yeah. stuff. Appreciate best of luck it, in the rest of the bracket, Thank awesome. you, my friend. Best Thank of you. luck, man. It's been a pleasure watching you yeah. play, and great. always a great time. Thank, Thank you. You, you guys keep up the great work too. Appreciate awesome. it, man. Seriously. Thank, Thank you. you so much. So, yep. right. that was Sonic's right there. A dominant. I got you.
a dominant performance over Karama for sure, and he is uh, in winter semis. But we got to get him an opponent, right? We got to <laughs> figure out right. who's going to go up against him. Well, look Jeez. no further. It's going to be one of these two guys. And I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not in Vegas. I don't know if I'm a betting man, but the the uh, head to head will indicate that Spargo should be favored going into this. Wow. Well, so they haven't played since Battle of BC5 around half a year ago. Yeah. And that was when, if I remember correctly, Akola tried the Aegis and the Donkey Kong. And there's been a lot of talk about if we're going to see one of those characters coming out instead of the Steve against Cloud. What do you guys think? Uh, the Donkey I, Kong? No. I, no, I don't <laughs> think so. I don't think so. Yeah, no, no, no. You got to no. put that up. Um, I, it's, I mean, it's, hard, it's hard to gauge, man. It's weird because it's like you get to this point where, and when you're as gifted as Akola is, it's just like, okay, my best character has not produce the results I would expect it to. Yeah. And it's really just, Spargo's just that thorn, that consistent thorn. And, you, and to your point, like, and it has been a while since they've matched up. And I remember yesterday when Spargo came and found me, he was like, yo, who do I play tomorrow? I was like, I went over to Ray, found out. I was like, a cola. I swear this boy went up 10 feet when he just jumped. He was like, yeah, like he wants this. Yeah, Spargo, you know what I mean? He wants this head to head. He mm -hmm. wants to play a cola so bad. I talked to my Terra. I talked to him two days ago. This guy is ready to fight a cola again. 100%. That's right. And it is going to be a cloud exhibition for sure. Does play uh, Aegis secondary, but uh, you'll see the Aegis if he actually, if he gets past a cola and he has to fight Sonic, that's when you'll see the Aegis come out. But right now, uh, this is going to be Cloud versus... Akola's locking in his character. Yeah. Aegis. Curious, Aegis it is, yeah. Okay. Game one. Interesting. Wow. I, you know what? I almost think that's a good thing to try a game one so you're not <laughs> at least demoralized. Like, okay, mm -hmm. my, my Steve lost, and I was like, oh, I got to do something. Like, no, go into the first game with some confidence in another character and just see what can happen. Yeah. yeah. You never know. At the end of the day, you never know. These are two gifted players and two of the best young guns in the business. And game number one, the Sortie Showdown right now. Okay. Akola versus Spargo. Let's, Let's get it. it. Let's see how it all unfolds right here. Now, you already know the vibes when Spargo gets to leave. We're going to start playing up beyond the shield. The back airs are going to be present. Very yep, hard there it is. to punish, of course. Back air minus three on hit. So, And also, just a really long disjoint. Even if you are close up to punish, you're probably not going to get it. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Mr. Pressure either extends upwards and forces you to go to the ledge or fully extends you off stage outright. And both of those places are where Cloud does not want to be. Uh, right there, burning his jump and air dodge just to make it back to center. So we're going to see what Mithra has to do to try to uh, get Cloud out of here. Okay. He's a little fortunate too for Sparrow. Ah, Obviously, ooh. we know he has a very polished age, just can't say it enough. So he's going to pretty much know what to expect coming out of a cola. And keep in mind too, he had to get past, uh, you know, get past some of the, uh, the best agents in the business. In, pre in uh, prior tournaments as well. So there's no ignorance in this matchup at, uh, at all. No, absolutely not. Both sides with a lot of skin in the game here versus these two characters. But, I mean, what started out as a very hot start right here for Spargo. Aqua starting to figure some things Ooh. out. But wait a there minute. Is. I may have spoke too soon. We swinging for the fences right here. Up smash, getting it done. Again, you just can't jump in and around Cloud for free, man. You really got to watch how you jump. But that's such a tough thing when you're playing Pyro and Mithra. You get so much off in there. Oh, we are swinging. Forward smash is all the way coming out from uh, Cola. Uh -huh. and, and up until now, the entirety of the game was really played at center. If yeah. you notice, the entire game was inside that Pokeball between those two platforms. And now we're finally seeing some play off on the side. But no real trapping. No real edge stuff going on here. It's just mostly in the center. But you see a Cola blocking him down, getting that grab, switching over to Mithra here. Oh, oh foresight. Whoa. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Take that. Are you going forward to it? Nah, bro. Yeah. And Akola's keeping up, you know? We're keeping up in stocks. We're yeah. not down super far behind like you would be with Steve. So this counter pick's looking pretty well to start off. But there's another up B, though. Again, that's the party ender right there. I don't care how much fun you're having. <laughs> you, you need to respect this. Climb, yeah. Cloud's climb hazard is such a get out of jail free card at times. Oh, oh my God. goodness. Hold oh. on. Oh. Wow. Off oh. stage down air? Oh, oh okay. almost. Just but still little, locked little down. It, it, he's avoiding the down air, and Sparko's picking an option too fast and got down tilted twice and got sort of reset over and over. Oh, yeah. Got yeah. hit again and again. Now he's oh. able to make it oh. back. Oh. But oh. For how long? Oh. Oh. Dominance revolt. Let's oh. yeah. get it. Power hey. guys are on command, baby. Let's go. That's right. <laughs> Okay, okay, yes, trying to go for a big option of his own. Down in the corner, the footstool, hold up a damn minute. Hold on, Spargs, what's going on, man? Hold up. Oh, great grab coming up from Spargo. Off stage? No. Nice. Okay, yeah, you, oh, you thought. Okay. <laughs> I think they were both a little greedy in that exchange. They are swinging. <laughs> there's, a, there's a grab somewhere in there, but no one took it. Okay, so. Spargo about to be swinging big here pretty soon. A limit almost locked in. And as you know, man, when that limit becomes a factor, Spargo becomes just a little bit more dangerous. Oh, yeah, but wait a minute. I got some DLC privilege, too. Direction Air Dodge down out of shield to force the foresight. Really, really smart. Ah, <laughs> rolled into it. That's so <laughs> All right, I, I will give it up. This age is looking way more polished than the last time we saw it. Keeping very good pace, actually beating Spargo at the moment. Percent lead, center stage. This is looking really good for Akola. 
Okay. Locking him down here in the corner. Can't go too high because, of course, you got to deal with, like, either Nair. Oh, my oh. goodness. Up smash just slightly off. Yeah. Won't be able to survive another one of those. That's for damn sure. Uh, but Up B. How are you getting this killed? Because you you see he's really fishing for that down uh, air into up smash, and he did it, like, three times. It's like, wait a minute. Does that mean uh, he doesn't wait. know how to land it? Uh, limit has to be burned here. Okay, back into the corner, though. This is just where you can watch the tilt. To be. Yeah, watch yes. out, watch Do not out. roll, Spargo. Do not roll. I'm wondering oh how God. confident Akola is in landing this kill. These auto cancel uppers and backers to cover center stage are so threatening for <gasps> Spargo to deal with. Oh, my goodness. Hey, we're slowing this match down, says Spargo. That's okay. I'm in the deficit. But if you swing, though, you already know what my option out of shield is. Yep, not even halfway to that uh, limit just yet. Not going oh for goodness. it. Oh, he oh that's Spargo. too low. He oh. wants blood. <laughs> <laughs> this is insane. Akola's played so well, but can he close it out, Spargo? Definitely on the doorstep of bringing this one all the way back. Great forward tilt. Akola is swinging Catch. a little oh, too. Wow. Dude, yeah, seriously. Well, there was then. something about Akola going for the same kill setup three times in a row yeah. that put something in my brain where it's like, okay, he knows this one thing. That's like, right. this is a one trick kind of deal. And it's not working. No, and now you're just swinging. Like, okay, short hop forward air, short hop forward air. Like, you got to have the discipline to lock him down, get him in the corner, go for F tilt, mm -hmm. or, or try to get a lockdown, not just swing first. Mm -hmm. He was swinging first. And I like the point out too i love the fact that spargo despite like he was you know obviously that percent was really starting to mount he did not like disengage like he was still that offensive threat yes. that beast just applying all kinds of pressure and that was just tremendous on his part but cola man i liked what i saw at the ages you could definitely tell he's been working on this character specifically probably just trying to keep pace with spargo oh my. unlucky break wow. that wall was just <laughs> <That's> a <laughs> Yeah, and also Akola just not afraid to let Spargo swing first. I think we've seen that most notably in the beginning of the match where, you know, again, you're swinging, but I'm using foresight, you know, just trying to read which way you're going to go first. You know, Until again, the end. Yeah, until the end. Great 50 coming out. I mean, this Aegis seems pretty primed to just try and fight Cloud. We're seeing a lot of rising aerials of Clash Cloud short hops, mm -hmm. and it's working out pretty well. But again, Tony, like you said, if you're too telegraphed with it with Pyra down there, you're going to get destroyed. You got to shift gears. Like, yeah. we know that the Aegis can win, but like... Once you get deep into the stocks, once you're hitting that 120, 130 on final hit, you got to shift into that overdrive, you know? Hit Nitrous and yeah. let's see if Akola has it. Oh! Great read on the spot dodge. Uh-huh. Okay, knew he was going to pick a poor option up close and personal. Nair getting busy on these top platforms. This is... Spargo is so terrifying in the corner, especially in and around these platforms. Nair just covers so much uh, distance and space. Yeah, Spargo, his utilization Hold of on. all tools involved. Uh -huh for his character. Does not disappoint it again. We're seeing that Nair Down cover up. a lot. That's probably oh, going to do it. Yeah. Up and it's over, to say the least. Spargo first stock going his way. I hope Akola's confidence isn't getting diminished after losing that game one because it he could have won. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's last hit game one, one versus Spargo. Yeah. Your sleeve would not probably not have done that, honestly, right? Yeah. Yes. I, I agree with that. I feel like it was a yeah. coin flip, too. And and even though, like, oh my Ooh, lord, he's my. swinging. Almost giving him a little taste of his own medicine. He said, look, yeah, you're a sortie, but every time you swing, I'm going to parry it. I mean, you only have Ooh. so many approach options. As oh, 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 nice. Whoa. Okay. And that right there, I'm glad to see that happen for our Cola because Spargo's trying to set a precedent. like, I will literally just decimate you at all points that I decide to. So you got to mm -hmm. not let him be able to get some of these cheeky kills and really put in the stamp. Yeah, don't be so easy to kill off stage, right? right? Put something threatening out there, right? Yeah, of course, that's a task much easier said than done when you got a character carrying a big disjoint like that after you, but... If there's a will, there's most certainly has to be a way. Uh, okay, early on the swing here this time with up smash. Spargo is so good over time, though. I mean, yeah. I, I feel like as games go on, Spargo is so good at picking his opponent apart. You can kind of see it here, kind of yeah. lock down this uh, this Aegis in a lot of ways. Right. Cola definitely has the ability, but ah, ah. good there. Yeah. Okay. Was it real good? Yeah, and again, oh, I'm just what? carrying Only one of hits. those. Oh, okay. Right. Didn't get all that, but... But Mess is definitely sent, though. Not yeah. going to be able to jump on me for free. True. Okay, there, here's another one. Okay, but we're starting to read those this time. Good stuff on Akla. Again, like you said, Cody, kind of shifting the gears. You know, approaching what feels to be aggressive. I'm just going to hold shield, let you swing, and then right. boom. Oh, I like the switch back to Mithra there. Not paying on Pyro for too long to get chip for extra credit. But you're off stage now. Uh-oh. The okay. back ears are present. Uh, we are dancing on these platforms. Yeah. Oh, my just, God. Uh, that's the third time, yeah. Cola. We just, gotta... It's so hard when you're just... You're, He's just getting outpaced. I mean, yeah, that's facts. That's facts. The question is, do we uh, do we get Steve on the phone? Do we do we need to call that boy or what? Uh, we might need to send a little call. Yeah. Stop hey. in the corner like that. Oh, I love that grab. Yeah. Love that. We need more of that. Yeah, Sparrow is straight up just shielding. Like, yeah. Because he knows that Cole is going to swing first because he's antsy. True. And I love that because now he knows to grab it and Spargo 
does the fade back cross slash. That's smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now, Sparkle's starting to push the envelope. Oh, nice. Good looking for uh, the one hit on cross slash. Uh, Wait a uh, minute. Up he clips his jump. There's a chance here for a cola. Uh, very slim, but I mean, it is it is ages. Like, things things can go her way in a heartbeat. You mm -hmm. need center stage first, though. Yeah. Yes, you do. Oh, oh wow. The air. Is that forward Damn. smash? Is she charging forward smash? I think it was think up, so. maybe. Was it up? It was still. It was one smash attack. Shouldn't yeah, be a smash one. attack either way. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, is it zero? Zero. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Let's Hold on. Wait. Let's see. Thank you, he, Lord Devin. Who was he lining up here? Was it up? Yeah. Down, down to Oh, it was up. Yeah. Yeah. What are you bash. doing? Maybe, <laughs> maybe trying to catch. Because you, I mean, you can hit him if they jump, right? Maybe try and do some offstage shenanigans. If you can get him in that position. Yeah. Like, yeah. That was... No one was home for that, man. You swinging that cast. Ain't nobody there, bro. There's Cloud on stage. Oh, what the hell, boy? But if, oh. that, if that down tilt hit, down tilt forward smash, Cloud off stage, could get sure, a cheese kill, sure. maybe, Yeah, that's right? what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I understand the logic. But nonetheless, yeah. sticking with the Aegis... I, you know, I guess I call it just having just like zero confidence that Steve can get the job done here. Yeah, yeah I mean, there like has zero. been like the, the talk online of like how good Cloud does uh, versus the blocks, you know, just having that big sword in his hand and being yeah. able to just to decimate him, but I don't know. Even percents right now. Yeah. It's usually been Sparkle kind of opening up big and then Akla having to play catch up. Yeah. Wait a minute. Look, Akola is a great player. I just, I think he's got the same issue a lot of Aegis players has, which is like sealing that stock is harder than you think. Yeah. Because yeah. you switch to Pyro and you're just getting swatted. You're taking all this easy percent, but you feel like you need to be her because you need to kill with Ford Tilt. <laughs> and then it's just, you're dead, you know? No, very good point. Like, sacrificing all this Mithra speed for kill power with Pyra is just so hard to like compete Ooh. against Cloud with all these movements and disjoints. Let me out. Okay, we get back to the list, but there's the trump. That's re grab, and unfortunately, all you yeah. grabbed right there was just a lot of percent. There you go. Okay, like the grab from uh, Akola. Off safe situation, maybe get the stock here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, nice. you know better. You know better. Uh, that was a little, a little antsy from Spargo, but he's going to survive. Perry. Oh! I like this newfound confidence right here from Akola. I mean, you're on your last game potentially. You gotta make something happen, yeah, right? They're both just like, all right, it's time to, it's time to swing more so Akola. Mm hmm. Okay, counting the swings a little differently oh. this time with a grab. No real punish off of it. Forward air? No, he didn't swing. Okay, let him off the hook right there. Jill out of free. Wait a minute. Ooh. I like the side beauty cover space. This is very tight Whoa. neutral. And these dash attacks starting to connect for Spargo. You're out cold. You may not have too nice. many more of those. Okay. Stocks are going long. Oh. A 150 on both sides. What the? There's that forward tilt, but a little bit off on timing. Right. Could have caught the landing, but, but we're keeping a lot of space here. Alcola's expecting maybe a dash attack or a burst out of the corner. Mm. This is so imperative. Oh. I was going to say, so imperative. Alcola yeah. gets first stock, but not to be as that backer connects for Spargo. And this is where he can really start to run away. He's like a locomotive when he gets going. Yeah, Kony, you mentioned it before. We're swinging at the air, just hoping for Cloud to jump. Whoa. and. Spargo's showing so much discipline here not to jump. I, you know, and, and I'm not trying to flame a color in that you do want to swing to control space with Aegis, right? Yeah, That's kind of what you want to do. It's just it, it the way that he's doing oh, it my. sort of communicates a, I don't know, desperation somehow? Maybe preemptive I don't know. a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, pre that's a good way to put it. Anticipatory, perhaps? Ooh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, there are a couple words we could use here. Yeah, but got you. That's right, good read right there, though. Spargo, of course, showing a lot of confidence oh. up close and personal. That one, that time, kind of coming back to bite him a little bit. Great turnaround down tilt to cover the parry cross up. Uh oh. Oh, I'm loving this. He has not been touched. Lots of some aggressive options on the way down for Spargo. Akla starting to figure it out. Fair up tilt. What's the Smith? Is there a jump? There is. Okay. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh don't, don't ever. He has, don't a, jump. Ever he has a jump. He has a jump. It's good. Uh oh. Oh, quick Yo, turn around. Oh, got it. You got the, it. Well done. Give the assist to the platform there. Wait a minute. Able to take care of it. We can have maybe a momentum shift right now, but Cola takes this game. Yeah. This, this is, I mean, it's almost a mirror kind of what we saw in game number one. Spargo did bring that back to win the game, but Akola, maybe this one can be the difference maker. Just oh, get on the board. I, I don't think you had, you smothered Spargo here. We got to lean back a little bit because Spargo's going to beat you if, if you play on pace. You lean back, let him swing, let him go for those dash attacks. Yeah. Punish hard. You got to take it easy here. You could also swing first, but I mean, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I, don't <laughs> yeah. I don't think he should swing first. Absolutely yeah. not. No, you've shown it too much time already. Oh, man. Another F tilt on shield just kind of stuffed out. These up -bees getting busy right here on Sparkle's behalf. Okay. These empty jumps starting to become more pressed. That's one thing I really love about Spargo's cloud is just his ability to move so freely, it feels. Oh my god. That's so scary when you're above a platform versus a cloud. Okay. Ooh. Oh, down tilt. Party starter. 
literally even in percents, but you gotta land first in your Pyra. Okay, find your way ground. Ah, what are we doing on Pyra? Good point. Yeah. <laughs> well, he went for dare. We're just swinging, bro. We're just yeah. swinging. We want a downer will kill here. Uh, he so wants this so bad, big. bro. He wants that so bad. Oh, oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Okay. okay. Get wow. up a little bit. Wait a minute. Mentality Ooh. shift here? Up Maybe? on the C stick. I like how he stuck with the Pyra, too. He's like, I am committing to this. Like, I'm going to try and end this a lot earlier mm -hmm. sure. than we've, we've been seeing in the past, and it sure enough worked out. Great catch on him in the air. Mm -hmm. Let's take another look at that. I think that was the first game Akola's ever taken with Aegis, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, wow. And he said prior. You might be on to something. Yeah. yeah. That's got to be a pretty big confidence booster, I would imagine. Yeah, no, it was we a, only, we no, only, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, that was a phenomenal up air. And he got the yep. dare confirmed he was looking for. Getting the dare confirmed you're looking for and landing that up air, having the confidence to follow him up there and That's go true. for it. This right here. Good that call. that, that yeah. takes confidence. That takes confidence. Call, you have right? to have something in there. Yes. Yeah. And he earned that. Well done. That was awesome. All right. right. Okay. Back Sparrow, to the uppies. Uh, Basic game plan. Keep it yeah. simple. He doesn't seem too happy about how that last match ended. Nah. So quick damage, fresh out of the gate. What Spargo needs to make sure he doesn't do is get too ahead of himself. Like, he sees a Cola on the Aegis. He knows how much success he's had against the Aegis in the past. But, you know, you can't rely on that to get through this particular set, right? Cola is a very gifted player oh. in his own right. And he just got himself a game. Hey. So the confidence is definitely increased. Mm -hmm. there's, a lot, there's a lot of variables to this. It is not. It is far from over. Yeah, and I feel like we're so far removed from character choice right now, but I did want to mention, both these characters can get gimped pretty hard off stage, and we haven't seen a really early, like, sub-50% gimp yet, you know? Mm. They've been at, like, 100+, plus, which is totally fine, because sure. they've killed that percent anyway, mm -hmm. but if we see an early gimp or something really early on, that could totally change the tide of the match. Yeah, 100%. I think it's just due to the fact that, like, so much of this match has been played towards center stage. We don't, we don't really get to the ledge until about 100-something percent, but that time, just the on-stage kill, up smash, getting it done. We got the in-game crowd chat too, Pyra and Mithra, that's so funny. <laughs> they sound so bad. The in-game chants of this game are awful, man. Yeah, they're just phoning it it's in It's like in a booth. tin can. Like, uh. They look so <laughs> random too, like why are they doing it? You know? They're pretty oh, far man. away, look at the stadium now. <laughs> uh, could be an offstage gimp right oh. now. Oh! Upbeat? Oh, doesn't find it. Oh, he's always scouting it out though, that FCS though. Dude! Get Wait, the... Okay. Back up. He's playing with fire now though. You could just like, he got oh. the dare confirmed. He's able to, to sneak up on Spargo anytime that he's trying to play a little bit more defensively. Roll back air? Gets the no. confirm. Okay. Could have got the hit, but waiting for something bigger. Yes. Mm -hmm. A little bit of pace is at the ledge. That time coming back to bite him, okay. and there's the back air, the patented back air. You got an 89% lead. What can you do with the Akola? Mm -hmm. You got to make this count for sure. Ooh, uh, uh, just, uh, yeah, don't just frivolously attack. Be calculated with all your movements. Spargo looking for those options and those openings. Okay. Up till, uh -oh. There he's starting to find a couple of them. This is scary. This could be forward. Oh, this, is, this is absolutely terrifying. This could be forward air finishing touch as well. Oh, God. Woo. I Cola mean. played that first stock just impeccably, but now Spargo trying to start oh, to lock in. Oh, I did not love that no. choice. Wow. The wherewithal to have that ability to commit to that is insanity. Wow. And the game that was fully in Akola's favor now just shifted to Spargo. Yeah. That was so smooth on Spargo's behalf. Again, just even just the threat of the limit. Like, I haven't even done anything with it yet. I'm just really appreciating my slightly quicker movement speed and just how I can distribute that on and off stage. Damn, yeah. that was good. That three is not safe. Nope. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, settle down, Akola. <laughs> <laughs> A little less. Come on. <laughs> good grab. Simple stuff. Yeah, that's okay, nice. Yeah, just get rid of some of that pressure out the corner. Okay, smart. He knew Spark was just going to walk right up after the neutral special. Clean. Off stage. Oh, oh he wants blood. Yeah. Off stage, upbeat. He caught the transformation. Oh, wow. I, I saw didn't make it. it. I yeah. saw it. Okay. Still able to make it though. 101 now. Got to stay on Mithra. Need that landing aerial, but approaching this wall of cloud. Good luck. Yeah. Down tilt? No. Looking for these up airs. Sharking from up underneath. Spargo, of course, as fearless as ever, just in your face with it. I feel like a minute ago we were so fast, and now the game tempo just shifted so Ow, slow. Right. Wait, off stage? <gasps> no, what are you that swinging at? Smash. That was forward wow. smash, right? I mean, or forward air, anything off stage. Something. Yeah. yeah. There was a little bit of a gap there. He just let that go unchecked. Good parry. Off stage? He's looking for it. Get some of the final okay. hits on there. Right there in the corner, okay. He wants down air right now. I mean, now. we're forcing it. Yeah, I, it feels a little eager, but I mean, if you get it. Oh, oh, I love oh. the up air. We're swinging on. early. We're confident. All right, we swap. Oh. We swap. Okay. Oh. Oh. Is it enough? It is. Yes. Spargo holds it down. Akola, a little bit of a teeter-totter back and forth there, but 
Uh, I don't Fargo think Reign Supreme. Though. I don't think we go Pyra there because no. we went no. Pyra. We got swatted. We sw we we're in the air. <laughs> oh, is so funny. And then we and then we go back to Mithra in the air. But Akola showing so much respect to Spargo. Just and, and like Akola, so talented. You see it. You yeah. see it developing in real time. We know he has it. But Spargo just has that X factor. That second stock mm -hmm. that he just got the neutral air off stage after the cross slash. Just man. Yeah. There's a blueprint there that can definitely be shown in future sets. Yes. This is not like a clean 3-0, yes. your A just did get washed. Mm -hmm. No, you played confident, a couple good switches to Mithra instead of Pyra, and I mean, you, t you stayed Pyra for four games, you got one of them, right? And it worked out, but you gotta really be aware of your swaps because in this matchup, Cloud can just get you off stage no matter what yeah. and just hold the center stage this so well. This was crazy right yeah, there. That was that insane. jump off of the yeah, this boom. That's shifted boom, everything. Boom. Here's Nair because you're not expecting it. You think I'm going right back to the ledge? No. Boom. I got enough left in the tank. Saves the jump. Yeah, and to that your point about the uh, the switching too, it looks like Fair one of the two times off stage actually caught them in the switch. Like it lasted just long. Yeah, like this there. one right here. Yeah. yeah, that was really smooth. And then of course. You know, giving him that uh, that ticket back onto stage. Of course, I have to recover too, but unfortunately, it coming back to bite him a little bit. Yeah. Right. And did we get the last? Yeah, I think this swap. I mean, we were Pyra, now we're in the air, and then yeah. And this is just, just scary to too, this. in general, because just Spargo pumped up by that limit, is coming down the last hit, and he knows he can just swing that sword just for pressure's sake, and that'll be enough. So we got Spargo here with us. Like he just got the job. Thank you. Changed my life. <laughs> That's right. Well, here's the boss himself. Hey, hey what's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what's up, Spargo? Hello. Oh, you got to move, move that mic up just a little bit. Up. Just a tad, uh, my friend. Your headphone. There you go, buddy. Okay. There you go. All right. Hello. How you feeling, buddy? Uh, I'm feeling good, but yeah. that was, like, way harder than I expected. Yeah. I was going to say, do you feel like since your last thing, it's been a little while since you guys played again, but do you feel like since your last encounter, he's definitely kind of leveled up the ages, probably specifically just to just to take you on? Yeah, for sure. He definitely improved a lot since the uh, last time I played him. Yeah. It was, like, uh, Battle BC. Yes. Yep, yep, mm -hmm. yep. And, yeah, I was, I was going pretty confident, but at the same time, uh, I knew he was grinding a lot. He was practicing a lot for me, and... Every time I saw his stream, he was like uh, practicing ages or against Cloud. So I was like, okay, I'm confident, but I should not be like overconfident because Correct. you never know what. You just to never expect. know. Yeah, you never know. 100%. I'm curious to ask, what did you think about this Pyro? Would you think it was swinging too much preemptively to try and catch you jumping as Cloud? Or what do you think about that? Yeah, I noticed at the end that he was fishing a lot for full hop down air. Yeah. Yep. Which is why at the end I was I was fishing for back airs. Like I was spamming back air because I knew he was jumping a lot. Mm -hmm. I feel like he has like still some a uh, little bit of habits, but he can still improve a lot. So, like he's he just definitely leveled up since yeah. Battle of VC. Yeah. Great, for sure. Question for you, if it did go to game five, was there any chance we would have saw the Aegis Ditto? No, I hit the Ditto. <laughs> 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 Not a fan of that. Who okay. nares first? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I noticed a, a lot of the maps wasn't really played off stage, but the few moments that you guys got, you really capitalized third. Like, what was that about? Like, did you just elect maybe we should just stay more towards center stage, and when it's time to get off stage, I'm gonna just let them have it? I mean, against against sieges, uh, I have to abuse the fact that they have like a really bad recovery, so sure. I try to go off stage as much as I can. But I also try to stay like uh, mid center because Aegis is like, like especially Mitra is like one of the best characters at Gimping Cloud. Yeah. It's like I think it's my worst matchup like for Cloud. Sure. Aegis is my uh, Cloud's worst matchup, so mm -hmm. I also have to be careful. For sure, 100%. man. So looking ahead right now, uh, you versus Sonics, you just can't get away from it. That's that's. <laughs> 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 but I know like when you saw your bracket path, you're like, okay, well this is very doable for me. You know what I mean? It's hard, yeah. but it's very doable. How do you feel like that's going to go, my guy? What do you think? I mean, I'm going to try something different this time. Oh. I'm not going to say what, but oh. I have something in mind. Uh -oh. I hope you guys look forward to okay. it. This All thing right. you were saying that's different, I saw you were playing Sonics last night on EE side stream. Shout out to EE. Uh, did it work? Or did you try it? It worked. It worked. Okay. Oh, no. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm looking forward to that for sure. Do not tell Sonic, though. I will I'm not. not hey, no. I'm not telling him. This ain't even going out to the house. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> right. But either way, uh, we can't wait to see you back on stage. Before you go, tell the people where they can see you this uh, Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday? Tuesday. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I'll be at Lights Out on Tuesday. Hey. It'll be my first time on that podcast, I think. Yeah, that's right. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. You're damn right, okay? You can look forward to him back on stage after this break. We'll see you in just a bit. Right. Good job, good job, good job.
All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back. There's a throne we be watching in here all weekend in NorCal at the Guildhouse. Best venue in the country, I gotta say. One of the best in the world. What's up? You got me, Haz, joined by my man, Snorlax, Chuck, and TK. Oh, what a couch here, actually. I'm super happy for this. We got amazing uh, content creators up here, and also on the stage, too, we got some amazing matches coming up. Uh, I think y'all saw uh, the set record leading up into uh, this upcoming match, yeah. Leo versus DeBuzz. Yeah, there it is, there it is. Uh, I, the Buzz's ass is too ha happy for this, uh, or head-to-head. -head. <laughs> uh, His ass is smiling. <laughs> yeah, His ass is that. hopeful. Uh, <laughs> that's hopium, man. That's maximum. That's hopium, bro. It, <laughs> it's the old, no one goes 17 and 1 against the Buzz, right? Like, just, uh, but it's crazy. It's crazy because when we talk about consistency in this game, everyone talks about the Buzz being this hurdle and this, this big opponent for a lot of up-and-coming players. But Leo, I mean, he's been Mr. Consistency for so long. So, I mean, if there's a time, honestly, right now for DeBuzz to get another one on the board, I think it's right now against Leo. Now, I will yeah. say that the, the win that he got, he actually had to sell his soul to Darkon. We, it was me and Cody were on the mic for that one. So, <laughs> all oh, hell, yeah. all hell yeah. Darkon. He did, he did win that. However, uh, half, later in that set, MK Leo sold his soul to Gleam. <laughs> and music counter picked him for. I was like, bro, what is going on here? But, you know, maybe he has to do it again. All hell dark on for, for the buzz. Hopefully he can do it, get it done one more time. I hate when Gleam does that, man. What? That man hated World of Light. Charles, <laughs> Charles noted <laughs> Gleam hater. <laughs> he did not want to play Kirby when the game came out. Like, hey, Give me Fox right away. That's crazy, bro. You do get Fox crazy early in World of Light, though, Chuck, so I yeah. don't want to hear it. Original, original cast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Original cast. Yeah, definitely, oh yeah, definitely, definitely like, like the first like, six fights. Core, 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 core members. Core members. Core staff. Of yeah. the <laughs> oh my god. All right, bro. So here we go. Can he do it? No one goes seventeen to one with the buzz. <laughs> well, what he, well, maybe. <laughs> well, man, that's what we want to see. Okay. This and is. It, in an alternate timeline, I guess. It's interesting too, TK. I mean, think of all the characters Leo has done that with against the Buzz. And today we're going to be seeing the Joker. It played super hot to close out a very tight set against AK. See if he can keep that rolling here. Game one against the Buzz. Huge set for these two gentlemen. Wow. Loser, losers out. Not going a sword character. I mean, Leo usually goes some. I mean, even the Joker as well has done well against the Buzz. But I just feel like we've seen Leo use sword characters and they're, you know, generally good against Rosalina, but just gonna off with the Joker here. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I, you know, we could also, it, the, set's, the set's young, okay? I think if he gets right. uh, far enough lead, you know, he, he might, like, you know what, for the fans, I'll drop a, I'll drop a Marth out here. <laughs> <laughs> drop a Bylet real quick. He's got, he's got a couple games he can throw if he goes up 2-0. Right, so. he had a close game with AK too, and the Joker is the one that pulled it out, True. so it, it kind of makes sense, it's hot, right? Mm -hmm. So might as well keep playing it until it gets cold. It was playing amazing against AK too, so, yeah. I think that's the thing with Leo, like just find the character that's working on that day and just roll with it. I think it just makes sense. I think sometimes like the simpler answer is the, the best one. Yeah, yeah. Ooh! Chat noted that he uh, he almost always plays uh, Joker against the Buzz, which I think is kind of interesting too because yeah. seven, 16 and 1, that means you played him in his prime probably a lot. Which, yeah, there could be a little PTSD. He sees a Joker and he's like, oh, no. <laughs> Not again. Yeah. He starts significantly playing worse just off the thoughts of what happened to him in his older sets. Yeah, oh, no. Actually, now that I think about it, I had breakfast with uh, AK and DeBuzz and Webb this morning. And AK, once Joker got brought up, AK and DeBuzz instantly went into complaint mode. Like, a thousand percent. So that makes a <laughs> lot of sense. Yeah, the oh, the two hits! The double. The two campy characters are like, oh, wow, I hate it when I can't camp yeah. against Joker. They were both like, wow, Sheik sucks, but Joker's broken. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> There's something going on here. Okay. And Joker going to have great tools to disarm Luma, right? That dash stack. Again, you, and you have like somewhat of a sword move, right? The back here to go, go ahead and poke Luma, get some damage on there. Right, I think I think F tilt's also like a huge one too, right? You F tilt, you reel yeah. back a lot, can't really do anything about it. I've seen a lot too. Like Karama's been doing boosted F tilt a lot today with Mario as well. Nice little uh, sliding tool there mm -hmm. throughout the whole weekend. Right, nice, yeah. nice to mix in with too with that broken dash attack from Joker too. Oh, nice little sure, mix for sure. Auto cross up city. <laughs> We're just liberally using broken now. I see on this couch, but okay. <laughs> you don't think that? <laughs> like, like, huh? <laughs> All right, bro. Like broken. Good? Uh -huh. It's a very good dash attack, yes. Broken, though? I think so. Okay, oh. I stand by that. <laughs> <laughs> Snake, Joker. Budging. Who else? Yeah, those are all the broken <laughs> ones. That's, that's it. it. That's, that's it. it. There's that's a thousand it. characters in this game. Only two dash attacks matter. <laughs> and then, uh, then the good ones are like Fox and Man oh, maybe oh. Meta Knight? I don't know. I it's thought like you were saying Mega Man. I was like, hold up. Wait a second. You're not getting that one by me. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, Greninja. Good one, Chatty. 
Hey, me, I'm going into Chatty. Is that Chatty? <laughs> <laughs> what up, Chatty? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is going on? All right, West Coast has watch out. This is it's not the final looking, game. Watch the throne. It's not looking too great here. Don't Again, for the buzz. It's embarrassing. Ooh, these neutral airs just missing. Yeah, Leo trying to close this one out. It's possible for him to still get back in here, but like I think, you know, the buzz is to play like when we get into this this mode right now where one you have to go through this stock and hope that Arson doesn't come back out, and then you have to go through another Arson that's almost always guaranteed. Uh yeah, this a slot is kind of stacking up against the buzz right now. He's stalling uh -huh. as much as he can to get the Luma back too. We've seen the buzz make some pretty huge comebacks in his life, but usually like his number one position is having the stock lead, usually being on the other end of this. But Raid, Ros Rosalina and Luma can definitely do this and steal something away, but you're going to have to almost for sure avoid this Arsene. Yep. Uh -oh. oh, well, there you go. I thought he almost had that for a yeah. second. Yeah, try to get that down air snuck in there. Now Luma just taking the brunt of that down air uh, from Arsene. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right. Rage Luma or Rage Rosa is kind of scary, especially when you go off stage just like yeah. that. Nice. The down air, baby. Especially with Arsene, you're so susceptible to those big lingering hitboxes from Rosalina and Luma. Clearing it out there, though. Ooh, Ooh pop, pop. Bang, bang, yeah. A little double tap there. Uh huh. Nice and they won't. A little forward air action. Trying to get some start. Trying to, you know, obviously wait it out a little bit. This is where the buzz, I think, really shines. And playing uh, Lumalist, where he only kind of has to attack when he needs to to create some space, Ooh. create a little more time. Uh oh. Leo still playing very Ooh, wow. patient, poking away at the Luma, getting that chip damage with the gun as well. Yeah. Every opportunity the buzz sends Luma forward, the Luma gets punished, gets some type of damage, and the connection on the Rosa finally going to seal that game one away. The buzz able to bring it to a final stock, but past that wasn't able to, you know, really get too much damage on Leo on that final stock. He, he whittled at that Luma so much, I feel like the buzz felt like he had to protect Luma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, yeah. stop! Stop! Yeah. Stop! Yeah. The reverse secret service. <laughs> Ro Rosa gets in the way of Luma. Wait a second. But I like, good call out by both of you guys, because the thing is, is like, the buzz, in order to make that comeback, did need Luma. You know, like right. you had to defend the Luma, had to take down. And, and Leo really knew that, and he played so well. A lot of players fumble because they get that lead, especially in the last stock against the buzz. And then they run at him and try to make big plays and close it out before that, you know, ill-fated uh, reversal happens to them. So yeah, and you and you did bring it up earlier, Charles. Right, those back airs. He's been doing those like landing back airs on shield and dashing away, so the buzz can't really do a nair or anything to rebuttal against that. Right. Just has to. Take the fact that Rosa or Luma's getting hit, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean that's a classic ultimate thing too. I mean a lot of top tier characters you can do some kind of landing aerial into it's still your turn, so you can mash again, or most top players will reposition, usually with a dash back, right? Especially Joker's dash being so strong, that low silhouette, so even some rising aerials will whiff on the dash back, and then Joker can get Oof. a huge whiff punish afterwards here. But starting the game two off, the buzz's counter pick gonna be that hollow bastion. Mm -hmm. I wonder if Leo has his uh, his DMs uh, you know, like if his phone in front of him, I'm about to DM if you win this game hard enough, let me see that. For me, brother. <laughs> for Marcus and TK. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I uh, need to study real quick. Well, Martha's away right now. DeBuzz is still versing Joker. Yarsen about to pop out and come out to play here. He's up air pressure on the shield. Could go into a drag down, a big conversion here. The buzz trying to get something going. The drag down. No. Okay, doesn't get the DI cross up there. The buzz very ready for that instant down throw. Yeah, that was, that was such a scary moment right there, too. As soon as you get, like, Arsene, you got to worry about, like, oh, if I get hit by anything, I can just explode. Yeah. All right, man. I feel like one thing that Leo is definitely good at in this match is nice. to a lot of people is, like, how well he handles playing up against, uh, you know, Luma and getting Luma out the pitcher as quick as possible. If there's a small opportunity for him to put some damage onto that Luma, he does it. Yeah. Okay, look at that, boom, and get him out of here. Oh, nice, he tried to intercept the Luma coming back to defend Rosa. Mm -hmm. Look at the awareness from Leo, very, I mean, you can see why he's trying to make the 17 wins right now. It's the PTSD. Yeah, bro. It's all coming back. It hits, bro. <laughs> it doesn't matter which version of Leo the buzz Ooh. is fighting. 2023 20, or not. All right. If that dash check was broken, it would have hit right there, I guess. Hold <laughs> up. I, I guess, like, this Prepping for Leo too, like you're like, okay, should I expect the Joker this time? Because he's been playing mostly Aegis this whole like tournament, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he started Aegis. Majority against, Aegis uh, this tournament. Yeah. All right. Okay, getting more damage on this Luma, just stepping back, and Leo has the lead here. This is what makes Joker so powerful. You can close in with some of these great arrows, and but you can also fade back with some of these mid-range options like the gun, like the Aha, right? Of course, the movement right. always crisp on this Joker here. Leo, yeah. the best do it with this character. Yeah, still has True. his first stock, too. He's 
such a scary situation. Ooh, nice reversal. I do really think it's just huge credit to Leo for when he gets the lead against the Buzz, he is very comfortable sitting back against him. He understands, right, right, you know, right. one of the, the key strategies against these players that also play patiently uh, is to do it right back to them. You see it as well, like, especially characters with limitations like that. You know, Rosalina and Luma barely represented in this game outside of the Buzz, so. That's true. There are so many instances where the Buzz wants to capitalize on you, like, panicking a little bit. Nice. Like, the dash up, the deep dashes onto shield and re really just, like, slightly waiting. Nice. Good, good catch. Ooh. All right, but the Buzz, I mean, you know, keeping the stock in uh, attack for very long, I mean, against, against MPLA like that, 176 is kind of insane to be uh, still Ooh, alive. Oh, wow. Wow. That was so yeah. beautiful. Lame. Beautiful. No waste of time, dude, I'm telling you. Yeah, textbook. Get wow. out of here. Wow. Can't believe that killed, actually. The biggest thing, man, is the, this is the battle of the Guardians. Like, Arsene is hitting super hard for Leo, but we are not seeing that from Luma from the Buzz, which is very rare to say, honestly. And even, I mean, Jeez. when you when you think about earlier Ooh. ultimate as well, Leo's just so good against these characters that have you know, multiple parts going on, right? The Luma, the Pikmin nice. from Olimar and stuff like that. Leo understands that, hey, when you send in a, a Luma wow. or a Pikmin, so good at damaging the Pikmin or mm -hmm. damaging the Luma. I mean, it's just, it, that's clearly threat assessment, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, yep. you know, uh, you still have nice to worry about dude. the, the nice. player-controlled character, but yeah, Luma ends up being such a, like, a bigger issue uh, if you allow Luma to just run free. So yeah, if, if the Buzz haphazardly throws that Luma over there for you to immediately take out, hey, do it. Right, these, I feel like these edge guard situations too that we saw that forward air getting that second stock for Debuzz. Those are the moments that you're going to be looking for if you're Debuzz right here. Ooh, okay, dash attack. Get a little damage here onto Luma, but Debuzz now trying to get a little control of this match. Wait a minute, yeah. Though, it's it's Arson time. Arson in disadvantage though, so already getting a third of the meter here back to neutral. There's the grab. Oh, but Luma slipping Ooh. out, but the back air connects. Bye bye, Luma. Huge situation here for Leo to try to close this one out. Best situation for him. No Luma. Arsene is ready. Missing that up air. Gets another one, though. Dead center stage is going to do it off the top. Really? Dang, man. I think we forget sometimes how hard Arsene hits. Yeah. Arsene aerials, just yeah, yeah, especially yeah. up air. Back air, I don't think anyone's ever going to forget that move if you watch this game the first four years that it was around. Ridiculous right. stuff. Send that text, TK. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Send Marth. Send Send Marth. Send Marth. <laughs> Bring him out. Come on, Please. chat. Send right. Marth. Type it in the chat. Maybe, maybe Leo will see it. Yeah, bring out the rings. Fire him and gauge. Leo's going to bring up the phone just to look at the Switch chat, right? Yeah. Right, guys? <laughs> That's what he does in between every game, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he lets you guys choose the character. <laughs> Send Marth. Send Marth. Yes, we, we see your energy, chat. Send Marth. I, I can't believe you guys. By the way, every oh, no, time they, I... they can hear me out there, right? Hey, can y'all get Leo to play Marth? Someone tap him real quick. <laughs> oh, get a sign. Make a yeah, sign. Make a sign. Yeah, someone tap. Someone, someone make, make a sign that says "Send Marth, bro." Yep. Leo, Leo's like, "What'd you say? Send Marth?" Okay, got it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Vamos, Marth. Vamos. <laughs> Vamos, Marth. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Vamos. I know. He, oh, he's got his headset off. Yo, Leo, what about that Marth though? Oh, no. <laughs> no, wait! No, no. <laughs> no. Shut up, TK. He doesn't want to hear it at all. What if? Uh, wait, maybe uh, that's the buzzer joker. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so we get the Marth. Oh. Okay, we did get a swap. Okay, wait a second. You yeah. know what character's more hyped than Marth? Yep. Min Min. Many right. of them. Very. <laughs> yeah. That's many Marth. That's a unit. That's definitely a universally accepted opinion. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just. <laughs> I'm down for more Marth. All right, here we go. Going in Ooh. to game three. We got the Min Min out. Will it matter? I feel like I don't. I mean, this is definitely like one of those I have to try something picks. But I feel like MKLeo is really good at storing out people who have pretty pretty bad recovery. So True. we'll have to see. I, I mean, uh, the one time the Buzz did beat Leo, it was with the Min Min, right? Okay. The one said he's got oh him. yeah, he did get yeah 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 yeah. There but you go. I don't. I didn't see him. He's not playing a Darkon though, unfortunately. Oh, so. yeah. Dang. oh that's you, where you he need, fumbled. That's, yeah. that's part of the yeah. formula. I wish he did, honestly. That was so funny when that happened. I thought it was sick. Uh, I, did, I did the math on the Marth, by the way, the Marthmatics, if you will. Mm -hmm. The only way it can happen is, so what we need is, we need to Buzz W, obviously, to force a game four. We need FD open. The Buzz goes to Secret Kazia, and then MK Leo goes <laughs> yeah. to Marth. Yeah. I yeah. figured it out. Oh, like the formula yeah. was right there the whole time. Uh, it was so obvious, honestly, if you've ever watched this game before. I, mean, I will say, really man, uh, the Buzz actually has some pretty good secret. Like, I, yes. I forgot that uh, it was like the VG boot camp thingy. Uh, <laughs> the the Smash Four Bootcamp, yeah. and he pulled out that Cloud, and I was like, "Why don't you main this character?" <laughs> His Cloud was moving, bro. <laughs> Doug Kazuya, by the way, yeah, oh. <laughs> Doug Kazuya, Doug Mishima, Doug Mishima, <laughs> Doug Mishima. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming out. Watch. There's literally a fifty percent chance it happens. 
Always 50. It either happens or it doesn't. You're yeah. so good at math, Ash. Thanks, man. I'd be sitting over here doing it. <laughs> Back throw. It's going to get the charge up arm, too. Sheesh laser? Oh, nice. I love that you have that counter. Just hold it the whole way until you're comfortable moving around. Yeah. yeah. And you fall so much slower with it, too. So you just have that much more time to think. It is harder to two frame tethers as well. So, I mean, you can just sink low and then you tether up as normal Joker, right? The only time that doesn't work is obviously with Arsene. So, good stuff coming out from Leo here, really maximizing this stock. I think also, too, you know, like, even though she is a tether character, like, the, the tether on uh, Mimi is visibly small. So, uh, she can only go down and follow you for so long before I uh, also happen to maybe trade that stock. So, smart for Leo to be able to just you know, hold this forever. If you do swing, I'm going to get some Arsene. And if you do not swing, I'm just going to get back to stage. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. looking too good for the buzz here. Leo up an entire stock. Really threatening. Already threatening the second one. This Arsene. Oh, okay. So, uh, two to two, my bad. Yeah. I think uh, MK Leo is actually doing such a good job too in the like edge guard scenarios too, because most of the time uh -huh. when Minmins want to make it back, they know you want to approach, so if they throw out like one arm or two, right, just to dissuade you from coming out there. MK Leo understands like, okay, let me watch you throw out the arms and see if you dip low or not. Uh oh. They mixing up the timing. Ooh, oh, that's fair that's one. It. That's it. Yeah. Well, 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 clean. All right, man. He put himself now up, but does have. Uh, some damage here on to MKLeo and is about to get that Arson out of the picture, so this could go well for him. Okay, hold up. Oh, I thought that was a Sheesh Laser yeah. time, bro. Mm -hmm. He had it lined up. A little oh, extra range on it. Oh, this would be a pretty big punish here for Leo back here. Look at that, man. Taking full control of stage. Ledge time. Got to get out of here. It's looking really dire for the buzz. It really might be 17 to 1 lifetime. I think Leo regrets that one, by the way. Do you, think he, do you think he thinks about it? <laughs> he thinks about the music. I think, for sure. I think about it, sure. but I blame, yeah, Ark, blame Archon. <laughs> Darkon, Darkon, thank you. I mean, how much players can say they have that good of a record on the buzz? It's probably only Leo. It's got to right? only yeah, be him, basically, be. yeah. No one likes playing against Crazy. the buzz. Uh oh. Okay, there go, down throw. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh, he was mixing a little too hard. Yeah. That ledge kind of saving uh, the buzz's life oh. there. Cola, by the way, I forgot. Cola, shout out to Cola the Goat, man. Oh, yeah, true. really, Cola. really good record Jeez. against the Buzz, but I don't know if it's 17 and 1 at this point. This set is really well done by MK Leo. The Joker's in the building, just like everyone always says he should go and do. He finally is. The Buzz trying out the Min Min Game 3. I like the mix up in the characters there. You know, the Rose yeah. wasn't getting it done, so good try. The Buzz had a really good tournament here for himself coming up into today, uh, starting in the winner side, and then, you know, not everyone can win, man. That's all I got to say. It, it's just it's such like, a competitive tournament. It's so unfortunate, too, because in terms of just that set against Mia in winners, right, the buzz was looking, in terms of, I think the buzz was looking good for the bracket, the winner side bracket, yeah. just because the last time he fought Mia, you know, was able to pull out the victory, but Mia coming through with the Steve hitting the upgrade button on that game and watch. <laughs> the upgrade <laughs> button. Yeah, I think, I, I think there's pretty much a, a lot of thought into, like, okay, is Mia going to play, like, Game Watch, or is it going to play Steve? You just have to prepare for both of them, too, beforehand. And right. especially after, like, after yesterday, you only have so much time to prepare for, like, the next player, yeah. right? Yeah. It's kind of rough. It's a rough thing is, like, there's only so much time, right? Yeah. Get, if you plan for your winner's bracket, that's a whole part of the, the tournament, but uh, things don't always go according no. to plan, so you got to be ready for everything. And it's just tough, like, if Leo wins that against AK and DeBuzz loses to Mia, it's like, well, this guy has uh, an outstanding record against me. How am I going to overcome these odds? Yeah. It's almost like a curveball, right? Like a sucker punch. If I you know. Will. It's like, oh, wait, something didn't go as planned. Yeah. Wait, what's happening? Leo? What What just? Because <laughs> even in terms of when you came in and looked at Leo's set, right? The last time they played, AK was able to take it, right? And Leo wasn't looking too hot day one, so or day one slash two. So coming into this day three, a lot of people were saying they would give AK the like favorite, right, for getting that victory. So Leo really coming through, getting the victory on AK, and then also getting this victory back-to-back -back against the buzz. We actually got Leo coming through, going to talk to us for a bit here. How you doing, Leo? Here goes the GOAT. Uh, good. Man, um, I don't, true. I don't, true. Good, man. Actually, yes. You, you I don't, I don't are know. now 18 and 1 against the Buzz. Yeah, no, 17 and 1. 17 1. Come on, dude. Because 18 is probably going to be his, honestly. Yeah. I'm sorry. No worries. Yeah, but, he's got to get another one. Worry. <laughs> and he meant it. Uh, even. Even if it's like a big difference on the set, on the set count, I still feel like it's very hard to play the bus. Like mm -hmm. he's very smart and like he's always in, like always punishing my habits. Right. So right. he's definitely one of the players that know my habits the best. 
<sighs> is there a is there a chance we get the Martha at all in this bracket, bro? <laughs> just at first question. <laughs> if, just if I end up playing Karama, maybe. Oh, wait. Did you hear us out there, by the way, when you took your headset off? No. No. Okay. 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 okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, we, I was. I was like, please, please. Mars. <laughs> You know, but it's all good. But yeah, no, I, I get it. I, I see how that would uh, go more in your favor. But yeah, man, I mean, how how you just feeling about your your play all all together throughout this weekend? Uh, I feel like I've been playing better than like some past tournaments in the U.S. Uh, my European trip really made me rethink about the game, like the way I was approaching it, mm -hmm. and um, I feel like I've been changing a lot of things, like in my game plan. Mm, and overall, it's been working like very well. So very happy. Oh yeah, man. Good 3-0, which started the day off. Good adjustments against AK2. I don't think we talked about that setup here afterwards. Uh, you did a great job. Switching to Joker, I think, was obviously the right call. Uh, going forward, do you think that's a matchup you're going to play more? Or try to make Aegis work, or are you going to stick with Joker, or what? Uh, I was playing AK in friendlies yesterday, and I was destroying him with Aegis, but then in bracket, he camped me way too hard. And AK uh, was throwing yeah. on purpose. <laughs> he, he knew you guys were playing. He was throwing on purpose, 100%. But the Joker snake matchup feels very good. Nice. Yeah, yeah it looked good, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's weird because the meta feels like it's becoming more of a crawl rather than a run in terms of just like the pacing, right? It feels like more mid to long range. Like range feels like such a big valuable thing and it's crazy because some characters both have range and mobility, right? So do you feel like Joker, especially against a character like Snake where it's like, okay, Snake is just kind of trying to camp me out here, right? And then having access to the gun, the Arsene gun kind of detonating the grenades, is that why you went for it or is it like, what was the reasoning behind going for the Joker? Like pick? I didn't I didn't know how to approach, like I didn't know how to run in with Aegis right. and since since each doesn't have any like any ways to put pressure, right? No projectiles at all. And it was basically just because like, oh, like I can get damage, like even if I'm far away. And if he tries to camp, I would just rebel guard the grenades. And yep, right. he doesn't want me to be our son. And even if I'm our son, I'm allowed to play this low game because the uh, the yeah. grenades explodes in my gun. So yeah, it was just about like, oh, I'm just gonna camp you harder and make you approach. Right. Once yeah. you approach, I'm gonna kill you. I think, I think the number one thing that people talk about, especially relating to you, is your character lineup and what you're thinking about going. So I obviously don't need to reveal any big secrets, but is there anything you know you want to say about that or about your character lineup? Or, you know, <laughs> That's not the golden question, dude. It's just everyone, it's mm. interesting is what I'll say. Yeah. Uh, as for now, Violet is the character I don't want to keep playing. Mm. I feel like as the meta progresses, like he's just not a good pick anymore. Yeah. But I'm going to keep the Joker, Aegis, and I might secondary Rob. Rob, not Corn. So I, I'm actually very curious on your opinion on Corn, right? So you, we've obviously seen an uptick of Corn with uh, Shattuck and Nao, right? Doing pretty well. Do you feel like that's mainly because they're solo Corn mains, right? Or like, do you have faith in the character, or do you feel like a pocket Corn is not really worth it for yourself? I don't think the pocket Corn is that worth it. Like, I uh, see, I see. The way Shattuck is playing and like advancing the Corn meta, mm -hmm. I feel like if you play a pocket Corn, it's not like really gonna work. Yep. But there's so. always that option, right? Because my Aegis might not be like that good against some people. Right, like, right. And some other people are like decent. Like for example, I beat Ken, and Spargo struggles more against Ken than he does against Sonics. Mm. So it's probably just like place how wise. Nice. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, it, you know you're the people's champ right now because you said Rob and the whole chat pog. That was so interesting. That is yeah. not the reaction not I expected a, yeah. at all. Yeah, what yeah. The? <laughs> I know. The people chat, are you Leo? good, chat? They just want you to win, Leo, which must feel amazing. You got a car key for me? All right, thanks. We're in the middle of a production here, dude. That, that couldn't wait until after the match. Like, I don't, <laughs> Dang. like we're not going anywhere. <laughs> 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 don't the worry, like, tur tournament going on. Yeah, please feel free. <laughs> <laughs> the world is his living room. He's very comfortable <laughs> oh everywhere. My God. Everyone pogged at that, by the way. I actually do appreciate this, though, but especially because he does have another match coming up. But, Leo, keep it going, man. Super happy to see you still playing in this tournament. I hope you keep it running, man. Good Thank stuff. You. Good stuff. Thanks, Leo. Appreciate you guys. All right, we'll get Snorlax back in here. But we do have that as a preview for the next set. It's going to be light against Ken. Oh. Uh, notably, you know, thank God we got Chuck on the couch. He'll be yep. explaining some stuff. But light, <laughs> notably great against Sonic, not just because his character is good against Sonic, but he has a great record against Sonic and 1-0 and against Ken, uh, the only time that they played in Ultimate. So we're going to see how he does here. Fox just notoriously, I think, one of, if not uh, Sonic's worst matchups, it's Aegis and Fox, right? Yeah, I mean, pretty much the rule of thumb against Sonic is can you catch the blue blur? And there's not a lot of characters that yeah. can do it. Uh, Fox and Aegis is going to be, or Mithra specifically, very good at doing that, right? Because the reason why Sonic is so strong, spin dash on block, 
after the spin dash on block, there's the mix, the 50-50 mix-up of are you going to instantly go into homing attack? If the Sonic doesn't go into homing attack, they just go so far away to the, usually the other side of the stage. And not a lot of characters can catch Sonic's landing, right? Mm -hmm. So it really just comes down to that factor. And the crazy thing mm. about Fox is when Fox does catch Fox's or Sonic's landing, it does a lot of damage, if not takes the stock, right? Light doesn't look very locked in right now. I hope he does, man. Yeah, yeah he looks a little bummed out. There. This is not the normal light that I'm used to I seeing, know, bro. Man. He's in a full the hoodie. Ga the game is starting. This is, I know, this is the oh, opposite oh, of sleeves. Oh, what the? <laughs> Maybe the sleeves are up underneath the hoodie. Oh, Maybe no. this is a button check. Those sleeves are what? all the way down. I'm concerned, man. Uh, I see my man Light have a good tournament here, but we're going to get into game one. He better wake up quick. Yeah, he's like, okay, he's looking a little more locked in now. I mean, you, just, you, you said my man was sulking in the room, and I feel like he didn't get it out in time, so... Yeah. Didn't, listen, didn't listen to enough Sam Smith. Come on, man. Get back in there, bro. <laughs> first out, first out moment, obviously, but yeah. Anyway. We're just uh, we're gonna see what he can bring to the table. I mean, he's already got uh, some damage racked up on him, and, and Ken is about to be doing the Ken thing. Maybe this is probably what he's so sad about. But this is gonna be a matchup where I feel like he's, they're not gonna be scrapping as much, especially if Ken's got the lead. And so maybe he just doesn't want to sit here and play this type of gameplay for his, uh, his tournament life. But mm -hmm. who knows? Be tough, but hey, if you want to win this tournament, there's a really good chance you're gonna have to go through Sonics anyway. So yeah. hey, man, look at this as a golden opportunity, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Anything can be viewed at in a positive way if you try hard enough. Oh, okay. The latest hit confirmed on that jab. Actually, I think it didn't confirm. I think that Sonic or Ken drop shield. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. oh so, wow! Did not that could have been a forward smash, a back air. Ken kind of dropping that sour nice. air here, but continuing this edge guard, trying to maybe line up the forward oh, smash, wow. but the great directional air dodge to the ledge there, barely surviving the edge guard like back on stage. Quick yep. question: Anyone seen EE -E in the last couple minutes? By the way, <laughs> I need I need him around. <laughs> Where is he at? Gotta cheer up his boy, Light. <laughs> He's probably right front row, looking at Ken oh, right in the face. Oh, come on, man. Uh -oh. I, I think we saw a couple of those miscues, just like that jab, whip, up smash against against Tweak that made a huge difference there. I mean, Light was right next to him. I've seen it again. Oh, yeah, it's no. easy. Blah! That's Take crazy. the first stock. It's crazy how much end lag that up smash actually has for a move yeah. like that. There are so many other characters that get away with just spamming up smash anyway. Ah. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Not looking too clean. I mean, just the first two check tech chases, right? Not looking Ooh. the cleanest. And finally going to get that up smash off the directional air dodge here. A little too much laser. Oh going to get punished. Oh Way off stage. The spring not going to thwart that Firefox. Smart. Instant Firefox because if you get hit out of it, you still have your double jump, so you right. get more mix after. So, if you, hey, if you make it back even better, if you take a hit, you're fine. You can make it back to the stage. So. Uh -oh. Okay, yeah. Should we be able to get... Oh, doesn't get a lot of damage off that. Still, even with the second tech chase, uh, tech chase, still not able to get much, but... Is gonna uh, still grab himself a slight percent lead until now. Just only one percent between them, though, man. This is definitely down to the wire between our competitors. And if I'm Ken right now, I'm looking at how you know how light was sitting, his body language, and the way he's playing, and thinking this is a huge set for me in my life. Like this is one of the notoriously Sonic's the player and, and character has had such a tough time against light. If I can win this set, it means a ton to me. So huge opportunity for Ken here, honestly. Uh -oh. Kick him while he's down. That's that that's 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 what, that was what his coach said. <laughs> he walked in, he's on the disco call. He's like, wait, is that light? Yeah, beat him while he's down. Yeah. Yeah. He he's looks like, dejected. Remember, remember, what e, remember what EU said about you? Said, <laughs> oh, I was joking. <laughs> okay, a little uh, trading back and forth here. The scary thing, though, is we, we kind of saw a similar thing from... Uh, good air dodge, actually, there. Poke over the ledge, maybe. See what he's got. Light covering jump for sure. Good patience there. He should, I don't think he should have rolled back into the corner. Here's Sonic. Just run the other way. But either way, still close quarter scrapping, which is not good for Ken. Yeah, I, I think Ken's just nice. like getting much more ah. comfortable strapping up close. But hey, double roll. We talked about this earlier. Never give him the double roll. Never do double. Double roll never works Well, out. back into the corner. I mean, Light obviously covers the inside of the stage very well, too. You know, Foxes always look for that. You're scared. You're in the corner. You're going to roll or, or do something defensive. But just to roll and put yourself back there is not great. Yeah, that's the, the whole situation you're trying to avoid half the time. Is Light right, back right. airing your shield. So to put yourself back over there, even if he was able to block, he put himself right back in the position he just wanted to get out of. So... Because even if you roll in the stage or in towards the stage and then get back here across stage, you're fine, right? Right. right yeah, yeah. Maybe Ken's just a nice guy. He saw a light was sitting. He's like, you know, what? all right, sorry, man. Back here, <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. my shield, man. I feel, right. Come on, wake up. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm trying to get trying to boost the serotonin with that. I know you love back here in my shield. I want to beat you. It's like some Goku stuff. Like I want to beat you at 100. Yeah. percent Oh yeah. <laughs> Give him the sensu bean now. Nope. Oh my goodness. All right. So Ken getting something started here. Up throw. Into the up air, back air, doubling up on the back air, the high Man, illusion to the platform. Tough. Ken covering it, already racking up a good amount of damage here. Ooh, I like the idea though, trying to snuff oh, that out with ooh, that up tilt. But 
Just can't. Yeah, he wanted to end it all right there. Ken, he has those forward smashes. When they hit, he looks like a genius. When they whip, you're like, all right, bro. Like, <laughs> let's relax a little bit here. Right. That's a good idea. And eventually, against uh, light, I bet you they might hit. Shout out. Yep, setting up for it for sure. Great air dodge. Nice. Okay, light able to find his way back to the stage, though. But you know, this is definitely down to the wire. We can see an F smash really take it. We can see. Oh, that, that was, was so close. close. That was really close. He's going to go over the ledge. Wow, Light just not letting him slip through yet again. Ken doing a great job getting out of the corner, even if he did put himself back in there a couple times. But still, doing yep. the first part right is important. <laughs> okay, just going back and forth here with these spin moves. Light tr trying to track down, trying to get this grab here. The backer doesn't connect. Wow. Sour. Nair and no follow coming out from Ken. Yes. I am worried for Light if he doesn't win this game one, by the way, just based on how everything's going right now. Look at the time, too. This is going to be a long set. Oh, my God. That's what I'm saying. Step back. I'm telling you, these forward smash from Ken. Look at him. He's pumped up. Usually see Light smacking his leg like that, get all hyped up. I like seeing this from Ken. I want to see Light wake up. Come on. Let's go, baby. I mean, game that, time. That, that is a very hard part about being a competitor, right? Hey, like, just zoom, that's, zoom. That's, okay, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> right, <laughs> the very first we're done, space dude right we're, there. We're done buying you guys long show. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I mean, that, that is a very hard part about being a competitor, right? Having a tough loss where you didn't feel like you really played your best, right? And then yeah. having to come up and play your loser's bracket match, it can be very Mama. demoralizing, hard. And, but I, I do believe Light is a player that can bounce back. For sure. And you, but the hard part is bouncing back within a set, right? Yeah, but again, you know, Ken, dude, he's going to step on the gas right now. Pedal to the metal, full steam ahead. And winning that game one against Light is huge in a set against him, especially in this matchup, man. Yeah. Could easily be the difference maker. I, th I think, you know, what you're saying about the, uh, you know, bouncing back to not only in the set, but just mentally, uh, you know, he, he played a match against Tweet, didn't do that well. It's been about an hour, and he's still kind of still sitting on that. So I feel like this this could be a more mental thing that he's losing more so than uh, just losing to, to Ken. So kind of lose to yourself first. Ooh, good yeah. cross up there by Ken. Uh -oh. But uh, yet again, back in the corner. Wow, so many buttons right off of this uh, leg right here, too, from Ken. That instant illusion, man. It's just the number one thing you look to cover first. Great trade for Ken. Off stage for Light. And forward air is almost going to do it. He gets illusion high. Fades back. Oh, my oh, God. Nice man. shot by Ken, man. Off stage. Good edge guarding. You Get. just saw how Ken shadowed him and then was just waiting. Like, once you start up Firefox, I'm going to jump fair. Mm -hmm. And I just clicked the start up and then mm -hmm. just, that was man. so nice from Ken. Ken is playing incredible Ooh. right now, too. got to give it up to him. Yeah, still not enough right there for the up smash. But, yeah, Ken is absolutely cooking. So you give me opportunity. Nice. nice. Okay. Well, Second up smash is going to do it. It's something that we saw missing in game one. Maybe light is coming to life. I really hope so, man. I like the Firefox instead of Illusion right there, too. Ooh, Ooh. okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, almost got the platform. Tech has actually forced Ken to go for the jump there. Hard air into the jab. Nice, yeah. Good, good, good shield drop or parry right into the shield back up into the punish. Wow, almost. I love these aggressive edge guards from Ken. Clearly talking to here. his boy Sonics, you oh, know. Yeah. Clearly getting those notes from Sonics, who is incredible at this matchup. I like that. Light like, wanted to try and go for that sour dash sack forward smash. That might have taken the stock there. It was a very powerful confirm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little di up from Ken, avoiding that Man, the back air. Geez. Oh my goodness, that move hits like a truck. Yeah, Ken is. Oh, wait, hold up. He took the hoodie off, bro. Wait. There's layers to this. Slowly, literally, <laughs> what, literally, 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 literally. Layers. But, <laughs> but the sleeves aren't down yet. Or up. We, we don't know, actually, the status on the sleeves. Oh, we He's don't, got a we hoodie have on. no status on the sleeves. Might not have a shirt on at all underneath that hoodie. We don't know. <laughs> Be honest. <laughs> Pause. Came back. What? What? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we're moving forward. We still got we got a good amount of damage here on the Ken, but Ken's willing, you know, willing to chill out on the other side. I mean, uh -huh. it's up to, yeah, uh -huh. it was like definitely up to light to approach, and he somehow found that down air up smash. <laughs> what if I was right, though? Wouldn't you guys feel stupid? <laughs> yeah, true. All right, man. But for real, Light is making this comeback happen. Actually, has a lead again here. I was going to say, we saw it from players all weekend. Like, Spargo yesterday had a rough early start to his day, but he fought back and looked like the best damn player in the venue. We know Light is capable of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean, we've seen losers bracket Light just completely yeah, pop off, yeah, right? right. I, I feel like this is a very rare sighting. And yeah. I, I'm, I'm, but I'm glad that within a game, we're already seeing Light kind of bring back the momentum onto his side. At least it just feels like he's cl um, playing cleaner. I think something, yeah. Light tweeted too, I was not grabbing it up against Tweak. He was shielding a lot and I couldn't land my grabs. And we've said it all weekend, Light is winning when he's landing grabs. And I think we saw the first one here. I went to, no. He's, he's grabbing. Grab. There it is. Well, getting, getting started. Put, put some gas in the engine, keep him fired up. And I, I feel mm -hmm. like it's not as simple as just like, oh, he's just grabbing, he's winning. It's more of just like, if if Light is grabbing, the conditioning is setting him, exactly. right? Like his game yes. plan is coming oh. to fruition. Uh, 
Oh. oh. Okay, oh, that's yeah. it. Yeah, that's nice. it. I was just, it's that, not right, Charles. It's not literally about the grabs. It's about the game plan and what's exactly, working effectively. Exactly. The pressure around the grabs. That move Wait. was slick right there at the Wait. end, too. My man just smiled. I think, I, saw, I think we saw a little smile. Uh, yeah, all right, all right. What is he saying? What the heck? <laughs> He's speaking right. in Professional leap re lip readers, please. Is this a <laughs> Actually, don't. Get us out of here. Okay, right, we're good. <laughs> Mons. Ah, Mons. Ah, Mons. Ah, it, it, Mons. A cheeky oh. little grin. A, little grin. a cheeky little grin, bro. <laughs> it's not running back anymore, I guess. <laughs> there Smiles we go. in the chat, chat. We got game three coming up late. Looking a lot better in that game three. Or in game two. See if you can keep it up. Game three. All right, Mia. So, Ken, you know, uh, while he did Ooh. strike first blood, Light is able to strike back, but... Still, it's gonna be a, just a hot set between these uh, competitors, regardless, man. I don't, you know, whoever wins this is just, yeah, I'm gonna give it up regardless. But yeah, I just like seeing the good gameplay I'm, I'm seeing develop between Me both too, sides. Man. Also, just loving to see, like, you know, a different style of Ken. Like, he really is kind of running him down. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, I think we can see that, especially with all these, like, forward smashes. Mm. Really ready to box. It does not matter. Did not like that forward air from Ken, by the way. The number one thing he had there was light off stage without a jump, but then he pushed him back. Light was able to get his feet back on the ground. That's where Fox is one of the best characters in the game. Okay, trading back and forth with Fox with Rage here. 86% on to Ken. A Nair or a Dare will do the stock ah. in. Woo! Perfect teller. percentage right there, Chuck. Fortune teller. Charles posting, everyone. <laughs> Charles explains. Yeah, I, 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 you know, I have a sense for when Fox wants to Nair. It's, it might be 80 to 90% of the time, but. Yeah, Light, Light is actually playing so well, too. <laughs> These ledge situations <laughs> where Ken kind of oh. drops off does uh, spin dash too to make it back and yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah. Rough angle to recover there. Not a whole lot of mix-up you get. Big ass forward so, smash. I, although, shout out to Connie Nabe, man. I, I love the way his box recovers. I'm just thinking about it. No, I, again, the thing in Ultimate is I love that we have at least like two representatives of like most of the top tiers in this game. So shout out to Connie Nabe and the Japanese scene as we're talking about Ken right now too. I, I think that's another thing that could help Ooh. Ken out a lot. We don't know how much Fox experience Ken has, right? I mean, probably yeah. has faced up against Kanabi a handful of times, I would imagine, at least, right? So Ken getting a bit of Fox practice over Ooh. in Japan oh. here. Oh, I like the double up tilt. Tries to get the reset, but the directional air dodge to the ledge. Face down. Nope. Good fair out of shield, yeah. actually. Carrying him to the side, too. It's a quick not, move. Yeah, not an option that you expect Sonic to do at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, try to get that lingering Firefox hit, but a so great recovery. Good. Taking that down smash, 100% worth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chat. Yeah, Pesarimon too, chat. I love Pesarimon, bro. Hilarious streamer, by the way. Check him out. I've said enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the game's starting to escape light just uh -oh. a little bit. Okay, yeah. That's Ooh, oh, he pushed him off, he pushed actually. Him off. Yeah, that's a, you always want to take the big punish whenever you get a Sonic hit in the stage with that spin dash. That man is stuck there. So right, prime though. percents right here. Uh -oh. Prime Nair percents. Nice. Charles, you oh. talked about the chase down that he has to look like. Looked, uh, it looked a little frustrated that that didn't connect right there. But I like to see that. Before he was missing stuff and not even reacting. So I think this is all. I think most of this game relies on Light's mental right now. Double back yes. air, though. The classic. I mean, it just goes to show how much of the mental game affects everything. Right. And just fighting games That's in general, point, right? It, it, it's crazy. Yeah, when you're feeling confident, you play so much better. And I'm glad Light is, like, really getting that back right now. Yeah. It's a battle with yourself a lot of the times, right? Yep. Okay. Fourth throw. Push him off the stage one more time. Good try with the F-Tilt. I thought yeah. he was going to cover a jump for back air or something. But either way, Light sneaking out of the corner again. Such a good move for Sonic. It is. Re reacting to normal getup, that would have KO'd. Light Definitely. Up. There's yep. a dash attack. Got to catch the landing here. Spring mix oh. up. No. Still not enough, though, mate. Even from the middle of the stage. Oh! oh. You're kidding me. Oh. DBZ? Crazy. Okay. What Sonic did he by? Back air. Back air, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah bro. Back Huge air brain fire plays, fire. by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, bro. They even know that you were going to be able to live that, but also to even go for that. So... I like, like that was like that the was first time Light even went for uh, something like that too. So yeah. they're, they're starting to you know open the bag. That one was they get deep in it. Uh -oh. No double jump. Oh, oh my. Yep. 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 You, yep. Take you take that all day. You take that all day. You don't even want to test him on it too, right? Like yeah. he's he's got him. He's got him for sure. That board smash would have probably killed. Him. Yeah. Oh for sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the charge that he got on that and the rage that he has, it was probably over. Ken going over the left. I love that. That back here, look at the bubble hitboxes on it, man. Just so high. Lingers for so long. Good job by Ken using it twice, man. Crucial positioning there. He's just, yep, he's doing yeah, it. He wants it. He's doing the EE -E killer right now. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like they played in bracket. That's funny, though. <laughs> they should play. They should have a grudge match. That is so sick. <laughs> Wait, a grudge match? It's, it's a one sided grudge, a but it's still a grudge. <laughs> Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah. 
up smash, smash will certainly do it. Dang, that, Ken. That bold. We don't really get it. Like, yeah, we don't really get a lot of up smash opportunities for Sonic, but when it hits, yeah, it's usually it's usually for death. Yeah, I feel like Ken's just been willing to throw out way more smash attacks than ever before. You have to play very different in this particular matchup as Sonic because you Boom. can't really disengage from Fox. Fox can always force, I guess both sides can force interactions all the time. Usually it's just in favor of Fox. So Ken has to take bigger guesses oh, than usual, cool. right? That was so that, crucial, right? That was play of the set so far for Ken, for yeah. sure. Light does look a little more locked in, but it, it still might not be enough, honestly. Ken is playing so well, dude, in a matchup that you know, a lot of people would consider pretty, I don't want to say free for Fox, but definitely very, very uh, solid in his side of the control. Yeah. Well, I, well, I, I, according to, la to uh, I think, last, he was saying that uh, Sonic has no losing matches. And that is my <laughs> guy. I could, I, I could see that at best it's even, and I feel like at certain points in time, uh, you know, I could definitely agree with that, but I think when you're playing against uh, Depressed Light, you know, it might be a 6-4. I'd be a 6-4, bro. I'm just saying. Sonic has no losing matchups if your opponent isn't feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. Happiness back there matters so much. Uh -huh. I mean, even... Ooh, nice try. It's not like Sonic doesn't have outs, right? It's not like Fox completely dismantles uh, Sonic. Ooh. I mean, it, it's, it is an advantage for Fox, but I don't think Fox wins like 6-4 yeah. or anything like that. I gotta compliment it again. Ken, the way he's playing around the ledge is so good, man. Like, the way he's dancing around it, he's making himself comfortable in a position where most players lose against Light. Yeah, well, well, Lillian's take a lot of risks, too, especially with the way that Light's been playing at the ledge. It's like, okay, I'll, I'll take a hit, maybe, if you can even uh, guess what I'm gonna do. Right, and we know that Light, Light loves the position above the ledge, you know, go for those nares, right, and just mix in the double jumps, the fast falls. But a lot of time, Ken is overshooting the ledge and always threatening, like, the back air, really meaty hitbox. So Light has to be very careful and, you know, aware of how he's approaching that ledge trap slash two-framing situation. Ooh, good try on the DI mix, neutral air. Oh, yeah, you got to go on that, though. He's covering quite a bit of landings uh, with that. And on top of that, just... Uh, continuously keeping this pressure up on Light. Light can't even really get the laser uh, camping going. Ooh. If he sees Ken on the other side, because Ken, as soon as he sees the laser pops out, he just goes over there. We're talking about body language a lot. But look, how lock, look how gamer leaned in Ken is right now, by the mm -hmm. way. There is so much negative space above his head. There we go. Oh, ooh. <laughs> Fix it on the flat. Production. <laughs> it looks dramatic. Production, leave it alone. <laughs> oh, there you go. oh, now Light's leaned in just as much. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Wow, yeah, angles, yeah. angles change everything. Put that negative space back in there. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, Light is turbo leaned in right now. <laughs> Light is locked in. Oh. Wait. Oh, not going to get the grab, Man. though. Look uh, at nice up angle. Up. Yeah. Beautiful. We talked about those shield pokes are so important for Fox, but angling that shield up is going to really pretty much let you shield another bear or two, right? Yeah, that's something I noticed about the Japanese players is that they're really good at like knowing when to angle the shields or which characters to angle it against, yeah. too. Yeah. Him with that mix. As soon as he angled it up, just go for walk up down smash. <laughs> Got him. High low mix. <laughs> it's fighting like. games now. <laughs> Ken playing so well with the lead right now, too. Just chipping away. Even taking these little trades is a huge deal, especially, I mean, not just the soccer lead, but the game lead, too, man. Okay, getting the charge there. Not getting too much shield damage. Just trying to disengage. Another mm -hmm. fair offstage situation. Almost catches that double jump, but light fading back here. Light is definitely not finding any of the go-tos for the stocks right now, and it is definitely paying dearly. Gets a grab here. We need to turn that into a stock. So we just keep continuously putting, uh, you know, Ken in bad spots, but Ken has definitely gotten better just throughout the set of getting away from that uh, ledge. So, right, I feel like Light hasn't been reacting to a lot of like panic uh, panic options that Ken's been yeah. doing too. A lot of uh, up smash opportunities missed. Oh there. my God, dude! Rough. Uh, really rough for Light, but golly, that was amazing for Ken. Gets that up smash, but it might be too little too late, dude. This would be so tough to play against Cam with a literal full stock lead. Yeah, bro. And we are just about to get past the halfway mark two of the set. So, you know, a full stock lead. You got to chase this man around. You can see it. Look at these. I'm out. My man's in Green Hill Zone right now. What's up? <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh wait. Oh, oh boy. No Down there. there. Oh, no. that was even smarter! Just going for the one hit, the trade, that was it. Can popping off. Amazing set by the Sonic main EE e. in shambles. I thought I thought we were gonna like maybe pop off that ledge with like a shine. Yeah. The Nair didn't I feel like that Nair was gonna do nothing for him. Well I well Light wanted to Nair back on the stage. Okay. So he just wanted to throw a meaty option right at the edge, but also get back on stage for the ledge trap. Yeah. 
Because you also go could go bear here, but you just want some damage and uh, get back on stage. Yeah, yeah, so he just dropped too low. did not get. Yeah, <laughs> like you. The, Fox is pushing his weight, but just cannot get that leg on the. Come on, <laughs> please! Get <Fox! laughs> <laughs> <laughs> me out here! Parkour! <laughs> no! <laughs> I hate space, <laughs> bro. Dude, I, the thing too is like the about going for that gamble. I understand the want and the need for it, but when you miss it like that and you don't get back on the stage, Ken has a full stock lead, so he can mess around off stage all he wants. Because even if he throws something away, and eh, we're going down to the last stock and it, like if he messes up really bad it's gonna be fine for him but ken hit so many i think f smash was the move of the set for sure for ken boom right over look at you can see how that move works so well nice job production you can see it actually just goes right over the ledge the hitbox is insane again one of the best f smashes in the world oh no yeah watch we got watch and ken all right come through sick all right yeah get him get the e e to on production me. please e e e e one of y'all doesn't matter Oh, okay. All right, we're bringing watch. watch. We're bringing Ken. Oh, uh, what's up, Ken? Yeah, how you doing? Uh, Go ahead. Fine. Yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah fine. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ken can speak English. It's yeah, fine. of course. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. How you doing, Ken? Uh, fine. I'm uh, very comfortable right now. Thank you. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> that's but one way to put it. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations, man. I mean, that's a huge win. That matchup is pretty rough. Uh, how much experience do you have in that matchup? Uh, I know Pasiri Man and Kanenabe play, but I don't know how many times you've played them. Uh, I played like Pasiri Man not recently, but a lot in these five mm -hmm. years. Okay. And uh, we are completely uh, even or a little bit advanced for me. Okay. So, okay. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm, but <laughs> I used to hate so Fox. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good much, character. But, <laughs> understandable. Understandable. Yeah, but uh, recently uh, I don't hate Fox, and uh, in Port Priority I beat Kanyabe 3-0. Mm. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> so no, uh, now I'm not so bad at this matchup. Yeah, and uh, wh what do you feel like helped you out in this matchup? What was it mainly? I'm, I'm assuming it's the off stage. You just get getting comfortable edge guarding. Uh, yeah, edge guarding and uh, Fox uh, usually has a punish with uh, near tail smash. Right. So uh, I try to not hit them. Yeah, you just get out of the way <laughs> yes. of there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. March right. 2017, Frame Perfect Two. What the heck? Do you remember that tournament? <laughs> March 7th, 2017. You remember that tournament? Frame 2017. I, I'm not. I'm not. I wasn't in frame perfect, for sure. You weren't. I were. I wasn't. <laughs> uh, uh, that, uh, that tournament, you had won, right? Yeah. Uh, I wasn't in that tournament. <laughs> Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, Beefing no, no. with the wrong guy yeah, for man, eight years. What? What's going on right now? What? I don't. Okay. Well, that was EE. -E. Thank God EE -E showed up. <laughs> what the? Beef squashed. You go back. They, they, they instant replay on that. They, they <laughs> Guys, it's finally over. Yeah. Well, For I now. don't know what it was, but <laughs> no, I don't think anyone knew what it was. On. Not even EE -E was. I think EE -E was confused himself too. Really good stuff, though, Ken. I gotta say, do you know who you yeah. play next, or are we, um, we waiting to see that? Leo. Leo, nice. Uh, How are you feeling for that? Uh, Sonic's won, so I have to win. All right, <laughs> I love it, dude. It really good job, Ken. Love seeing you out here doing your thing. Congrats on Thank qualifying, you. and congrats for keeping it going. Huge wins. Keep it rolling, Ken. Literally. Thank you. See ya. Good job, Ken. Goat right there, man. Yeah, he's such a, a fun guy. He's such yeah. a positive yeah. guy. Yeah. I love that. He I goes to house Ken a lot during like the 2GG times. And stuff oh, nice. Like that. Yeah. Cool a dude. new Ken cool fan dude. is born, bro. <laughs> <laughs> a new yeah. Ken fan is born. You see how he squashed that oh, beef squ with no, squashed that immediately. no problem. No problem. Yeah. Such a nice and humble guy. You know, he was. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I was never there. He was. He was. It like, was not me. <laughs> what are Ken you talking was ready. about? Ken was ready. He oh, knew. Yeah. He's like, I wasn't there. What? What do you mean? And he told you who won. Go. So there's <laughs> go. Go. There's go. E -E. I can't but believe he studied that matchup against EE. E. The new the interesting thing is there is somebody out there that cut EE e. off at the <laughs> tournament that he has beef with. There's an unknown person running around. Who is it? This is Yeah, bro. So now now, is, now we must super sleuth who he who does EE e. actually have beef with? Who cut him off with that McDonald's in 2017? Eight, <laughs> eight years ago. <laughs> eight years ago. We went through a whole pandemic since that happened. I don't no, know. Man. Was that the peak of Watch the Throne? I, I think that might be better than Grand Finals, man. 
the beef vinyl. Take it easy, Chuck. Well, can we the get there first, Chuck? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Christ. Like, <laughs> yeah, you might as well set tune out now, the, guys. Who cares? Yeah. The, the sponsors, bro. Nice the job, Chuck. Sponsor. Sponsor. <laughs> anyway, guys, buy a jacket. We need it. Uh, actually, limited run. They are oh smooth right there, Devin. We are actually running low on jackets. Limited supply. We've sold a bunch throughout the weekend. Super happy about that. And uh, there are three jackets up here, and all the casters are fighting over who gets to steal one for free. But I already put two in my room, so uh, it's gonna be rough for everyone else. <laughs> hey, we're, yeah, no, that's I'm just what kidding. The doing? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I, left I, I conveniently left the other one back in the room. Well, <laughs> we're gonna talk about it. Uh, <laughs> GX <laughs> Genesis 10. We'll be back here in San Jose. Beautiful time of year to be here and get away from the cold, especially if you're from Northeast or anywhere else in the world that gets cold that time of year. February this time. Uh, don't forget Genesis X. Register now at start.gg slash GX. You know, it's still going to be cold up here, too. Though. Yeah. Way better than Boston. I'll That's tell you fair. that much, Mom. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be shoveling here. RK Press. If you guys, uh, it's pr pretty hard to, like, stay in tune with the fighting game scene, especially if you're not, like, on Twitter or something like that. If you follow RK Press, like, get on Twitter if you can. That's, like, the best way to follow, like, pretty much anyone in our scene and stuff like that. Especially when you have so many different games. There's so many different, like, people to keep track of. Uh, RK Press got you. Just go on the website. And if not, like, get yourself a Twitter. Follow them on Twitter. Uh... You'll be tuned in for life. Ah, yeah, you know. combo devils. Uh -huh. Yeah, we got that downstairs. I've been playing quite a bit of that on my breaks as well. Uh, it is a brand new platform fighter. We actually got to watch a bit of it yes, uh, yesterday. So if you are, do want to see it in action with some really good people playing it, definitely go check out the Guildhouse stream uh, vods. But yeah, combo centric gameplay. It's got all kind of type of game modes, so it's not just competitive. You can go there and play with your friends in the roguelike mode. It got cool stuff like EX specials, rollback net code, and super finishers as well. Uh, wish list of today, man, on Steam, and you can go ahead and check them out, Combo Devils, uh, on Twitter. And of course, Collision. Make sure to register now for one of the iconic tournaments in Smash Brothers for both Ultimate and Melee. You can register now at start.gg slash collision. It's going to be going down in March 15th through 17th in New Jersey, featuring many, many great players you guys see listed there. Uh, yeah, the finals of Low Tide City 2, right around my area of residence, that round rock right outside of Austin, Texas. It's going to be hot, too, in May 11th, 12th. So definitely pull up and get back into the tide with us, Low Tide City, coming back to you one more time. Start.gg slash Low Tide City 2024. Sign up now. And if you guys, after seeing all those exhibitions with Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 and you don't want to play, you guys are messing up. Platform fighters are definitely the wave right now. If you guys want to get in on some sick gameplay and some sick mechanics, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl yep. 2 is right there for you. You also saw Coney won that tournament. You want to be like Coney, download that game <laughs> and play it now. And, of course, new episodes every week on all your favorite Smash podcasts, Lights Out, Tweak Talks, and Coach's Corner for Smash University. You guys can check out episodes every week on the respective YouTube channels, EVSU, Tweak SSB, and Smash University. Hey, oh, House of 3K, it's the guys who are behind the scenes. You're wondering why the production looks so crisp. It's because of House of 3K. If you're trying to get in contact with them, hire them. There you go. Vince at uh, House of 3K dot NYC, but also keep up with them everywhere else where they post things, be up into Twitter, watch them on Twitch, and hang them out. Hang out with them on the new and improved Blue Sky. Yeah, you saw all those uh, amazing zoom-ins we had during that. That was all House of 3K and Devin and their technology, man. They've been around forever. They do a lot of different fighting games and Smash and have for many, many years. Love those guys. Everyone working in the House of 3K family, so check them out. If you're a TO, consider hiring them for sure. Can't recommend them enough. Thousand percent. Yeah. And before we get into some more matches, we do have something pretty cool to show you. So guys, stick around. We'll be right back right after this trailer.
All right, everyone. Yeah, you check out that trailer. You like what you see? Check out King Kong. By the way, Mars is Mars tuck his headphones into his hood. By the way, when he actually walks around, kind of weird. Probably. Probably. I don't know. I, I could see it. Bro, Dude, there's a lot of unrealistic, unrealistic things about that trailer. Okay. And at first, I was joking about <laughs> Cac, but every Smasher actually picking up the phone call in the first is a, a lie. Never gonna and happen. those rooms were entirely too clean. The okay. You know damn well <laughs> those rooms are not that clean, bro. The, I'm just saying. The one thing that was true is Cac was definitely towards the back of the plane, uh, not flying first class. Like in your own cartoon, you didn't put yourself first class. I would have done that. I'd be flying the damn plane, actually. <laughs> yeah, you're Good the pilot. Uh, very well animated. Very cool. Check that out. If you're going to be a pair anywhere around there, make sure you uh, King Kong. It's going to be a good time. Love going. Great time. I went to a tournament in Paris recently. I had a really good time. Oh, man. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and get into our next. <laughs> I, I want to go, though. It does look like it's going to be a cool tournament. So yeah, it looks I will like, be reaching like. out to the to the French Dimension and see if I can get pulled back into there one more time. But before then, we yep. got this cool tournament that we're at right now. Ooh. Lifetime one and two between Karama and Gluto. It's going to be a good one. Speaking of French connection right here, yeah, I mean, you got EU sponsored uh, Karama, and then, of course, Gluto, the king of France at this point. Obviously, well, not even at this point for like 30 years or something. So just ridiculous. I'm excited to see this, too, because it should be a pretty head-to-head -head clash. And, I mean, the last time they played was just about a year ago at the Ludwig Smash Invitational. 3-0 against Gluto is a statement for sure. Yeah, yeah. And before we get into the set, I just want to do a quick show to, to make sure to follow Watch the Throne Socials at WTT Events. Yeah. And make sure to follow the side stream of the event as well at Guildhouse. Um, on Twitch, so yeah, I mean, they're a huge part of this event, and we want to make sure to build as much as possible with them. That's right, man. Yeah, Guildhouse, we said it so many times. I mean, Guildhouse is just a phenomenal venue in an amazing spot uh, in the U.S., so make sure you guys follow them, keep up with them, because they do a lot of events here, and it's really cool. I tune anytime I see like a Street Fighter thing or whatever at Guildhouse, I always tune in. It's just something about those hanging lights, it's so comforting. Yeah, they do a bunch of different games too. They, uh, the last one of the last events here, it was a double agent for Valorant. It was super simple. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Was a, I so heard there was a line like, like down the street. Yeah, like, so it was, cool. it was awesome. So cool. Yeah, so check them out. They're doing big things here, Gildas. But either way, doing big things here on the stage now is going to be Karama against Gluto. Big rivalry, if I'm not mistaken, for their two sponsors, right? Yeah, very yeah. true. Because yeah. uh, Karama is uh, Carmine Corp. Yeah, Carmine Corp. There gotcha, you go. Brother. Nice job. I don't know what song this was. I don't know where it started up, but this song sounds like. <laughs> Like, it started up like like it was powering up. Uh, dude, so I feel like a battery was getting powered. I was like, what the? But, hey, you know what? Oh, Ooh. Dang. We're, we're, yeah, we're starting off uh, starting off right here for Karama. Now, uh, yesterday when we, were, when we watched Gluto play, his coach came up here and talked to us. And he was saying that, you know, Gluto, he, he didn't want to say it on the, on the mic, but he said Gluto actually was, like, pretty tired yesterday. You know, jet lag and all that good right, stuff. Right, right. I was like, you know what? I give the benefit of the doubt. And so hopefully Gluto went home and got some sleep. However, they were posting on Twitter, you know, making jokes like, oh, Gluto's doing push ups. Go to sleep. If you're tired, <laughs> wait, go to sleep, I, brother. Wait, I, <laughs> love, I love that tweet, <laughs> oh, though. Dang, that doing some push ups, so the down air, the drop down. Kind of just like the way Ken finished that last match, too. Just dropping him right into the blast zone. Clean stuff from Gluto. No, but the way Gluto set it up was crazy because he fell into the ground to cancel the down air yeah. just to make sure only the multi hits connected on Karama. Because if the full down no tech. Karama could have teched or just made uh -oh. it back to the stage, right? Right, yeah. That down air has just been... Uh, he's been kind of pushing the meta, right? Thanks to those down airs. Especially up, if they're not off stage, Ooh. they're on stage too. Always a threat. Oh, man. Yeah, and for the up yeah. smash, yeah, definitely. Wario, that's a no-fly zone around Mario, especially when you're around KO percentage for sure. But Wario, he, sometimes he can't help himself, bro, with bite, great aerials, a lot of drift and mix-up. Like, it's just going to be a thing that happens. How do you shut down this aerial pressure from Gluto is one of the first questions you got to ask yourself when you're playing against them. Yeah, it truly ends up becoming like a battle of nares and up airs between these two. You know, both of them having phenomenal up airs, phenomenal nares to get things started as well, too. So, hold up. Karama, though. Yeah. Dude, Karama is Mr. Boosted F Tilt. Mm -hmm. Like he really is. He, he plays like a Belmont. Like he'd just be boosted F tilted all day. I think the rising up airs are gonna be pretty huge in this matchup too. If if, if oh. gonna be comfortable staying around Karama's like no fly zone that you're saying has, mm -hmm. uh, he can get picked up by one of these up airs. Oh Ooh. man, if he had turned that other up air around, I think he would have been able to actually pick that up, but no, still went for a reverse up there, uh, up air instead. But yeah, this is still, I mean, he managed to whittle his way back into that uh into this game. That was a clean nice. down tilt starter, but not enough to take the stock yet. Maybe we can get a setup into the down air, but Wario is has a little bit of bulk, right? And we know Karama loves to take those really early stocks with these ladder combos, but I'm not too sure how early it can be on Wario. True, right here we see the bike coming out. Nice, oh, very smart. Seen it flood. go too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very smart flood. Get rid of the bike in that situation. Playing against a character that doesn't have too much range, you can use the bike to like kind of extend your play range. Mm. Hey, good punish right there. Actually getting the down tilt into Ooh. the dash attack. I'm back. 
fighting his way back to the state. Oh, the wall jump! Dang, that getting around so that cool. pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was down with that. Dro dropping off like, and then also keeping your double jump in a situation like that is so unfair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. You gotta yeah. be quick with it too to uh, you know do tech like that. Oh yeah. You know, after that big first stock from Gluto, Karama actually taking the stock lead and goodbye. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, there it is. I'm sorry, Karama. <laughs> we, we, we see nothing but even games here. That's what that's what uh, um, Gluto said. So until he still has the WAP. Oh, and yeah, it's always an issue. Hold on now. We literally saw WAP kill at seven oh, today, there and we is. will certainly see it nope, get 11. a lot of damage wow. at this point. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I, <laughs> you got it. You got it. I, I saw it, like the speed at which he flew. I was like, he's not dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You gotta have the reactions, even as a commentator, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. Keeping sharp here. All right. So you got the damage, but the walk is offline now. Uh oh. And especially with the way Karama plays. Ooh! Oh. Slipping past with that neutral air dodge. But the pacing Karama plays at, I think Ludo's only gonna get one walk per game, right? Mm. Yeah. I mean. It, I mean, specifically in this game. I think they're in some Ooh. of the later games depends on how the, the game really starts. But, yeah, yeah they've yeah. been kind of going back and forth and really landing a lot of their damaging hits. Uh, so, yeah, this game in particular maybe only getting one. Uh -oh. oh, not enough room on the platform to get the dash up air. Wow, oh, that God. angle is awful. Going high? Oh. oh, I can't. The magnet hands, it must have been really close, honestly. I'm pretty surprised he didn't grab that. But good job by Gluto forcing that last arrow there and taking the last dodge. Also, just kind, of, kind of surprised he just didn't go much further forward. Mm -hmm. Right. So, I mean, I, I see the idea, you know, they want to, just in case Gluto did try to get out there with the back air first. One, probably would have thwarted him out because he did it so early. But yeah, he was just so far away. Jeez, that angle. Oh, yeah, he was way, he was way far away. Jeez. Yeah, it's pretty close, man. For the <laughs> magnets, yeah. For the magnets, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab Wario, come on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they just hang on to each yeah. other. That'd be a great mechanic they had into Smash Six. The grab box right there. Yeah, production yeah, doing an estimate. Close. It's very, very, very close for sure. And the fact that Karama went for it lets you know that the grab box is crazy on that because you're not going to go for that if you've been playing Mario for like 10 years now. Yeah, it's like, eh, maybe I can get there. Right, right. Does Mario hit the spirit hands on the way down? Did you see? What is he? <laughs> the jazz, 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 jazz. jazz. Oh He's my. like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> He's always having a good time. <laughs> Plumbing to his death. <laughs> the awareness from Mario. <laughs> Maybe he had no idea what was happening. <laughs> very, very likely. The Mario doesn't take fall damage. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. In to game two. Bring another platform in the mix. Though. Oh. Getting it over to uh, to actual battlefield. Yeah, surprising that the stage is left open too. Gluto must feel super confident on the stage. I, I mean, I think they both get that benefit. Uh, Gluto oh definitely god. gets way more oh of these. Oh my god! Way more of these. I mean, this is definitely historically known as a Mario stage, but you know, we get a lot of up air conversions uh, from from Wario too. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, these characters very like shades very different, but in a weird way, kind of similar too. Mm -hmm. In a lot of their, at least how they get their follow ups and combos and stuff. Right. You never want to get hit by up tilt from either of these characters because that might be might be dead. Okay, just fading back here. Nice. Oh, the boosted, boosted F tilt, yeah, man. I'm telling so you, much of that. doing it all weekend, bro. Crazy. Pretty meaty option, just not as uh, committal as that dash stack, right? It's right. just a little extra range that Mario needs, right? It's one of the weaknesses of the character but outside of Fireball. Like, he doesn't have a whole lot that's, Ooh. you know, decent option. But good air dodge. Pluto, for as French as he is, doing a lot of American air dodges, honestly. <laughs> uh, and they are, but they are working out. I'm sorry, Helming. You got to do all kinds of air dodges <laughs> to make it back, especially against Krom. <laughs> okay, man, 168% on this Wario right now. Some kind of down air something here. Oh. I'm called the French air dodge. Guys. That's <laughs> yes. ridiculous. How many Back different air dodges are there? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's all the same one. <laughs> it's no. a global air dodge. No, air dodge no, no, no the French, it's only a French air dodge if it works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. It has there to be go. good. It has true, to be true. good. That's right. <laughs> the finest air dodge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Alright. <laughs> Good forward air right there. Some call it the French forward air, you know, the way I was able to take that stock. But I, I, I think it connects is just right. Right. <laughs> Ludo. Ludo's looking for the French waft right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 is it the French food? I don't know. <laughs> there you go. Too, I like the down tilt too. A little range again. You're talking about how important that is for Mario to have. Obviously, the up close boxing options are really strong, but. Oh, and yeah, oh. yeah, oh. they're okay. Great reaction from Grama. Just instantly going to up either, not having the resources. But the walk is online here. Yeah, like uh -oh. TK uh -oh. mentioned, the pacing uh -oh. kind of changed up a little bit, right? Yeah. No, I mean, I was saying, like, this game, though, I think it's 
slowed down and he's not really in control of the pace. So if Pluto is in control of the pace, that's when I think I'm more likely to see two walls. Uh -huh. Normally you only see that one walk because he has to use it for his comeback factor. But if he can get one off like early in the set, even if it's just like a half wall, oh well, it's gonna be that stock, yeah, man. Double jump. And now he has one walk left. I mean, he doesn't even have to use it for a comeback. He just comes uh, through and find the. The big victory right here. Yeah, this is going to be really tough, especially with Waft on the table. And Wario can play this passive game a lot. Oh, oh there it is again. Man, we haven't seen Karama get a single ladder off the top for a stock, at least. I mean, it's great damage, but, man, this weight is really helping Gluto out. And I think Gluto just knowing how to navigate DI-wise and positioning-wise, not really giving Karama Ooh. those opportunities. <laughs> yeah, I think the, the amount of War. fade that Gluto has, like, or Wario has, is fading away. Like, the little tiny extensions that Karama has to get has to be mad tight. Mm-hmm. My man's, my man's definitely uh, just carrying him left and right right there with the uh, with the post. Yeah. Down tilt to the fairs, yeah. yeah. Pointing him out. <laughs> okay, off stage here. The fireball not sniping Warrior off the bike here. 166% going for the waft and disadvantage and air dodging away. Yeah, he's been doing that a lot. The American waft on that one, by the way. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's been looking for the shield poke on the head, too, of players when he lands on them. Yeah. It hasn't been working out a ton. I'm a little surprised he's going for it, but he's got a big enough lead where he can take a gamble like that. Maybe potentially get a half waft back, too. Back throw from center? I don't think so, man. Wow. Yep. It's Battlefield. These yeah, blast zones are huge. Man has to definitely get that from the side if he can find another one. Honestly, he also now is in that area where, he, yeah, he can just fish for uh, down air for the stock. And okay, okay. Yeah, finally, finally does it, but takes him quite a bit. 92%. At least he doesn't have to deal with a waff. I mean, he might have to deal with a half waff, which is still kind of dangerous. Or well, definitely dangerous at the percentage that he's at. But, uh oh. Yeah. This, this is the plan all along. This is the Mario percentages that we've been talking about, right? Those mid lower percentages where Mario, if he gets a down tilt, maybe an anti air up tilt, it could be death, honestly. Raw grab. Yep, looking for it there, but. No waft, ready to go. We're gonna keep fighting it out here a little bit. There it is. Oh, yeah. Well, he can't can't get the full or the double jump up there. I don't think he was gonna be able to line that up anyway. He was pretty high up on that second up here. But regardless, we did get some decent damage on to uh, Gudo. But yeah, he's still not out of the you know out of danger yet. Oh, uh, I'm pointing it out, man, for sure. This is this is the win condition right here. I'm pointing it out to you several times. Mm -hmm. Down tilt, dash attack, clean from Gluto up a big 2-0 right now, guys. It, I was thinking about it too. The last set they played was a 3 0 in Karama's favor. You know that Gluto's been sitting on that for a year. You know, yep. he, wants, he wants to come back. And I think this year too, Gluto's always been really good. But this year, especially, he boosted himself up into this like upper level of ultimate goddom, right? Where he's been so consistent, so good. Defending his home turf in France several times. Like, he's just, he's so strong right now, man. It's been a year, so let's see. What Mario, we've Mario hates move. baths. <laughs> Whoa! Get that water away from me. <laughs> I think the last time they did play was actually an exhibition match, right? Like in, in oh, France. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe Gluto did take that. So it's, uh, I think right now, Kram is the one that's really chasing this win. You don't have to, man. I mean, this is, he's the last rep for uh, NorCal 1. So all the NorCal fans here, uh, you know, they, they're cheering for him super hard. But at the same time, though, you know, just wants to keep putting his, uh, his name out there, you know? Mm hmm. So uh, everybody wants that big W against these uh, people that are, like very well considered into the top five. Gluto is definitely sitting in that area right now. So you want to get that big W, really prove that you you know you're one of the greats as well. But right. as of right now, what we're two zero, right? 2 -0? Yeah, two zero. Yeah. That's right. Here we go. Game number three here. Karama has quite the hill to climb. Gonna have to reverse three zero Gluto, which is a pretty difficult task. We already mentioned Gluto so strong at adapting here. Yeah, and in those like percent ranges that we were just at, it's. Kind of one of those things where you usually see Karama like really hunt for that like last hit scenario. Like, okay, I'm gonna just get this hit and that's all I need and that's right. how I'm gonna get this kill. gluto has been doing a good job stopping that, right? We yep. <laughs> point at the shoes, like, what do you got on? Oh, what are those? And then mm -hmm. straight to the dash attack afterwards. I, I like the way the Gluto's playing on the ground. Mm -hmm. Even as the positioning from Gluto, every time Gluto does get hit by a crazy combo starter, he makes sure it's right at the edge of a platform or right at the edge of the stage where Karama can't really like dash forward and get a really good follow-up up air or follow-up forward air, right? And, I mean, just the defensive DI and defensive positioning coming out from Cluedo has been fantastic. Again, not a single ladder KO. First two games. Uh -huh. we, we see Karama get sometimes multiple of those in a single game. Right. A, lo a lot of these, like, double up airs, too, not leading to any, like, Man. pairs. Also, at the ledge, a little suspect. Yeah. Well, also, it's just, I think where he's hitting these up airs, uh, too, could sometimes be a little hard. Uh, for the sole fact that, like, when you are getting at the edge and you're not ready to capitalize off that, Gluto just gets the reset oh my God. situation. Wow. Good first stock right here for Karama. But yeah, but Gluto gets the reset situation just because of how good the drift is from Wario. Like, he doesn't have to um, 
air, directional air dodge. True. He True. can just air dodge away and then just drift away. Unless you're ready for that, you're not going to be able to catch that. But either way, that was a very, very hot start for Karama. Really trying to put himself on the map and on the board. He definitely uh, changed up the game plan, too. Oh, yeah. like he, he sat there at the CSS and thought for a while. He didn't even lock in Mario. Like It took him a minute, and he definitely thought about it, and it's working out super well in this game three. Ooh, that was hot. Ooh. Oh, oh you turned me around? All right, sounds good. Yeah, it does not matter. When down for that trade. Your, your hitbox is so tiny anyway. I'm going to hit you. Okay, go for a reset here, but the directional air dodge to the far left platform. Mario not going to be able to get there in time again. Gluto knowing exactly when and where to insert this hill. defense. Yeah, the down tilt stopping Karama from moving is amazing. Yeah, he stopped out the boosted F tilt with that, or down, or yeah, F tilt with that. It was cool. Oh, that air dodge again, man. I'm telling you, it's a real thing. He's getting away with it though. It's uh -huh. Definitely working out. Karama was not fast enough to get that back air uh, in for at least just the damage, but still, look at this solid lead that he's got right now. 156, nice. and the back air still not gonna be enough though. No bike though. Huge uh -oh. situation for Karama yep. going low though. Protecting himself underneath the stage, very nice. Yeah, Fade away with the neutral is very smart. Again, the no fly zone, oh! that's gonna be a half waft. Man. Right to the corner, living that waft. Very nice by Karama, the perfect DI. Okay, yeah, that should definitely be enough right there. Middle of the stage or, or not, the back air at almost two, uh, 200. Have been enough, and now Karama, does have a lead, took a lot of damage though, off that half waft confirmed. And so we're looking for uh, Gluter to kind of even this up super quick, line up that back air. Okay, nice roll on. In the earthquake hitbox of that downer with the fastball, Gluto lining up this edge guard here, just needs one hit of fair, gonna back up for this ledge trap though. There it is, nice. the wall jump into the double jump here. I'm really navigating through Ooh. so much and gonna miss the tech on that down air. Look how good that down air has been for Gluto at the ledge. Couple stocks already throughout the set. Very big. He's working on a 3 0 right now. Oh, they are do scrapping dogfight in the air right now. I'm totally right with those down airs, too. Like, what, what's messed up is, like, in that specific oh situation. Boy. Oh, wait, hold on. Jeez. Jeez, 89%. So many up airs. Oh, no. The game has definitely escaped. Uh, Karama, he didn't even have to deal, really deal. Well, he might have to deal with the half walk now. Oh, but, oh my. Oh, 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 my. oh, 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 oh. Jeez. GG. Uh, I, I think so ending. much of that set was determined right at the ledge, right? We, it started oh. off very early with that first down air that gave Gluto the momentum to ride forward and take down that game. Wario laughing his ass off at that, by the way. Appropriately <laughs> fitting uh, windscreen for that. That was ridiculous. Very well done by Gluto. I got to say, like you guys said, I think a lot of that match was won on Gluto's defense for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, I just, uh, unfortunately, so uh, I feel like Karama definitely was doing a good job of, like, really working with the opportunities that he had in that last game, but then the opportunities just started slowly and slowly uh, fading away again. Like, no. this is kind of, he needed to get that the entire time. That, that was so down crazy. air was uh -huh. so nasty. It's all right, Karama. We got Louisiana from him. It's all good. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but seriously, that down air in that situation, too, like, if Gluto actually decided to land on the stage, um, Kumarama would have just fell straight down, so it's kind of like a you tech that or you don't situation. You might have gotten the air dodge right. if you uh, just fell straight down. Yeah. Good set anyway, though, right? I mean, it was competitive for sure. De definitely had to hit the wafts, the big confirms. I'm surprised that half waft didn't kill, actually, in the last game, but yeah. they all worked yeah. out for Gluto. Feel, baby. Moving on here still. Gluto staying alive. Love to see it, man. Yeah, uh, we got Gluto in the building, okay. in the production. Hey, 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 hey getting, there getting he the is. Getting the French 3 0, bro. Don't tell it's me about different. Louisiana, guys. It's different. <laughs> it's different. It's, it's better than a regular 3 0. <laughs> 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 How you doing, Gluto? Gluto, what's up, man? How you doing? Doing good, and you? Sava, sava. Sava, sava. Hey, sava, sava. Hey, hey, I'm hey, I'm hey, 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 man. I was just at Terra. Uh, yeah. Some of it stuck. You learned. What's going on, man? How you doing? How you feeling, by the way? Uh, good, good. Like, uh, we arrived really early, like Wednesday, so mm -hmm. uh, considering the lag, the morning is really fine. Mm -hmm. it, it started to be hard at like 6, 8, and stuff like that, but now it's really fine. I think nice. I'm playing well. I played with a lot of people. I trained a lot of matchup. I tried different type of different uh, game plan, uh, the mm -hmm. bike stuff, of course. So yeah, I'm feeling good. That's awesome, man. Yeah, we saw. Uh, did the push-ups help last night? It was something I wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that tweet, you gotta check it out. That's Coach Snorley <laughs> right there. Snorley, thanks. <laughs> you, you did so. it. <laughs> I, was like, I can't believe yeah. he did that. That was really uh, funny. I thought that was funny. great. That was, that was good funny. stuff. That was really good stuff, man. I, we saw the last time, aside from an exhibition, the last time we played Karama was a 3-0. Is that something you were thinking about, or did you study the matchup a lot, or play, or prepare for Karama a lot? There's no that much uh, Mario's, but uh, the theory is kind of fine with Wario against Mario. Like you need to be very grounded, mm -hmm. and I think 
Yeah, in the neutral, it's almost it. Like, you really need to be careful about, of course, his combo starter. But then when you stay on the ground, there's nothing very scary about Mario. Because everything that will be scary, he has to commit a lot for it. Because, of course, if you're in the air a lot, he can spam up air and it's not risky for him. But if you stay on the ground, the only thing he then do maybe is F-Tilt or dash grab. grab. He did a lot yeah. of dash grab. His grab were good, but sometimes I just mix up and the reward is not... It's not really good for him, except it's the, if it's the good percent of grab, of course. But otherwise, like if, if I'm 120 and he grabs me, I really don't care. So yeah. he, he kept grabbing me, but with no that, there was not that much impact. So if you know exactly where to position against Mario, I think he struggles because he can't find his combo, uh, kill combo easily. And I think it's really important for Mario to kill because if he can't kill out of a combo, he has a hard, hard, hard time killing in pure neutral. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking at up smash or shutting you down, jumping mm -hmm. around him, right? Yeah. Which you, again falls into that grounded game plan mm -hmm. like you said. Sorry, I was laughing because it just brought me back to when you said, I don't care. Your, your I don't cares are so good. You're like, <laughs> if he grabs me 120, <laughs> I don't care. No. Like, it's over. <laughs> really good stuff, Gluto, man. Anything else you guys want to throw you in gotta, there or let him get yeah, back you gotta, there? Yeah, you got put on to Battlefield twice. I mean, like, that's mm -hmm. usually like, yeah. a, please don't take Mario to that stage, but it seems like you're okay with it. Do you like that stage, Wario? Uh, it's, m it's more that I. I had the choice to I have to ban two, mm -hmm. and I prefer to ban PS2 and Smashville than Battlefield because Smashville is very close, mm -hmm. so he can upper fair me or upper, and the platform is in the middle, so it's easier for him to have big big combos and kill. And I think in Battlefield it's harder to kill because he kills from the top, and Wario is kind of big, so yeah. he will not die eventually. Okay. Uh, so I prefer. It's not that I like BF, but I prefer to play on BF than PS2 or Smashville. Okay. Yeah. It's something we saw too a lot off stage. If, even if you started some of those combo stars, you would air dodge off stage yeah. immediately. Like I'd, I'll go to the ledge against you rather than let you kill me with a forward air. It's, it's it sounds so simple like when we say it, but doing it in practice, you know, it's a lot yeah. harder. You know, with the pressure and all that. So you have to think exactly where Mario is dangerous. I think Mario is very dangerous in some part, and some others is really not. So for example, you prefer take the L and just go out and get less trap than to try to land and get up air yeah. again and again, because his less trap is not that good like Mario's ledge trap what is he yeah. gonna do yeah make rather make him beat you at the ledge mm -hmm. rather than with a combo yeah. right yeah. that's what Mario's comparing want. to his combo his ledge trap is bad I don't say that le Mario's ledge trap is bad but comparing to the other thing you can hit get hit by of yeah. course you're gonna you want to choose the ledge trap right it's not his best thing it's yeah. like an easy way to put it cool yeah. yeah, I thought I thought your defense was phenomenal, man. I mean, I like the idea of not caring too much about battlefield because since the ceiling and the blast zones are a little bit higher, yes. then you can abuse the strength of Wario being just heavier, right? Because yeah. I don't think out of all three of those games, I don't think you got comboed in or like a ladder combo off the top. It didn't yeah. happen a single no, no. time. And even again, your directional air dodges were so good because in situations on the top platform, a lot of people panic against Mario on platform scenarios, but Wario has great air mobility and a good directional air dodge. So you would directional air dodge either mm -hmm. off the stage yep. or to another platform that he couldn't get to, and then you would be completely safe, right? And yes. even your edge guards, I mean, all weekend, I love your usage of down air. And there was even, um, I, I think it was this set where you hit Karama with the down air, but you did it right into the yeah. stage, so yeah. you wouldn't get the last hit, and you just the got spike. the drag down. Yeah. It was crazy, man. I I just been I just <laughs> wanted to compliment you on Thanks. your fantastic defense and your great offstage game this entire tournament. Yeah, man. Thanks. You got a double fair against Spargo last night, which I like too. That's, that's like old school Wario stuff to me. Yeah. It's like the double fair. It's harder to get an ultimate these days, but you still brought it out, which is cool. So good stuff, man. Thank good you. Good luck going forward in the bracket. Thanks. And you know, shout outs, man. Hey, Keep it going, go. Gluto. Guys. All right. Crowd favorite Gluto right there. Yeah, you know. Pluto hopping off. We're going to get Snorlax back on here in one second. Got more matches and everything coming up. But, you know, as always, you got to give it anytime we got something going on here that's French. We got to shout out Humming. You know, I think we had a plate of French fries walk by earlier. We had to shout out Humming. <laughs> yeah, go, it doesn't matter, matter what's going on, bro. French onion soup. Yeah. You gotta, hey, shout out Humming, man. French fries. French fries. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Had some ruffles, French dip. It's like, shout out, shout out, Humming. <laughs> 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 <Shout> out, Humming, <laughs> bro. <laughs> anyway, we got one more match for you in this row of matches. I think it's going to be uh, a Cola and, uh, yeah, Bloom Forever going to be stepping up for uh, our next match. Wow, so, wow. Bayo and, Dude. well, could be Aegis, could be, uh, you know, uh, I see him hovering over Hero for a second, but it should probably be the Steve. I don't know who was on with that Aquila set, but I love that he stayed with the Aegis against uh, Spargo. I think that it really is a statement. Uh, I don't know, a lot of people talk about Aquila's fundies or try to discredit him a lot, but dude, taking a, a game at least off of Spargo or two games or whatever with in a sortie match is really impressive. Even if it is winning for Aegis, it still is like that's yeah, Spargo at the end of the day. So uh, shout out to Aquila for trying that out, man. I love it because Spargo's really been a demon for him. We're going to see what he can come up with against Bloom here, staying alive. 
I think these are two of the youngest players that we have in this tournament, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Bo both Bloom and Nicola. Still, still so young, still so much more room to improve too, oh, and they're God. all, they're both such amazing players. Tank dropping the TNT, the anvil, what else you got down there? I like, bro, I mean, yeah, that's got it. Do not go low. So yeah, no, we <laughs> definitely had to go high right there. Bloom is just getting chased all the way around the stage. He's not been able to land a hit yet. Okay, finally gets himself a neutral air, but that doesn't lead to much, you know, the damage that this uh, character can put out if she can get the right starter. All right, so getting right into this, man. Europe versus Japan here. And it's just crazy to even think Akola being in loser's bracket this early. Kind of a tough draw against uh, yeah. Spargo, right? But we, honestly, we haven't seen Spargo versus Akola in quite some time. So it's a crazy set to even make this set possible here. I'm pretty Ooh. sure. Oh, man. Dude, that up smash is so strong, by the way. It's crazy. It's not even a question. Wow, get over here? The old uh -oh. scorpion? Golly. Man, imagine if you got that nil right there, too. Uh -huh. Would have been so oh, that's much big. more. Oh, uh, I thought we were going to go for the up smash wait. after that, but no. Uh, you know what? Uh, still yeah. a, a good option to try to go for it. We are on the platform. You could have definitely tried to carry it to the top, but that did require more precision and uh, for Akola to mess up his DI. So. Right. Yeah, I got to say, Bloom's fair 1-2s have been so good all weekend. He's sitting them against Tweak on Diddy. Like, not a tall character by any means, so he's getting the drag downs quite a bit. I, I'd like to see his offense come to life a lot. I saw he's been grinding a ton this weekend. Get out of here, calling out that down smash. Standing on the block, very nice by Bloom, but dang, almost getting forward smash for it. Yeah, that's totally true. The the fair one twos are so good for Bloom forever. I feel like uh, most other like Bayos are doing rising ABK, but it seems like a lot of the pressure comes from like Bloom's fair one two on the shield. And if you drop something, I'm definitely gonna get uh, Ooh, a lot oh more. My oh my god, man. no way, right? Jeez. Jeez. It almost uh, backwards L. Oh, oh nice. Oh, hey, wait. I'm back. We oh, back nice. in yeah, there. Uh, so Bloom took that hit on purpose. So yeah, he's gonna. I got nothing, man. <laughs> I'm trying, chat. Oh, he's what? in the, Oh, his ass is in the block. Yo, new tech. <laughs> he's laughing, bro. He really hit the, the Hogwarts platform. He was running through it. <laughs> he's a wizard. Oh, no. He's a wizard. He's British, guys. Yeah. Right. yeah. 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 That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I'll give it up, Pat. I'll give it up. Thanks, Mom. I'm also tight, by the way. Last game, after I made that French joke, someone goes, Coney's so funny. That's so hard. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, cool. He's still reaping the reward. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> he never loses. He never yeah. loses. I'm so tight, dude. <laughs> okay, thanks, Coney. You're, honestly, he probably was being hilarious somewhere, but either way, <laughs> neither here nor there. A lot of adjustments to be made by Bloom here in game two. Let's see what happens. Bayo being such a light character and also a fast faller must be amazing for Akola. Well, here, here's the thing. I know uh, Steve can struggle versus some characters with frame one outs. Obviously, Bath Within is a frame one out. But it seems like Akola is still being able to land Ooh. up a lot of these combos and a lot of these, uh, you know, setups. Especially that parry into the fourth. That was a like, huge... Wow. Oh, wow. Nice. How many defensive options out of his special moves did he just pull out there? Beautiful by Blue, man. Akola almost waited them all out, too. I was ready to compliment Akola until the bullet arts came out. That was sick. Yeah, but no, he, he definitely needed that, too, though, because, uh, you know, if he was going to land with the, after all that special light, he was about to get hard combo. So I had to try something. That was his last just effort, and I think Akola probably just kind of forgot that, that was even a thing. But I'm, don't, don't imagine getting hit by that anytime soon. Right. Again. Oh, oh I okay. love kick. that. The dive kick was so good. In right. situations like that too, like you, you don't normally think characters can approach at that angle from that far away. And having the dive kick right there, that pops straight up, avoids Ooh. the the wall right behind Nicola. Yep. All right. Nicola tries to go for the power shield. Wow. Right there. I'm surprised the anvil didn't hit and the back here didn't hit around. I'm sad nothing happened there, but either way, both players are fine here. Try to get off these platforms though. Bloom. Uh, extend the lead here. It's interesting that we're going back to PS2. We all know that Steve can mine some amazing materials more likely it's more likely to happen on this stage, so. Great DI coming out from Akola. 172%. Bloom can't really line up this oh, connection here. No that's not just gonna do man. it with the nil, man. Oh my goodness. Just under 100 percent there too, by the way. Huge damage, big rage from Steve. ABK, wow. Oh. ABK kills? <laughs> Hold up. Get out. <laughs> Using ABT, ABK2 offstage to edge guard someone. <laughs> get the KO. <laughs> <laughs> she should get a third one when that happens. <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> Infinite I, ABK. I think what we Stop. might look for here, okay, I was just say of a, a raw, like a, a raw back air or aerial, we might see the jabs come out too. The rapid jabs. Blue's been doing that a lot this weekend too. Yeah. 
Yeah, Bloom doing a good job actually keeping the game mad even, but here's a combo to start for Akola. That gold too just makes everything so much faster. Uh, oh, ooh, with the gold, that's a lot oh, no. of damage. And that's another, I was gonna say, out almost close. stock, yeah. Oh. Okay, we out. Dang, but the spot thing off gold, him, unfortunately. Gold, gold, baby. material, yeah. He's going for a lot of these witch times on minecart, and it just seems to be either really hard to execute and catch him like that, or Akol is just what avoiding the? it. Dude, I am just... How did he do that? You're totally yeah, right. He is still a alive, bro. <laughs> he, 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 he is a wizard, yeah. <laughs> True. Ooh. Truly a wizard. Oh, unfortunately, does not land on that platform try to extend that combo. Wow. Oh, didn't get the down tilt to connect there. Okay, that's what? here. Okay. Great combo starter. Not going to go for a second witch twist, though. It seemed like the perfect like angle to go for the second witch twist, too. Alcola has great DI against Bale. Yeah, he does. Yes, he like, does. Yeah. I, I feel I feel like not a lot of players understand the intricacies of DI against Bayo, especially the younger players, but great stuff on Akola really knowing this matchup. Yeah, he's been getting out of pretty much everything. Nothing's getting him to the top at all. In fact, not really getting more than two special moves in any of these combinations. So, Dude, uh oh, he's sticking with this goal, Jeez. too. I like it a lot. He wants to win this close quarter stuff. Man. Oh, oh yeah. my no god, way. dash up F-Smash 82, barely living here, Bloom. Oh, oh the elevator! <laughs> no way. Oh, man. Right. On every stop, too. <laughs> every every stop. floor. So, hey, when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> the door opens. You just get gold and fast. <laughs> no one's even here. Like, <laughs> press all the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> These damn kids. <laughs> Bro. Okay, gonna which time? You do have intangibility, even though it's Back out of range, oh. but the fair should do it. Oh, Steve, too damn heavy. I feel like that's still such a good catch from Bloom, recognizing the situation. Oh my Wait, God. What? Wow, that's so unfortunate. Can I say bro. he's a wizard again? Yeah, <laughs> it actually happened three that's times. That's so can, unfortunate. So he's got the base max on, but I know Akola's cheesing underneath that. You, know, you yeah, can see it, yeah. bro. He's having fun, man, as he usually does. Uh, can we get the elevator back, by the yeah. way, please? <laughs> So where's the elevator clip? I'm, I'm be real with you. I feel like that's probably why he wears the, the face mask, bro. <laughs> Do you think so? He, he, doesn't, he doesn't want people to see him grinning that hard about the stuff that he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, one, a one, a two, a three. Uh oh. <laughs> Check out my elevator. Oh, Yo, charging. <laughs> Yo, hold up. <laughs> Yo, why, hold up. Why is he charging the other way? What the heck? The thing I wanted to see. Ooh, he tried to get the ABK with the back air too. That's crazy. I wanted to see him grab. You've seen that one where they ride oh. and they ran the ambulance out and just grab you. Oh my God. <laughs> Steve, yeah, it's so fun. You're I, coming I, with me. I like how a troll he is. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> either way, man, we got game three coming up. We got Blue Man trying to pull a trick out of the hat here. Reverse 3 0. I love the Witch Twist to counteract the down tilts coming out from Akola as well. So, Blue showing that. Not only Akola knows the Bayo matchup, but you know Bloom too knows the Steep matchup. Right, Both right. sides having great counterplay towards each other. Yeah, right. Right. I mean we we're we we're complimenting uh, Akola's SDI, but I feel like Bloom's SDI uh, has been also pretty good on these jabs. It's just I feel like Akola is also recognizing them super quick too, so he's getting comboed pretty hard. Ah, I can't uh, tell if that like uh, which you know which time on the the empty card is like actually worth it. You get intangibility, Ooh. so you can like try to force another interaction. But yeah, I mean sometimes the intangibility runs out before you even interact with Steve. Right. So. You, you saw that has a white wife. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, well, it's like the Krama thing where right. Krama up aired him out of his wish twist and stuff. So good job there from Bloom taking the first stock lead here. We got, got one. It. Yeah. Well, on the board, taking very little damage too. I mean, again, Bloom's gonna have quite the uphill battle. Gonna have to win this set with the reverse 3-0 okay. for the bracket life here. Wow. It takes a lot of rounds to break one of those walls, dude. Yeah. Empty I mean, clips, dude. Those those aren't real guns. They're just airsoft guns. Yeah. Like ball shells. Airsoft pellets against those dirt blocks, man. <laughs> yeah. They don't stand a chance. <laughs> Not at all. Oh, crossed up uh, on the F air. So I'm just putting myself in a bad spot. Oh, oh, no, trying no, to do it no. again. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> all right. it, it broke down on one floor, on the first floor. <laughs> Faulty mechanic from that Call one. service, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, all right, right, gonna close it out. Only 51% on Akola here. No, no, get it, yeah, get away from the box, bro. Wait, you know what okay, he's trying to do nice. over here. Love that. Up oh, air. Ooh, ooh, good up okay. air right there. Oh, okay. Oh. Trying to carry him up again, though. All right, that was good, though. He managed to get a hit on the way down, so he was able to get through all of that special lag. But still, Akola. Look at I like I like what Akola scout now for. He's standing he's standing right in that area where he can look for an ABK. And of course, he did not swing at the right oh time. Oh Long combo though. Hold uh, up, dude. A whiff which time led to seventy percent just about. Which at, at the ledge can be death for Bale for sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean both these characters have crazy damage output. The biggest difference is Steve is a lot more heavier than Bale. <laughs> what? You're oh right? no. Okay. Oh, huh? good roll actually. 
All right, let's keep it going. All right, gotta build up another wall just in case. <laughs> My man is Jeff smashing right now, bro. <laughs> Why not? Wall think of, plus think F of the, smash. Think of the risk reward on that. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, literally infinity to nothing. Like it just doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, the down air. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Oh man, not gonna go right into the witch ah! fist there. Whoa, Ooh. what the? I don't think I've ever actually seen that interaction. Yeah, me bounced <laughs> over it, yeah, or bounced on it, man. It's like Wait. when, oh, it's like when Falcon does a Falcon kick on a wall, and right, bounces yeah. off. Mm -hmm. Oh well, we, we need again. something that hits at that angle over that Four. wall. Oh, okay, dang. well, if the first 18 miss, 19, it's like the Leo the buzz record. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm he 17. Never misses one, 17 one of them. In a row. I'm one in. I'm one in. He will never miss 17 F smashes. Never in misses a row. 17 F <laughs> smashes in a row. Never. And don't forget it. <laughs> I'm surprised we actually didn't see the downward uh, or the dive kick from Bloom in that situation too, right? So if you do get like that oh, dive yeah, kick yeah, yeah. and that like that surprise burst option, you know, I don't think Akola was ready. We've for seen it. it once, but I feel like maybe Bloom's overthinking it because. What do you do here? That's the burst option, right? You either have to have a burst option to stop the F smash, or you have to get in between Sucks. Steve and the wall. Right. I feel like it would be good to do that, right? This. It's this. also. I mean, it's also the positioning a little bit too, though. Like he has to make. He has to really <laughs> thread that needle. He duff, bro. Yeah, he straight up swung. Uh -oh. This is, and this is the thing about like being at this percentage against Bayo. Like which twist doesn't even get Ooh. up. A bear no. back. Yeah, okay. You, okay. you only that get one air dodge, but Anvil was. You know, he was thinking about it, man. <laughs> I mean, you know he was buffering you, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> down on the C-stick, down on the C-stick. Actually, actually true. Yeah, you're right, Chuck. You got it. All right, jumping nice. over, but the back here. I mean, we, we've seen we've seen Steve's back here really, I mean, dismantle so many different matchups too, right? Especially up against the buzz. I mean, that, that felt like the hardest thing to deal with. And there's so many situations where you can set up block to even empower that move even more. Oh. Hey, back throw. Get him off the stage. Not too uh, far enough away yet. Again, Bloom living on borrowed oh. time here. Oh, oh no my, way. he stuck Please. his hands out. That, like that. <laughs> that not only did that kill, that turbo kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah. like not even close, man. Oh, oh, I'm gonna know, yeah, man. Yeah. Two, two great young competitors. It's, yeah. it's really nice to think too. I mean, think of how far they traveled to get to this tournament, to get to this point as well in the bracket. Yeah. Very nice moment right there. Bloom going down 3-0, but it was a good set, and Bloom had a great tournament. I'm so happy he was able to get here because. Definitely been one of my favorite players. I was going to say in EU, but in the world at this point. Mm -hmm. Just love watching good Bayo gameplay, and the kid is incredible at it. Like we said, very fundies based. He made the most of this opportunity, too. Every time, give it up for Bloom in the chat, by the way, because he, every time I looked down at that friendlies room, he was grinding, he was playing with someone else. A lot of Karamas. It's nice to see these young kids, man, find each other uh, when working hard uh, in the Smash community. So, very nice job. Yeah, it's, it's very fun to watch, like, these two characters play too because they're both so dynamic, right? And <laughs> unfortunately, like the counterplay is to break a controller. The SDI is very important in both of them, True. right? They they sh they share a lot of uh, common <laughs> commonalities except for like oh. stuff like this, right? He swung right. again. That's uh, the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it clanked like, though. Like, well, it clanked. It broke her damn fingers off. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> it broke I, her I, guns I like too. He might have got hit on the first one anyway, right? Like he was still kind of drifting forward, so yeah. If that's... he could get the second one out, he definitely could have at least air dodged Try away, okay. especially with yeah, bats, yeah, yeah. right? Like, well, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, but I mean, at a certain point, you gotta swing. Like, you can't just win by never swinging. So, good attempt there by Bloom. Good stuff to Akola taking that one down. You coming through? Watch here. You want my headset? You got that? Okay. All right, cool. Akola, what's going on, man? It's good to see you. いいと思うけど、最初スパーゴでちょっとスティーブを使うトーナメントじゃなかったから、ちょっと。なんかスティーブは触れてなかったけど、まあブルームとかまあここからルーザーズランでスティーブいっぱい使うヒンド増えると思うからここから鳴らしていきたいなって感じです。Okay, so today's tournament for him was like starting with versus Spargo, so he didn't use Steve. So he used uh, Fire Missile, so mm -hmm. he couldn't use Steve for today's yet. So it was his like first time using on tournament, and probably well he will use uh, Steve more on the lose for the losers run. Yeah. So he was a bit worried that the, it worked, but like uh, he's doing well right now, so he will try to use it a lot and prepare for the losers run. Definitely. Can I ask about the uh, the three block setup? With the anvil for the ledge guard can we ask is that something he's done before like what did he come up with that on the fly or what was the idea behind those three blocks and charging the f smash it was, it was very fun さっきの試合の復帰阻止であのブロック3つ積んであのスマッシュ貯めた状態でこうやって待ってる。あれは何か、あの、あの場で思いついたやつなのか。今までやったことあるけど、なんかベヨネットって<笑><笑><笑><
横 B とか上 B とか使って復帰してくるから結構、まあ、ブルームが外側から帰るっていうか、まあ、無理やり横 B から帰ってくることが多かったから結構横 B 読みで。下から帰るだろうなって下または横から帰るだろうなって思ってあの復帰措置をしたところはあるです。うん。So he uses that、uh, ledge guard because versus、uh, Vilnetta, she has like a multiple jump and he,、uh, he reads like he used a lot of like side B, direct side B to the ledge or like he、uh, so he reads that for it. So waiting for the side B, so he needs to wait in the air. So that,、right. that was like a versus like Vilnetta kind of thing. Yeah, very, it makes a lot of sense that you say it that way. Yeah, here we go. Very close, actually, <laughs> for that working out. But <laughs> it's good to see you having fun up there. And, and I got to say, too, is the, because I know obviously, you know, Spargo's someone he's working on playing against a lot. How long has the Aegis been cooking for? Is that something? I love that it took a game. It looked really good in that game. Are we going to see that a lot going forward, or are we still experimenting around with characters? そうえー、とさっきのスパーゴ戦かなり惜しかったと思うんだけれども、えー、とやっぱりそのスパーゴ戦に向けて多分たくさん用意してきたと思うんだけれども今後も多分そのキャラクター継続していくのかとかどれぐらい準備しましたかみたいなあ、まあ、結構その BOBC が終わってずっと、まあ、クラウド対ホムヒカについてはめちゃくちゃ練習してて、まあ、まあ今回も結構、まあ、や,った方やれた方ではあるけど、まあ、まだまだちょっと深まってないところもあると思うし、まあ、スパーゴが。ちょっと結構ひよってたところもあると思うしまだ真の相性っていうのはちょっとまだ分かってないからあれだけど練習期間でいうともうだいぶもう本当に半年前からずっと練習してきてたからまあ今回でその結構ホームヒカーに固まったかなっていう感じちょっとスティーブはもう今後ちょっと出しにくいかなって感じだからホームヒカーを練習していくと思う。<笑> So,、uh, the key point was like, definitely Battle BC.、Uh, and so, yep, yep. Uh, he, he selected Pirate Missile definitely. He will use it, that character in the future too.、Uh, at that much, like, he felt like Spargo wasn't like, aggressive enough, he felt.、Mm-hmm. So,、uh, it looked like a really good match, but he thinks he needs to dig more about his Pirate Missile、uh, techniques and other things. So, he, need,、sure. he, he still need, feels、uh, he has a lot of. Like,、uh, lab to need to lab. He sure, felt,、right. But like,、uh, he, he also he feels like it's getting better than、yep. the last time. So、uh, he figured out he will select this character in the future. So that,、cool. that's a really good、uh, thing that he figured out. So、yep. uh, he will try to、uh, lab and practice this character and、uh, going to use. So it's been like a half a year that he's practicing this、okay. character. So Uh, he will continue using this character for that matchup. Love to hear it. Yeah, I mean, a good initial result here. Obviously, going to keep trying to work on that. Anything you guys want to ask or say? Yeah, I, 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 I had something. Charles, of course. Let's go.、Uh, I was very impressed with Akola's counterplay versus Bayonetta. I feel like a lot of younger players don't know the SDI and stuff like that unless they were a Smash 4 vet. I'm very curious where Akola got his Bayonetta experience. あえっと、ベヨネット戦すごいなんか印象に残っていて特にすごいなって思ったところがすごいずらしがうまくてベヨネット戦の知識がすごいあるなっていう,ふうに思っていて特に若い世代が結構ベヨネット戦について知らない人が多いと思う、まあ、スマブラ4をプレイしている選手はやっぱベヨネットの経験があるから結構ずらしとかっていうのはできている印象があるんだけどもそこがすごくうまくできていたからなんかベヨネットの対戦の経験とかはやっぱり多かったりとか用意したりしてたものが多かったりしました。まあ、やっぱりまあそうまあ、日本にも強いベアネッタっていうのはたくさんいるから結構当たる機会もあって、まあ、ちょっと練習するっていうのはあるけどやっぱりでもその人たちとも五分五分ぐらいの試合になっちゃうから結構そのうまいっていうのは結構意外だなって思ったのと、まあ、でもずらしは結構まあそのそのやっぱ日本でやってて、まあ、ただ対応されたりっていうのはあるしだから上下とかずらしの方向を変えたりとかただ僕は方向はちょっとまだよく分かってないけど。まあ、今回のブルーム戦はうまくずらせたのかなという感じで、まあ、ずらしの練習は結構昔からしてるからずらしをしないとやっぱこのスマブラってゲーム全然安定しないしずらしをするだけで生きてる、生きてないとか相当変わってくるから、まあ、ずらしは僕の中で一番大事にしてますね。So he thinks like SDI is really important on this game.、Uh, mm-hmm. It will change that you'll live or、uh, die for that combo. So he, ne- he thinks that's one of the really important like, defense techniques. So he,、mm-hmm. he used to practice that. And about Bayonetta,、uh, we do have a, like, a really good、uh, multiple Bayonetta players in Japan. So he has、mm-hmm. experience fighting in tournaments. And、okay. it's not that like, rare to fight with Bayonetta、mm-hmm. in tournaments. 
but uh, he his like fighting versus Bayonetta is like fifth, uh, not like always winning. So mm -hmm. he's surprised that like everyone felt he versus his Bayonetta is good because he thinks like he still needs to uh, lab about which way is the eye mix up things. Mm, that's I really see. he thinks that's really important versus Bayonetta, and he still don't know which way is the best like SDI still. Dang. So uh, this time like actually it worked. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, he could win, but like still he thinks like needs to figure out that character. Oh wow, impressive stuff. Yeah, yeah. I think the only thing I just want to know like out of who is left, who is he most excited to show to want to play against? Like, oh. you know, throughout the who is who is left in the bracket. 今トーナメントに残ってる人の中で次対戦したい人って残ってる人の中だと対戦したいなって選手いますか？まあスパーゴかミニアーさん。<laughs> Yeah, we, heard that. we got that. Yeah, we got that one. Got that one. Save your breath. Watch. We got that yeah, yeah, one. No translator uh, neither. 100. Right. Also, Sonic some more revenge style. Oh, also Sonic. Yeah, heard that too. Okay. Heard that man. A lot That's of good answers. Good, yeah. Yeah. good, good names for him to throw out. You know, mm -hmm. if you want to continue to to prove that you are the best and one of the you know, at the top, those are two of the guys you really got to take out. So, right. but yeah, man, appreciate uh, yeah. Uh, my man for coming through mm -hmm. to talk to us a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Watch too. Thank you so much. Watch one of the best trainers in the world. Yeah, absolutely. Akol, thank you so. He said so. That's the most, that's the most I've ever heard him talk. That was amazing. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Good luck going forward. Thanks for being here. Thanks, guys. Cool. All right. Akol, the goat man. I had to ask about the elevator, bro. I had to ask. You had to ask. I had to know. That was clean, bro. Sorry, laughing. I wish it hit. I know. I know. I was the first one to do it, and I wasn't Coney. Just so you guys know. That was yeah. That was that was the Haz original. That was the Haz original. I gotta like sign like. There's a bayonet elevator. Has my hat. Like, like to sign all my jokes. Like, not Coney. Like, anyway, good stuff, guys. Uh, really good to see Akola. at. It's nice that he's been opening up a little bit more and getting more comfortable. I That's feel great. like being in the spotlight because, I mean, he's been there a whole lot. So nice yeah. to see him. Dude. He's, he's incredibly smart, too. I think that point about the SDI that he made being very important in, in this game is oh, yeah. huge. Like, people should yeah. just be practicing SDI on every single hit anyway. But I, I know it's hard to be cognizant of it. And you, get, you can get, like, physically tired from doing it all the time. Charles, you know. Oh, yes. <laughs> Yes. Smash forward. Charles is burn through controllers yeah. like uh, doing burnouts on uh, tires in your car. <laughs> exactly. Like. Smash forward bayonetta caused multiple players physical pain. Yeah, yeah but it, it is an important mechanic and it is in the game, so my, why not use it? It's a universal. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what character you play, you have to use it. Yeah, man. So I think that was going to be wrapping up that part of the bracket, which mm -hmm. means, do we wrap into the top eight now? Hey, there we go. Can oh, we see wow. the bracket for that? Yeah, please. Yes, sir. Beautiful, I, beautiful. I would like to, when Bloom is ready, I would love to get Bloom uh, some camera time as well. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I know he's kind of a shy guy, and I know he just, you know, he just lost and he's out of tournament, but I'd love to talk to him about his experience here because it was very important for us to get him here. But either way, thank you, production. Yeah, well, All right. We're so, definitely going to get, like, some more player interviews and stuff like that, even do some predictions before going into and pivoting into top eight. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So... Winner side, two incredible sets. One that has happened uh, so many times normally on the battlefield of online. Uh, Sonic's in Spargo, just a classic at this point. Honestly, all these winner side sets can easily determine who wins the tournament. And Tweak Mia is turning into a bit of a rivalry too. Tweak, you know, honestly, is having a tough time with Mia at, at SmashCon. I think it was a 3-0 if I remember correctly. That was rough. Uh, but Tweak showed some great adjustments here on Friday, bringing it to a game five, basically last hit. Super close stuff, but Mia clutched up and was able to take it down. I know Tweak wants that W very badly, but I know Mia, shoot for that number one in the on the planet, is going to need that win too. So it's a huge, huge match right there. Yeah, we just got a few matches all over the place mm -hmm. right here, man. So I'm very excited to see this top eight. Uh, we have you know, Mia, Tweak, Sonic, Spargo, Akola, and Gluto. And then on the other side of the loser side of things as well, we have Ken and MK Leo. So my goat's still back. My goat's still back. It was looking, it was looking it was, dicey earlier. Yeah, it was looking a little crazy in the beginning of the day, but it, it was cool to see him pull through, man. Especially like game five. Oh, there great. he is. Hey, we All got right. Hey, I'm so happy to have you here. Thanks for coming by. We got Bloom. Uh, I don't know if we need a special headset for your hair. We'll get, we'll look into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you always do, man. Wait, all right. Actually, real first question: Does your hair ever get in the way when you're competing? Yeah, but like, <laughs> <laughs> generally, like, it, it doesn't really matter if I'm, like, in a good mood. It's just, like, one of those things. Gotcha. Cool. Very cool, Bloom. Well, it, we were so happy to have you. We were saying. So happy when, to be here. Yeah, of course. We were talking about the initial list of who we were going to have invite to watch yes, the throne. Yes. And we've always said that since Ultimate is such a global game, we need players from all over the planet. And, you know, obviously your name is right at the top of the list. So we're happy to have you here. What do you think about uh, Watch the Throne and your experience here? I... If it was great, I feel I feel like that dragon image where I'm like the silly dragon, like. <laughs> <laughs> but, I'm the Meister. But, yeah. <laughs> Meister. No. But like, 
I feel, I feel like it's been such a chill event. Everyone's been really welcoming, really nice. Just been speaking to so many people, and it's just yeah. Like I, I can't really be. Com <laughs> I can't really complain at all. It's been amazing, man. So you playing down there a lot. Were there a couple players that who's your favorite player to play with this weekend or practice with, or who'd you learn the most from? Who'd I learn the most from? I think I got to play with Spargo finally, which was awesome. And I feel I I was like, damn. He's he's like he was fucking me up. A really? Bit. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's in the crowd. This is going out there. Don't be swearing the? up. We did not what expect the? that. <laughs> We no, did. that's uh, I mean, that's yeah, it's, it, 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 is, it, is, it is. Everybody gets one, but um, <laughs> oh, he, he said it in his second sentence like, is the thing. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really say you're the silly dragon for sure. You got it, you got a set win, oh, yeah, uh, and that's yeah, always yeah. big, but it just seems like a lot of the things that are happening with your bail in particular is just like little minute, like almost bail specific things that just didn't go your way. Yeah. So, like, you like, I feel like your gameplay is definitely on, but then like. The game decides. It's on, yeah. so. it, it was a little bit of that, a little bit of like me just being extremely like overcautious in a lot of ways mm. in a lot of my right. sets. I feel like I feel like I, I I know what I need to improve on, which mm. is nice. But yeah, it's just really punishing when you're making like those small mistakes and you're playing versus these players. Sure, you're not getting away with it. <laughs> what What are your biggest takeaways and what you want to take from here and learn and, and work on? Um, just like generally like working working a bit on my mentality with like defense because like sure. I'm sure you watched my set versus Akala. There were like moments where I was running away, I was not interacting, I was like doing fine and then I was just like I, I, I can't I can't do this anymore <laughs> <laughs> did you were you afraid of when he did the triple block setup or did that make you nervous no. when he, no, no he I, said I, no no <laughs> we were scared for you I, yeah we were like what's going on <laughs> I, I, was just, I was just like I'm just waiting <laughs> <laughs> true band at a print like you have so many options off stage that's oh, a good point that's absolutely. fair that's fair well, yeah, great you, went stuff, for, yeah. you went for like one downward uh, ABK right so a down yeah. ABK when the wall was set up which is a great burst option right because you know he's mining or F smashing right yeah. and the wall is behind and he's really safe but that downward abk pops him above the wall it's and definitely I, a good mix up. right right and I, I saw that you do it once and you got the opening and then you just stopped doing it throughout the whole set i was like oh dang i mean it, that's such a great not a lot of characters can burst in on steve and pop him up uh, above the wall and then combo him afterwards but yeah i mean kind of goes to what you were saying right it felt like maybe you were playing a little too defensive a little too scared yeah, yeah. i think the reason why i didn't like do that too often is because it's like you can spot dodge it and it's I see, I see. And it's like as soon as I'm past like seventy percent, if he gets like just if he just you can also react to it. Mm. So it's just I like see, I, I die as soon as I get red, and I'm just like nah. <laughs> so it feels like something you can only get away with like once or something during a set or something like that. Yeah, for sure. It's kind of like I gotta play that matchup like I'm Sonic, to be honest. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You gotta yeah. spend uh, more time, you know, down there just friendly up now that you, you know, got. Some, I mean, the, the venue's open for a while, so I yeah, don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be going some friendly. I was like, I was doing fucking randoms with Karama, Louise. Oh, they love. NorCal loves randoms. Dude, they Icon, love it. Icon is oh, like randoms. a contender for the worst randoms player I've ever seen <laughs> in my entire life. If he, if he hears this, I do not care. He, he needs to step his game up. Dang. <laughs> Wolf got so up here and got comfortable so fast. I, I love, dropping I love, the F. I love, I love I I love I can so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean the players that play fighting game characters usually don't have good randoms. All right, yeah. next time right, you get on my couch, you get one bloom. You get one F bomb. Okay. <laughs> my <laughs> bad. <laughs> He's like, I'm, about, I'm dropping him, bro. He's like, he, he took mine. I didn't get to use mine yet. I just get there. You go. Sheriff stopped it. Uh, so <laughs> I'll call him. Might have used his with watching. Who knows? Yeah, exactly. Not me. Uh, yeah, great stuff, Bloom. It was so great to have you here. You know, shout out to you Dude. for making the trip and, no worries, and working man. out. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate I, it. I, I have a question. So you, you yeah. probably get asked this a lot. Sure. How strong do you think solo main Bayonetta is? And or do you, mm -hmm. uh, that question, and then afterwards, do you think you're ever gonna play like pick up any other characters or just continue with the solo Bayo? Okay, I'm a yeah, bit two questions actually. Okay, I'm a two bit questions. delusional. I think Bayo is the best in the game. So like, I think huh? I think you can definitely solo main her. But it's just like, yeah, you've got to be playing way too perfect for this. Wait, wait. Did Best you say I'm not too delusional the and then say? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I thought I said I am too. Did I say? I think you said I'm not. Oh, did I? Okay. Did he say I'm <laughs> That's the most. You dropped two F bombs. That's the most offensive thing you've said up here so far. What the heck? The best of the game? Yeah. Holy smokes. 
All right, you know what? I like hey, I like that level of hopium. Hey, let's go. Aww. Yeah. I love you. See Aww. your mom here. That blue, so we all uh, Watch the Throne also brought Bloom's mom out. Bring out love, family support. We love to see it, chat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's really good stuff. We yeah. always love mom support. Man. We always love just parental hey, support in general. Because you know, as, as I said, we always in our older ages, like when we first started, that was not a thing. <laughs> yeah. So now seeing yeah. people of like in you know your age bracket with parents who were coming out, being like, yeah, I'm, I'm supporting my son, my daughter, or whatever. Like, I'm very big fan of that. Absolutely. Yeah, me too. Man. I love me my too. Mom. <laughs> That's awesome, Bloom. All right, it was obviously you know great to have you. You know, sorry your tournament runs over, but it's great to see it's you play right. this weekend. It's all good. Yeah, good stuff, everyone. I think we're gonna we toss no break production. Everyone's eating pizza. No one's paying attention. Duh. Yeah, we're gonna toss it to a break, and then we're gonna get some more player interviews before kicking it into top eight. Yeah. See y'all. Cool. Twenty minute break.
Yo, 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 welcome back to Watch the Throne. We are doing the top eight pre-show. After all the battles, after all the wars, we're finally here. And of course, you know, we want to make sure we want to talk to the challengers, the ones who want to take on the throne. Dang. It looks like we got one right here. He's been watching. He's here with Watch himself. It's like <laughs> Mia, man, up the bat. Mia, what's going on? Yeah, we got Ma watching Mia, and I, I know Mia is one of the players, or I think the only player that hasn't come up and talked, so we definitely want to get some of Mia's thoughts, and I mean, just one of, if not the best player in the world right now, right? And mm -hmm. I mean, I know in terms of Lumi ranks and stuff, they do the whole year-long thing, but yeah. uh, Mia is seed one of this tournament. Yes, yes. All right, I have one question for oh. this man. Who, okay. who does he think is his biggest threat in this bracket right now? あ、今日のトーナメントで一番大変だと思う選手だと思います。あ、これからのもうこれから。まあ、スパーブかな当たるなら残ってる人で一番苦しいなスパーブかな。I yeah, yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And it sounded like he was about to say Sonics, but then hesitated and changed his answer to Spargo. But I, I can agree with both of those. I mean, they're clearly playing very well, and mm -hmm. only one of them is going to make it to winner's finals. Mia might or might not be there as well. You know, he, he could lose to Tweak right here. Um, in that head-to-head, -head, do you feel like Tweak was starting to figure something out because that's that last set was closer than the first time and he almost mm -hmm. took a game four? Or do you think that by the end of it, you feel very confident against Tweak? 次多分ツイーク<笑> He had the confidence this time very much because okay. uh, the very beginning, what, but after, uh, he figured out how to fight and he feels comfortable right now. So I think he has his side today for okay. the match. Ah, all right. So he feels confident. He feels good going into it. You know, no, no threat there. Yeah, one thing I want to ask is like, you know, I know for a lot of players, we've been talking um, about here on the cast couch, just so many players are like you know kind of happy go lucky and where might be and like we love to see that hunger in people right people who desire to be number one right and i feel like we see that in me a lot but like i'd love to kind of hear from him like what what drives him so hard to get number one you know how does he feel going into 2024 does he think anyone can stop him like what what's that game plan for him right now on the top line moving forward mm. なんか、勝ちたいと思う理由うん。まあ、なんだろうな。普段なんか あと、なんかその中で、えっと、今後のそのまあ、やっぱ勝ち続ける he wants to win because he wants to win. Hey, <laughs> that's, yeah, the, that's hey, the heart. That's it. And, yes, and, yes. And what, like, he feels like really fun uh, when, not 
friendly is also fun, but he feels like a matches through tournament is the the most fun part of this Smash game. He feels mm -hmm. yeah. so winning in tournaments is like for, a really fun thing, and yeah. also like uh, feels like really want to win. So that's the the main reason like he wants to win, and also the 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 future to 2024. He wants to be the number one player actually, but this year 2023 he thinks. Like maybe he couldn't get the number one. So 2024 is the year that he will try to get to be the number one. So he will try to hard and get. That's the uh, the thing that he wants to do okay. in next year. Okay, yo, right on, right on. All right, you heard it here first, chat. Next year, all right. He games, we watch, man. That's what's gonna be happening, baby. So <laughs> that's that's amazing. This like here, you know, just. Uh, continued growth right and I, I think it's awesome because there are so many people i think especially on uh just north american side right we we're all like oh yeah you know akola akola like and nba is like in this number two and now it's just like everyone's like we we don't know at this point right because of just the the wins and like just the celebration we've seen with mia and his play so that's been absolutely phenomenal man I, i'm really excited to see him move forward um quality play and really showing how sh insanely strong um game watch is but also how strong he is at reading people like i i honestly personally love it where i feel like sometimes mia just wants to show you like I, I, can, I can go for the easy thing but let me show you how much better i am than you and i love that i love that in his play style man it, it's super it's dope yeah i'm very curious to ask mia does i mean we have been seeing steve come out more and more for mia so it does he feel like he needs the Steve combined with the Game & Watch? Like there's just matchups that Game & Watch, it's a little too hard, so he feels like he needs to bring in the Steve to kind of complete the package deal for his character roster? <laughs> ま、オンラインが強いからをま、主軸に戦おうかなって感じで、で、ま、he, he picked Steve not because like the character like uh, favor or like this favor thing. Like okay. he, he picked the character because his basic uh, way of practicing Smash is online. Yeah. Uh, so uh, he he will pick the character that is which is like good and will be easier to practice. You know, like right, some right. character is like different in online and uh, offline. So the character that doesn't just like have that big difference will be like a good practice in online character okay. that that's the reason that he picked that's and th those two character was game and watch and steve so it was like pretty oh. lucky that like some matches like rosarina uh it works steve actually worked to that matchup so the, oh, the reason that like, he picked is because his basic training way was oh, online that's interesting so okay. online character Dang. that feels comfortable practicing was steve and uh game and watch the okay. true uh, Wi-Fi wow. warrior. No, that's yeah. awesome. So, like, uh, it never was really about the character strength. Per I mean, obviously, I'm sure he wants to play good characters, but it more so was on the personal level. He wants to, like, if that's going to be practice, he wants it to be one-to-one. -one. Uh, okay. That's so, awesome. I'd love to know how Mia feels about Game & Watch's place in the meta. I feel like a lot of people have been saying very mm -hmm. recently, because of him specifically, that Game & Watch is in that top, top five yeah. category or maybe even higher. I mean, I think like Steve, Sonic, Game & Watch, and Rob are kind of everyone's top four right now. A lot of people's top four. I'm just curious if he agrees with that and where he feels Game & Watch falls on the tier list. ま、
ランク高いなっていう感じなのかなゲームウォッチは。うん So he, he do thinks it's like top five character.、Oh, wow. Like, not easy top five, but like, it will be top five kind、mm-hmm. of thing.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, he thinks because, like, not just like s o r o character, like, it's a really simple character. So it's, it's a good character for your pocket or secondary character. So that character has like a、yes. really strongest because of that, too. So、mm-hmm. contain that will be like top five character strongness.、Ah. And he thinks like some matches are really hard for that character, but still. He thinks it's a really like, top five character.、Right. Because、gotcha. of secondary, simple, and also strong. Yeah,、yes. it makes、yeah. a lot of sense. My very final question is what is Game Watch's worst matchup? Ah, Game Watch's worst matchup is what is Game Watch's worst matchup? Ah, Game Watch's worst matchup is what is Game Watch's worst matchup? Ah, Game Watch's worst matchup is what is Game Watch's worst matchup? Ah, Game Watch's worst matchup is what is Game Watch's worst matchup? Ah, Game Watch's worst matchup is what is Game Watch's worst matchup? Ah, Game Watch's worst matchup is what is Game So there's a, like a big distance. There's Rosarina Hardest and then the big distance. And- oh, Dang. So by、yeah. a significant margin.、Wow. Okay. 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 That's a character that I feel like very few people would say is their character's worst matchup. Yeah. 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 Interesting stuff.、Um, did you guys have any more questions? I think I'm chilling with that. I wish him the best of luck, though. Yeah, yeah. good luck, Mia.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely.、Mm-hmm. Good luck. Yo, I love the fit, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> good, yo, he is fly as、he's、hell, been, man. Yeah, he's been on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely let him know. That, that was amazing. It was the night before t e c m a s Midnight struck the clock. Not a top player was streaming, not even Hbox. Players could not sleep as they lay in their beds. They were far too excited for the ten days of tech. Shield options and lead straps, new macros in time, falling faster, sliding further, and even new SDI. It's starting to get close now, and I in my cap. Need to get going, so it's back to the lab. All right, everybody, the moment you've been waiting for is finally here. Watch the throne top eight. We're about to get started. My name's Max Ketchum. I'm with my boys, Chuck and Bam. What's up, man? Oh, and those trailers, bro. Big shout outs to Low Tide City. Last one in the entire series. Crazy.、Um, also, we got the, the Gimmer's Lab episode two coming up. Yeah, yeah.、So、I mean, the, the trailers were great, right? And even the Gimmer's Lab one, very, very funny. And all the different tech. Looking forward to it. Obviously,、uh, me and Bam、yeah. have been working with Gamer on that with Smash University. So, really excited to bring all that new tech. And then the final 
low tide city right so it's going to be a crazy tournament yeah. so many different games as well looking forward to the event and i'm looking forward to the techmas as well dude i'm tired of these gyms on the side just <laughs> you guys would not believe the things, things that happen yeah. things we are seeing right now Yo, everyone's asking me if i'm okay i'm watching goon city all right you guys don't understand what i could see if you could see what i could see man Look at these guys, man. Oh, my goodness. Everyone asking if I'm okay. Are you okay? Anyways, like you said, man, Grace, they're still tap dancing. <laughs> and we are, too. Still tap low dancing. Low Tide City. Yeah, Low Tide City, honestly, incredible event, man. I am so excited to see this, you know, the last rod and them just to go ham, right? I know the stakes can never be higher. Every single person who's gone to that tournament, they always tell me this is the, the place to go, man. It's just a really fun experience overall. And I think that's always what you want to see in a tournament. It's not just a tournament. It's so much more, right? And, of course, Gimmer, working alongside Smash University, you know, we, we've been wanting to connect and do a lot of stuff before. We talked, you know, time and time again. But now, finally putting something in writing with Gimmer, getting Gimmer's lab back, because I know people have been waiting for that, man. You know, we want to take that long stroll to the lab and finally make <laughs> really something happen. Stroll. That extra long stroll to the lab man but yeah a lot of new tech miss is coming so let's believe man there's gonna be some good stuff don't miss that at all fam but yes we are here top eight is about to start and i am so excited I and mean, i know for a lot of us this has been a dream come true to get this event together right yeah, yeah. been wanting this to happen for quite some time some of us have been talking about this event for over a year right um I know that Charles and I have been talking about it quite some bit um, and talking with Guildhouse and, you know, Phil, you know, all of us coming together, Rod, just really making sure that we can make this a reality, especially for the people, especially with the circumstance that Smash is in. So I truly hope you all have been enjoying this. Please, please, please support any way that you can, you know, whether it's merch, whether it's just supporting, whether it's just shouting out, you know, to whoever followers you got, hey, this sick event is going on. Go ahead and check it out. Yeah. We appreciate it, man. We appreciate you so much. I'm telling y'all, like, you guys don't understand how much this means to a lot of us here who've, like, been, we've been dreaming about building an event like this for quite some time. So thank you so much. But, yeah, I mean, we're just about to start top eight. I think we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. And then afterwards, top eight will finally start now. So go ahead. Get a quick drink, chill, get a Red Bull while you're at it, do whatever you gotta do, and then stick with us a little bit for the long haul. We'll see you guys in a minute.
the Watch the Throne Top 8. You guys ready to get started? Yeah! It's a fun venue. Everybody has been here so patient. Well, we've gotten everything ready, all the sound, all the production. And thank you guys so much for coming by here in San Jose for Watch the Throne Top 8. Before we get started, I just wanted to do a quick thing. So, Watch the Throne was really created as a passion project by a lot of the casters, a lot of the back, uh, backstage production people in the Smash scene. Uh, people like Bam, like Red Bull. You tell me to wrap it up, go faster. Oh, the venue, like the big, yeah, Guildhouse. Yeah, the, by Guildhouse, all these people, he's telling me how to do my job. A lot of people, very passionate, trying to bring this together. Guildhouse is the venue, casters, Bam, Rod, EE, e., uh, graphics people, Keith, production people, House of 3000. Can we please get a round of applause for everybody that has helped get this event together? It's a monumental effort, no matter what, seriously. This is a huge event, excellent for the first time, really happy with how it went. But only eight players remain. We had 16 of the best players from all over the world, from Japan, from Europe, and from North America, and now there are only eight left. And first off, introducing the best player in Europe, the greatest Wario on the planet, he is Gluttony. Here to conduct the business. But on the other side of the table, his opponent, the number one player in the world, the Steve Menace from Japan. Please welcome Akola. Let's get started with top eight casters. Back to you. All right, all right, yep. all right, man. It is time, man. Gluttony versus Akola, right? EU's, you know, number one for the majority of the history of Smash Ultimate going up against the current number one in the world, Akola, right? Mm -hmm. Just insanely strong Steve, the best of the best, right? And But he's been having hardships, right? He's been having hardships. That one man named Spargo. That's right. But now Mia and Sonics is also added to that list. So, can Gluto be one too? I mean, it's it's a possibility. Uh, I think you know Gluto obviously just being one of the best players in the world right now. I think sometimes I'm not speaking about us, but you know we talk about Gluto, we talk about you know best player in Europe, just really one of the best players literally on the planet. And if there's anybody that can certainly you know stick it to Akira or at least make him sweat, it's certainly him. But of course, we're looking at the lifetime head to head. And it's 4-1 right now, leaning heavily in Akala's favor. But, you know, of course, we can make history here today, like Kony said, and change some things up for ourselves. Yeah, man. And, I mean, this is kind of crazy, right? Just looking at this here. Yeah, it's 4-1, right? But you know what? It's happened before, so it can happen again. Mm -hmm. right? It, it, it is a possibility. And, of course, joining us here today. Talk to us. Tariq What's is up? in the building. What's what up? What is up, brother? <laughs> How are you doing, man? How are you doing? I'm doing a lot better than uh, at the start of the day. Yeah. But yeah, I'm really excited to see the top eight. The guy who eliminated me is right up. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for it because like, I think I've heard a lot of times that he's been excited to just like play against Akola again because it's yeah. been since I think Battle of BC pre-local since they played. Mm -hmm. So it's been like five, six months or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He definitely wants to run back. That's right. Yeah, That's I right. feel like it's definitely doable for Gluto, right? Nobody ever feels undefeatable for him just because of the nature of Wario. You're going to live forever and potentially kill at nothing. That said, I think Steve is kind of a nightmare scenario for this character. You got so many disjoints, so many things to work around. I feel like it shuts down a lot of Wario's strengths and harps on his weaknesses. Yeah, 100%. 100%. I think it's apparent and very important that, you know, Gluto gets the lead. And not only that, more importantly, maintaining it. It's going to be a very difficult thing to do, of course, going up against the best player in the world, playing, you know, depending on who you ask, the best character in the game. But let's see if there's a will, there's most certainly a way. Game number one is here right now. Let's see how it all unfolds. Absolutely, man. Top eight starts now, and it is starting off with some damn on. Ladies ooh, and gentlemen, ooh, 77 <laughs> fresh ones off the bat. My man came to play. That's right. 77 in 10 seconds, bro. That is nutty. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great stuff. But you know what? Gluto, of course, opening up super aggressively. You have that frame for it there. Very easy to toss around, trying to float around Steve, but unfortunately, it kind of coming back to bite him. Yeah. Okay, dropping the anvil. Yeah, stay away from stay away from your motorcycle, okay? All I got is a cart for you. No, absolutely, man. Looking hard already. And you know, you're gonna start the mining. Make sure that you get the proper mats here all day. 
Pluto's going to be patient here, though, right? And that's going to be really key. A lot of times, people are too eager to kind of go through these blocks, <laughs> and they just allow Call of just free kills, right, from these straight hits. And Steve's such a good character at that as well. So you got to be patient. Here we go. Clap it up. Standing Double. ovation. You and know you, it. And you know the anvil's on its way down after two up airs, man. You can't take too many more of those. Bro, I can't believe he just put Pluto in jail. Yeah. <laughs> he locked him up, man. Why are not going like $200? <laughs> All right. I'm getting high onto the stage for the landing. You know, all he can do is reset to neutral, though. No chance to whip punish, even a forward smash right there. Cool. Oh, and it's going to be the up throw. My god. Akalo with a near perfect stock. Took like one combo from Bruto. Yeah, right. no, absolutely. And this kind of what we prophesized a little bit here. You know, just the importance of making sure you get the lead on somebody like Akalo if you're going to play a character like Wario. But. Sadly enough, has to play from behind here. But you know what, though? Wario has some tricks up his sleeve, too. Forcing that high recovery in. We've been seeing a lot of players throughout the course of the weekend back air the, the Steve players out of their cart. Well, I'm loving already oh. the movement I'm seeing right here. How he's navigating, making sure that he's not standing directly under this anvil, right? And he's been able to get a ton of damage. He's been playing well around minecart as well. Really solid stuff. That's right. But Tariq, I would love to ask you, man. Just seeing these two players play before, what do you feel Gluthany has to do in order to get the W here? It's like he has to find a way to actually be able to maneuver around the, all the stuff that a cola is lying around. Mm -hmm. The blocks that he's... Like, exactly this kind of situation. Right. Right. Wario has a hard time actually dealing with these blocks, I think. Oh! Exactly, because of those. He doesn't have the right tools. He doesn't have the disjoints to go through. But he has those heavy hits. So if he's actually able to have an advantage state against Cola, <laughs> he can maybe find something out. But it's looking really rough. Yeah, yeah most man. Certainly, yeah, absolutely, yeah. man. My man's got all the diamonds in the world. And you know, man, they say diamonds are girl best friend. But <laughs> I think there's another one competing for it, man. Steve and a man's worst enemy, bro. Look at what Pluto's going through. <laughs> it's a hard life out here. Uh -huh. Dude, fighting Steve is like having a kid and trying to clean up after it all the time. There's just no way you can clear the screen. He's going to make a mess somewhere else. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is a mess of a game right here. Number one for Glutes of this really struggling to get a word get a word in the neutral here right oh, now oh, right we run it back that, oh it doesn't kill oh, though man just saying i would have died yeah we okay. don't need words <laughs> yeah. no we most certainly do not he's letting that thing do all the talking okay but this was again a lot of promise here kind of going back to what i talked about before the importance of catching akla in the air you know, whether you're up being back or you're going for cart you know wario does have some great air to air options down uh -huh. tilt nothing off of it and i love that wow. safety oh, on the catch. falling up air yeah, good air in the up air there. Good damage, but yo, can we find a kill option, please? Mm -hmm. Gotta get to the last stock. He's looking for it. Bam, oh, I think I think so he can awesome. hear you, bro. Oh, I think so too. Oh, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> you wanna fly dirty on you like that? That's so, crazy. <laughs> bro, so little lag on that up I feel like Steve can recover high and low so effectively. Yeah, and man. If Pluto gets this kill and he can prolong the match for about another minute, I think it's possible. Right? Yeah. I mean, he's oh, so definitely. good at these comebacks. Still very, very doable. Mixing up the recovery. Oh, oh yeah. get out of here. That Yo, Rockman, where you at, bro? Where Rockman, are you? Rockman. Send him the video. Steve. Yeah, that was a messed up one. You know, kind of baiting out the air dodge because he's like, he probably doesn't want to get down smashed here and unfortunately just end up airballing through the ledge. That Yo, why was up. the announcer so hyped for that? Steve! <laughs> but that, that kind of got, I'm not going to lie, that kind of got me tight. <laughs> Someone has to be right. Yeah. Steve! Yeah. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> All right, you got it. Oh, man. That was a pretty rough game one. Pluto almost pulling it together, but <laughs> just not enough. <laughs> All right, we'll see if game two is any different. Maybe Gluto's gonna change up the stage. Yeah, we're going to Smashville, okay. Oh, I like the stage, personally. <laughs> because like, Steve doesn't get too much stone on here, so Wari can deal better with the blocks just because like, they have less HP. Yeah. So I think he's gonna have an easier time actually getting to Alcola. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll see about it, how it actually goes. That's right. right. It's all about implementation right here. And mm -hmm. we'll see. This one already off to a slightly better start than what we've seen in game number one. But right as I say that, though, 100% already on the board. 32. Man, he said, hold these hot coals real quick. That, that little magma, right? Uh -huh. But you know one thing I will oh. say, despite how game one looks, I think we had a miscalculation there on the WAP, right? Percentage. Sure. You know, get that a little bit more percentage there. We're looking at a much different game one. So... I don't think necessarily the overall game plan for Guido was bad, per se, on game one. So let's see what happens here in game two. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a really good oh, job. Wow, oh, wow. You high know what? recoveries, and then <laughs> up underneath the ledge of the stage. I don't play with me down here. <laughs> let's I got, get it, man. I got let's active hitboxes, man. I think uh, Akalo was too busy trying to figure out how he'd make that angle work to actually get back to even think about teching. Wow, 
Gonna respond immediately with another stock, though. Takes a bit of damage in the process. Mm -hmm. Let's see, though. Gluto already looking so much better than game one. I think his odds are way higher now. That's yeah. right. Just, oh, and the gold. Uh oh, you'll be building it up, though, I bro. Love I love gold. That's right. <laughs> Austin Ooh. Powers right here, man. I gotta tell you, yo, damage. Wait, uh -oh. oh, oh no, you, you tried it. Oh, nice. and then he even tried okay. to drop the anvil for good measure. Good catch. Uh oh, a rinse and repeat, but no. Oh, oh the Perry! Yeah. Perry Perry's still living though. My goodness, Perry the Nair to having just the wherewithal to scout out Nair. Oh my god. Oh, okay, wow. he watched the Rock Band video yes, in sir. between those games. Oh, okay. the half one? Wow. Not enough, though. Yeah, the little two not going to work, bro. Ah, but that bear will. Head high, never mind. Yeah, you wait a minute. Uh -huh. Hey, I thought Steve was light, bro. What happened? <laughs> Joke's on you, man. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, see, he's the, light. Yep. My fingers. Yep, the, the Will Smith, man. You love that at the ledge. Oh, absolutely. Okay, great stuff here. That's beautiful again. And I say it once, I'll say it again, man. Just not to, you know, be a, a broken record, but... You know, if you can force that high recovery back down to the stage, I feel like that's just certainly what Gluto's waiting for. Gluto clipped with the anvil, though. And man, I'd love to say he should just burn time to build Waft, but that's going to give Akala infinite iron and diamond, right? He can basically play the game however he wants as well. Yeah, and right now he's in a critical position where it's like he already has diamond on deck, but he doesn't have any of the the match, right? He only has the gold. So this is actually a good position for uh, Glutami to approach properly and just add some pressure. Okay. We're gonna get busy with the bike right now. Trade's not quite working in Gluto's favor anymore. Gonna need some raw hits here and fast. Trying to find that one opening with the falling up air, possibly, or a down tilt. Up tilt. Oh, going up. Oh, oh yeah, we clapping. Oh. We clapping out here. That's good damage right Talk there. Talk to him. I think Can I get have, another? We have a half waft in play. Oh! There it is. Gluto takes one. The puts himself genius. on the board. He's out here. Let's wow. go. All right, giving you guys a show in the first set of top eight already. I think this one does have potential to go to distance, man. I think game five is almost inevitable between players like this, especially after the second half of the year that Gluto's been having. Really, just the 2023 overall. Man. Yes, it's all about manageability of your tools. I know we talked about it going into the match. We're starting to see a lot of what we prophesied come into reality right now. Again, you know, if I have that waft on deck and I have the ability to, you know, if, if even if I can't distribute that properly, at least the looming threat of it is going to force you to make a mistake. Things are going to pay off in a big way for you. Gluto, of course, proving just that. Game number two, going away at Gluto. Here we are with game number three and a rinse and repeat of one and two with the opening. Oh, absolutely, man. Hit him with the wood combo, man. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Ooh. Uh-oh. The, oh, wood, the, the oh, woods are we here. We trying to climb? Jesus. That looked man. exactly like the beginning of game one. 100%. Oh. Wow. Almost a kill with Town & City's short side blast zones. Ludo hanging on here, though. Let's see. One up air or one up tilt could start something huge for him. Yeah. All right. Love that nair. A quick frame four options. A good way to drift around Steve, but of course you have to watch how you do that. And on and off stage, immediate air dodge, the anvil. Man. Nothing off of it, but my goodness, there's an up smash. Caught you lacking, bro. Mm -hmm. Such a great out of shield tool for Steve, man. Covers that massive space, even if it's uh. not a true punish. Ooh. You can catch a lot of like follow-up actions. Mm -hmm. You're gonna see the minecart come in, build a little more damage too. Oh, the crafting table, maybe giving Gluto more time to react for that. Yeah. Uh-oh, down okay. tilt. Watch your toes. Uh-huh. What are those? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, yeah, bite coming through. Wanted to keep it on stage right there. That's a good way to, you know, apply a little pressure from the other side of the room. Also, another good way to extend the walls. But I got the diamond on deck. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Bite game? Bite beats my cart officially. Okay. Okay, get tossed. Bite's up in the play. Oh, you left trap. Not going to work. Yeah, that shiesty setup right there. Throwing a really laggy move like down smash saying, hey, man, come and punish me. Forget about this bike. Yeah, come get oh, it. They're playing catch. Yeah, they're really playing catch. Freaking hot potato over here. All right, opportunity here. We're going to ride dirty with my car. Oh, yeah, get, get out on, of here with that. Come on, bro. I'm yeah, you ain't riding up on me. Not today. We, we at the awards. I've seen you. We are at the awards, bro. Stop playing. F tilt, getting busy. This time center stays. We usually see it done towards the ledge. Done in good faith, too, especially versus somebody with recovery like, um, you know, Steve's, but... Center stage getting it done, down tilt, frame five. Here's oh, the Nair. Oh, 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 oh cross stage. Oh, the wrong stage way. Way. Uh, oh, oh, man, that's rough. At least they put him back in the game in terms of percent. Yeah. And I think at the five minute mark, we're almost sure to get another full waft here. Ludo, if you can get this one done the hard way, you might be looking good for that last stock. True. Oh, oh no, no Maze here. Can't eat that at the anvil, though. No, not at all. Mm -mm. Gotta respect that. You know it's always on the way down. Okay. This is scary hours indeed. Both sides really trying to get a good feel for each other. Akla just disengaging. 
Knowing Warren wants to spend a lot of time in the air, there's a chance he might try to jump in and over the block. Bro. This time reaching out to go and get it. He and just he makes threw a tick throw at him. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With the minecart, that is such a strong option, man. It's so good, man. It's so good. All right, easy block here. Nicola trying Ooh. to get a grab. Okay, trying to start something up here. Oh, okay. ah, smart. Ah, Great patience. Ah. He's going to try to back here off the corner. Uh -huh. yeah, good Big shoulder. Time. All right, we need to see some kind of a kill real soon from Bluto. Otherwise, this might just snowball out of control. Akuto yeah. with a diamond and a gold ready to go. Decent okay. amount of iron, but you can't really get too much on this stage. That's one good thing for Bluto. Oh, oh for no! there. Wow. Holding awesome. in. Oh. He did not believe in that. Wow. That DI was atrocious. That's right. Man, and I mean, can you blame him, though? I, I feel like that was because he held left, right? He just wanted to get closer to Steve, try to punish him for something, but no, the shield's gonna come down at the wrong moment. Aqua up 2-1 now, one away from winner's finals. Yes. Yeah. Right, let's take a peek at these replays here just to relive the, the magic, dare I say, of that last game. Nice, love that. We've been seeing a lot of that throughout the course this weekend. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the footstool to the immediate, you know, anvil right on top of your head. Yeah. It's a tough thing to work around, bro. No, absolutely, man. I, I mean, he, he has continued to make that a, such a quality part of his whole toolkit, right? Sure. I mean, when you're able, already you have a couple options as Steve out of shield, but able to add that in every time, get these early kills, it's so ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Such an insane move. Yeah, and also it's kind of a slap in the face to Wario. I mean, again, Wario is a character that just gets so much off of living long. The fact that you go up against a character like Steve that can just do away with you so quickly really says a lot. Love that Nair right off the ledge. Trying to disengage from that pressure. Hold on a minute. Oh, yeah. I got the wood on lock, bro. Okay, step back. Get that Nair. Only going to get Nair one, though. Healing yep. up a Chomps little bit. Chomps up. Yeah, swing the margins of the percent a little bit back into his favor, but still, Akala just content to mine in the corner, use the crafting table almost as cover. When you interact with it, you, you freeze just a little tiny bit for hit lag. Yeah. And we've seen that decide some interactions before. Oh, Ooh. What we've also been seeing is that Muta does want to take his time, but also poke slowly but surely towards Alcola's end. But he's always getting hit by the burst options, by the dash attacks, or some mine cards here and there. He's not really finding out what kind of timing Akola has in like throwing out these options. Mm -hmm. He definitely has to find out how to deal with those because if he can take his time just poking around and like waiting for Wolf to come out, he'll be able to just have a full Wolf every two times, uh, two times a match. Yes, absolutely, and that's so pertinent in this, right? And that's one of the things, right? Of course, you know Steve's gonna be a character that takes time and wants to build up all the mats, but you know what? Against Wario, he's building it too. Oh man, that's an NFL right there. Mm -hmm. no, that's a tackle, game. boy. Yes, sir. Forward air into dash attack, closing out the stock for Gluto. Finally has a stock lead at the beginning of the game. Oh, 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 double, double, oh we're going up. up. up till, hold up. Oh, no air dodge on me. Oh, oh the wrong okay. direction. Mm -hmm. That could have been so much more damage for Gluto. Instead, it's going to be even stocks. Getting out of the corner. On cart into Anvil. All right, the walls are up. Yes, and the, sir. The way that Break Gluto found that opening with the forward air <laughs> was by making it look like he was going to choose to attack the blocks. And Aqualo was just like, oh, cool. I'm, I'm going to be mining then. And yeah. no, he just dropped in. So I think the mix up is break the wall versus jump over the wall at the most ambiguous time you possibly True. can. Yeah, really try to mix it up, you know, like it. Oh, oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. That was definitely a misinput. He Absolutely. Wants that <laughs> it would have ah. definitely taken the stock. It doesn't matter what side it would have to hit. Yeah, that would definitely would have killed. But you know what? He's, he's He has stuck up a lot of damage. All right, Monje once again, you know, in a good time. Getting some damage, 133. Now we got an opportunity here. No oh, gets the one he wanted. Oh. Unfortunate. Just not get hit. Okay, Akla, though, still holding strong right here despite this deficit. Of course, one down tilt dash attack position properly. It could be a bad time, I'd imagine. Gluto's trying to keep the walk in the pocket as long as possible. Ooh, that There's was a back scary. Air. Yeah. Can I get another? You are there. It is. Yeah. How long are you going to be able to shield? How long are you going to be able to shield? Oh, he said no. Nah. No way. Nah. We swing it. He just threw a forward smash out in his face, and Gluto frames away from parrying that. Could have been really unfortunate in the other direction. Uh -oh. Either way, backer's gonna tie it really up. Good. It's about that time. It's time for diamonds. Yeah, right. you see how my man just destroyed that freaking that crafting table? He's like, get that crap out of here. Get it off of my face. Oh, you got oh, diamonds, baby! Let's yeah. get out of here! Whoa. This is my spot! I run the city! Glutone! My god. My man ran up yes. in his crafting studio and said, get this trash <laughs> out of here, bro! <laughs> he runs the city and the town, bro. That's right.
What, what else do you think you, you are? My goodness, let's look at this replay again. We got a double nair trade, of course. Great approach option here from Gluto. Going for a fourth one right into the WAF, getting it done at 64%. My goodness. Oh, that was a WAF, man. I see Steve was overlapped, man. Those cheeks got him, man. That's over. That's right. <laughs> That's a sad state of affairs. <laughs> And the good thing to note is that Town City was a counter pick from both players. Mm -hmm. So they're still playing on Town City and they're both comfortable on it. So this is going to be a good game mm -hmm. five. Yep. Yeah. I feel like it's got to be a tough stage for Steve. Again, the iron or the resource pool there is pretty rough for him. The lack of iron, namely. You'll get a lot of wood here. So I don't know. We'll see if uh, he's going to switch something up. I actually thought Gluto was frozen. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he is. He, he is, is in the zone. He is, he is focused. Zone. He's, he's somewhere else, bro. He left yeah. Earth for a second. Yeah, he yeah, actually went back to Paris, man. He actually went to Wario Land. He said, I need to talk to somebody real quick. Bad, man. Okay. Wow, smash. Oh, no, town again. Town. Yeah. yeah, okay. Wow, right. I'm kind of surprised. I mean, you do get the earlier kills with back air and forward smash and minecart here. So, I could see the logic. Oh, and this uh, newfound level of confidence here from Glute. So, just... Electing to go for the boxing match early on out the gate, but that time not paying off again. Yeah. Apple with a chunky size lead. I know, he Whoa. got some easy wood combos already, man. To Johnny Apple, so you got to stay away from that. Okay, right. clapped up. No, platform safety. Unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, bro. Pumps continue. 53% is not too bad. Wow. 74. Oh, my God. He's helping with the conversion. So close. Yeah, he said clap this, bro. Yep. Great awareness. I'm going to drop a TNT on you. Go yes, ahead. Sir. Go ahead and hit it. See I'm what happens. Honestly shocked that Aqua didn't throw a anvil out, right? That really could have killed Gluto early, especially if he was holding in, mm. which is very likely if he's going for the chase. But no, he did everything but that. He blocks the... Um, I forget what else he did up there. but uh, Oh, TNT. <laughs> yeah. Okay, a lot of explosions happening right here to match this explosive match. This is good, looking good right now. Love that. Just oh, jump right in. Oh, he was yeah. ready. He wanted he to confirm ready. out that yeah. for sure. Well, the Vance combo bro, yeah, off he the said, wall. Yeah, he said, you better, <laughs> you better be able to get that, man. Oh, oh. down to dash tag, actually taking Woo. the stock. I expected it to be the weak hit just because Akola was so far away, but still getting a sweet spot. This is really clutch for Gluto. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. of course, Gluto knows, right? All that matters is that singular block underneath, right? Once you break that, you can just run and dash in through. So now you have an actual approach option. So really love this level of play and awareness. Oh, what? what? Okay. The? That, that was not okay. he landed on the anvil. He didn't even put so yeah, he, he didn't just, look like he it. He didn't put so he just stared. <laughs> My goodness. Yo, get Gluto's deleted. shield even came up, I'm pretty sure. But Damn. then he, like, yeah. fell off of it and got hit. Oh, by my the gosh. Oh, and what looking. a turnaround. Is, yeah. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. We clapping. He said, Anvil, yeah, hold this bike right now, the Harley. Oh, oh yeah. wait. Oh, the bike saved him. Yes, thank goodness. Okay. Bike is the MVP of this matchup. It seems it's beaten both oh. Minecart and Anvil oh. for him. Okay. okay, wait a minute. Some new paces right here for okay. Aqua, allowing him to jump with Nair first and then meeting him air to air with forward air and back air. Yeah, and he's trying to space him out. Getting okay. a little nervous. Uh -oh. Getting a little nervous. Okay, oh, great dash attack there from Makola. Yeah, the extension on the, the crafting table yet again. Ooh. Oh, and his blocks oh. are iron now. Yeah, he's gonna have yeah. to farm some other resources uh -huh. so he doesn't waste that. Okay, disengaging. There Woo! we go. This bike is so good oh. right now. Yeah, yeah. no, it's the bike plays in incredible. So many situations. So good. I swear Step I have back. a heart attack every time he throws it at <laughs> yeah. him during something like All that. Right. Are we gonna mine car here? Are we trying to get out here? Oh, Wait. Forward air? Oh, oh, he's scared. Oh, oh, bear. oh. wow, the fade away, man. Those stray hits. One of the reasons why Steve is so strong, man. My goodness. Oh, yeah, the tool broke. The, the diamond axe is broken. He's trying to maybe mine Come another here. one. He or definitely a wants a new oh. one because otherwise he can't combo yeah. like, at least with good percentages. Exactly. Okay. And that's how okay. going for some pummels. He's looking oh. for damage here this time. That was bad. Yeah, I almost died from that. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Okay. Okay. This, this, is is this could be it. Gluto. Wait a minute. This would be such a huge set. We got a full Gluto. stomach, baby. Okay. One for lunch walk. right now. We got a couple of nares, of course. Oh. Your best approach option if you're okay. Wario. Okay. Wait a second. Straight 60. Oh, he knew 75. it. 75. Yeah. Ludo's basically spawned at 75 every stop. Yeah. Okay, Aqua playing very well out of shield, too. Oh. Not afraid to let Wario jump in. Not at all. He cut from a different oh, okay. There's nares. Okay. Oh. Wait a minute. Can I get another Okay, spot? wait. Down okay. there. 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 Oh, oh, oh. oh. wait. Stop oh, playing. my goodness. The parry. Oh, the parry, but the wrong way. Okay, you're gonna have to mix up the approaches, man. He's starting oh to parry the aerials. Okay, literally next interaction wins, depending uh -huh. on who Pluto hits him with. Last hit situation here. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you come yeah. get, oh, get yeah. your bike. Come oh. get your bike. 
Oh, oh he no, couldn't he even fell. throw it because the block broke. No, 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 no way! Way! Oh my god! What Whoa. a frame oh, trap. What a read. He, he read that he was going to try to cross up. That's crazy. Oh man, and you could kind of see the light leaving Gluto's eyes as he sits in his chair right there. Akala, quite the opposite reaction. Very happy to hang on and continue through this bracket. Man, you can't help but think that if he had just been able to throw that bike, or if he had been able to get through this mix-up right here. Wow, oh, the fact man. that he could frame trap yeah. that. Frame trap. Yeah. Dang. I think Gluto could have like drifted he could have drifted away it. for sure. Yeah. But I felt like he thought that he was gonna get chased, and because of that. He tried to cross him up, but Akola just stood still, man. Yeah. Stood his Sheesh. ground, closed it out. Man. Yeah, he, I mean, he really dialed it back, too. We've seen, like, in points of that set, a lot of aggression. But I think he realized, okay, he has Waff. He needs to approach me. I'm going to start playing out of shield. We've seen so many just, like, nares out of shield or really just raw nares from Gluto. And it just, unfortunately, did not pay off for him. He actually ended up taking a lot of percent in some of those exchanges just off the trades alone. Yeah, yeah. I feel like Steve's combo game on a character like Wario being yeah. so heavy, so round as well. He doesn't really even hurt box shift out of a mm -hmm. lot of combos. You know what you're getting into when you hit this guy with something. So I think being able to deliver that constant 70, 80 damage every time the match starts or yeah. a new stock starts, that's what really pushed him over the edge. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad you brought that up. I mean, it seemed like in points of like the beginning of the game, there weren't very many times where it felt even or it felt like, you know, Gluto really had a strong hold in the beginning of the neutral. It just always felt like, boom, we spawn in 10 seconds and you're already at 75%. I mean, yeah. you're already playing at a disadvantage, being a character that gets so much off of, you know, staying alive so long in the match. So. Dang, unfortunate mishap right there on Gluto's behalf. You know, of course, a valiant showing, as always, from Akla. I mean, the, he is the premier Steve in the game for a reason. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. For sure. It's just one of those issues, right, or, or situations where when you when you are Gluto, right, you know there was a few key interactions, <laughs> man. It wasn't even like he just didn't get the hit. Sure. It's like, oh, if I just slightly got it where he didn't go the – you know, the other opposite side of the stage. We saw a couple of those situations. Well, that easily could have been a complete turnaround in that set, even in a game five situation, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Very, very rough, man. Even uh, when he was at game one, right, where he ended up getting that waft and he didn't kill, right? Just yeah. a little bit too early. And it's one of, I, I'm sure that Glue's going to look back on this and be like, man, of course he's going to find other things he could have, you know, been better about. Sure. But, man, it was just like a what if. I, Simple smidgens, simple frames. Yeah. That would have been the difference maker between a Gluto win and a Akola win. And yep. that's been happening a lot more frequently, by the way. A hundred, right? How many People times have we seen out. that from Akola yeah. where it's last hit situation, someone's just about to beat Akola? Yeah. We yeah. didn't see that in the past. It was a 3 0 clean, no trouble, None. no one even to challenge him. Mm -hmm. It's a different day, man. It's that's a different right. day in Smash. I'll tell you it's that. Definitely much. a different day. Yeah. Like, you know, Akola being the man of game fives, he'd like. Clutches out everything. He's a really good yeah. clutch player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So good good stuff to Alcola. And I think we can then go to the, back to the production to Kony. Yeah, man. Kony, I think we're getting ready for everyone to sit up there first, and then we'll throw it to him in a little bit. But yeah, I, I think mean, our next match good. is uh, okay. Ken and, and MK Leo, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. So yeah. Yeah. Obviously, it's going to be a really great sh uh, showing as well. You know, of course, MK Leo has had a, a very strong weekend, of course. You know, some ups, some certain, some downs as well. But obviously looking to rise to the occasion here. Of course, Ken, the talking town, the other premier Sonic in bracket right now. But also has other characters in the pocket, too. Not exactly sure if he's going to elect to use them to be All this right. late in. But there is a Sephiroth. I believe there's one other character as well. But... If I'm a betting man, I'd imagine we're probably just going to see all Sonic for this. I probably. think so, too. The Sephiroth yeah. hasn't come out all weekend. Though, Leo did defeat Ken in pools. Mm -hmm. So yes, this is did. a run back, mm -hmm. and now Ken has a second chance. I think Sonic is just generally good against all the sorties, but mm -hmm. Aegis is probably the hardest one for of them. Course, of and course. that's who Leo used to win that set, mm -hmm. so he'll probably be uh, going with them. But, of course, to introduce your players, we got to hear from Kony. All right, hey everybody, welcome back to Watch the Throne. Before we get on to our next match, let's give it up one more time for Glutiny for seventh place here at Watch the Throne. Did a phenomenal job. Congratulations to Gluto. But we have our next uh, seventh place match coming up right now and introducing first, coming all the way from Japan, one of the top Sonics in the world. Please welcome Ken. And his opponent from Mexico City, I think, right? Mexico City, Mexico. 
He is the once true and former king. He is the GOAT, many would say. Please welcome M.K. Lion! Casters, back to you. Hey, wait a minute, guys, guys, guys. Yeah. Did, did Coney just do the low tier guy? Oh, he's been doing that. <laughs> did he yeah. Just, yeah. Did he just? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. love Coney, man. My. Consolidated. Yeah, okay. Well, hey. Cultural appropriation. That's right. Well, damn. <laughs> Can we talk about it? That's that right. Well, fire. you heard it first right there. Coney, of course, Mods. doing a phenomenal job. M. Singh, of course, bringing us in the action that's going to be this next match. Ken and MK Leo, not Max. I believe you were telling me. Uh, Leo actually defeated mm -hmm. him earlier in bracket. So, of course, here we are. If this is the run back right now, Ken leading 2 1 right now in MK Leo. Yeah, and we got some great stats here, courtesy of Smasher's app, as you see that earlier set from this weekend represented right there, a 3-1 victory for MKLeo, but the last two times actually went in Ken's favor as the Joker, so I think that's why we're seeing him switch over to Pyra and Mithra, it makes a lot of sense. By the way, this is a very interesting uh, statistic. This is for their, their whole lifetime. Sure. After, beat, after losing set one mm -hmm. against opponents, <laughs> Ken has a 53% win ratio, uh, oh. and... After winning set, wait, 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 is this for for both of them? I'm kind of confused because after winning set one is is right on there. They, they just broke this down for us. I thought it was on on either side, but either way, Leo has a 67 percent win record at this event, uh, or against the whole field at this event, which Absolutely. is crazy. Yeah. yeah, and Ken has a very slim winning record against them. So the stats look like they favor Leo, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, um, I think we were talking about it, too, just a little bit ago. I think he's going to probably lean into the ages. You know, we're not going to see Joker for a matchup like this, of course. There's just a lot of um, there's a lot of advantages I feel like Mithra specifically has, you know, versus Sonic that will help Leo kind of keep his footing in this. But also, Sonic is still Sonic. Offstage, the game definitely belongs to him. You got that back here. You got the frame 5 forward. I mean, you have a lot of deadly options versus the ages. So let's see how it goes right here. Game number one is present. A lot of people doubt Leo's ages, but I gotta say, man, I think it's a great character for him. He's always played this archetype. Matchups like Sonic, I think the rest of the archetype loses to him. So might as well give this a shot at the very least. And you have the record to prove it from yesterday. That's right. Or Friday. Yeah, for sure. Leo, I I actually wonder when those first sets were because I think those were in Japan. I they were. Too. I didn't yeah, recognize the logo. When, uh, that's when sure Joker that, dropped, I think. Yes, that was when he first started actually uh, using Joker. So those those are actually very early days, and that's where I think he got some of his lowest places ever. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah first started. place in like Umebura, I think yep. it was. That's right. That's right. Right. Yeah, a lot of people doubted the Joker at first as well, right? Leo, you know, he's he's set in his ways for good reason. It's not like he's stubborn. It's like, no, man, I see the vision with this character. I'm going to make it work oh, one way or the other. Man. And doing the same here, landing that back air on a pretty high recovery from Leo. True. Mm -hmm. You know, I talked about it, and here it is. The offstage gameplay that just belongs to Ken. Even when he doesn't even really feel like going all the way out there, that leg extends. And it's getting the job done right now. Oh, yeah. We'll take that forward. Oh, oh, I see oh, you. I like that. that was cute. Not gonna kill though. There's an opportunity. Gonna hold shield. Step back. Has Pyra out to play. Eventually looking for a kill. Pyra obviously less good in the neutral than Mithra is, but she does have one really good tool against Sonic, mm -hmm. being the side B. We've seen Smargo versus Sonic so many times this year, and that's a huge part of his game plan is just throwing that out to check spin dash. Yes. Oh, the, oh okay. we got set up. Oh, there. Yeah, we're Detective. stepping back. That's Good right. Stuff. Yeah, that was just some split second decision making. The spring right there. He still has a jump. Okay. Yeah, Good down. Save. Oh, I mean, just Good even up. trying to lock him down in the corner with standing jab. Two quick frame, three option on Sonic. Such a powerful thing right here in this matchup. Oh, my God. Leo definitely needs to find the kill because, like, Obviously, the time's ticking, but at yeah. the same time, he just can just lose their stock immediately. I mean, exactly. we saw his first stock. Ken did just like one advantage save, threw Leo off stage, immediately took the stock. It can end like this, like immediately, mm -hmm. but Leo has to like clutch things out. Sonic is a character that keeps surviving, ah! surviving. Yeah. There was, it was again, it was super close, just after two springs, just like that. Yeah, yeah. that's all it takes. And it's only man. a matter of time, right? It's a situation where if you give Sonic too many uh, times to check you at edge guarding, especially a character like Aegis, eventually you're just going to lose that, right? There's only so many mix-ups you have in your repertoire on your recovery against an edge guarding god like Sonic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The opportunity here on the left side of the stage. Are we going to get some extra damage? All right, starting it up. Gets an air. Okay. Does not get that bear conversion. Would have been a great tool to get on the platform into a couple bears in the upbeat closer. Okay. 
Okay, Good love stuff. that. There's that down to Leo right now, kind of electing to play the middle of the stage game with Mithra. Meanwhile, when Pyra's active, getting a little bit closer to the corners, probably use just a looming threat of, you know, Pyra's the sheer output of strength. No, uh. Oh, the foresight oh. for the reversal right there, okay? Leo with another oh. chance. Oh, man, I thought we were going to see a dash attack yeah, there. Could have been very, very dangerous. Oh, yeah. But wait a second. Leo ed kind of edging his way back into this. Kendo still looking good. Love that back. It rides a homing attack. Uh, it ain't sweet, bro. Oh, right, my good goodness. Spring. Discovery. Spring is so good. Ow. So is that back air, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The back is so good. Combos into itself at low percent. It's super strong. Really good edge guard tool. Like, has a huge sweet spot. Lingers for it quite a bit. It's such a good move. Yeah, definitely one of the best in the game. And Leo gonna stay on the Mithra here. Even though Ken could probably die to something like down air into up smash, the odds of finding that on such a fast character are slim. However, Mithra, quite easy to combo. Ken only getting a two piece, but we can see a lot more on the way. Okay. Looking for a lot right now. Ken understanding, just kind of controlling the narrative of this match. I, I have the lead, you know exactly what you need to do. Okay, okay. Yep. easy jab Good here, job. but not gonna get any additional. We'll deal with that. Sitting here, Ken 108, trying to start something up here, potentially get a conversion on the platform. No one inside, yeah. potential edge guard. Wow. Man, pixels away. Oh, oh we'll take that. Yes, sir. Yeah. Only 57%. This is not a huge lead by, for Ken whatsoever. Mm -hmm. But there we, there we are off stage back again. What an air dodge. Mifra has such a good direction air dodge. It's really crazy. Yeah, it's oh, wild, yeah. man. It's like almost Ness X, right? Like, it's just crazy. But here we go on 79%. Oh, okay. Trying to land with that Nair. Nair is going to be the ultimate party starter. If you can break that zone safely, Mifra does have a pretty quick down tilt. Oh man, the people want it, man. Vamos, Leo. Uh oh. Let's see. Up tilt, trying to, trying to catch the option on the way back down, but again, it is that Nair. It's really just all the aerials that Ken's bringing to the table. Coming a little bit more difficult for Leo to deal with. Yeah, and you know, it's crazy because <laughs> Leo is getting these hits, Ooh. man, but he's not really getting insane extensions. Finally finding something here, though. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. Oh, oh it's off. What a what? catch. Oh, that God. kill is catch. Yes, sir. Of course that kills. Off the platform, that is ridiculous. Oh, no. MK Leo is present here and in full effect on the big stage. What a comeback that was. Man, there's two moves that Leo uses with Aegis better than anyone else in the world. Down tilt's one of them for sure. Pyra's down tilt is one of them, especially on the platform. He loves trying to pick people up as they're like rising toward him because that gives him so much frame advantage. It puts him in the, the perfect spot Dude, for the up air follow up. Man, so clean and of it, course. Boom. The, the other one is Mithra's down air. You saw him get that uh, oh, yeah. down air into forward tilt or down air into grab setup. Like, it, there's so many ways to combo off of that, but it's kind of a move that requires finesse and, and knowledge sure, sure. of how yeah. to use it. It's, it's not it's a great one to just throw out all the time. It's crazy because I actually think that move is godlike at throwing out, right? And yeah, I yeah, love yeah. that MK Lil actually using it in that manner. It's almost like a, a like I think of it almost like Men and Night. That's yeah. what I thought and of. And that's yeah. probably yeah. why he is so used to using it in that way. Yes, such great range. Obviously, it's not going to get you the huge spike that you're getting from Pyra. Sure. But man, it can, like you said before, it can combo early percent, and it's a great disjoint and spacing tool as well that you can utilize and drift away from short hop. So I love that how he move, uh, uses that move overall. Great call out there, Max. I love it. Yeah, kind of revitalizing the whole idea of you know Sonic does good versus Sorties, but Pyra and Mythic are kind of cut from a different cloth in a lot of ways. So. Yeah, Mithra is like Sonic with a sword. Yeah, he seriously is. Ken right now getting real busy. Of course, trying to keep Leo in the air as much as possible. Right, early percent slightly oh. in favor of oh. Ken, and now a little more than slightly. Setting up for the edge guard, but no. Uh, maybe he wanted to trump oh. and just didn't press toward mm. the stage fast enough. Pyra is out. I don't know what she's going to do at only 44, but at the very least, the stray hits are going to hurt. There yeah. we go. Oh, Blazing Edge back up, player. A lot of damage. Blazing Edge. Such a move that you feel really bad by getting hit by, and it is so much percent that it's really not worth getting hit by. Oh, no, not, not at all. It's such a good tool, and it, it really is uh, that and Pirate Drift is what allows them to at least have some semblance of a neutral, honestly. Mm -hmm. Caught you hanging out at the ledge. Frame for spring. There. Right yeah. to the back Easy. area. Goodbye. Back Easy catch. So good. I yeah, I love how Leo's been trying to go for some of these high side Bs as a mix-up, but Ken is all over that, and I think he's kind of noticed that's one of Leo's tricks. So, I don't know if he'll get away with it again. Uh-oh. Oh, what an upbeat. Uh-huh. Great situational awareness right there from Leo. Immediate high recovery. Looking for that active hitbox on the way down. But Ken, of course, 
holding on to the pressure. Nice. And I love this running up and holding chill. Just kind of checking his temperature. What exactly are you going to do if I run up on you? True. Wow, the spin dash right to the back of the shield. No answer from Leo. Uh -huh. Both oh. players just kind of resetting. And now right. Ken has to watch out. Oh, no. True. He's, he's all right. Step back. Only 13% here on MK Leo. You can see that dare coming out like we were talking about earlier. I think Leo knows. Despite the percents here, I have so much higher odds of putting Ken in the disadvantage state as Mithra. Also, as the percents pass like 140, we could see that up smash become a very real exactly. kill option. Oh, now yeah. you start getting kills. Absolutely. Here, dash attack. Oh, man. Okay. One of the uh, best dash attacks in the business, too, Oh, no man. switch. I'm oh. surprised. Yeah. Yeah, Leo has really seemed to favor Mithra at the very, very high percents. He got a kill with the up smash in the last game. Oh. We might see it again here. Good guy. There's a switch oh. now on the left side this time around. Pyra is all about positioning. You know, when you see the switch off to that, when you're in the corner, you know, you in some trouble. Yep. Oh! No, trying to go for the duff. I like that. The neutral air dodge mix up goes for the rapid jab, knowing that cross stage, jab three probably won't kill. Now, just needs to land something to close yes, it gentlemen. out. Perfect Woo. job wow. there by Leo. Good stop. Down by a bit, but Mithra's combo game could make this a pretty easy one to pull back. Yeah, right. easy tech chase. Oh man, but Ken just gonna come back and retaliate. Okay, nice landing there, right to the there. down throw. Yeah, not gonna get him, unfortunately. Combo. Yeah, trying to adjust to that DI in. He had to overshoot, aim the back air the opposite way. Oh my goodness, Mine's there. Out of shield, my goodness. Yeah, Leo's not been able to get some of these platform conversions, partly because of Ken's. Uh, just like the where how he's maneuvering around, it's just hard for him to drift onto that platform. Get these longer extensions you're used to seeing from Mithra. Okay, going up. Oh, oh. oh it's, okay. If he aired off, yeah, he yeah. could have dared. Uh huh. Do our up smash. Bobby would have taken the stock there, but can Darisha air onto the ledge? Uh oh, oh, oh I no. think no jump. Yeah, yeah. Very nice edge guard by Ken. That was very smart. Great awareness. Thought, yeah, I thought he probably worked around the spring that time, but actually just forced him back off stage again. That's a problem with this character, man. One error off stage, and you're losing that stock. It's pretty uncomfortable for sense. Okay. 26%, just like that. Ken knows how to play the time. He's not afraid to time you out ever. But this whip punishing is really good by Ken right now. He knows what Leo is doing. He knows what he's looking for. He's just dodging everything and just punishing back. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this, this hit and run sort of mentality that Ken has is definitely starting to pay off in a big way. This not getting anything off the down tilt in the corner, not looking to rinse and repeat how game number one ended. Yeah. This is anything but good right now. Leo Ken playing completely out of their mind. Yeah, he's playing phenomenal here. Good up tilt tech chase situation. Yeah. Uh -oh. Trying to catch him laying in, regardless, in the good spot here on the left side of stage. Oh, down, down tilt? tilt? No, not going to get it. Yeah, Leo gets away with that neutral getup right there. Fighting for his life to complete a lead trap, but no, Ken is right back in it. In the advantage as well. Springtime. Oh, oh man, wait. Photon it. Down smash. Wow. wow. Oh, and and that, okay. still, that's crazy. That was really weird. Yeah. Where actually Leo would be. My goodness, and then landing with the active hitbox on forwarder. That's no time oh, oh my gosh. Held it for just a little bit too long. Oh, I'm not gonna lie though. Oh, this smash. Oh. This one feels Jover. Let's see, maybe some of that MKLeo magic could come into play, but I think Ken is gonna even the score. Do these whip punishes have been OD for Ken? Okay, looking to equalize, at least in terms of stocks here pretty soon. That's why Pyra's here. This time a little bit more towards center stage. Ken said right this way though. We off stage with it again. Yep. Easy nice. after. Oh, wow. that's a great tool. Not gonna kill just yet. Oh, oh. blazing in. All right, the up throw will do it. Back throw near the corner will do it. Oh, oh, dash attack, dash attack, will attack do it. I like it. The call out. Yeah, Ken has been trying to look for whip punishes all the time. I love him overextending there to make sure he gets the kill. But we need to look out for the timer. The timer says one minute and ten seconds. This percentage lead is huge, and I don't think it's like really something that you can catch up with. Oh yeah, you just have to kill. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, it. yeah. Ken That's would do it. pretty much have to SD for mm -hmm. that game to go to yeah. layout. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, he would, he would have to land like a dare forward smash. Like. Oh, the sign. Oh. Te quiero mucho. MK Leo. Te yeah. quiero mucho. All right. Ken, though, looking very calm, very stoic. Mm -hmm. Just squashed his beef with EE today. You know, he's riding an emotional high. Yeah. Feels going better into now. The set. That, yeah. was a, that was a long standing beef that uh, I think we've come to find out he didn't even deserve he didn't <laughs> even, uh, anything. Yeah, it was a. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, wasn't even there. Ima imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> That's most beef in this community, let's be real. But anyway, yeah. 
Uh, yeah, great stuff right here, man. Ken, of course, equalizing the set. You know, one game apiece. Playing very, very well. Most importantly, not, you know, fearing the Pyra and Mithra anymore. I think they're understanding, you know, if I play well towards center stage and I can maybe push, you know, lay off stage, this is where I can really strike. And uh, let's be honest, off stage gameplay definitely belongs to Ken right here. Game number three here is upon us, and we're on battlefield. Mm -hmm. I like this pick for Leo. Just focusing the fight a little bit more vertically. Sonic can't really decide where he wants to land as much with his up B as well. Yeah. You're going to have those platforms there to interrupt him from getting to solid ground. All right, full jab. Okay. You got to watch how you jump off of those platforms back onto center stage. Of course, Ken's always looking for that. Wow, not even going to get that starter from up there, man. It's been mm -hmm. So much damage, just like that. Even though he missed the combo in the beginning with the dog throw. Uh oh, Ooh. Sonic is just that fast. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, okay. Bit of a wild interaction right there from Ken. Just oh, looking to let, let it rip. I uh -oh. like the chase though. Good damage. Yeah, that is one of Mithra's most damaging moves for sure. So, mm -hmm. gotta throw that in whenever you can, whether it's a combo ender or just a raw hit sometimes. Yeah. And I mean, it's so disjointed, right? Like, it's such a good tool to just see someone press a button, just you can use a whip punish as well. Yeah, it's like they're only saving grace getting back to the stage. Look at that. Yeah, the huge hitbox on that move. Uh -huh. Blazing hand is out. Not going to find its mark, though. Uh -oh. oh, good catch. Okay, good opportunity damage. here. Okay, it looks like Leo's kind of electing to go for more like ledge trapping opportunities where Ken doesn't mind that, but prefers Ooh, wow. to get Pyro Mithra off stage for the edge guard. Uh oh. Oh, you know what time it is. Yes, sir. No air dodge against me. Don't do it. Now we got the ledge. Up tilt. No, not going to catch. Good air dodge there by Ken. Leo looking like he's having some trouble making up his mind which of the two Aegis he wants oh, out. Oh, and the chase. Good stuff. Not going to kill, but just enough more. Now, gentlemen's online. Speaking That's of, it. yes, I'm sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Right back to the Mithra, though. Let's see. Can he avoid the kill moves for long enough? We know what Mithra can do off one hit at zero. It's just a matter of finding that against the fastest thing alive. That's right. Another narrative shield. Both sides taking a page out of each other's book. Okay, we have it again the down air, just like that. Getting him out of spin that. In a terrible situation right now, Leo. Lost to start just like that. Yeah, almost no extra credit to speak of. Mm -hmm. One thing I also want to point out about what Leo's doing here is he's walking a lot, and that's because Sonic can clip you out of your initial, initial dash so easily, he can just burst right on through, spin dash or dash attack, and interrupt you for trying to get near him. Yeah. The grounded options that Sonic has is just, I mean, it feels rivaled by very few in this game, we'll put it that way. Yeah. Kind of all over the place, all over the board right now. Like a good catch here. Slow and steady here by NKLeo. Yeah, we're going to punish that. Uh-oh. Anytime Sonic goes and commits after a double jump into spin, you know that's guaranteed damage. You swing out, especially if you're disjoint. Very smart right there on Lil's behalf. Went for down tilt up there, just kind of checking his temperature. That time he went for the spot dodge. Even if he shielded, he still would have been in a rough spot because he would have been caught in rapid jab. But, of course, we're trying to stay one step ahead. Here's the Nair. Man, you add these platforms to the oh, equation. Gosh. and. Then, Ken just kind of becomes a kid at the playground here. Oh, doesn't get blazing in on the drift uh, once again here. All right, switching back to Mithra. Yeah, he had his chance at the top right there to maybe cheese an early kill with Pyra. Yeah. But now you got to... Be careful, yeah. Oh, he waits for that drift, that switch, or the air dodge. He's got yeah. so much mileage on that through the course of this tournament. I like that he tried to thread the needle around the spring, but it never came out. Ken knew his intentions right there, meeting him halfway on the upbeat. Oh, wait, oh, upbeat, upbeat. You did, oh, baby. Not no. enough, wow. not enough. Great the guy there by Ken. Job. That's right, great damage put on the board right here. Pyra That's in the corner. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness, the corner cops are here right now. Yeah. But get off me. Up throw, up air. I'm gonna try to milk this here. Leo playing around on the top platform, just trying to find a safe way to get down. Does just that, but now he's stuck on Mithra, right? You know the next hit's not going to kill. You can only set up for something. Okay. Well, what a delicate dance they're doing. Yeah. Tech chase, yep. Easy jab. Standing jab right now. And again, the spring is getting busy. That that's should be it. I think that's oh, it. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's rough, yeah. Just yep. sure. He said, man, just, just die already. Stop. Yeah. I'll blame, bro. You ain't coming back. Mm -hmm. Man, that game slipped through Leo's fingers, too. It was looking pretty good for him, but... 
can just kind of turn it up. Again, you find those offstage interactions. You play patiently against Pyra's slow moves. And this character can struggle. She's obviously very good, mm -hmm. right? They've, they've got so many great matchups where it feels almost impossible to take them down. But if you have enough speed to deal with Mithra and you have ways to exploit them oh. in the edge guards, it uh -oh. can be great. Are we, are we switching characters? Oh. That's the real question is that do is. we switch right now? I mean, the ages aren't bad. And obviously it worked earlier, you know what I'm saying, in this tournament. But things have changed. This championship Sunday, you really got to bring your Sunday's best. You would not believe who he's hovering. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Listen, so hey. check this out. When I went to Cuba last year, he actually got second at that tournament, losing to Chad, going all Rob. Y'all, check it. The Rob is verified. It's a real thing. Let's get it, man. MK don't, Robo is here. Yeah, don't ever forget about the Grand Finals of Double Down 2022. Mm -hmm. That too. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. Rob is legit. He's, I think he practices just to help Big Boss get better. And this is a legit threat. And the thing about it is that even though it's not as practiced in tournament as a real Rob player would be, it's going to play very differently from any other Rob player that Ken has ever seen before. Okay. Let's see what Leo's able to do. Now, of course, you trade off a lot of mobility that you have with Pyra Mithra, namely really just Mithra, of course, for, you know, some a little bit more, you know, designated hits, you know, like, okay, I hit, this should KO. I got you off stage. I can threaten a little bit more. Yeah, the zoning tools, now too. man, are yeah, so good, too. right? And then we're chasing. And of course, one of the big things doesn't have to deal with the recovery so much. Yes, Zong can still pressure there, but you're not. It's not going to be nearly as volatile. And most importantly, he can rob stocks uh -oh. literally. Okay, you're going to wait out the down air. Smart by Ken. The trade off. Oh, oh my Young God, Robert. Roberto. Down uh -oh. throw. Yes, does sir. He have the match? He Where are you going? No jump. Where are you and going? No Hold on. I you know what time it is. No. Yes, okay. sir. We can threaten off stage now. I don't have to just let trap. The crowd is cheering for Rob, guys. That yes, is sir. how you know that people love this Oh, man. Roberto is out. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Leo might be the most beloved number one Smash player of all time. Like him Every, and Mango. Yeah. Mango, Mango yeah. Oh, yeah. free. Either way, the Rob is up a stock, but for how long? Not oh, at all. Man. He's a big target, though. So obviously, you know, Rob is a bigger person or bigger character to hit than Pyro and Mithra. So you do trade off a little bit, especially off stage, too. No hitbox, not recovery. Yep. Wait a minute. I'm on the way down with it. Looking for down to the course. Rob, great boxing tools. Can't forget about that. Double yeah, fair. Double fair, good double catch. Fair. Can I get all another? Right, we're going to catch this. And you immediately drop it. True, I know. Oh. Interesting up smash. Almost didn't hit, actually. So that would have been crucial for Ken. Taking a lot of damage, potentially. But here we are at a completely different game. Uh, diff uh, not different. Even game. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. True that. And it's very important that it stays just about this even. Neither side can Spare. afford the other yeah, one to man. just pull ahead. Oh. Such good damage here on Battlefield for Sonic. Yeah, I mean, again, these platforms just allow better mobility here for him. Yeah, better mobility in this. The short hop up there, which can be safe on shield, especially easy to do on a shielding rock. Oh, yeah! yeah. 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 the attack? Are you that, serious? That is the Sonic's tech right there, man. It's That's a classic. so strong. It's you're, so broken. You're not allowed to up tech there. Otherwise, he can just backer you. But at the same time, you're still off stage and getting a ledge trapped off the board. Yeah, exactly. So, like, Love that. You have to pick your poison. Drew, get a little bit more aggressive now. You got that down tilt, and of course, Nair very, very safe on shield, too. Slow on the startup right now, just trying to swing big while we're on the ground. Leo can't afford to be in the air anymore. Big target, and Ken certainly lurking to hit here pretty soon. Man, Leo's Rob looks good, but it's a very honest Rob. I need to see him hit some of these devastating yeah. kill confirms that the character brings to the table. Down tilt into, or down throw into up tilt yeah, mix yeah. up could be very much in play soon. Okay, good up tilt. It's good damage. Big body. Oh, man. Uh -oh, these trades not huge. paying off. The charge. Oh, oh, Jesus. Man, almost hit him with the, the 2018 right there, man. You just roll off the ledge. There's a smash attack waiting yep. for you. Okay. Oh. oh, you tried to maybe catch a fade back. Yeah. And now he's back at the ledge. Right. Ooh, that was so close. Okay, good laser. Oh, I need some, man. He's some back, back there. Back there. Back definitely Damn. take the kill for Rob. What? what are we doing here? <laughs> Looking for that reverse edge guard. It's not going to work out. Yeah. Oh, down smash. Oh, there it is. Oh, man. That's delayed. the wrong classic. The spot dodge down smash. Yeah, delayed spot dodge. Great stuff there by Leo. Oh, and but you man. see, Ooh. he's got the Z-drop recatch Nairs. If he's wait, able to... Wait, oh, wait, the wait, wait, wait. Oh, my God. If that was a Nair instead of a forward air, we might have been looking at a the dead head toss. Now, wait, wait a oh. damn minute. Hold oh, up. Here's too slow. Leo knew, though. Oh. oh. Bait at the air dodge. Doesn't get anything off it. 166. Oh, oh. Don't ever try that. Okay. No that jump. Wait a minute. No jump. No jump. No jump. No jump. This think, could be it. 
No! Oh, he oh! Didn't those. Okay, what's going on? Didn't okay. get the ledge trap. Leo's so close to dying, but so is Ken. And one back here, no, one outside. This is his last hit situation right here. Okay, throws a jump back in. Okay, you're on top. And up left, that's not the No! no! It does! Oh! Damn. Ken popping off, taking the set over Leo. 3 1. Oh, man. And I can't help but think that Leo may have saved him with one of those forward airs. I don't know. It was, it was kind of rough. He gave him a higher position to recover from. Oh god. We got we gotta look at the replays. We gotta got look at the replays. Yeah. But wow, Ken getting his revenge. Yes, a replay of the pop-off, of course. <laughs> Relief in a, a his face. One. We can see it. I actually think Leo died due to jumping in a blast zone. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, I was just about to say. Yeah, Rob is Rob is a character that actually dies early when he jumps in a blast zone. You're not allowed to actually press anything as Rob there. Yeah, man, you can see it right here, right? If we go and and we zoom in. On in side, we zoom yep, in. right, right in the blast zone, man. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Very similar to like King DDD kind of has that issue uh -huh, too, where yeah. like, you know his jump kind of, yeah. Yep. I was wondering if that was kind of what went down right there, man. Yep. Unfortunate business jumping. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Oh, he like wow. he like circles around and his arms are getting to the back. I think like something like that. Mm -hmm. Super weird, but you just gotta know that. Either okay. way, man, I, I really liked the Rob, you know, kind of a different flavor, a lot more honest, again, than the other Robs out there. But something clicked in the last stock where he started going for a lot of those Z-drop nares, mm -hmm. and it was almost like, oh, yeah, I can just do this, and maybe I can make this crazy I don't, I don't have to approach, you know. Dude, he was so close to the yeah. conversion there, yeah. man. Oh. And all he needed to do was just wait that air dodge out, but I think he went for it a little too soon. The side B, mm -hmm. unfortunately missing. Ton of end lag, and then he never got his feet planted again. Mm -hmm. Still, congrats to Leo on a top eight run, man. Uh, I know it's been kind of like an experimental period for him, playing around with different characters, just trying to get his mojo back, so to speak. But a top eight at a tournament like this, man, mm -hmm. it's very impressive. Ken, obviously a very formidable player, so no shame in losing to him, and he'll be coming back a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. no doubt about it. Great stuff. Valiant effort right there on both uh, behalf. So again, Ken, you know, getting his run back. I believe you said, you know, Leo did beat him earlier. So uh, definitely, you know, if there's ever time to get revenge, it's certainly not here on Sunday. So great stuff to all these players. Wow, MK Leo, man. The Rob, I've been telling people for a long time, it is most certainly a thing. Tariq, you know, you brought up beautifully how, he, you know, he ran it at uh, Double Down, if I'm mm -hmm. not mistaken. He also yep. ran it when he went to Cuba. We were way off the grid. I'm like, I don't know if anybody's watching this. I hope they are. But friends, Rob is a thing. He just... You, know, you just need the confidence and really just a situation that would call for a character like Rob. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I like the choice for Sonic, right? You give him mm -hmm. something to worry about when he's spin dashing. You have Gyro that can potentially stand in his way and a transcendent projectile and the sure, laser sure. that could go right through it. So uh, I think he had the right idea. Just maybe he needed to warm it up a little bit more. Not sure if he's been using it in friendlies or anything. Yeah. Either way, let's get to some slides. Talk yeah, about some, some of the bills. partners for this event. Genesis 10. First and foremost, again, we are right around the corner from where this tournament's going to take place in the San Jose Convention Center. If you want to save some money, make sure you register as soon as possible. Start.gg slash GX. That price is only going to go up, so get your tickets now. Please lock in. And, of course, I believe this next one should be Arcade Press. That's right. Those are my friends from the fighting game community coming to a stream near you. Arcade Press is going to be your home for fighting game culture and really encompassing all the different avenues that the fighting game community can bleed into. Bam, I know you and I, we talk about this all the time. Street Fighter kind of implementing that hip-hop feel. Tekken, of course, is around the corner. Mortal Kombat just dropped and so many others. Friends, we are in a fighting game renaissance. I'm so happy to be alive yes, during sir. this one. You got to follow RK Press for all the latest and the greatest. They will not lead you astray. True that, true that, man. And up next, of course, we've been talking about it. There's been a whole lot of buzz. I just found out that some guy actually drove two and a half hours <laughs> to come to this tournament specifically so he could play this game. If wow. you guys didn't check it out yesterday, we did a stream on, uh, on Guildhouse channel, and it was absolutely phenomenal. Super sick platform fighter. A lot of these guys, you got a couple guys from Blizzard, you guys got a couple guys from Epic. They all came together, changed their whole lives to make sure they can make this game. And this is literally like, they talk about it as a pre-pre-alpha. And man, this is looking a bit more polished than a lot of some of these games that are already released I said, right talk, now. Bam. I gotta say talk, it, man, bam. it looks good. It plays well. It's super sick. I'm really excited for everybody. I'm talking to you in the chat. I'm really excited for you guys to eventually be able to play this game. Right now, they're trying to get some more uh, funding and support. So please, 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 guys, don't have to spend any money. 
but go ahead and wish list this now these guys are trying to get to 10k on the wish list and it is so important it's imperative that we support a lot of these platform fighters in our scene with communities and especially with devs who want to support us Bro, so go ahead and check that out the coolest thing about this game is that it, it has directional blocking and it has air dashing like all the traditional fgc staples i messed with it for a while it's really fun but it'll also be really fun to go to collision 2024 yes. right in my backyard in new jersey we got all the best and brightest for both melee and ultimate sign up now start.gg slash collision big props to rj holding it down for our scene for over a decade man that guy is the goat make sure you give back to him show up to this event it's gonna be sick oh yeah don't want to miss on that and the final low tide here friends is upon us may 11th through 12 2024 be sure to check that out man start.gg slash low tide city 2024 it is one of the you know premier water park events but more importantly too they run so many different games and they have something for everybody there you won't want to miss out on that round rock texas of course is going to be the perfect mix of smash fighting game culture and you, yes you guessed it splatoon will definitely be there as well too so a little bit of something for everybody friends if you got a family out there you got kids bring them on down to the tournaments family safe get in the pool getting your uh you know what i'm saying your matches pool and have some fun down there in texas okay guys <laughs> this one, this one's it's got to be me every always time huh? yo yeah. this game is lit nickelodeon also our brawl they partnered up with the event showing some love over here so make sure you show some love to them cop this game on steam uh, specifically on steam i'd recommend or playstation <laughs> or xbox definitely not the other one <laughs> but uh, no it's super lit man slime meter something i've been looking for in a fighting game for a long time you could do all kinds of different stuff with that uh some fire characters from shows that you probably loved as a kid if you're old like me or uh maybe you just know spongebob and lucy loud if you're a zoomer yeah. so uh yeah go ahead and check this out it's super super fun mm -hmm. oh wow and check uh, this out man yep. bam can you tell them about the look at this of bro. course man of course and a lot of us you already know this whole event is also a collaboration between Lights Out, Tweak Talks, and Coach's Corner, aka on Smash University. And the, of course, everyone building out a lot of content day in and day out, quality podcasts. You already know every time, new episodes every week. Check out EE's channel, Tweaks, and of course, Smash University. Go ahead and give us all follows if you're not already. It goes a long way to support and help everyone stay afloat so we can not only make quality podcasts but also make quality quality events and another way you can support us of course is with the march you can see it there shout outs to b with the you know quality poster man looks so sick but man i i love so much of this merch right i mean the jacket obviously you already know it's got the purple lining inside you see the tweet talk shirt the smash university the lights out mm -hmm. even the watch the throne hat and of course Charles' favorite character, you got Fox. You know, he's got that shirt he's wearing a couple times throughout the course of this weekend. You already know, man. But, hey, please, pick up some merch. It's still open. This means the world to us, and it really allows us to stay afloat and keep doing what we do. No, that's so facts, please. bro. No, that is super duper facts. We ain't one of them type of tournaments that's like, you know, you can buy the merch if you want and act all cool about it. No, we need y'all to buy merch. <laughs> yes, please. I'm just, just going to say it. I'm just going to say it, okay? And of course, New York City's premier production team. That is right. It is House of 3000. Look, there they are on Twitter. There they are on Blue Sky. House of 3000 on Twitch, YouTube, and Discord. Join them for the latest and the greatest, of course, in Smash production beauty you need them at your event friends i cannot stress it enough devin runs a phenomenal production team and obviously puts on a great show you can't see him right now you can't hear him unless he wants to be heard but he's doing all the hard work while we're up here tap dancing okay yes can we get a year in the chat right there for devin hire them events at house of 3000.nyc they do weddings they do bar mitzvahs they do whatever you need them to do just lock in <laughs> no absolutely man hey man where's the yours man what huh? is, is there there's Are Twitch they, delay, bro. They, what's going coming on, through. man? Where's the yours at? Okay. That's there right. you go. All right, East Coasters. That's what I need to see, man. Y'all acting quiet, man. I, yeah, there Thanks, we go. Dev. There we go. That's what I love to see. Chat, we are here. We are live. Watch the throne, man. And we appreciate you all, man. Yo, Absolutely. we're watching it, man. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't know where it's going or where I it might know, go. I don't know, but we're definitely watching it, you know, <laughs> along with the, the lovely slime up here. Holding on to the crown for safekeeping mm -hmm. for our Watch the Throne champion who will be crowned eventually. Eventually. It's coming eventually. soon to a stream near you. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Got Damn. our first two sets out of the way, and now we got two more on the winner's side of things. So we saw MK Leo and Glutiny eliminated at seventh place. 
two more will be joining them at fifth, but not until the two sets after the next two. So we yep. got a while. Right now, nobody's life is on the line. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, no doubt about it. Of course, this tournament has been phenomenal from start to finish. I can't stress it enough, Bam and you know Max, Tariq. I know we talked about it just in past. We've all been very busy this weekend. But, uh, you know, this event was kind of like my first sort of run-in with, with organizing, and I'm glad I have people like you guys on the back end, you know, that kind of helped guide me a little bit. I've never, like, really had a helping hand in that sort of regard besides just commentating on stream. So I've learned a lot, and friends, you're about to learn about what's about to go down here next. Of course, we got a Tweak. Get ready to join us on the big stage. Tweak, of course, this phenomenal player, the Diddy Kong extraordinaire. Get ready to face off against... Man, come on, look at this. This is Mia, man. This is going to be crazy. Yeah, another run back from pools, right, which is insane considering these mm -hmm. guys have fought the whole weekend through a whole bunch of other players and yet it's them meeting up once again in the winner's semifinals they want a shot at this top three bare minimum yes mind you but let's talk about that set let's do it it looked pretty rough for tweak at the beginning of things then he was able to bring it back went up 2-1 yep was a stock up and then something clicked for me i don't know what it was he went sicko mode bro like mm, yeah at barely even getting touched after respawning onto his last stock and then shut him down game five as well. So with that, we're going to have Coney introduce our players and they're going to come up on stage for your entertainment. Coney, what do you got to say? Talk to us. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Watch the Throne. Say, let's give it up for Haz one time. Give it up for Haz right here. Haz is going to go. Oh, give it up for TK. He's also here. Uh, he just sat down on the stream. Uh, I'm streaming on twitch.tv slash Coney. Go ahead and drop me a follow. Okay. Hey, but, but before we get started, by the way, let's give it up one more time for seventh place, my GOAT, MK Leo, for going so far. What a competitor. What a talented fellow. But we're going to switch on over to winner's bracket to two guys who have not lost yet. These two have fought tooth and nail to make it to the end of Watch the Throne, and I'm going to introduce them right now. First, Coming all the way from Japan, he's got a Game & Watch and a Steve, and they're both ready to scrap. Please welcome Mia! And on the other side, all the way from New Jersey, Tweak Talks, you know him, you love him. We've got the Sephiroth the Diddy, and maybe a little Banjo-Kazooie. Maybe, maybe. No, oh, come on. Hey, if you guys all want it hard enough, let's bring up to the stage LG Tweak! I thought y'all were booing. It's like, relax. Casters, back to you. Tweak, 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 Tweak. tweak, tweak. That's right. That's right. Hey, we're in unison right there, man. All in the same key, by the way. That's right. Tweak is on the big stage right here. Like we said before, man, the Diddy Kong extraordinaire slash Sephiroth slash maybe some banjo if we're lucky. It's about to throw down, of course, with me. Let's go ahead and take a look at the stats. Mia right Ooh. now kind of leading the charge here. 2-0 right now. Watch the throne and Super Smash of Khan 2000 and I believe last year, 2020, no, this year, no, this 2023. Year. That's this right. Year, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. leading this year. And both of so, very strong records against the field here, yeah. right? over 50%, so they're favored against pretty much anybody here. Uh, that said, the only person that has beaten Tweak this weekend was Mia. They're both playing really hot. Yes, they yeah. are. Yeah. No, 1,000%, man. But, I mean, look at that, man. 3-2, very, very close. So, honestly, it can be anyone's game. Mia came up here, though, looking like, hey, man, sorry, I'm not looking at this guy next to me. I'm looking beyond. I'm going for that number one spot. Got to so, aim high. Does Tweak got something to say? Well, we're going to have to see. You know, Mia showed us something a little bit different this tournament that people who pay attention to the Japanese scene kind of seen coming, which was the Steve. And his Steve was a little bit different than Akla's, you know, much more aggressive in, in some regards than the airs that they decided to kind of dial back a little bit were a little different as well. But we're probably going to see a bit of game and watch here too, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, you know, I mean, Tweak, we have seen the Diddy Kong and just how triumphant it has been throughout, not only just this year, but the later half of last year too. But can they keep up that momentum? Can they keep that narrative alive? Getting ready to face off against Mia. Yeah, man. I, I think Game & Watch is usually not favored against Diddy. That's the character that's typically given him problems mm -hmm. in Smash 4 and through most of Ultimate. But that's right. Mia kind of rewriting the book on that. I think if Tweak does go up, maybe a very strong game or up 2-0, then maybe the Steve will come out. I think Steve does very well into Diddy, and Tweak has had some trouble with that matchup in the past. Absolutely. Absolutely. We will see here in a moment was going through the minds of both of these two talented players. Uh, 
you know, tweak. I mean, this Diddy Kong is just a master class. Like, every time I think I know how this character is played, like, oh, yeah, this is just Diddy Kong stuff. He shows us something new, whether mm -hmm. it's, you know, banana peel off the side of the stage into something, into a spike, or just, you know, again, monkey flip, you know, into whatever, you know. I mean, again, tweak. Looking a little different on stream right here. So is Mia, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, uh, this is going to be a great one. Yeah, I feel like Tweak is such an innovative player, right? Mm -hmm. Just has rewritten the book in his own right on Diddy Kong as a character. You know, people kind of wrote him off in Ultimate, especially at the beginning. But this character saw a big renaissance, especially with Tweak and Aaron mm -hmm. both doing really well toward the, the end of the quarantine period once offline events <laughs> resumed. And now I think everyone recognizes him as a pretty solid high tier. Oh, without question. All right, man, let's get into it. Going FD? into game one. Interesting starting Final stage. destination. Okay. Fellas, what are we thinking about this? I did not expect FD for game number one. No platforms out the rip? We haven't seen FD much at all this weekend. Yeah, we have what's not. going on? It's a lost yeah, art, I'll tell you that much. I, I don't think the, this stage is bad for either because obviously we know Game Watch loves to juggle around. Yeah. But with no platforms, it's harder to land against him. Mm. You have to go to ledge because, like, you and like you know his ledge trapping. His ledge trapping is insane. Yeah. But you can't just land on top of him. It's just like against like corn or something. You can't land on top of them. You have to maneuver your way through them. And now we're definitely gonna see that because see he went to ledge because he doesn't have any other option to actually go somewhere. Yeah. That's yeah. Smart. It's very interesting, right? Because then like you, you see sometimes like people talk about that with Diddy too, right? The mm -hmm. fact of the matter is that now you don't have the banana getting stuck on platform. You have to deal with them on the ground. You have to maneuver, but. I do feel that Game of Watch oh. gets a bit more from this, and wow, just that's ridiculous, man. Bro, this was an automatic ban against Diddy Kong in Brawl, and even in parts of Smash 4, right? Just because you can't land without having to interact with the banana out of shield. In Ultimate, aerials are much safer. There's a lot more stuff that Diddy can't throw the banana and get a punish on. So, oh, wow. wow. That's Wait, a kill. He put the yes, bucket sir. away immediately wow. after the peanut. That might be a new strategy for Tweet. I like that. He that has such a setup. That was it. Yeah, I think we brought that up on Friday, or if not, maybe the early part of Saturday, like the importance of peanut pop gun and Diddy Kong's neutral. We didn't quite see it up until a point in time in Diddy Kong's history in Ultimate, but Tweak, of course, implementing it beautifully right there. But end up pulling a hand, though. Mia doesn't mind taking it from him. Yeah, there we go. Couldn't rack up some damage, but Ooh. gets himself a landing there. We're gonna fall out of the second one though, and Tweak, mm -hmm. a little breath of fresh air for himself, gets knocked away from the banana though, and that allows Mia to have access to it. I'm terrified of what Game Watch can do with that. Uh -huh. Yeah, but he's gonna lose out on that, and here comes the pop gun once again. It's another side of stage, but he's gonna cover, you know, throw out a little cooking, a little mama's Ooh. cooking over there to cover that banana. But here comes Tweak on the right side. Okay, what's it gonna be? Using the forward air bomb right there to give himself a little bit of leverage back onto the stage. You know, Mia not looking to go for a trade on the way back down. No down tilt, oh. despite how quick it is, a little mispositioned. Come here. Oh, and too short for Game Watch's knockdown animation. That monkey flip kick could have hit him. Either way, Tweak just gonna take the strays. Got the banana to protect himself. Oh, trying to get Ooh, tricky man, here and yeah, mix up the bucket. We'll there we go. Up right. smash for the stock. That's the right. Banana. 82 percent, man. Really good thing here. I mean, honestly, at this point in time, you know, approaching kill percent by the major things, you know, down smash, as it were, right? Anything to a forge smash there or up smash. As long as he's able to maneuver around here, play his game, step back, create the tempo of banana, Tweak's going to be in a good place and get some additional damage here. That's right. Oh, my goodness. Looking for a banana pill in it to there down it tilt, Max. You know, I know you're saying you're afraid to see what could happen if they get the banana pill and use it properly. I think we're seeing shades of it right there. Air oh, no. Wow. Yeah. Oh, no man. way. Yes. Tweak. So close, man. Getting away from that uh, edge guard. Yeah, he might have been worried that he wasn't safe on hit after the side B and just tried to overcompensate with the air dodge. Mia so ready for it. Finds a kill with forward air, but still the damage keeps on flowing from Tweak. He's looking really good in this game one. Uh huh. Yep. Oh no, but falls into finding Nemo, man. Get uh -oh. an easy damage from that Nair. And that Nair so safe on shield too, man. What? Minus five on that first hit, four on the later hits. Oh, a lot of safety in that banana. Oh. oh, get kicked. Oh, leg day, bro. Oh, this is definitely kill percent for Mia's end. But at the same time, Tweak is also not that far off of getting killed himself. Mm hmm. Oh, he can definitely get a kill right here. Ooh, the monkey see. clips are hitting. Mia needs to find a way to actually get in because he's trying to like force his way in with a <laughs> kill. Down to up That's smash one. takes the game. What a catch. And the crowd erupts, man. You see the sign. Tweak. Let's go, Tweak. Tweak. Dang. Tweak. Tweak might be talking. Tweak Shots might be talking. Doing the art for the poster and a poster at the event. That's yeah. right. The poster man. The poster lore goes deep.
Okay, man, looking so good after the first stock, right? Mia had his way uh, the first time around, and then Tweak just started being a little bit more patient, using Monkey Flip Kick as a whiff punish. Sure. And also to just brute force his way through a lot of the buttons from Game & Watch, looking so strong here. Also to lose the first stock against a character like Mia's Game & Watch, where the punish game at zero is insane. That's right. Very difficult to do. Very clean stuff right there. Sigh of relief on Tweak's behalf. But here we go, moving into game number two. First one on FD, and it looks like the second one is on FD as well. Something's in the water here, I guess. But uh, I'll take it. We haven't seen a lot of it this weekend. My goodness. Game of Watch. Knowing how to take that banana pill fresh out of the gate is so good. You know what I just realized, man? Tweak is the only American player in all of top eight and the only one left in the bracket. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah. The final bastion of USA. Oh! But he's talking here, bro. He might be here to stay, yes, folks. Yes, sir. Huge early stock by Mia, man. He activates when you start beating him up. Let's see if that's going to come true right now. Okay. Dash attack double back here right now. Again, despite no platforms, I mean, just Tweet controlling the entirety of the real estate here on Final Destination. The terrain belongs to him. Dash attack again, though. Really good burst option, quick frame six, and I'm in your face. Hold on, banana yeah, pill. What's up? I'm out. out. I'm, I'm out, gone. bro. Yeah, great dash attack. Got a blast. We, we live in another One, dash attack. Wait uh, a minute. One slight detriment of FD for Tweak is that he has to charge the barrels much more to get underneath yeah. FD than he would on, say, Smashville. So, oh, wow. Okay, we saw him do no uh, no mix up one time. Oh, goes low this time, and Mia wasn't expecting it, and another lease on life here for Tweak. Mm -hmm. Back is not quite enough from that position. He's going to throw one shot. Oh! And the downer as well, but taking a huge trade from the barrels. Yeah, good stuff. Okay. Should be a C. Okay, down throw here this time. No need to throw him on stage for sense. Not quite high enough yet. Oh, what? Very. Oh, no banana. Into the banana for after the parry. Yeah. Here uh -oh. we have juggling situation. Big damage. I caught you sleeping. Just like that. Yep, good stuff. And Ooh, another one, you can't there. land on me. Oh, showing them how to solve it. Man, getting by to the cookout. Welcome to the cookout, baby. Right. This is how it gets made right here, bro. A little bit of a scramble here. Tweak finds his way back Ooh. to solid ground. Down tilt, two nice. forward airs to Come follow. Here. Come here. Oh, Whoa, you great up tilt. That's the Tweak. Oh, oh. oh. So close. A little greedy for that one. Game & Watch can get to the ledge so quickly due to how fast his up B travels. Oh, the acrobatics, yeah, though. We move and see ya. Oh, and the down air auto cancel as well, man. Tweak, such a flashy player, saying, yeah, catch me if you can, Mia. I'm very mobile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get busy, platforms or not. Okay, Banana's in play, though. And Mia is not afraid to use it up close and personal, too. That is a range that oh, most no players elect to stay out of if you're going playing against Tweak's Diddy Kong. Love that, going to the ledge instead of having to skirt across the stage right there. Yeah, Mia's starting to get better here wow. at dealing with these uh, monkey flips high. The dash attack once again. Now the forward tilt just barely out of range. Tweet oh. gonna fake him out. Yes, makes him back That's off. Beautiful. Oh, does not matter though. Okay, he is back in it. What did I say, man? You beat this kid up just a little bit, and something changes. Oh, mess, huh? oh. yeah, too many dash attacks. That was mm -hmm. too desperate for me, and immediately cost him stock for that. Right, fast so up smashing the business there. Okay. Both sides of him understanding what's at stake right now. One stock a piece just slipped oh. on your own banana pill. Not good. Here's the there, and it lasts forever, bro. A little bit of a panic moment from Tweak there. Mia very keyed into that. He knows what people will do when they kind of fall out of moves Come unexpectedly. Oh. 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 oh! I think he extra dashed in so he could try and get the bury hitbox. Yeah. So he could actually kill Tweak off of that one interaction. Tweak back on stage. Never mind. Okay. There is okay. just such little counterplay to Chef and Ledge, man. Yes. When he cooks, such he cooks, man. Yes, sir. Okay, looking for the down tilt, and then again, a needed up. He knew he's going to jump over it. He's locked in right now. Don't ever whiff a grab, though. Hold up. Okay, great opportunity here. Okay, yes. Hit with his own banana. Dash attack. Goes to the he's other side of the yeah. stage. Get back here. He's coming around. Take coverage. No, not, not going to kill this yet. Guy. Yeah, he knew, though. Don't go high. Uh, oh, oh, trying to call the no up. mix up, mix up. Yep. Yeah, it's so hard to guess. And now there's this meta developing between these two players. Will he or won't he go underneath? The yeah, forward tilt will certainly do it, though. Mm -hmm. Man, I just got shades of Lima versus Mia from um, Low Tide, uh, uh, Low Tide City. That's right. Or Rising right. Grind, Rising yeah, Grind, from Rising yeah. Grind, where Lima took the first stock super, super early. Tweak did the same thing, but Mia turned it up mm -hmm. and won the game.
Yes. He is a player. He does not like care about losing a stock early. No, he, he knows not. he can come back everywhere uh -huh. and every time. He's just focused on playing this game and look at this man. Sit down real quick. That's right. Have yourself a seat, my friend. Yeah. Take a peek at this replay right here. There's the back air course, just scouting out all the potential high options back to the ledge. But again, Diddy Kong, you know, can go some vast distances with that upbeat. But of course, very susceptible to being hit. Key, of course, lasting forever. Wow. All right. Next game's here, though. Are game we going to go three. back to that FD? No, we're no. not. Not this time. On small battlefield this time. What does Xeno play OST? Okay. Pretty radically different stage. Smaller floor plan, two platforms in the mix. Again, I point to that mix-up of going to the left or right ledge with the up B. That's going to be in play much more here. Tweak can turn on a dime and just kind of decide freely which one he wants to go for. Whereas on FD, you've got to commit. You've got to charge longer to make it all the way to the other true, side. True. Without question. Uh, stay away from your banana pill. Smart. Putting out active and long-lasting hitboxes there, too. Just to, you know, kind of threaten that space in and around banana. Making Tweak kind of think twice before grabbing it. There's the leg, though. Ooh. Wow, that up beat, man. Yeah, wow, getting beat out by that Nair. Such great coverage, man. Just those hitboxes just surround Game & Watch. Tweak knowing exactly how far he can travel. Gets away from the Chef. Really one of the only answers in the game to that. And it doesn't even guarantee that you're going to get back on stage. <laughs> yeah, good stuff there. And Tweak rewards himself. Has Banana on deck if he needs it. But no, he's applying pressure here. Yeah, double down tilt, and then of course F tilt. So we've been seeing a lot of that kind of work its way into Tweet's neutral. F tilt at the ledge, those arms just extending all the way over. Oh, oh my God. God! Dancing with the devil right there. Mia almost bringing the hammer down, if you will. He's so good at sniffing out those spot dodges, man. Uh -huh. The slight charge that he'll do on them is often, you know, the difference maker between hitting it or not. Okay. Got bucket in hand. He said, "Please throw the banana pill, please." Yep. Oh, Ooh. good catch. Not gonna kill though. Tweak is so good at calling out jumps or like landing on a platform with pro banana. Mm -hmm. He's the only Diddy Kong I ever see anyone catch like on those kind of positionings. And, and that's really key, right? Because a lot of times people are like, all right, let me just jump a ton. And so I can really navigate around like the grounded play of Diddy Kong. But when you're actually getting appropriate punches with oh, the Z attach, yeah, and that, man. Okay. Character comes a lot more dangerous. Good stuff there by Tweak. Okay, now one thing that we haven't really seen either side do here in this match is get a lead and kind of maintain it. They've been keeping it neck and neck. Mm -hmm. Right now, with pretty decent sized lead, but can set, definitely be taken away from him here. One misstep there, it's in wow. there, right Ooh. to the up B. That's right, even when I mess up a string, you bet your bottom dollar, I'm about to up B and reset this. Oh, I love that Mia Damn jumping it. and using the neutral B to the other side between Ooh, actually staying. Wow, mm -hmm. instantly chair the other way. Good kill there by Mia. Well, the neutral tech gonna save Mia right there. Tweak overshoots him. Oh my god, every time a Nair comes out and it even grazes Diddy Kong, I'm fearing for Tweak's life. Mm -hmm. It's just so easy to combo Diddy Kong after Nair. Not gonna go for the set. That's a jab. lot of damage right there. Oh, 33? Yeah, oh. if you get caught by a rapid jab in the corner in this game, good luck. Oh yeah, it's just damn much. Wow, and the upbeat to just catch the jump to safety. Okay, yeah. what's it gonna be? Oh man, just look at that. Just the safety and the utility of Nair. Don't even think about getting close. Not exactly sure how far the hitboxes are around game. Watch when that happens, but it looked like Tweet was going for a grab at a pretty safe distance away. It still got clipped by that. And again, like you were talking about, sir, getting those air to air there with Tweet. Good stuff. Oh, oh, oh the that's, it. Yes, sir. that's it. Yeah. That's one. That's all it takes, man. Frame four down to I'm in your face. I'm about to erase that stock. One big saving grace for Diddy in this matchup is just how light Game & Watch is. You normally have to work so hard to get kills with this character, but mm -hmm. down tilt, up smash, doing it around the 110 mark is huge. Yeah, as just you said, Rod, time. as you said, Rod, there's no lead whatsoever. Nobody can actually play a lead, but Tweak okay, is wait, winning. Hold, hold, hold on. on. We're starting one here. Hey, that's right. They're looking to prove me wrong, I hope. Tweak with a bit of a lead. Clean. Clean it. Yeah, very, very clean. Play this one safe with Banana Police. said, look, if you want it, you can take it. Another banana is going to be out, but Mia snatches it up immediately. Flurry of hitboxes. Oh my god! The and the Nair, half of that lead is gone. What the, what oh my goodness. goodness! It's Whoa. almost all gone. Mia, Whoa. that's right. So dangerous. Said, this Nair is long lasting, my friend. Go ahead and get you some. Oh, nice. oh. Soft is in the ledge. Hold on. Oh, no, that's, that's it. it. No way, wow. dude. There's no <laughs> way. Whoa. But like you said, I mean, he's a saying, bro. I mean, the more you beat him up, the more he fights, the stronger he gets.
The Bro, Zenkai boost is really hitting right He literally right here. hit him with yeah. Nair, fair <laughs> dash attack. Got him with another fair conversion. And then it was just welcome to the cookout, baby. That's that was it. it. Bro. Look at this. Get yourself a plate. We serve everybody around here. Oh, not the pescatarian. It's Come right. on, man. It's just because like Tweak didn't wasn't off stage for too long, so his legend vulnerability was like so short. Well, yeah. He didn't expect to get hit by the bacon. Uh-huh. And then boom, F tilt, your stock's gone, the game is gone. Two one for Mia. And you My gotta think goodness. it's just so exhausting when you get those early kills like the beginning of game two, when you get such a large percent lead like the end of game three and then it's ripped away from you. Like, you feel like you're cooking, you feel like you have momentum, and then suddenly all the wind is gone from your sails. Let's see, Tweak, can you rally back? Can you keep your head on straight and pull this one out? Yeah. Sorry, he's not going to have much of a choice, at least as far as him being on the winner side. He's going to have to rise to the occasion right now. Of course, down in his set, you know, we kind of prophesized a lot of this on how well Mia was going to play. Did he come? Of course, a very easy character to smack around, but you can see right now when you get caught off stage or in the corner, <laughs> He just knew, man. He I, knew. Look at that. He didn't even blink. He was like, yeah, you're big dead, bro. You're hella dead. It was that decision to stay on the left side, too. You saw Tweak think about it. Should I go right? Should I stay? <laughs> it's like that song. That's you know? right. But, uh, <laughs> you know, and he decided, no, I'm sticking on the left side. And Mia was fine to just sit there and keep pressing B. Yeah. But whatever you want, man. It's your world. I'm just living in it. But have a seat while we're at it. Next game is here. Yeah, have a seat. I'm cooking for you, man. That's right, yes, man. Take your coat off. All right. Stay a while. 2-1 for Mia. This is the opposite of what went down in pools. There it was, 2-1 for Tweak. So we'll see what happens. It went game five last time. It went game five at SmashCon. Tweak can bring it to a game five once again. True. Hard agree. Hard agree. And I think Mia's been doing such a phenomenal job of just taking a banana peel away from him. Or, you know, again, if it's between both of them, they're on both sides of the banana peel. It's like, look, you could come get it, but you're going to oh take some gosh. damage in return. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talk about the damage. There's another one. Oh, Mike got hammered. He said, look, I, when I tell you I'm out of here, I'm all the way out. Bye. Yeah. See ya. Don't call neither. I'm De not coming Departure. Back. That's right. <laughs> Oh my god, and the chef to protect him from a landing aerial right there. Oh, that was dangerous. He actually hit the banana on the landing, but upbeat preemptively just to be safe, but still got damage out. The Whoa. upbeat out of shield. Mm -hmm. Me, uh, just a lot. disrespectful, man. Just running up on his shield. Said, mm -hmm. What's good? What you want to do now? That's right. These frame traps getting busy right now. Hold on. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. no. Crashing into the side of the stage. Tweak going to shake that off to the best of his ability here, but Mia off mm -hmm. to a hot start. Got that banana pill in your hand, man. So you're gonna lose an option on the way down. Thanks for the damage. Uh huh. No, that's yours, bro. Oh, oh he's, he's trying to knew. rob him. Yeah. He said, "This is a heist." Okay, run yes, your sir. pockets. What a wallet at. That's right. Run it. Banana is in hand, shooting the peanuts just to take bucket off the table, mm -hmm. or at least make sure it's not the banana that's getting reflected. We okay. working on a ledge trap as well. Yeah, we got a successful banana trip here. We could potentially get a kill. Oh, oh. oh. saw the judgment right there. Didn't uh -huh. see a number. Oh, oh Tweet oh. wants that kill. I don't think that's sweet spot, so yeah. it doesn't kill yet. Wow. Oh, that's Whoa. it, though. Strongest down tilt in the game, by the way. By like 100 miles. Yes. yes. Yeah, very quick, too. Frame 6 startup, bro. That's just like, wow. Six? It's, it's crazy, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's weak. Wow. Very, very oh, greedy no. currently. He's not getting the hit at all. Throwing out these up smashes, missing the confirms. It's looking really rough for him right now. Two frame with the F tilt. Can Mir still recover? Oh my goodness. Oh, he sure can. That's Mr. Game and Watch, brother. That's right. <laughs> Oh, oh no. my god! Okay, rapid jab in the corner. This match is just starting to unravel at the seams here for Tweet. Yeah, just less is more in a lot of ways versus Diddy Kong. Where are you going, wow. brother? Oh, brother, where are you going? Oh, man. To hell, unfortunately. My wow. god! Oh man. Mia is a menace. Yeah. Mia the menace. This kid is absolutely unstoppable, man. On a collision course with either Sonics or Spargo in the winners' finals. Tweak, man, there were so many moments where it looked like he was going to win games two and three. And then, I don't know, Mia yeah. is just unshakable. And he Mia knows said there's always he a win condition. He was not worried, and you know what? Mm -hmm. He was right. Yeah, you can't be. Can't be worried, of course. You know, both sides came into that match, in my personal opinion, with a lot of confidence. You know, we've seen some up close and personal interactions that, you know, Tweak is usually known to go for. You know, he kind of switched it and, and tweaked it a little bit. He understands the potency of Game of Watch up close in some cases letting Dude. Mia swing first, but as you can see right there, Mia swinging last mm -hmm. and more importantly, swinging bigger. Great stuff, man. Mia was able to shut that one down. That was, wow. Yeah, and you know one of the things, I've seen Mia do that a lot more now, 
Dude, he racks up so much damage, right, from yeah. Chef. But a lot of times now, once he gets into these, like, last hit situations or he's, like, he wants to close it out, he'll just do one Chef, you know, throw out, throw out a steak or That's two. Right. Here. And the moment he knows, like, you're already conditioned because it's such a strong option, why would I not do that option? And guess what? That's why I'm not going to do that option. He does it a little bit, immediately runs down there. You're not going to mix me up this time. It's I'm not, not going to give you the chance. That's Bro, right. when he does his taunt, that's Pavlov's bell. He's free. Right. That's right. The conditioning <laughs> is crazy from this kid. And uh, yeah, you could see it in action, right? It, this character's so good at eliciting an action from the opponent. And uh, Mia capitalizes every single time. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just a beautiful thing to see. Just a master class of, you know, game and watch gameplay. But of course, same could be set for Tweak as well, too. The premier Diddy in the community, definitely play their absolute hard out right there on the winner's side but unfortunately gonna have to drop down to that loser side of bracket it's just on stage diddy kong very much a problem and depending on the, uh, the matchup too i mean diddy kong can also be just a terror off stage too but you got long lasting hitboxes off stage like back here on game of watch you have you know sauce at the ledge like what you brought up so beautifully bam what are you really to do to work around it just like a ledge trapper being piloted by a, a very strong ledge trapper going against a even better one man yeah, it's so sad to see Tweak, the last American player in the bracket, drop to lose his bracket. But, of course, that means he's still alive. There's still hope for us. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. the other two NA representatives, it's going to be a Latin America team kill. Uh -oh. We have Spargo repping Mexico and Sonics repping the Dominican Republic coming up next for you guys on the second side of Winter Semis. Yeah. That's right. There's going to be a good one here. These two have a lot of history between the both of them. I know we're probably going to have some stats to break it down even further. They do play quite a bit online, too. Man, big shot to Hungry Box. They have faced off numerous times. I believe just the last time you and I commentated, Max, there, mm -hmm. that it went down that way, too. But here we are. Looks like Spargo's kind of leading the charge here. Seven games to Sonics is four. Yeah, they had three tournaments where they met in grand finals toward the second half of this year. First was Gommel. Mm -hmm. Sonics came out on top. Then yes. it was Smash Factor on home turf for Spargo, where he won. And then in Miami, a two-set grand finals, a 10-game grand finals that Spargo also came out on top of. So, I don't know. As far as this set goes, it's kind of a toss-up, although I do think Spargo is the very slight favorite. Yeah, I can definitely see it going that way, too. Of course, Spargo having a, you know, just the cloud gameplay, but I mean, like we kind of mentioned in the past, it's probably going to be Pyra Mithra that's going to get the job done in a lot of ways. We have the speed and utility of Mithra, you know, the party starting options like dash attack to break that zone, kind of like what Sonic wants to do. You have Nair, you have down tilt to quick frame five option, get Sonic off his feet, but that's all with the implication that you're even going to get close enough to Sonic's to hit him. You know, once Sonic gets that leap, we've seen how aggressive he has been, but if he needs to slow it down to a crawl, to a standstill, he most certainly will do that as well. Yeah, and so this is another set that I feel like can really just change the course of that tournament, right? Sure. Because, like you said, these guys go really back and forth, and most in particular, if these guys are going back and forth, these two are also people who can go ahead and Akola still still in, right? Yep, yep, yep. Still in. Yep. Still fine for his life, but these are also people who can battle him out as well, right? Mm -hmm. These are two people that can beat him if need be. So yep. I mean, Bro. Spargo is really Akola's demon. Yes, right? yeah, absolutely. We've seen that. And absolutely. then Sonic's winning their, I believe, very first encounter, which was just a month ago at Poor Priority. Yeah. yeah. That's right, 100%, 100%. So it is most certainly a, uh, a thing that can definitely happen here, but this is all going to come down to, again, what players are really going to rise to the occasion. It's so hard to call, very similar to what we talked about with Tweak versus Light Light. Who's the, not just the better player that day, but you know, more importantly, who's the better player like in that hour that mm -hmm. you know where you're powered up and you're mentally getting into the match, who's going to rise to the occasion a bit more. And I kind of feel the same way about Sonics and Spargo, where like, I kind of have a mentality going into it. This is the you know this is kind of the record that Spargo's been having. Like man, he's been triumphing, but again, you're off stage. You're dealing with Sonics. What are you to do out here? He can douse your flames. It's so hard to call. These are the two most winningest coin box players of all time. That's by right. the way, oh, that's yeah. right. And this is absolutely a rivalry, Hungry right? Sad, Just as yeah. much as Tweak versus Light is. Uh, I think they, those two, were six and seven in sets before Tweak won today. So yeah. now it's wow. seven and seven. You know, it's just like the natural course of things. I feel like if you look at the set record, Sonics might be due for a win right Bro, now. Bro, look at the prediction, man. Perfectly balanced. <laughs> I see 2.8 wow. to 2.8. Oh, right. Now it's going to 2.9, 2 But people know, right? Like we talked about, I see already in chat, I know we talked about before, these guys, a coin boss classic, right? As well as continuing other events, always going back and forth, back and forth. Uh, okay. Despite the growth that we've seen from Spargo, yeah. um, despite the growth that we're seeing from Sonics, right? 
it just always seems to just go back. Like, they're always trying to one-up each other. I know Sonic has also said, too, that he really loves that Spargo continues to push him and motivate him Good. to be better, right? Good. And they're doing that for themselves. So That's right. Here we are. That's right. Here we are. We here made we it are. here. Somehow, some way, mm -hmm. we made it here. Yeah, it seems like yeah, just, there's here. just no ceiling for both of those two. I mean, just, again, given their track record, you know, online and offline, too, you know, Spargo kind of came into the scene through the online and then, you know, became an absolute terror, you know, showing up to the couple tournaments on the western part of the country. Yeah, in SoCal, you know, is where yep. he kind of, you know, got, it, uh, got his uh, rise to fame. And then here we are all these years later still doing it. It's crazy to see these young men grow up into, you know, the prominent men that they are today. Yeah, man. Players like Spargo, like Zamba coming up kind of in the same era and being peers for each other. And also kind of around the same time that you came up, right, Tark? Yeah, kind yeah. of. Well, I mean, like Spargo went offline starting like after a pandemic probably, uh -huh. I think. But yeah. he was an online scene. I think even back in Smash 4, I was there as well. And like... Dude, they worked so hard to get here and like they're still working so much uh, so hard every time I'm seeing like a Spargo play friendlies it's always with Sonics mm -hmm. they're trying yeah. to improve they're trying to be better they're trying to beat Japan probably together well yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. so hey, man. they're definitely trying their best to do that well it's been great to see their success and yours as well and with that I think you're about to close it yeah. out for the weekend right you got any yeah. last words for the people before you head out it's a great event here. I hope there will be another Watch the Throne. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for letting me commentate as well. It's of course. a pleasure. I love commentating like, as a side thing. I'm excited to see the rest of the bracket. Tweak, win, please. <laughs> but other than that, thank you for having me, and I'll be off now. That's right. Hey, Big shout out to Tariq Meg. Hey, yo, in the chat, can we get some For All the Frogs, okay? Yeah, where the frogs at? Where the frogs at? Where the frogs at? That's right. Frogs Hashtag at? For All the Frogs, man. Show my boy some love, okay? All right, okay. guys, thank you once again for tuning in. Thank you to Tarek for joining us. And thank you to Kony for a great job emceeing. Let's hear some more for him as he introduces our next players. Mm -hmm. Hey, sorry, Max, if you, apparently you jumped. I didn't know, I didn't know this was coming up to you guys if you guys heard that. All right, uh, so we're going to kick it over to the other part of winners. Just saw Tweak versus Mia. Now we have two fabulously talented competitors coming up again for you right now. First up. Coming from, I believe, Tijuana, Baja, Mexico. We have number two in the world. Many would say number one. One of the best Aegis players on the planet and definitely the best cloud. It's Spargo! Hey, come here, come here, come here, come here. And up next. Maybe the best player in the world right now. The pride of the Dominican Republic. The, 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 the vibe creator. The taste maker. Please welcome Luminosity Gaming's Sonics. <laughs> Casters, back to you. A young vibes check, man. Can we check them real quick? Just let's in case. check them, man. Uh, I, I think they were in question, so let's go ahead and check the vibes. Mr. Whoa, Boy, whoa. What the, what the whoa. heck? Where did you come from? Boy, talk to us, man. How you feeling, bro? You know the vibes. Yes, bro. sir. <laughs> he passed. He passed the check, vibe baby. check. We got they the world's checked. greatest gamer in the building. Without yes, sir. Question. The best. The one and only. You know, one of my brothers, man. Boyd, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Yeah. Honestly, I'm pretty excited to watch these two play. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, same, man. People can say what they want about Sonic as a character, but Sonic as a player, he brings the heat. He definitely has a fairly aggressive and interactive style, but beyond that, sets between these two are always a classic. Void, I've been meaning to ask you something. This is kind of off script, but are you technically the one of the best, if not the best, platform fighter player? Like... Between Smash and Nick and I then think, I think I'd be up there. are you One in of the that? Best. I feel like you're in that. I just been meaning to talk to you about that because yeah. every game that you pick up is just like boy, boom, no grand finals, oh, boom, absolutely. boy, you know, top three. Oh, look, look yeah. at said, Oh, absolutely. Okay, he said without question, excuse me. I okay, mean, he's Mr. Got like, bro. Yeah, that's right. Bro, you know what happened, man? <laughs> don't tell him. Yeah, no, I'm gonna tell don't him, don't man. Don't bro, <laughs> I was playing freaking combo devils still for like two days, you I'm know. Listening. And I was I bought it to people left and right. I'm like, hey man, I feel like I'm getting pretty good. This bro sits down, plays the hardest character in the demo. And literally the first game, he's like, oh, that's cool. That's it. <laughs> just literally like hits that's me it. with a like 60 hit combo and I just die. Hey, it's a fusion between Smash and good. Guilty, right? Two games that you've put a good amount of platform fighter. He just ran up yeah. on me, man. I think uh, God gamer. I think in the world of platform fighters, there's like a lot of underground <laughs> killers that yeah, what the heck? have, we got have a, a claim. <laughs> yeah. I, I would point to like Cake Assault 
as one of them. Mm -hmm. Plop as another who Plop's have kind a of demon, bro. Yeah, <laughs> transcended like playing just Smash or or just different versions of Smash. Mm -hmm. um, Life in also comes to of mind. Of course, yeah. But yep. you are definitely in in the conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. But and when it comes to gaming overall, there's yeah. no question. It's you. You it's literally you. proved it. You proved it. I mean, which is vibes. more impressive than being the best platform fighter. Player. I would have you to say so. But one thing that I haven't been able to do is make an ultimate top eight lately. And here we have two competitors who have not only been in almost every top eight that I've seen recently, they've yes, been in sir. the grand finals of majors recently. Yeah. Oh, man. No, I mean, you're, you're in top eight. You're just up here with us. Oh, it's that different. is... Hey, you made it, bud. You made it. God gamer. That's right. <laughs> he found a way. He found a way. Get the system, bro. Let's go. Get the system. Join the party. Keep Join the party. Winning. That's All right, right, that was a clean transition, by the way. You got a bright future in commentary ahead of you. I know that's man. right. It's better than us already. <laughs> <laughs> Those we sponsors are going to love you. I'm learning. I'm learning, no doubt about it. And two players that are always constantly learning from one another, of course, is Sonics and Sparkle. These two, of course, have a lot of history on and offline, as we, you know, numerously said before this time. Who is going to take it? It's the real question. I mean, I could theory craft. I could say this player has been playing better, you know, than, you know, this player at this set tournament. But at the end of the day, we don't really know until these two talented individuals sit down into the hot seat and throw down. And they are both officially in those hot seats right now. Mm -hmm. Sonics and Spargo, man. S tier for real. It's just a, a treat to watch every single time. I would not be surprised to see five games. I would not be surprised to see all five of them go down to the wire. Yeah, yeah. no doubt about it. Thousand percent, thousand percent, man. I'm, I'm really curious to see kind of what, what additions we're going to see here, right? I mean, like we said, we see you guys time and time again, man. But who is on deck with the next level adaptation? As we'll see here, going in game one, small battlefield, and we're already starting off. And man, we're going to get an easy whip punish for the starters. What That's the right. heck? Okay. I thought I saw ages. I, okay, so I'm not bugging right now. I thought I was tripping. But it looks like we're actually running the cloud right here for game number one. And I kind of like that. You know, the cloud has been cooking throughout the course of this weekend. No need to switch it up and let your opponent know, you know what I'm saying? I've been working on something or I might be a little afraid. Yeah. Go ahead and run with old Reliable. Yeah, man. I feel like this is not over reliable, particularly in this matchup, just because he always goes Aegis on Sonic. Mm -hmm. He so, does. This is kind of a learning experience for us as spectators yeah. and Spargo as a player. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Yeah, I'm really curious to see. Uh, I'm really curious on how Sonic feels about this too, right? Like you said, usually it's the classic. We talk about coin box. We talk about Aegis going up against Sonic, but this time around. So the first class is in the building, and he is chopping it down right now. Oh, and yeah. If, if your Sonic's down there, you got to be wondering, Spargo freaking Cloud? What does he know? Yeah. That's right. Maybe he knows the vibes, and I don't. Damn. You vibes? Uh-oh. We'll see. Okay. Well, Tarek was talking about wow. how anytime he's seen them playing friendlies this weekend, it's been against each other. <gasps> so maybe something yeah. happened in those friendlies. Maybe Sonic started to adapt to the Aegis really well, and Spargo thinks this is the best option. So far, it's been dead even, wow. and the first stock is going to go the way of the cloud. Okay. Spargo's picking some really good options. I want to talk about something just a little bit before that interaction offstage, being able to fare through the spring so it doesn't hit you, still keeping your momentum back towards the ledge, and then being able to force it coast to coast on the left side of the stage. That was a brilliant Right here from Mr. Sparkle. Wait a minute, there's that four air. Always frame five startup. You're out of here, bro. It's frame five? Bro, yeah, first yeah. hit is frame five. Yes, oh, yes. Which move? Yeah. Uh, fair, I'm sorry. Fair. First oh, hit is yeah, yeah. Five. yeah. Wow. Is fast. It's crazy, amazing. yeah. Up air and fair are so fast, man. Such amazing arrows. Oh, my God. Nope. Dangerously close to hitting the two frame on that down air right True. there. Looking Hold to up. catch him with the lingering hitbox as well. Neither are going to work out, but Spargo still has limit ready to go. Let's see if he can land it in time. Dang, Spargo's chopping right now. Yes, sir. I'm not going to lie. Being on the ledge versus Spargo is not fun. No. Back I know air. from experience. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> back air minus three, bro. I'm yeah. tossing these. I'm turn literally going to turn my brain off and just spam this move because it's that good. And you know he doesn't miss those forward tilts. He does not. Nope. Yeah, on the ledge or in the corner, Spargo is so hard to deal with. I mean, <clears> so is the character, but especially in these hands. Okay, good recovery here. Up air though, we're gonna get That's this chain. Bear. Easy bear, yep. That's right, glad you brought that up, bam. This utilization of up air up close. Throwing your opponent off there. I'm swinging that disjoint, bro. The yeah. space in between both these two platforms, it doesn't belong to you like how you think it does. When, Ooh, I, when I toss Nair out, you in trouble. great. Amazing defense by Sonics out of the corner to deal with Limit. Sparkle only had one interaction with his Limit. The man. entire time, 15 seconds. Oh. That, yeah, talk oh. about delaying, man. But man, gonna lose that stock. Could've gotten a little bit more damage here. Spargo in a really good position. I think Spargo just scared Sonics to death, man. The fear factor coming Forced into SD. play. Yeah, yeah, for sure. 
Would you rather uh, deal with Spargo's ledge trapping or sleep in a bed of worms? Mm -hmm. mm. Give me the worms, bro. Yeah, yeah worms, please. <laughs> Every time. That's right, without question. Good movement here from Sonics. Trying to make something happen here. It's not a deficit. Oh. oh, I'm surprised we didn't get a spin dash jump. That could have been a kill. Oh, I like this here from Sonics. Just running up and holding shield. Let him show his hand first. One big thing between the first and second stocks here, Sonic's got the revenge on the first stock very quickly. Mm -hmm. But right now, he has 77% extra credit. Is he going to be able to bring it back even if he takes the stock? That's a really good question, too. Yeah, it's you can't be afford hard. Yeah, you can't afford to go for a trade or anything. All your hits have to be clean at this point. Yeah. Oh, I like the setup there. Mm -hmm. Great movement, man. I love that bait. Don't let these numbers fool you, by the way. Sonic's could very much rip this game away from Spargo with an edge guard. Very true. I yeah, forgot about that. Uh, yeah, Cloud sharing a weakness with Aegis in that department. Uh -huh. Okay, See. another spring right now. We play in the ledge. Oh, oh man. Oh. I, for a second, I thought Sonic's grabbed. I was like, oh, no. He said, bro, I'm, in, I'm in your brain, bro. <laughs> yes, sir. I feel like we've seen this time and time again during this game. Sonic's on the ledge. Has to do with Cloud's ledge trapping, and now he has limit on his final stock of the game. Yeah, yeah. this is just great positioning wow, that's right that, here. Yes. Yeah, that's going to do This look, That's just great movement and positioning. From Spargo again, controlling the middle of the stage is so important versus uh, Sonic. Again, this is a character that can just use these platforms to increase mobility, to really fake you out on the way up, and most importantly on the way down. But it just felt like Spargo always had a hitbox there, whether it be nair or back air. You're not coming through here without having to avoid an aerial. And you yeah. saw the faintest hint of a smirk on Spargo's face <laughs> after that game, and he almost, it almost looked like he put his hand there to cover it, right? Because if he lets Sonics know, like, oh, yeah, I, okay. I feel like I figured it out, that could change the dynamic of the match. Mm -hmm. I, and shout, you know, shout outs to Devin, man, for that replay, because that in particular, too, Sparger has been landing a lot of these dash attacks off stage yes. really well through the course of this tournament, and that's a Spargo classic, right? So when he's hitting those, he's in a good time. And also, most importantly, this is a big problem here versus Sonic. A lot of times people allow Sonic to double jump in the situation and he either goes ahead for a spin dash yep. or goes to grab the ledge or something. And that should not happen. Beat both. Yes, yeah, it absolutely. Beat both. No matter what he did at that point, once he jumped back and drift in, it was a checkmate situation essentially, unless he air dodges down and then again, Spargo gets another opportunity for a kill. Great yeah. stuff there by Spargo mm -hmm. for forcing that situation. 100%. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, it's that third party air dodge privilege. Like sometimes you just get so privy to using that over and over again in the corner that you know you don't really think man my opponent's gonna punish this but nope i got a disjoint bro and so, more importantly it's dash attack this time one thing i'm really happy about with this counterfeit from sonics i know everybody's like oh ps2 small battlefield same layout right sure well when it comes to fighting cloud the platforms are a little farther from center mm -hmm. right and that's a big deal it makes it so that you have more space if you're going to the platforms you don't have to be so close to the ledge to where mm -hmm. cloud can just put you back on the ledge and that was the main spot that sonics was losing game one in yeah, so right. I'd love Very to see if Sonics pick. can use that to make his disadvantage a lot stronger against Spargo in this game too. Yeah, Let's see. and I, I love that you pointed that out because I do know that Sonics has talked about, even on stream, right, um, early throughout the weekend, how he wants to make sure that oh. he's being more cognizant of his stage picks, right? So I definitely feel like he was keeping that in mind. Oh, oh, oh yeah. No right. jump, by the way. Oh, right. yeah. No stock, by the way. Yes, right. You know the vibes. You oh, know the absolutely vibes. know the vibes. And for those of you who don't know, you about homing, to learn. <laughs> homing, homing attack can actually be uh, re reverse, right? You can be reverse homing mm -hmm. attack. And when you do that, the back hit of homing attack actually keeps you closer, and that's where you get the bear mix-up, right? Yeah. Immediately, or you, you uh, read the air dodge. It also oh, is a DI oh. mix-up, right? They might yes. be DI out for the, uh, the other one. Right. All I'm saying is Sonic's DI got mixed right there. An immediate dash attack to cover his leg drop double jump. To there just you send go. Him flying uh, to the blast uh, uh, zone. Another one. Mix is present. Dash attack. The ground game starting to become a little bit more apparent. You know, we've seen Sonic's in game number one play so well in and around these platforms, but that means that, of course, you're also off your feet in the air. Oh, this yeah. time, trying to lean into dash attack a bit more, but Cloud's glowing blue. It might be trying to put a stop Man, to big no, double. Game. Wait a minute. Oh. Calligraphy? No, not going to hit. miss. That's crazy. I feel like Sonics was getting hit in my head, yeah, and oh, suddenly free. he was fine. Yeah. <laughs> he was covered in blue. Like, what was happening? Uh -huh. I mean, he is blue, you know he what I'm saying? He is blue. He's the blue you know blur. The vibes. That's right. Hey, man. What vibes cool. might be known. Uh -oh. See ya. Love that fake out starting yeah. up with spin dash. Oh. He didn't even need to do all no, of that, but he did it anyway. He said, like, I need to send a message, okay? I kick people while they're down, just in case you ain't know. We were not really seeing the offstage game exploited at all in the first game, but Sonics has now found two clutch edge guards. It's gonna put him up a significant amount. The extra credit keeps on rolling. Okay, yeah. Back here though. Gotta get with limit. 
Right Living on reset. the edge guard. Oh my. Dude! Dash oh. attacks. That, that's three, <laughs> three out of five stocks this set that Bro. has been taken by an advantage state dash attack. You guys are just playing, man. A huge battering ram, man. It's an anti-air. It's an anti-landing tool. One frame of it only hits the ledge, but still it can check the ledge and two-frame you. My god, Spargo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got to stop hanging out at that ledge, man. Stop loitering. That's Take a step funny. back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you loitering at the ledge, man? Huh? That's right, man. Hurry Sometimes up. I gotta be there. Hurry up and buy something, yeah, bro. Hurry up yeah. and move. Come through. Yeah, get out. <laughs> you're gonna buy out something, here. buy something. Okay. Just okay. throwing out these aerials to check him right here. 0.1% apart, by the way. Mm hmm. Now, of course, we've seen uh -oh. both of the stocks in this game about taking an advantage state from Spargo, but kind of an edge guardy situation from Sonic. Yeah. So whoever has center stage is going to have an advantage wow. during this game. That's right, man. I, I like that, too, from Sonic. Just holding forward, you know, again, running up, stopping, quick frame three jab, just pushing the advantage to the left side of stage. Man. Oh, oh, that's that's it. It. Get off the ledge. Bro. Another dash attack. Bro. Another one. Another one. Another. Four out of six stops Coverage. from Spargo. Coverage. Taken by Advantage State Dash Attacks. Man, I do it on the left side. I do it on the right. I can do it everywhere you like, man. It doesn't matter. Man, Another look at this audience. One. Yo, audience, man, give it up for yourself. Give it I don't up. know if y'all can hear us, but clap it up for yourself, okay? We love the fact that you guys are all here and present at Watch the Throne. Yeah, thank you all for coming, man, supporting the event, by buying the uh, attendee pass, and even just with your vibes, right? Just bringing some energy to the room, showing these players that they got a, a deep fan base, and people really did come out to watch them play. Yeah. Dude, and how could you not? With not going to lie, like it was this. mad funny. Like, you throw in the crowd and just watch clapping. Shout <laughs> <Right. laughs> out to watch, dude. Shout out to watch. <laughs> yeah. He's dude, watching the throne. That's the shirt. That's right. This event's been very cool. Very happy to be here, as specifically a spectator, mm -hmm. you know? Again, I I can't not recommend this event to anybody if a Watch the Throne again happen, right? Yeah. That's right. Hey, we'll try to make it happen, that's for sure. Let's okay. get into it, man. Game three here. Back to PS2. And already Sonic's turning it up here. Hey, Sonic's has to make it happen here. Doesn't quite have a choice. And as far as his winter side bracket life is concerned, jumps right over that. Of course, a lot of real estate here, so I can see that coming. He said, look, if you want to stay over there, I don't mind. I'm going to glow blue, too. You ain't the only one. True. I'm going to turn blue as well. I also really like how Blade Beam works in this matchup, right? Just something yeah. like flank out spin dash. Stop mm -hmm. Sonic in his tracks. You don't have access to that as Aegis. Yeah. And the dash attack, it's kind of like a halfway point between Tyra's and Mithra's, where it's yeah. strong, it has a big hitbox, but it's also pretty fast. Now, right there, I saw Sonic shaking his head in the player cap, maybe getting a little frustrated, you know? Maybe realizing that the victory oh, could oh, be escaping. Yeah, his get chopped. Wait, 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 chop. Recovery, oh, yep. Oh, Reversal. See ya. That was so smooth, man. No, Spring in frame four. Such a quick and just just destructive option in the corner. He's like, yo, I've seen this class before. I've been there. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You limit cross slash me? Game. Game. <laughs> you gotta think that was maybe 10% of oh, the Oh, I got hit by limit cross slash. GG, shake my hand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. Yeah, that was almost untackable, man. Great call right there, Max. That was smooth. But one thing here, Cloud taking the first stock. You notice it's 0 0, but Cloud is 90% limit charge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So definitely an advantage from Spargo being able to get this stock as quickly as he did. That's true. Sometimes, though, you want Limit to come online later in the stock. Yeah, so you don't lose it before you can kill. But Sparkle already doing so much damage. Yo, I'm not going to lie, man. I kind of feel a finishing touch on the way Hold. just because of how Sparkle is playing right Hold. now. Yeah, I can Hold. see it. I can see Wait it, too. Wait for it. Ah. Wait a minute. You tried it. Maybe to end the set, bro. If he 3-0's a finishing touch, I'll lose my mind. That, I do feel like crazy. throughout the weekend, Sparkle's been feeling himself. He has. I'm not going to lie. Return to form. Play, yeah, it's been really nice to see as a spectator. Mm -hmm. He's had a few events recently where he just wasn't up to par. I mean, really just poor priority, right? Kind of the worst performance he's had in a long time. Yeah. But he did win Let's Make Lose Miami right before that. So mm -hmm. I don't know. The kid's clearly still here to play. And yeah, another head shake right there by Sonics. I know he's frustrated. Gonna have to try to find something here. Not gonna uh -oh. get up there, good dodge. Wow, just dash barely attack. missed that dash attack is out. I love that again. This utilization of Jack oh. right there. Oh. Trades are you done? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You are done. Now let's see if Sonic can actually maintain the lead this time. Probably gonna go for back throw. You're off stage. Now you know better. Don't play around with me in this corner. You know dash attack is always on to the ready. It's back at the ledge. City, though. You know the vibes. You know the vibes <laughs> at the ledge now. That's right, boom. So it's my favorite dance move. Okay. Oh, good landing there. Not going to get anything out. Oh, for what a grab. Yeah. 
Hey, man. Back to the ledge. Oh, but What's you know up? the vibes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nah, I, I think there's no way we can make this match last four minutes, even with the power of Sonic oh, the Hedgehog. Oh, oh. wow. He My had the goodness. burn limit yeah, for that. Yeah, good catch there. That was actually really good by Sonic. But man, that dare. It's so crazy of a reversal, man. It's insane. It's so wild. Yeah, you got to respect Cloud on the way down in a way that most other characters don't ask you. The up B actually stuffing out Another spin. One? Another one. Oh, one. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Whatever. Just do it no, again. Homing no. attack. Oh, yes, sir. Another and one. And it's even. And it's even. Another one. Okay. Oh. Okay, go make a pay for it that time. You okay, already okay. Oh. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Oh, yeah. Clean it is up. Clean it up. Oh, okay. Another one. Even a trade would have got it done, but he's going blue right now. Going to be here a little while longer. Good carry. Good corner carry here. Good up here. Oh. Oh, no air dodge either. Man. Sonic saying, I'm waiting as long as possible yeah, to commit man to an moves. option. Okay, okay. and li just like that, limit is gone. Okay. And it's coming back. <laughs> air dodge. Right <laughs> now. Seriously. Like so oh. close. Okay, threatening that space as always. The ground options so strong right here on Sonic's behalf. It's hard to punish forwarder and backer on shield, mind you. Smart right there on Sonic just to roll away. Get off me. What Let me go. Catch. Oh, man. Didn't get what he wanted, though. But that bear is going to be a big deal Spring. here. Oh, limit, yeah, limit. forced to burn. Okay, oh, smart to not go for dash attack there, though. Did that no! stay at the six? Dash attack again. 109. That DI definitely suspect. Oh, but my God. Still, it's crazy that it's even possible to kill that early with that move. <laughs> We're so back. In We're the in neutral. You know the vibes. Wow. Yeah, right? Oh, man. my God. Jeez, man. 3-0 Spargo over Sonics. Whoa. Dude. The most dominant set from either of these two in a while. Again, yes. let's make moves Miami. 3-2 both times in Grands. I believe it was 3-1 for Sonics in Winner's Finals. So they usually always at least trade games. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I feel like those sets were ages. They if I'm not mistaken. They are ages, yeah. Yeah. 10 Which games. Is Grand Finals at Smash Factor 2, I think. Yeah, so this is very different, right? This is something where he's going to have to go back to the drawing board. Now, does he have so. time with the, himself and his coach to, to make sure that can happen? I think so, but yeah, I I know he is frustrated on that one. And yeah. you know very well, Sonics is the type of player where he will bring it back. Yeah. But mm -hmm. again, I just have to pose the question, what does Spargo know? He knows what something we don't. What is different about today that pulled out the cloud to a point where he could 3-0 Sonics, who, in my opinion, has been looking like potentially the best in the world. He might yeah. have hit people with the Kansas City Shuffle, man, because I, I feel like everyone's just... Like, he told everybody, yeah, I'm just going to do Aegis. I'm never playing Soldier First Class. Yep. And lo and behold, pristine condition. Yeah, it got it got cloudy, that's for sure. Dash attacks on deck. Look yeah. at this. Again, just controlling the corners of the stage, I think, was something that... You know, Sparkle did a really good job at just keeping bro, to a bare look minimum. At this. He said, I'm trying to run away. Yeah, come oh, here. Oh, yeah. You got to spin. You got to spin there. Come back, wow, bro. Come on. Dude. What you so scared oh, of? Man. Uh -huh. He said, Look, I'm down to take spring off stage, but I'm not going to allow you to keep back airing me. And the times that he did get back air, he had limit to save himself. Man, you see that? He was like, I'm the best. Yeah, it, very, the best. very happy to defeat his rival and earn a spot in the winner's finals against Mia now. And also, that's a great matchup for Spargo's character pool. Oh, yeah. I might want to point out, Game & Watch does not do well into the swords. Of course, Mia is cut from a different cloth than any swordy, or than any Game & Watch you've ever seen before. But it's still pretty promising. I think, you know, NA might have a shot at taking this tournament based on the matchup. Uh, but yeah, Bam, like you were saying, Spargo kind of baited everyone into thinking the cloud might be a thing of the past. He did say that on Twitter recently, right? Yeah. And I don't know if it was something that happened in the friendly sessions between these two this weekend or just how well his cloud's been performing against other opponents, but uh, Spargo, despite winning their last encounters, staying innovative. It's like what Proto does, where he'll win a game and then counterpick you even though he didn't lose. Yeah, it's true. Got to stay ahead of the opponent. Especially mentally as well, too. Kind of playing that game a bit more. Uh, wow, Cloud. I mean, again, I thought I knew everything there was to know about Cloud, especially with Spargo being the premier Cloud versus the premier Sonic in the world, but hey, bringing us something a little bit different to the table. And yes, let's go ahead and take a peek at this bracket right here, man. We got Mia and, of course, Spargo sent very comfortable on the winner's side of bracket. Uh -huh. Winner's finals to be exact. We got Akla and Tweak right here, losers Ooh. quarterfinals, and Ken and Sonic a on the back. other side. Yes, a run back indeed. Yeah, man, and I mean, obviously, we saw that crazy, insane 3-0 that happened earlier on. We might get a repeat. And yeah, with now Spargo being able to beat one of his key challengers in Sonic's, 
Who's I mean, left? of course, Mia's been playing really well, but Sparkle just seems to have Mio's number, Arcola's number. He's sitting pretty right now. This That was the big challenge for him, and he did it in a 3-0 fashion. Yeah, man. That is also, like, a very good point. You know, to get to winner's finals, mm -hmm. Spargo had to beat Aqua. He had to beat Sonics. Yeah. And now he's going to have to fight Mia. Is this going to be one of the most dominant winner's bracket runs we've be. seen? I would have to, I would have to say so. That's, you know, of course, we're counting that as if Spargo is for sure going to beat Mia. If he wins. I think history indicates that he's got the edge. But the way that both of them are playing today, I could see anyone taking it. Mm -hmm. this, this is crazy, though. It seems like uh, Spargo is like Japan's public enemy number one, yeah. right? Because he he is so strong in the Godzilla, head to head man. against it. Uh, bro, <laughs> hey, man, I was going to say it if you didn't. Spark, Spark, <laughs> Spark, Spark, Spark Zilla. 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 Spark Zilla in the building. He's here. <laughs> oh. Spark God. Spark Godzilla. Wait a minute. Spark, Spark, Spark Godzilla. Godzilla. Friend. Yeah. Minus gonna... one. Seth <laughs> Yeah, but okay. now getting into it, we have Tweak versus Aquila. Again, this is loser's quarterfinals. Loser gets fifth. And Tweak going Sephiroth, if I'm not mistaken, for the first time this event. Yeah, I would have to think so. Yeah, I mean, I like it on paper, of course. You know, long disjoint. I'm a sortie. I have the physical space around me that I can cover. I can try to break that zone with dash attack. My quickest option is probably there out of shield. It's frame 12. I mean, it's, it's I don't know. I'm not, I don't know about the Sephiroth, but I, I understand why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not like it's any easier for Diddy Kong, right? And yeah. you see the record 4-0 and in Oculus' favor on both characters. Uh, oh, wow. my lord, a zero to death to open it up. Tweak, maybe finding out the hard way that this character is not going to hang at the top, top level so well. One thing, too, I mean, again, <laughs> if it's the first time he's gone Seph during this event, the Seph is not warm. Oh, shit. Yeah, Going into right, top true. five of Watch the Throne, are you down to pull out a not very warmed up character? Well, it seems like Tweak is down, you know? Yeah. Maybe and he's just trying to, you know, get his legs up underneath himself. Like, you know, it's Sephiroth game one, and then oh we'll see how the rest God. of it goes. But my Only God, Only 9% Sephiroth. though, man, on Akola. Up throw. N another nair, but you got to make sure it's airtight, because I will always anvil through that. A piece of shield left. I'm talking microscopic. Yep. Oh, can't get the back air out in time. Okay. Still hanging on here, getting Whoa. some damage going off the wall. Yes, yeah, Steve's gonna protect himself with that. Oh no. Yep. Oh, he stage. went into the mouth. The wall disappeared. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> what a menace. Yeah. No. Uh oh, what are those? No, Dude, that. no, nah. no way you heard that. Are you yeah. real? No, that's wow. Not, one, on, not on me. And one big thing, you gotta think about it. If there's a wall behind Steve, the way you kill him is vertically. Yeah. How does Sephiroth kill vertically? I, very, right. very Run limited up up options. <laughs> Run up up Honestly, kill it all here. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. He's built himself a you house. Lose. I got a home. What's up? GG's. <laughs> Dang, man. He said, what up, baby? That's right. Come so through. Come on Best believe oh, I'm it's camping. It's a different one. It's a different Dang, one. My different boy's one. an interior designer. Oh. Creative mode. <laughs> yes, sir. Dare I say a little bit of BM from Akala? Not not like, hey, you suck, but just like, yeah, you know, I, I can afford to play around right now. He can right do now. it. Again, Sephiroth isn't really going to kill vertically. He has to get a run-up tilt or maybe an up air, which is really slow. Yeah. You know? Usually he's a horizontal killer. Uh-oh. Off stays with... Fair trying to catch him on the way back. I think that's been kind of a reoccurring trend throughout the yeah, course the of the weekend. Is, is trolling him. Yeah, the high card in. I got the aerial on the punish, but yeah, I mean, Akla's just shooting around in the gym right now. He's a very comfortable, very much at home. Yeah, he can afford to make so many mistakes based on Whoa. how light Sephiroth is, based on the resources he's yeah. got. It's just so four airs. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that, I'm sorry. That lived forever. <laughs> it's just so <laughs> unlikely that Tweak will have the durability to bring this one back. Yes, and even with the comeback mechanic, the that wing. is Sephiroth's uh -huh. wing. This is probably only going to last another stock. Yeah. There's no yeah. way it's going to last for the whole comeback. So there's going to be a point if Tweak does bring this back that he has to play wow. as bait Sephiroth. Yeah, he loses durability on the wing for every point of damage he deals and every stock he takes. Takes a uh, significant amount away. Mm-hmm. Right, the oh. Shadow Flare gonna go away. Yeah. That's right, but the sword can definitely threaten space between the blocks. So I do like that option too, but it has to, you know, kind of be mixed up just a little differently. Of course, you know when Sephiroth swings, he swings big, but you know, those are very easy moves to parry. And yeah, my man said, I'm home, bro. Uh-huh. Stop, yeah. bo stop bothering me. Mm-hmm. If you're Let not DoorDash, get out of here. Let me mine. Yeah, as patient as Tweak wants to be, that just means Akula gets a million anvils, a million mine carts every time he hits him. 
You have to think so much harder when those are in play. Now, one thing I do love about a lot of top players is uh, they've been getting comfortable fighting the anvils, fighting the mine cards. They have, yeah. So for Tweak, he's like, all right, you do the thing that you're going to do anyways. I'm just going to try to find ways to beat you. Yeah. And I'm sure that's what's going through Tweak's mind right now. He's not worried about the wall. He's not worried about the iron. He simply wants to find the way to win. And if he can, get to that point. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. It's just like a precision check every time, though. You hit this guy away. Are you prepared for these really, you know, uh, controlling options? Yeah, right? yeah. they're sure, very sure. overwhelming. The sure. thing is, each of them are burst options. Yeah, one's that's a true. vertical burst option, yeah. one's a horizontal burst option. So it doesn't matter if I'm not next to you. And sometimes it doesn't matter if I'm next to you. I'm going to let it rot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, and he can jump off of both of them. Yeah, <laughs> so it'll be tough for Tweak regardless to make this comeback. Akala making it difficult for him, but Tweak is still fighting. You can see it. You can Man. see it in the way he's playing. And the wing is gone. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Okay, it's just the, the way it looked. Yeah. Just building his house up, man. The cheapest house in San Jose, mind you. Facts. Whoa. My, my man has built a whole community at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. This is what I mean. There's there's not many ways that Sephiroth can find a way to kill here unless he kind of overcommits. And if you overcommit, he can tech on the wall, right? Yeah. So it's a tough situation. But oh there my. is an out. There is an out. Oh, wow. You saw the sparks, but still not strong enough to be untechable. Oh, the up throw. And the okay. up throw. Anvil on the way down, though. You already know. So one thing I have to point out, I just have to do this. There's a minute and a half yes, on the clock. There is. The clock has been ticking. Tweet cannot take his time to deal with this wall as much as he wants to. Yeah, he has to work quickly right now. Otherwise, Akala is just going to win by default. I almost can't envision it happening, but he's going to have to find a way soon. Yeah, I mean, just due to the space that Tweak is bringing, I mean, he, he's baiting out these grabs right here from Akala, but no. after the throw, he's not really getting a fall. Okay. Finally, after it's another whip grab, he actually was able to capitalize here, but with 57 seconds left, I'm a little afraid right now for Tweak. Actually, I'm more than a little afraid. I'm bigger afraid Not right just now. 57 seconds left. 50 seconds and no wing. No That's wing. true. There's no wing on Wingless. this Sephiroth. And he has to score a KO on this Steve. The Steve who we've been seeing build a wall behind him for the last couple minutes. And one very important thing, if you notice, Steve's resource bar is actually starting to turn a little gray. Yeah. Uh oh And you can see the tempo shift from Tweak. He's starting to come at Akala a little bit faster. Huh? All right, that's uh -oh. one. That's two. Uh -oh. oh my God. It's it's doable, uh -oh. but it's just very uh -oh. unlikely. Twenty seconds Yo, left. Steve. No, this is a wrap here. Yeah, I think it's it's looking oh. like so close. That was a huge opportunity. Yeah, the next it. opportunity has to be a KO for Tweak. Otherwise, this is Aqua's game. Yeah, this is looking yeah. like Aqua's game right here. Yeah. yeah and there we go. Diamond dash attack. Five seconds on the clock. You guys hear him say he five. five. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. <laughs> five. Five. <laughs> Even the announcer was annoyed. He's like, man, for crying out loud. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, game one. Certainly a slow burn, six minutes, 55 seconds long. Tweak really taking his time, not trying to overcommit, but you saw it worked against him. He just wasn't able to do enough damage in time. I look at him, look at the wall. Yeah. <laughs> He's, He's like, just like, yo, this, rock, hey, look at this. Yo, this place is nice. Dang, man. Is that a thing? I, yeah. I, I might be trying to hang a portrait pretty yeah, soon. Hold up. <laughs> right here? Right here. Nah. nah Don't right. get too comfortable, maybe man. Maybe the next wall. Maybe yeah. the next maybe, one. Maybe the next one I build. Next time, next time. Okay, next oh, yeah, game. Next yeah. game is more like it right here. Game at number two is here. And, you know, like you mentioned, Max, definitely a, a slow burn in that last one, but for good reason. I feel like Tweak was definitely trying to figure some things out. And. You know, I I think despite even how that one played out, definitely there was a lot of notes to be taken. Curious to see how he's going to apply it here. Right now, taking a lot of damage. Sephiroth, a big target. Yeah, Easy this to is looking like around. shades of game one already, man. Oh, oh. He needs to be able oh, to get killed. Yes, it will. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. God damn. It's insane how long that up tilt into up smash combo is valid for, and the percents of the up smash And how kills light that. Steph is. I, I yep. hate to say it, Tweak did better on this first dog than the last game, so I'm yeah. on Copium. Let's go, Tweak. Okay, there we go. 9%. Oh, let's go. 27. All right. Okay. Hold on. There it is. Nair. Yeah. Best option up close, I'd, I'd say. Oh, no. Another oh. up tilt chain. This time with the gold, so the swings are oh. even faster. The TNT at the ledge. The block on top. It just feels Jesus, so man. difficult to work around this. Oh, and setting the anvil up as well. Akala's always gotten su uh, got something cooking for you, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tweak trying his hardest to avoid the re-grab right there. A bit of a high recovery, but no punishment right there on Akala's behalf. 
and harassing. Not even having to leave your feet wow. much when you're Sephiroth against such a long character. Uh, get get that out of here. Yeah, Again? goodbye. Again? Another one. Wow. Goodbye. Another one. Flying wow. without wings right there, man. Goodbye. Just building on him. All right. Three very healthy stocks on Oculus part. I feel like next game we're probably just going to see a shot at the Diddy Kong or maybe even some secret third option that we're not thinking of yet. But, uh, yeah, Sephiroth not getting the job done. It seems like the Steve players have really figured this one out. Look, man, I'm just going to say it, and I know nobody wants to hear it. I want to see the banjo. Okay. I don't want to hear that. So I know, I, I know, I know, I know you don't. I know you don't. But I, damn it, I I'm taking off my headset. No, no, no. Who are Maybe you saying that get, for? Get back here. I might be down for like Pokemon <laughs> Trainer. Here. Pokemon oh, yeah. Trainer. Could Forgot be about Pokemon Trainer. There's also a Young Link too on that utility belt. So I mean, Tweet, of course, you know, very well equipped. That hey, character yo, repertoire. Man. <laughs> Countering the minecart, but wow, it didn't even connect with Akala here. Running out of options, mm. not even running out of time. There's still a full five minutes to go, basically, but uh -huh. this is looking bad. He's bleeding out. Yeah, this matchup looks so sad. Mm -hmm. And this goes back to what I said during the first game. Even if he starts bringing it back, he's not going to have the wing forever. Nope. Yeah. And wing is on, uh, it's on limited supply, definitely, yep. here. It is a comeback mechanic, even if I don't want to believe that. <laughs> It helps him come back, and he's going to have to take one of these stocks and base Sephiroth for him. And in a fast oh, no. way. Wow. Two. Three for three? Bro. That just works on, on everyone. 80% that both comboed and killed. Now, Sephiroth is he's, he's one of the greatest characters to combo. Yeah. yeah. He's light. Yes. He's huge. Fast faller. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. He's, and he's sandbag. Now, I might be a little <laughs> off saying this, but we don't see Aqua go for that three for three stocks often. Yeah, we don't. We don't. You're right. Yeah, I think so, he just knew. Like, he just went into it thinking, yeah, this is this is checkmate yeah, every time. Yeah, he's cooked. All right, Diddy Kong coming out to play here. I like this choice. I think, honestly, yeah, you've got all the range in the world of Sephiroth, but Diddy's a little faster, a little tougher to put in a bad spot. <laughs> Still not a great matchup, though. Yeah, all right, all right. Akla is just, just banged from Batman, man. The mask, the every damn thing, man. Just, this is a villain. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I got to say about this, at least Diddy, Diddy has ways to fight for, or vertically mm -hmm. when it comes to kill percents. He has ways to fight when it comes to the wall being, <laughs> being there. <laughs> this might be the play, Gavin. actually. He, he's already shown that he doesn't care how many resources Akla is able to build. This might be an intentional timeout strategy by Tweak. If he I'll can hit him it. once, he might just be out of there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> sometimes less is more. Both sides filling each other out. Aklis said, look, man, I don't mind pitching a tent, my boy. I'm perfectly A-OK. -okay. The one thing you got to think when it comes to a matchup like this, who gets the biggest hit first? Exactly. Because that's going to set the pace. It's not who gets the hit first, Almost but who gets minute. the biggest hit. Yes. Uh, okay, he's gonna do it. He's gonna run away. Yeah, this looking a uh, very competitive brawlish in my personal yeah. opinion. You know. Oh yeah. Man, yeah. and I get that first hit. Yeah. We just stay on this platform. Come get me, ice climbers. Oh, oh no, that already did more than the two hits. Tweak Damn. found, and the diamonds in play, so everything's gonna hurt. Yeah, he's blinged out right now, man. Shining. Tweak, he's gotta approach. Gotta make something happen here. Did he does have some low percent combos oh. like that? And there they are, present in full effect. Even in this thing back up, 2% differential, but wait a minute. Every misstep you take, Akla will be there to extend the lead. And yeah, bye. Move yep. you, oh, man. I'm, I'm going to my room, man. Oh, man, in the wall, just slightly thwarting Tweak's plans right yeah. there. So close. This, this is 100% going to time, unless... Oh. Not, not like this. Can he get it? Oh! oh. <laughs> Monkey business. I there like we go. it. Okay, up by 11. <gasps> Wait, is he drop banana pill? Nothing. Oh, yeah. Don't Easy. jump around me, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Up tilt bear. It's a strong tool. Two minutes off the clock. Wow. Give me Two that. minutes before the first oh, stop. It's, oh, it's dead even. Damage. Wow. 97.8 each. Oh, my God. But, yeah, again, giving him so many diamonds, potentially a mistake for this kind of strategy. I feel like when it comes to this, I've talked to many top players. You give them one diamond, you'll give them the rest. I'm down to fight it as long as I can find a way to win. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't change the actual move, right? It does make it a little better on block and obviously makes it do more damage, which is very relevant yeah. here. Oh, oh, no way. Speaking of, Damn. great example of the Diamond Fair taking Tweak's first long two and a half minutes into the game. Yeah, and some of those moves just become faster just in terms of frame data too, don't they? So not uh, for gold. diamond. Yeah, for gold. gold. For gold. Yeah, for gold. Okay. Yeah, this is just uh, starting to unravel a little bit right here for Tweet. Tweet, of course, still going to elect to just 
breakaway. You know, I don't mind you setting up shop right here. All I know is that I need one hit, possibly a down tilt. I can sneak that up, smash in, and even this game out. Mm -hmm. and the flaw with this strategy is when you go down a stock, because now you don't only have to approach Steve, you have to find a kill move on him. You gotta find a notable neutral win, as I like to say, and it, it's usually a lot easier for Diddy Kong, but when it comes to landing with a block in front of you, it can become a lot harder to find a banana to whiff punish the moves that Steve does have. Uh-huh. Tweak's doing a great job of avoiding him, but still, you need a little more than that right now. Yes, you do. Especially with all the stone, each of those walls is gonna be even harder to break down than normal. Oh, okay. Hey, Anvil on the way down, good job. Scouting what? it out. What just happened? He said, stay away from that banana yeah, pill, man. Yeah, Perfect yeah. parry. Oh, we're off stage. Yeah, we're looking oh. for it, not gonna get it. Turning it up. Oh, man. Oh, God, now just you're a down. simple string, man. Up until the bear. Just enough damage for him. Oh, oh no, man. No, no sweet spot. spike. Okay, if we can just figure out a way to, you know, maybe mount this comeback. Now, one thing that I actually have been noticing during this set specifically, mm -hmm. where Aqualot is setting up his walls pertaining to PS2 is a pretty big deal. If he, he can put it in front of the main platform, or he can put it kind of in or to the side of it, and it's pretty hard to maneuver and use the platform to your advantage. Because, look, look at the height. Yeah, that's <laughs> even, true. even if you get on the platform, you got to jump slightly over it. I mean, it, 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 it oh, feels like these are really nice. good. Okay. Okay, with Wait the a minute. need of a footstool, Tweak finds that stock. <laughs> so maybe it is the slow game. He said, look, if we're both going to play hit and run, I actually don't mind you having your tools in order. I'm going to hit you, and I'm going to get the heck out of there. Oh, oh and the get-up attack. Wow. Oh. I have, like, rarely ever seen that move. Yeah, the get-up attack off of a yeah. banana trip? Yeah. Okay, back to the ledge. You have two minutes to deal 80%, and that's assuming Ooh. you don't get killed in the process. Oh, oh, and there man. we go. Max. Roadkill, man. Max. Hey, man, look, that's my dog. You know I didn't want that. Max. Come on. It's the commentary curse. All right. Now it's going to be full aggro. Tweak knows, even though he takes damage for that, if the barrels connect with Steve, it's a whole lot more damage for him. Mm -hmm. But this goes back to the predicament of the first game. Tweak has two minutes to take two stocks. Yeah. And then Aqua, I mean, he really just has two minutes to survive. It's a very different game for both of them right now, and the more Tweak decides to wait, the more the clock starts ticking. 100%, 36, man. 35. How long is he going to wait until he tries to pick an option that may or may not win him the game? It's a million-dollar question right here, and it's looking like Aqua kind of has all the answers just when it comes to stuffing out some of these approaches here from Tweak. Of course, yeah, the Anna Pill is still in hand. This is like checkmate here, man. Yeah, I mean, this is still Diddy Kong the most dangerous when, you know, Tweak has time to think and he has Banana Pill, but you are in the deficit and some of that slow paced gameplay that, you know, originally worked is not a thing anymore. Gotta hold forward right now. Mm -hmm. He said, please throw the Banana Pill down. I'm looking for it. And the platform just protecting him perfectly, man. Yeah. It's like the platform is a part of the house, it is yes. the roof. Yes. yes. You don't That's need it. Very, house. very important roof. You don't even need to build the horizontal blocks to protect yourself. And yeah. man, credit to Tweak for trying something new. I like the idea, but unfortunately, he's just kind of done it to himself. Mm hmm. All right. Now, I hate to say it, it kind of looks like Tweak is done. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, showcasing how great Diddy Kong can move. You know, I'll give him that. Nobody moves quite like Tweak's Diddy Kong. Facts. But, uh, yeah, this is looking a little. A little out of order right now for Tweak. Aqua said, look, I don't mind this, bro. Yeah, bye. You wanted to disengage so bad, too? I mean, look. And the one thing I haven't been seeing too much about Aqua here is just a one block high wall. I feel like it works really well for him in the past, but yeah. I mean, here the three block high is doing more than enough. Yeah, the not five block up. high. All right, well, okay. Game three boiling down to a timeout, a little bit of a tech showcase in the end. Again, I'll, I'll give it up to Tweak. I think it was a viable strategy, right? If you deliberately run the timer, because you know this character doesn't love to interact, mm -hmm. yeah. you could win by virtue of percent and life lead, right? Right. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, giving Aqua access to so much iron, to so many diamonds, that just means that every time you slip up, every time you lose that one interaction, yeah, you eat you're gonna a lot get a of ton damage. of damage. It was yeah, very, yeah. Uh, very Brawl-esque, you know, like I get that hit and then boom, I'm on the top platform and now I'm not trying to come back on center stage because I don't want to be chain grabbed or I guess in this case, you know, be hit with diamond, any damn thing. So, yeah, uh, very messed up stuff right there, you know, with, you know, how that all kind of, you know, played out. But, you know, again, it was a viable strat and, you know, there is a lot of promise to it if it gets kind of etched out, etched out, excuse me, in the future. But 
for the time being is Akla that's going to move on Tweak Force is going to drop right there now I do agree uh, that strategy is strong but it has a major drawback like we brought up before if you lose the first stock that's right mm -hmm. suddenly the clock's your enemy that's right yeah. yep and yeah, he, ba he baited that one in exactly like, you bet on that Yep, you gotta know that you're yeah. pretty much playing the game of the first stock could be game. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, and, and that's why I always give credit to someone who deliberately tries to run the clock. Yeah, honestly, even like the Sonic players, etc. Because the price for messing that up is mm -hmm. massive. Yes, that's right. That's right. And, and you now have to play from behind and in a rush. So either way, great stuff to tweak this tournament, man. Falling only to Mia and Aquila, two front runners for the number one yeah. global ranking spot. Um, but yeah, we just unfortunately didn't see that strategy bear any fruit. No. Yeah, yeah but not at all. Again, I mean, today is today. Tomorrow's another day. It is. And I'm very sure we'll see that strategy again in the future to much more success. We I better. believe in tweak skill. I believe in the skill of the strategy when it comes to you fighting Steve. Mm -hmm. And, you know, again, a lot of players will try it out. You guys always hear the tales of timeout zero suit or timeout chic, blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. People, timeout people, Diddy. Timeout Diddy, dude. People understand what it means to pick a character and be like, okay, from the beginning, every interaction matters five times more than what it used to. That's yeah, right. You got to count really your punches does, yeah. uh, differently. And really I, really I, you know, I also like the two characters you did it with, too. Sephiroth to kind of, you know, fill out the terrain, you know, where this yeah. match is going to go just in terms of pacing. And I get it. Sephiroth can be a very aggro character at times. But, you know, despite some of the wonkiness that Sephiroth brings to the table, um, it's probably more in your benefit to maybe play a slower place game. You know, you're out of shield and air. You know, please run up on me so I can hit you with this. So... Um, not quite playing out the way Tweak may have thought, but I definitely seen sort of like what he was cooking with. Just, of course, he fell a little short right there. Yeah, I mean, that's just going to be a rough one, man. I, I think that's something that a lot of people are really trying to figure out, man, long term. The, what is the Steve, counterplay? Right? Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, it's, it's strong. It's just so strong. Oh, and he's it, the best. Yeah, I mean, he's like, it's so, it's like, it's crazy too because the character's damage output is so insane as well. Yeah. Right? So it's like, you you're going there they're they're getting progressively stronger as time goes by and then if you chase them they hit you with you know especially if you just go above you get hit with up tilt mm -hmm. next thing you know you take 80 damage mm -hmm. if you're not doing the, the guaranteed stuff so i mean i i know that a lot of steves too that are putting out some counterplay here and there but again we're, we're seeing it the this character is is the best yeah, it is. and it is getting harder and harder for people to find those those kind of oh, options for that's right now ken i believe if i'm not mistaken and somebody you know feel free to correct me you know that's what the twitch chat is for i feel like he does not like the the mirror match no he does well, he just lost I it heard he, he, he does, does. Okay, that, that's but that's how bad yeah, he got beat but okay he got, but that's he how got bad he got cooked. beat <laughs> okay he got cooked yeah he did he had, in he this got, he got exact earlier. same player matchup earlier this weekend gotcha 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 crazy how he saw no sephiroth until the losers quarterfinals of this tournament yeah and now we got two yeah, yeah. yeah. that's coming back the definition of a counterpick character though i don't know if you should counterpick into sonic with him but it's kind of a terrible matchup we'll see if ken's able to do anything with it though okay well let's see how it all unfolds i mean 91 percent not the hottest start in the world but wing is present Man, we were going to have to start a Ceph Stats Twitter yeah, account soon enough. No. Sora is at least winning now. Kamehameha <laughs> bringing the Sora to light. Uh-oh. True. We'll have to see if the Sephiroth can get a dub here at Watch the Throne. All right, get up there. We're going to need you more than that. F-Tilt opportunity here. You have right. to chase recovery. No, you cannot. The Swordy Classic F-Tilt in the corner, especially for a character like Sephiroth. I'm so long, I don't have to be anywhere towards the silver parts. On Pokemon Stadium 2, I can swing up very big. Oh my god, back here through the Pokeball. Talk about range. <laughs> it's the range, bro. Man, top of the morning. Wow. My but god. Sephiroth being an incredibly tall character, Sonic hit him with a short hop rising back here to take that stop. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Broke his neck, kicking the back of his head right there. Sonic's off to a great start here. Oh, three Shadow Flares to deal with, though. Let's see, does Ken have the pressure? Oh, it doesn't even matter. Clips out of the initial dash. Okay, let's see what Ken can start up here. Has the Sonic's shot. at uh, 112, right? So despite, you know, having oh, a hardship. Oh, 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 you already know. Oh, oh he doesn't get it. But oh, 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 you're, you're gone. Oh, Goodbye. My oh, that my God. That was ridiculous. That was OD. Kenergy is okay. present. My goodness. And yes, you just have so much leverage in this matchup because you can do pretty much whatever you want up close to personal on Sephiroth. Once you break that zone that he's putting up around him, 
bro. It's a bad time. And you know it's a problem when Sephiroth gets his wing at 30%. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Also true. It's a rough timeline. Now, surprisingly, a big Man. difference between the Tweak Aqua set. When we saw Sephiroth with the wing, one stock to three, there was maybe two minutes left on the clock, you sure. know? Here we got a whole five minutes to play with. But let's see if Ken has what it takes to do a 1 3 comeback against Sonic. I don't know, man. Sonic is just cooking. Sonic I mean, said, I don't care what character you're playing against me. I'll show you the vibe. That's right, man. <laughs> Damn. Sonic is just playing completely out of his mind right now. There's the Nair. Dude, this guy just... hates Final Fantasy after the last set. Man. <laughs> Canceling my digital download right now. Yep. <laughs> F tilt in the corner, again, the Sorority Classic right now, trying to catch a high recovery in the falling upper on Ken's behalf, just trying to read an option on where Sonic is going to be. The movement option is ever so ambiguous on the way back down. There's Nair. Yep. Come here. Falling up there. Nair again out of shield. Okay. Man, Sonic is just absolutely decimating Ken here. Step back. Yeah, up air. Can we save another one? Trying to get a bear. Gets an air. Oh, 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 off the spring. Wait. Oh, another one. Oh, oh my, my God. God. That well. chase. My man is playing like he lived in Nibelheim, bro. He I, did, that's ridiculous. That was uh -huh. like a six-piece frame trap. Wow. I know who you are. No <laughs> escape. <laughs> I saw what you did to my tail. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm coming back. Damn, man. <laughs> Let's take a peek at these replays Dude, once that more, was man. Amazing. Up air. Oh. Spring. Look, he up. chases him and chases him. Oh with the my side. god. That was ridiculous. ridiculous. I gotta give it to Kendo, not really trying to give up that air dodge that he knows he's looking for, trying to drift out of the way, but mm -hmm. it was all for not right there, man. Sonic's again just one step ahead. Little known fact, Sonic was Cloud's neighbor back in Nibelheim. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> he was He's chilling, mad, bro. Man, man and this, this, this was, was crazy. Oh, this was so Gets the low homing attack, and you're just forced to do something with that. Doesn't get attack. Ugh. Man, just yeah. up E from yeah. there. He said, put it up, man. Mm -hmm. That was a really strong game one, and Ken is doubling down on the Sephiroth here. I commend him for, for sticking with it, though. Sure, sure. you know, you already got 3-0 to Sonic, so might as well give something new a try. Maybe he'll switch if this one doesn't go well, but it's going to be Final Destination. I don't know about giving Sonic this stage, Yeah, quite uh, frankly. A lot, of, uh, a lot of wide open space right here for him to just kind of rip and run. But it's not like the platforms really benefit Sephiroth too much. Yeah. yeah. And we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I honestly think, and nowadays too, the way that Sonic is now more optimized right here. Oh, oh, no. oh no. my God! Are you serious? This is still wingless Sephiroth. Yeah, oh, right. wingless Jesus. Sephiroth yeah. doesn't have the recovery to deal with these edge guards. That's Jeez. the second edge guard of the game or of the set. Gosh. You know what's funny too, because Ken has been doing that same conversion because he like <laughs> he's been doing the same conversion throughout the tournament. He's been hitting everybody else with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's going to go for the one, two, three jab right here. Less is certainly more. Again, no going to win yep. most interactions up there. close. There's the wing, though. Mm -hmm. But it came at the cost of a lot of percent. Second stock Sephiroth. You get the wing a lot earlier, so his disadvantage can be significantly better. All right, just going to back up. Of course, Sephiroth has all that range. So Even though Sonic grab. is the burst master, mm -hmm. still got to respect him. out of shield but misses the follow-up this is looking rough for ken man already so bloodied up on the second stock Drew. he got left Ugh. okay let's see if you do something here on this landing no you okay. can't you know that was one aspect i was thinking ken might you know bring to the tape a little bit more since there's no platforms you know landing comfortably is going to be kind of difficult though again sonic as a character blessed with some very you know safe landing options can get in and around a lot of a lot of threats. Mm -hmm. But one thing I actually oh. don't like about that up smash, you're telling Sonics, maybe I'm not a little confident in there, my overall yeah. game plan. Maybe mm -hmm. I feel like I need these reads to get the lead. Yeah. And throwing that up smash out and it didn't succeed. Now Sonics is aware. Bars, bro. God damn, bro. Yeah. Get him off the ledge, okay? Yes, sir. And I, I love you mentioning that, boy, right? That's such a big deal, Smash. Like, quite literally, when you start throwing out smash attacks, that tells, that speaks volumes of your mental. Yep. I, I want your stock now. Yeah, I mean, Sonic's proven just that. That turnaround F Smash trying to eliminate this stock right here on Ken's behalf. Yeah, man's looking a little desperate right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is better than the first game, though. Yeah, this is looking pretty solid. It's stock, second stock has not been lost yet. Mm -hmm. and we're going to see the wing in play as well. That gives Sephiroth more damage, more mobility, more recovery. Just needs to find the neutral win to start something. All right. Sephiroth cooking here. Of course, poking away towards middle stage. Please come up out of this corner. We're covering all space here. Yeah, and it doesn't uh -oh. even look like he's aiming to hit Sonic so much as just to provoke him and get him to move. 
Oh, and you can't punish that while the drift from Sonic was perfect. Oh, oh, oh my whoa, god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uncharacteristic He's SD trying from to Sonic stunt. There. Who are you aiming at, bro? Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's the old Sonic's uh, homie attack, man. Unhoming attack. Yeah. The homie attack. The homie <laughs> attack. That's right. We don't do homie stocks around yeah, here no more. Yeah, the homie no, no, attack. No. Homing stock. <laughs> he said, that's the other game. We don't do homie stocks around here, man. Yes, sir. It's like, you know what, man? I cooked you a little too hard that first one. Let's my. make it good for the fans. Yeah, you know, for the Sonic memes. You know what I'm oh, oh. No, this is the position you do not want to be in right now. <laughs> Sephiroth with the rage and oh, oh, trying oh. try to milk okay. a lead here. Playing a very safe and defensive game. Not defensive enough, though. Yeah. Left tilt in the corner. Even stocks. All right, this is much closer now. I, I was definitely fearing a little bit because when you have to approach the Sonic, that's bro, when things go off the rails. Up here, bro. Yeah. One scary thing here, though, because this is tied stocks, that wing isn't going to come out for a little bit. Yes, so right. we could see an edge guard right here. Oh, to play with base up, set. Up, up. Up. Oh, 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 a day late a dollar short. Dodging. Lather, I'm sorry, Ken. Lather, rinse, repeat, baby. Sonic's taking so many souls with that exact setup. And, uh, I mean, to uh, to his credit, he knows his opponents are going to do the same thing every time they get hit by it. How could you not, though, right? It's so scary to be in that position sometimes. Mm -hmm. The trigger finger is just going crazy. Yeah, because one of the things where Sonic is close enough to you in certain situations where he can just straight up bear immediately afterwards, right? Yes. And so you have to... You have to Respect that threat. Yeah, you gotta gamble. Yeah. How am I gonna die? <laughs> yeah, is it gonna be for air dodging or for not air dodging? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. And then I bet you the next time that situation comes up, he's just gonna let the back air oh, rip. Oh, just rip. Yes, yeah. exactly. Go! All right, Ooh. it's gonna be the Sonic Ditto this time around. I respect him for trying it. Just because it didn't work the first time doesn't mean it won't work now. The song's a banger, I just gotta say. That's right. Definitely a vibe right here. And we got the ditto. This is the Gladian song? I think so. Okay, yeah, I think so. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, you're good, you're good. No, I mean, hell, a lot of a lot of jams right here. I mean, of course, you know, we, we talk about it, you know, every so slightly in matches, like, how important, you know, having the music on your side is. Just the subconscious comfortability that that brings mm -hmm. can definitely help you out. I just wish, I, for Sonic, I wish, uh, God, what's the name of the song that I love so much? Oh, Casino Park. I wish that song was in the game. Oh, love that. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. That was sick. And he waited for the air dodge, too. He's yep. like, you've been doing this to me? I'm going to hit you with this. Yeah, yeah fast. But Sonic's already there. He's like, I'm jumping out. Yeah, like, I ain't no, going to deal with any time. of that. Yeah, yeah, my way. I'm gone. Mm -hmm. Hold on, man. This is starting to look pretty good for Ken, at least off rip. You know when Sonic is up, he feels very comfortable. Now, we're going to have to see the shoe on the other foot. Down tilt. Nice. Forcing the offer recovery back onto the stage. And there's Nair again. Whoa. Oh, what a hey. Again, oh, the man. master I'm at so work. I'm so shocked that Barry didn't hit. He said, let me show you something. This is how you deal with yourself off stage. You might not know this. <laughs> let me teach you something. Yeah, let, me, let me teach you. The meta fight class. Yo, Ken, if he takes this first stock, things are going to be looking quite good. I mean... He's not even really in any danger of death here. One thing you can't say about Sonic is that he kills too early, right? Like, other than that exact edge guard setup. So, I think Sonic's has a lot of work to do here. Yes, he does. He has to kind of play from behind right now. Okay, nice. Trying to play kind of that jab check game that we've seen work so well versus Ken Sephiroth. Not quite paying off the same way here. Yeah. Uh-oh, there's Spring getting a little okay. taste of your own medicine. Wow, okay. Sonic's about to get 200%. What a stock. Yeah. Let's see if he can try to make good use of this rage while he has it. Yeah, soon enough, anything will do the job, right? Neutral air and forward air and back air and up air already mm -hmm. will, but I, I think, like, yeah, almost F all of his throws will, too. Now, I've seen Sonic go for a few sour nairs here, and I'm sure sour nair to a smash deck Does very work. well might take the yeah. stock. Ah, there we go. The strong nair straight up from Ken. Now, there's a bit of work to be done on Sonic's behalf. He's thinking, setting a game plan for the stock. All right, let's go. Okay. Love to see that. Right. on the Angel platform. Only attack right here, putting on some quick and some safe percent. Not looking to overextend neither side. Of course, Ken really wants to maintain that lead, so counting his swings a little differently right now. Sonic has to try to figure out what Ken's bringing to the table just in terms of neutral, because whatever wow. it is, it's working. Okay. And it looks like he's figured it out right just there. Just like that. Yeah. yeah. Nipping the lead in the bud right there, though. Only down 24% on the respawn. That's a great sign for Sonics. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh -uh. Standing jab, that's right. Jab. <laughs> Twice boxing class, bro. Okay. Frame three jab. I'm using it. Oh, the cross-up. Uh -uh. There, it's going to start something. 
Not too much, though. Okay. Right. And this one's pretty safe in the corner. Both sides are trying to figure out what the option's going to be. Nair every time as the door opening opportunity. Then, of course, there's going to be a lot of damage on the other side of that. Dash attack, though. Breaking that zone. I mean, your face fair, fair yeah. again. Very quick move. Little, now oh, it is. One. No double jump. Oh, he's trying to go yeah. deep for that oh, one. Yeah. As you guys said, he ripped yeah. that one immediately. He didn't wait for anything. Nope. Funnily enough, you know, Sonic versus Sonic, not the slow paced match that I thought it was going to be in my head. Very strange. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hey, what a big. catch. You know why? It's because Sonic's is playing. He's definitely cut differently than the rest of these guys. So he true. will fuck you up. That's right. He will. Actually, oh, good damage. Yeah. Schoolyard bully punch. The mayor of Duff City. Yeah. If I ask about me. Okay, Ken now has yeah, to approach right yeah. has to figure it out. And again, this jab is just getting so busy here. Yeah, jab is just so good in those kind of situations, of course, especially after a clank with these spin dashes. <laughs> <here. laughs> <Speaking laughs> but... Hey. Sorry, they just fanned into each other. That's yeah. so funny. Uh -oh, I can <laughs> do that good. too. Frame five oh, fair. No tech. Uh oh, oh, Yo, yes. fair, yeah. Try that to, fair was fair. amazing. Yeah, yeah we're stuck there by Ken. Yeah, try to airball to the ledge right there against some of that third party privilege that we see some of the other characters have too in the game, like Snake. And I guess not all third parties, because Ness also has something similar too. But regardless, it pays off in a big way, but not right there. Multi hits on that fair. Even stocks right now. What if for a first date, we went to Pokemon Stadium 2 and charged Spin Dash on opposite sides of the screen? Tail is all this time. That's romantic right there. That would be the last date. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Why? Because it would take the rest of our lives to finish. Yeah, yeah, the first side of the stage, not me. Oh, I don't care. Not going to kill yet. Set up. All right, man. This is uh, slow or quickly getting out of control. Sonic's pulling ahead in a big way after losing that first stock. Uh, for just sure. Oh, enough. wow. Look at this here. That's like the, the quadruple uh, dimensional uh, cape right there, or mock tornado rather. Yep. The, the quadruple witch twist, and here we're seeing it right here. The double spin in the corner from both sides. Yeah, he's doing slow motion. All right, we're at the yeah, five and a half minute wow. mark. Yeah. And it's right. going to end right there, you said, Now, you know better. Why would you Why would you challenge me to the ditto? Yeah, honestly, though, uh, the Sonic put up much more of a fight than the Sephiroth did. Mm -hmm. yes. So I can't really fault Ken for trying. It was a good effort. Just getting slightly outclassed by the best representative of his character. Ken held on to that title for so long in Ultimate, but now times have changed, man. DR showing up big at this tournament. Right. Man, shout, out, shout out to my people from the, the DR, too, back, man. Back, man. Back, back, back. Nicole, Ezra, I see y'all out there, man. I know they're making a lot of noise for that W. Okay, yeah, there's the spring. So I am up out of here, just in case you forgot. Goodbye. All right, Ken going to exit the tournament in fifth place. <laughs> Thank you, Devin. We're taking some names in the process. <laughs> oh, romance. Yeah. So romantic. romance is here. Oh, love it. But yeah, uh, guys, I think that's going to do it for us. Congratulations to all the players that are still in the bracket. I sure, know you, you put on one hell of a show, making yeah. it into the top four, but the job's not done yet. I know everyone wants that throne that we've been watching all weekend. Mm -hmm. We have Spargo and Nia in the grand finals, and then Akala and Sonics in the loser semifinals. We're going to pass things off to our very capable colleagues and co-casters throughout the weekend. I believe it'll be EE, -E, TK, Kony, and Charles. That's what right. a cast. That's right. That's going to be a cast right there. And of course, uh, I think I'm actually going to just get up out here all, in, uh, all together. I have a uh, flight to catch in a little bit, but I just want to say, yo, big shout out, of course, to everybody who's had a helping hand with Watch the Throne. Uh, you know, I say it a lot, you know, big shout out, of course, to production, but this is one of the few times where I'm actually on the production team of things and definitely could not have done this without everybody's moral support. You know, just real sweat equity that, you know, Smash kind of runs off, yeah. you know, Flo and Ray, of course, Devin, Bam, of course, Max, you know, you and I, we've had a lot of calls about this because I just don't know how to host things. And you have a lot of skin in the game in that regard. Of course, Bam, Charles, uh, Hazmat, EE, -E, everybody, man, just I'm so happy to have been a part of this and to really conceptualize and build with you guys. You guys have been my friends for, you know, we're coming up on a decade. Um, wow. It just really means a lot to me, man, from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, man. Hey, you guys are wearing all kinds of hats now, and someone is going to be wearing that crown in just a few hours. So, guys, don't go anywhere. Stick with us. Thank you for watching. The show's not over yet. We'll see you soon.
I've let the theory crafters do what they're supposed to do, okay? I just still feel oh like my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Belongs to Shiny Mark! Oh. That's right! Like many aspects of Smash, edge guarding is an element of the game that seems simple on paper, but is actually an incredibly complex and intricate game state. It all starts with a win in neutral. Knock the opponent off stage, then damage them and cut off their escape by stripping their resources. Finally, you'll need to finish the edge guard with a gimp to hit them far enough away to where their recovery won't make it, or wipe out the stock with a lethal hit. No he way! Missed those. Oh my he never god! Misses those. Picture it as a high stakes game of chess, where you are trying to predict your opponent's next move, but in this case, your pieces are hitboxes and the board is the offstage area. This video will cover what edge guarding is, how to understand its intricacies, and why edge guarding as a whole is an underexplored tool in Smash Ultimate. To do this, we will discuss resources, positioning, and recovery paths, which are all core to learning the art of edge guarding in Smash Ultimate. Know that they fly, know that they ride or die. I keep boys on my side. CJ, I never got a roll with us. No rush, go on, you dumb. Push and swarm, you dumb. Peace and love, send to peace and gloves. Now you gotta do a run up. It's top four, it's time to lock the fuck in. What's good? Watch the throne, baby, we're in it. What's good? It's Charles, it's TK, it's my man has an NCE, -E. and we're ready to do this thing. Chat, how you guys feeling? All right, Bloom. That's what I thought. They're dropping the nah. airport right away. All right, Bloom. Still got a little Actually, I heard the crowd kind of turn up a little bit. Yeah, that's nice to have you guys. That was yeah. quick. Yeah. Yo, we're going to lock in. Hold on. I got to shout out to Kana kind of Nabe, all right? We're getting ready for a big set right here. Hold on. Ooh, oh, oh, drop oh, him in. Oh, drop oh, him in. He's about to see him 4K. All right, man. He's about to see him 4K. Fox action coming up right here. Yes, sir. For me, not from anyone in the bracket. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to say that that ship sailed a long time ago. It did. Nevertheless, we are in our top four, and we have a ton of good players left to deliver some prime time action kicking things off with winners finals which is going to feature mia representing japan and of course spargo the na champion i know what you're thinking he's representing mexico look we need all the help we can get we just gonna call him na all right general wrong <laughs> term okay and i'm gonna call him maybe the favorite to win this set considering last two encounters he is 2-0 against mia yeah man you see here at the stats i mean spargo has definitely kind of been on a terror versus these watch the throne players all together 61 to 39 record while on the other side of things we got mia who's still positive you know but 21 16 just hasn't had I mean, as many chances to play i guess as uh, spargo has but spargo holding that 2-0 over him right now seeing is getting a little closer the second time they played so maybe this is time also different character uh the first time they played it was uh the all pyramithra this other time it was a mix and now he's going all cloud right now. Yeah, I love seeing the cloud come up against Sonics because we did see Sparkle tweet a few weeks ago, I'm done with this character Cloud. I'm never going to touch him again. And now he's having his best tournament he's ever had with Cloud. Like, like with solo Cloud, basically. Saving Cloud for Watch the Throne, exactly, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, it's actually kind of crazy. Like yesterday, they played probably like an hour to an hour and a half worth of friendlies. And he kind of mixed in that Cloud a little bit uh, versus Sonics in those friendlies. And they were kind of going back and forth. So I wasn't that surprised when I saw him pull it out. But like, I guess the general reaction was... You know, because the Aegis has, has, has so much success, that's what you just naturally stuff. But that, that's the way you got to play this meta, bro. Keep reinventing the way you approach things. I think Spargo's done an excellent job. Talked to him earlier, 100% Cloud for, for Mia. Nice. That's what he said. He said he feels like, yeah, Cloud's going to be answered. It's playing hot right now. No reason to change. And uh, in his own words, I've never lost to him. Why start now? Uh-oh. Yeah, but I <laughs> never lost. This? Yeah. I believe it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was kind of crazy. I was like, all right, you got it. <laughs> I like the confidence. I, I really thought there might be an easy good spin though. on that, but yeah, no, no, no. You know, I, I believe like, you. No, you yeah. can tell he's just feeling real good. I had, yeah. yeah, I had the sign when he walked off the stage earlier, and it just says, "We are so back," and he said, "We are." <laughs> <laughs> we, my goat, bro. My goat. I was like, you know what? That's my goat right now. But yeah, we're gonna have these two young men go up against each other. These young gentlemen about to bring that heat for this top four on the winner side of things. Whoever gets uh, this W here, we'll be sitting pretty. Shout out to Bam. Uh, yeah, sitting pretty. Uh, waiting for the rest of this tournament. To what is that? 
I am. Oh, oh, it's Cloud. It's hey, cloud, all right. Cloud, cloud, it cloud, took a little cloud. bit to. All right. Jeez, anyway, dude. we're back. Hey, cloud <laughs> on the screen. Oh my God. Cloud is definitely in the screen, and it definitely was on that drawing, a straight Picasso. But just like he just marked him up real quick with that side B. Let's go ahead and get into it, boys. I'm excited to see this here match. Uh, one, because one, I'm like lo loving the way Spargo's playing. And two, you know, Mia is really kind of going in contest for being number one. And if he w is able to get this, I feel like, you know, he's kind of undoubtedly number one at the end of the season. Spargo is such a valuable W both to Mia and Akola at this point. Spargo doing so well against them, and which is insane because they're, oh, oh my God, crazy. see you later. Yeah. Dunky, dude, he has been so good at the ledge all tournament. Dash attack and down air, they have been hitting since Saturday afternoon. Yeah, 100%. Something Maybe, changed. Yeah, kind of put an exclamation uh, point on that statement you were making there has as he opens up big time and this is what Spargo needs to do bro like he's always been revered for just having that no fear killer instinct and I feel like he's really getting back to get wow. himself rooted in that and unfortunately for a lot of the players who have gone up against him in bracket it has not been too favorable Ooh. on there and this blade is absolutely sizing people up here trying to establish some control and slow him down yeah I just want to see how Spargo manages to stay out of that situation that everyone seems to get caught in against me when he's just allowed to uh, drop nares on you the entire time or eventually puts you in the air and gives you an extra 50 percent while you're trying to get down it seems so right now uh Spargo is just uh, well, first of all he's never been Ooh. off the ground without Bro. his own will so man it said i i will only leave and i'm only in the air when i want to be there i have to take that dash check though yeah me is been so consistent with the advantage state, right? Mm -hmm. Every time Mia puts someone on the ledge or in a juggle situation, it just nice. feels hopeless. Oh but right now, Mia's looking pretty hopeless against this cloud. 140% Spargo holding on to this three stock. I, you know, the, the crazy thing here, too, is like, obviously, this is looking like it's going to be a dominant first game for Spargo. Mia's backup plan is, is, oh, a, is yeah, it. Well, what a damn. genius, dude! Look at, the thinking, Look at the smirk! I was just thinking, wow. I, I love that smirk, Look dude. at the smirk! He's killing it! So the thing is, is that he could have charged and gotten limit. I was waiting for him to do it, and yep. he didn't. But he was baiting Mia to go down there because he wanted to up him and drag yeah. him to hell! Oh my goodness, What's just that, took bro? him down. It's lit, it's, it's lit. lit, bro. Yeah, that is lit, dude. <laughs> took him down, very bro. Lit Look at this, look at this. Took him down, kicking and screaming. Hey, what up, though? That's it, bro. You ain't got a choice. What are you doing down here? Yeah. Hit him with the, with the Tiger Woods real quick. Yes. <laughs> Yo, he had the Tiger, the Tiger Woods. Woods again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, was, that was incredible. And, and I, was, I was saying before that happened, Mia's backup plan being Steve, it ain't going to work against Spargo. I, dude, I was going to you know say, I mean? how valuable is Cloud against Mia and Apollo? Yes. He just does so well against He had to parry that, by the way. That was that shield was getting dangerous. Uh-oh. All right, now, this is the, a situation you definitely want to avoid, though. Mia, putting you in the skies, playing to his advantage. That's that one, the thing that we always say that Japanese players are, are good at doing, man. Forcing that one situation that they really want to work out for the entirety of their gameplay and getting a W off. And he's starting off quite well in here in this second game. They're finally getting off the ledge, though, with Spargo. Yeah, and really utilizing this cloud air mobility, right? I mean, so many times we've seen these up air frame traps from Mia do so well. The main thorn in Spargo's side for this matchup is going to be that offstage barely getting through using every Ooh. single resource here you're not gonna be close enough to the limit great stall with that cross lap the thing, the thing i love about that initial climb hazard to end game one is that me is gonna have to be on the lookout for that the entire game you want to yeah, go down yeah. there with key you just might lose your life ma'am 100 percent all right got a good little lead at the moment right now against spargo though spargo does have limit trying to get position as well good catch with the nair okay hold up mm. Let's kind of let it exhaust, and I'm okay with that. I mean, you don't have to force Jeez. the issue. I like that, yeah. The more important I mean? thing is keeping me in the corner, exactly, right? You don't want to give up limit cross slash, let him come back, because these back airs will still be chopping all day. Yes. Yeah. I mean, while it's, only, yeah, while it's only 15 seconds, you still can get that shade that smash before fear into somebody on those 15 <laughs> seconds. Like, I'm still blue, bro. You don't know what I'm liable to do in these 15 seconds. Oh, so. my goodness. I like that space was immaculate. Avoiding the forward tilt. Spargo doing everything to keep this stock intact for Mia finally. Puts it to rest, not too far behind, only 12%. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't, that was crazy. I mean, that was a big lead that Mia has that Spargo still has managed to get, uh, get the first stock. And now he's still kind of chopping in onto this lead. Yep. Kind of got, I mean, he's really got uh, Mia swinging quite a bit on a lot of these uh, step backs, man. Ooh. I mean, he's got my man just kind of jumping out there with the fishbowl, but nobody home. Yeah, dude, I love when Spargo uses the sliding up tilt, the turnaround mm -hmm. up tilt. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of a party starter for him, man. Clean stuff. Dude, looking for the down tilt immediate follow up too, but Mia able to escape and getting some good damage here. Neutral airs in the up air, 50% already on the cloud, and he still is, uh, has yet to put his feet safely on the ground. Oh, jabbing the grab right into the up B. 
Green right back down with that downer, right into the jab, and the downer had no lag right there. Great spacing for Mia. Bro, it's interesting when uh, Sparkle has limit, because he's not going to want to rip Climb Hazard out of shield as much, right? He's bro. happy to do it when he does oh, have limit, but the up oh, Speaking yeah. of Tiger Woods, bro, yeah, he's he's saying, away. Speaking of out of shield, too. Yeah. Saying, yeah. I'm coming through, bro. Yeah, having just enough time to squeeze that in, Spargo. Prime in position. Dang, Tech. Bro, he really is like Tiger Woods. He's out here cheating. <laughs> Up. Right. Hey, whoa, now hold, hold on. Hold, now, whoa. What? Now, hold on. <laughs> now hold on just a second. Mr. What's Woods, because there was fault on both sides. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh huh? That, that, is, uh, that doesn't mean he wasn't cheating. Oh, man. I'll tell you, you what. You were the worst lawyer. Anyway, moving forward. <laughs> I never said my last name was Cochran. <laughs> moving forward, man. We got an even game between our competitors. <laughs> And it's looking like it's getting a little further and further away from uh, Spargo, though. And I think that's definitely one of the good things about me. I'm nice. sure in those matches, uh, even when he gets 3 or when he did get 3 up by Spargo, there was never like a 3 stock in there. Mia always yeah. puts up a good fight in any of his fight, uh, matches I've seen, uh, you know, in recent history. Oh, man, the up tilt slipping right underneath that Ooh. forward air. And, man, we're, we're really seeing Spargo come through and show case why when you outrange Game & Watch, it can be so hard Ooh. for Game & Watch. We see all these approaching airs just not working oh. out for Mia. That Mia neutral air underneath oh. the ledge, oh. by the oh. way, might oh. turn this set into his favor. Oh, oh no. Dang, bro, oh, man. So close. But I like Spargo obviously looked a little dejected there, but he kind of shook his head off. He's ready to get back into yeah. it. I got to say, fighting against that dash attack at the ledge, that was a big part of how light 3 0 Spargo is that he literally up aired underneath it. He waited for Spargo to dash attack, try to catch him air dodging to the ledge, and then killed him off of it, actually. Yeah. So yeah, if yeah. he's able to avoid those options, the down tilts and the dash attacks at ledge, he's been living a lot longer, especially his game and watch. Yeah, well. I thought it doesn't matter what like goes on, but like watching somebody miss the ledge off of air dodge and just kind of drift through their doom, that's never that's never fun. Especially when it's like that close, right? Yeah. That close, this you know, winners finals. A lot on the line, but I mean, if I'm Spargo, I'm not deterred one little bit. It happens like that. If anything, Mia's the one who kind of called a break on that one. So, yeah. see if there he can uh, capitalize off it or move Ooh. back to Spargo, asserting his dominance. Okay, this sword is definitely doing some work there. Right off, all right, off rip, we got a double uh, up B into a forward air. Off the off rip on the other side from Mia, though. Double dash attack. So, trying to put some pressure here on to Spargo. Got him over here at the edge. Spargo, though, so good at fighting from the corner. You just put these big hit boxes in front of him, like, yeah. not allowing you to kind of drift at. Uh, or not allowing me nice. to drift at him with the you know neutral air and back air. He's hitting the soft back air into dash attack a lot too. Like the, the optimization for Spargo is so good. And again, we got to see Mia get out of this corner. Game of Watch very good at it. Oh, Ripping I, a limit cross slash, idea. but yeah, didn't work out though. Yeah, I, you know, didn't have to jump for it. You know, it's tall enough to get to that platform. So obviously he gets to uh, preserve a couple frames trying to get that to hit, but unfortunately still off the mark. Still though, good lead here, 91, 104 now. You know, this is look, looking like a smash. I thought that was, I yeah, thought he was yeah, about yeah. to let it rip, dog. And Spark will be dash attacking this tournament. No, yeah, no, right? Bro, so yeah. Walk, so much was, damage just from that one move. It was uh -oh. funny, me uh -oh. is too at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, he's lining it up. Bro. I, need, I need it. <laughs> <laughs> Until, until man, Mia is living so long on small battlefield. Battlefield in general just so good for the longevity of this character game. Wow, he tried to F tilt again. Would have been the stock, but now Mia, Ooh. he's gonna take that stock. He's got a charge limit. Oh, oh damn. Okay, all right, never huh? mind. All or, right. or give it up. That's yeah, fine. Just, just give up the stock right there. Good back here from uh, from Mia. Another good back here here from um, Spargo to go ahead and keep this thing even. But yeah, Mia, oh, immediately coming right back in, getting some of those fish balls going. I am concerned that he's not noticing how much limit he has when he's off stage. My ass is noticing. If he's not, I, I don't know what's going on, man. We gotta keep a watchful eye on that. I mean, any stock is imperative against Mia. Mm hmm. You watch the meter, you can watch the throw, man. It can definitely work out for him there. You're right. Good timing there from Mia, too. Uh oh. Ooh, the reverse up tilt not gonna Ooh. connect here. A lot of shield pressure. Mia gonna have to back off. Ooh, great down air. Just getting the shield. Nice. Oh, and got the shot. pivot boost. All right, all yeah. right. Boosting away, man. Mia gotta fight out of the corner again. He's been good here. There it is. Dash attack, too. I love how he low profiles when he uses it. This is dash attack, the, the set, by the way. They're just doing it back and forth. <laughs> Sold Mia Ham, Michael Jordan. Anything you can do, I can do better, right? <laughs> That's a good commercial, bro. Thank you, man. All right. These kids aren't gonna understand what's going on with that. Look it up. It's <laughs> definitely on YouTube. It's somewhere around there. That's a legendary commercial, actually. Oh, yeah. 115 to, oh, okay, getting out the corner right there. Nice uh, use of the up B from Mia now. Continuously putting Spark Boom. on the sky, but chopped up, oh. unfortunately. And I was going to say, man, Ooh. you know, you have to get around the Mia win condition. That is being able to rack up mad damage nice. right in the sky. Speaking of, coming back, right back immediately. Trying to line up that back here. Nobody home. Oh, oh, I wow. love that he did dash attack. I was looking for an F tilt, oh, but turn around. Up that, that was slick. That was super that slick. Was slick as the winner, yeah, Corey. That, that was like Absolutely. Some, that's some James Bond, bro. 
Uh -huh. You may never see it coming, but nonetheless, still even up. And here we go. Easy 37% tack on from Spargo. Bro, back air, cross slash does half a game of Watch's life. Like, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> He's at 50 right now after two moves. Right Three there. moves, sorry. He was able to bring that back, though, pretty quickly. Another even game between our competitors. Not much between them, but the thing is, though, that is a very, very light game of watch with a limit crowd on the, in the building. I don't think he's going to use this for the stock, though. Oh, oh okay. well. Oh. I can't use it at all. <laughs> he said, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't going to get it for the stop, but that would have been some good damage, though. But that, that down tilt sends it such a nasty angle, too, for Cloud to have to recover. So, got to watch uh -oh. that one for Mia. Really good move selection from the young Game & Watch. Big jab here. Going to send it a high arc. I'm going to go high onto the platform. Mia not going to trap the landing. Surprising. Take that. Dude. Okay, okay. Still not going to trap the landing once again. Spargo swinging through center stage. Something else I like about Mia's dash attacks is they are very ambiguous. Are they crossing up or are they not making Spargo guess? Even with a good out of shield option like Blind Hazard, but trying to close out this game right now. Spargo getting juggled. Oh! oh! The reversal? Still living, though. That was crazy. I wanted up you so bad. Oh, oh my God. God. Now you're talking about up, but he's sending that ass all yeah. the way down. Let's go, Spargo. He's putting the sword on him, man. That That's was right. super clean. I mean, we're actually very surprised that up air did not kill, though. But, like, you know, he's like, it's fine. I, I just need one more Bro. other hit. Uh, what? Sparkle was thriving. I'm yeah, just I'm crazy. Just enjoying the set. Yeah. Sorry. Even yeah. even the crowd, man. I mean, waking that crowd up. Everyone's getting really hype here for Spargo. Now up 2-1 here against Mia. Oh. Mm. That was a clean reversal. And I, I feel like most players, they really want to get out of tumble. But you see Spargo stayed in tumble that entire time and knew exactly when to shift the hurt box with the up air. Then got the two frame on top of that with the down air so clean. All right. Here we are in to game four, taking it back to Hallow Bastion. This was a close game on this one earlier, too, so, you know, nothing wrong with this stage, stage pick from uh, Mia. I know that he kind of squeezed that one out, but I feel like he's comfortable here for this exact reason. It's going to be a little easier for him to get, like, the double uh, double near or start up, so up air combo. So, bro, got to give it up to him. Okay. Props, props to Mia here for switching stages, period. We, we're not seeing a lot of that from many top players, yeah. dude. I, I want to see more of it. Yeah, Credit sure. to Mia, for sure. Oh, just gonna parry, get out, wasn't too sure. Nice. Turn of the cross up, great punish on that eject button. I mean, Game Watch getting out of so many scenarios, but if you can punish Game Watch, you're gonna make him think twice about that up B and scrambles, right? Oh, the catch, all right. Got me a handles this. Phase the back air just barely. My good little micro interactions. Surely the way you can't make Spargo. it. Back. No Ooh. way. You dare doubt the GOAT? Hey, I, I predicted Spargo was winning this tournament, man. I'm just okay. trying not to be too biased. Where'd you predict it? You failed that. I predicted that. Yeah. No. <laughs> Today? No, I, I predicted it before we even started the bracket. Oh, okay. All right. Me and me and I like predicted it. I like proof. That's true, actually. Yeah, it's recorded. Sure. I was, I was there. <laughs> what? I, what? Well, that actually discredits it a little bit. Well, here are. Right, you know what? <laughs> hey, Why don't you put a shirt on? <laughs> that's, that's actually fact, bro. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. get this guy a shirt. <laughs> Give me a give me a Watch the Throne shirt, actually. Those joints are comfortable. How about we get Mia a stock? Because he needs it right now. I mean, Spargo is living. <laughs> oh, and there it is. There you know what? Okay. what a gift wrap stop right there. Commentator's e. blessing. Love You're it. welcome. You're welcome. Love it. Everyone gets one. You're so gracious, E. Uh, you know, I do what I can. <laughs> I do what I can. <laughs> I can. This man's doing, <laughs> doing, doing a lot of what he can right now to get himself back into this game. The neutral player is definitely starting to hit her. There's a couple up airs, too. Taking that game and watch tax. You've been hit with a neutral player. Time to take another 20 damage, regardless. This is a huge game four right here, too. And I mean, and Ooh. Mia really wants this win on Spargo, right? Even when we had Mia up here for the interview, said the main player he wants that W or wants to run back on is mm -hmm. Spargo. Yep. Mm -hmm. Damn, he just crouches it, by the way. Oh, the fourth tilt not going to get punched. That down tilt such a nasty angle like you mentioned, Taz. Yeah, that one, he di it better. It was more of a straight line than, than like a line drive rather than popping him down. But yeah. still, dude, it's not nice. Oh no, punish on the whip, dash tag, that up smash could have been okay. They both have tilt, yeah, they both have tilt. All right, you dash attack, I dash attack. I have tilt, you have tilt. Oh good, Tomahawk, let's go. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, oh, okay, oh, so that back air. Nice stall, though, off the down air to go ahead and get that damage and avoid uh, getting hit. Something shifted to the set, like it is getting brutal out here. They're swinging at each other a lot more, it feels like. Look at me, it's shifting in the seat, dude. The stakes are high right now. Absolutely, 100%. Oh, Spargo thought he was trying to maybe bait him right there. Didn't quite pan out, let's see. Goes uh -oh. low enough to dodge me as advances. Trying to jump, getting hasty out of his shield right there. Spargo on the ledge again. 180 though, mm. credit to him. Almost getting the KO from the other side of the stage with dash attack. Ridiculous move, man. That's Boom, it, chops. nice. Yeah, that'll do it. Catch One up, more man. stock from Spargo. But right Mia said same <laughs> on this side as well. Mia trying to force that game by Spargo. Trying to put it away in four. 
anybody's bet who's gonna take this. Ooh, nice. It's yeah. crazy too, because I mean, like, off damage alone, I'm pretty sure Mia's out damaging Spargo. He just has to take Soul on to get these stocks. Very good point. And, and so, so a lot of that is credit to Spargo and his recovery, because yep. Mia also a fiend off stage. Yep. Mm -hmm. Spargo would make it happen, but this is the good ledge trapping we're so used to seeing from Mia. Got to land uh -oh. on the stage too. It's gonna be tough for Spargo. He has limit, but he's got to get... Oh, he tried to grab? Yeah, yeah. quick turnaround, yeah. There, okay, he is. My man is getting juggled. This is a, the game plan is coming Ooh, to fruition. That, that could have been big. scary. Yeah, that could have oh, been scary. Oh, that's huge. Wait, off stage? Oh, you know, he was looking for down tilt, dash attack, or maybe a, a down air if he could line it up. No line way. Up. Are you going to edge guard Mia? Gee. Oh, my is, God. Oh, my Lord. He Dude, actually might bring this one back. He's left trapping Mia, though, for sure. Oh, my God. Oh. He's just, just raw limit. I like it a lot. Yeah. Like, oh, he just hustles. He just runs out of the corner. Is Mia going to take the game off of that? Oh, he's looking for That's it. That's a good grab. Yeah, push him right back off the stage. Oh. And Mia looking what for the jump. Wow. Wow. Oh, the dash attack misses, though. Chop, oh, oh, chop oh. it away, man. Confidence with the shield. Mia barely staying alive. Spargo, too, though. They're scrapping right now. Look at him angling the shield forward, too. That's oh. so good. The back yeah. air for back airs right now. Unfortunately, those are multi hits. Oh, oh. Another back air coming in from Spargo. Bro. 155 now to the 113. Wait a minute. Yes. How are we finishing in this off? Oh, oh my god. Oh, he tried to go for the grab. That's two whiff grabs from Spargo. He's got to be very careful. Up till barely not knocking him out the top. Oh, and got him. He Just, got him. That's going to wow. do it. Oh my god. Dude, Mia played so well at the end there up until the very last hit. Yeah. He Pop off, so young long. man. There he is, man. Pop Spargo, off, young dude. man. He's, he's got his eyes on the throne 100%. Moving on. Grand finals. Winner side that's for Spargo. Right. Somebody Dang. get him a drink. Uh, Lemonade. Yeah. Lemonade. Yeah, let's give yeah, him a yeah, clarify chill, that real chill, quick. Let's, let's, give, let's give him a water. Give him a lemonade. Yeah, let's give him a water, bro. He's a little parts, right? Yeah. That lemonade would be good. <laughs> Amazing <laughs> We're stuff. We're in America, man. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> My God. You, you know, I, he, he, was running, he was running Delfino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand he's an NA, but you know, we're in America right now. Oh, chill out. Bro. Amazing, <laughs> dude. Amazing stuff from Spargo. The, the main reason I want to say Spargo won that set was incredible recoveries. Even dipping low, reversing the up B to go ahead and hit some of the things yeah. like forward air or even like <laughs> incoming down airs. Just crazy recoveries. If Mio wanted that game five, he had to secure some of those edge guards, man, because it, it just yep. when when Spargo is getting to 150 plus mm. consistently on Cloud, that is a huge problem if you're gaming watch because yeah. that's max rage it, Cloud. You're really just giving them so much buffs to the you know knockback, right? Absolutely, I, th I think too, oh, how? Man, huh? bro, how? Because uh, it, it doesn't grab the shield. You only yeah. grab their hurt box. Uh, and the other thing is, uh, TK said it very well too. I think Sp I think Spargo got out damaged in that set, but yeah, the part yeah. of it that is so crucial, and we've seen it in other Mia sets, is the way he edge guards or the survivability of his opponent is so crucial that if he wins or loses. So yeah. another great set, and I, I think this is one of the reasons why so many people hold Spargo in such high regard, not just his placements or his wins, but specifically who they're on. Mm -hmm. Mia and Akola still are having a really hard time against Spargo, and that's so much credit to the, the young kid, man. He's so amazing. Yeah, nobody, Glad he's having a great tournament. Nobody quite is able to hold it down like he does against those Japanese challengers, man. Like, yeah. it's just, something just clicks right there, and it very well may be a catalyst of just that cloud is just so efficient, right? Just shreds through a lot of their options despite being out damaged. Like, he can out-clutch them when it really matters. So Spargo tripped the grand finals, which I think is absolutely amazing on his end. A couple of challengers still left in this... Uh, this bracket, but I think everybody left. He's already beaten. You, you said it too. I think a lot of people are talking about Cloud, and even Spargo himself saying he's going to drop the character. But how great is that lineup against me and Akola? Because I, I love Mia's lineup is insane. It, it, Game of Watch and Steve, that's ridiculously yep. good. But it does have one hole for sure, one gap in it, and it is the Cloud. That's I mean, actually, just sort of pretty good bait general, if it was right? a bait, though. <laughs> no. If he was just like, he just tweeted, yeah. He might have been salt tweeting too. He might have been salt tweeting for sure. Everyone's like, we have to practice against, uh, you know, the Aegis now. He's just at home laughing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, time for Aegis anyway. Back air cross slash. <laughs> like, on the CPU a thousand times. <laughs> He's ready to go. Wow, great set, by the way. Love to see Spargo and Grand's winner side. Yeah. What were you about to say about sword characters? Oh, I, I think that lineup just can be weak against sword characters. Obviously, there's some stronger sword characters than others. I, I, I think Cloud specifically just does so well against those two because you have the speed, you have the range, right? And those yep. are the two main things, particularly the air mobility against Game & Watch, right? Being able to bob left and right against those uppers is going to be so, so strong against Game & Watch. So, man, and then even against Steve, right? You just get to back air over and over through the box. It's just going to be so good against that lineup. And I know even when me and E were talking about our predictions for the winner of this tournament, I mean, Spargo has struggled to get to Akola and Mia recently, but yeah, in this sure, type of point. event, 
you you don't have a one way ticket. Like obviously, Sparkle still have to take the set. Like do is you know the day one, day two, and even that set versus Sonics that can go either way as well, mm -hmm. right? But once I saw Sparkle win against Sonics, I was like, oh wow, like that. There's a good chance he's gonna at least be in grand. I, yeah, I was uh, gonna say, go ahead, Phil. No, I was I would say I absolutely agree with you, and I and I think Spargo too. Like it's not only the fact that he's in, you know, gets to the grand finals and he's on the winner's side. Everyone else who's coming up that ladder and losers to get to him, like I said earlier, he's already beaten them. Uh -huh. He's already beaten them. He's already put that stamp on there. So yeah. just that much more confidence for him. Yeah. I was going to say, too, Spargo was playing kind of slow starting on Friday. Like, he did not look amazing. I mean, he got 3-0 by light very, very quickly and decisively. But as the weekend's going on, he's gotten better and better and better. And part of that is he, he is down there grinding and playing all the time, man. And I think yeah. Yeah. he's just found a rhythm that's going to be very difficult for anyone to beat. And the thing about our top four it is pretty much as seated, but right now, probably the four best players in the world. So I kind of love that, yeah, right? honestly. Like, That's crazy. Like, yeah, it, it did yeah. work out pretty well in mm -hmm. terms of, I, you know, I'm not, I know everyone's not a huge fan of uh, all the characters in there, but still, I love it because this is a scramble at the end of the year to figure out this could be the determination or what determines who wins or uh, who gets first, second, sure. or third, or whatever. So it's a huge thing that we got going on here. Speak it up. Yep. Sonics versus Akola. All right. All right, man. So you see the stats here 1 0. Only played one time at Port. It was, uh, it, was good, it was a good time watching him play at Port 2, but that's crazy uh, stat at the bottom, man. 30-30 for Sonics, even though he's had such a dominant, you know, year, really. So it's kind of interesting to see where he got those, you know, where he got those wins and losses. But here on the other side of things, Akola has been really farming uh, some of these watch throwing players, 69% with 41 and 18 in game count. That's pretty nice. But, yeah. hey, you know, the 1-0 is going to speak very highly. Let's see if Sonics is able to do it one more time, or is Akola going to be able to bring something uh, hot to the table? Now, earlier, Akola did bring that... Uh, that ages out. Uh -huh. yeah, I don't know I, if he'll do it again, but. No, nah, I'll keep that tucked, brother. Yeah, okay, wait. Hey, 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 I, 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 no, 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 it's not a, it's not a knock hey. against him. But, so, like, Sonics is so good in this match. Like, oh, he, he, he routinely goes even with uh, with Spargo. He dismantled Leo. I don't see how Cola is really bringing anything new to the table. We, we just saw Spargo go cloud against yeah. Sonics. Like, you know, there's like, a reason. There might yeah, be a reason. Like, definitely. there's too many variables in that selection. So, I definitely think the way to go. Uh, is Steve here just I mean I think if it goes really bad you might as well give it a try sure if, if two games are just a slaughter it's like what I, do you have to lose at that point because <laughs> it, it was a slaughter at port I'm just gonna that's, tell that's you right facts. now it was it was yeah. like but Akola's, uh, Akola's kind of fortunate he had, didn't have to wait too long to get a run back at this point right so yeah. I'm yeah, sure he's I mean, excited for it you could definitely probably watch over the footage probably has a new game plan here yeah because I would imagine I'll tell you right now Sonics knows this matchup extremely well a you know very proficient in the world of Wi-Fi. is a Wi-Fi warrior. Plays a bunch <laughs> of online tournaments, and there's a lot of Steve's online. He right? was literally trying to play Wi-Fi at the venue today. Did you know that? He that was, is he was, insane. He was pinging the Ryuga Core Discord and asking for practice against the characters he had today. He was literally. I asked him, like, did you get that to work out? He's like, dude, I tried so hard, I couldn't get it to work. My God, like, no one wants to play Wi-Fi. What a god, you. dude. <laughs> what the? That is insane. You're crazy for that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm that's actually mad you. funny. So, hey, you know what, bro? If he, if he can play in those, if he can play in those conditions, he can play in any conditions. That's you, what I'm hearing. True, so. true. It's like the training weights, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. All right. True. Here we are, man. It looks like we can start on that PS2. As we, oh, they, oh what the? Oh. Did you hear that? Aha. Uh -huh. What? It was me. It was oh. me a whole time. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway. Yeah, oh, no. We'll be getting revealed. into that real, real soon. Uh, as we get uh, everything set up, I think, uh, what's that? Sonic's just cleaning his glasses? Yep. Gotta make sure you can see, man. That's half the battle. <laughs> half the battle of what? what? <laughs> well, how are you going to go into battle if you can't see? That's true. That's I was like, half the battle? It sounds like, anyway. I mean, it's a that, very important honestly, thing. Honestly, sounds like that's like start of the battle, so, you know. It sounds so, like a prerequisite. Yeah, before you even get battle. to the battle, so. Just, well, yeah. yeah, I mean, you don't go in. You have to be able to see. Where, where, where is the joke here? This, Are you going to go no, fight if you can't see? Yeah, but that's not half the battle, though. I, there's say, no battle without the sight. There's like a percentage. <laughs> that, I'm questioning how the much of the battle of, is vision. Yeah. <laughs> well, a, I'm going to say lot. at least 90%. There's, well, there's a lot. Well, what about like a yeah, like You'll be block. looking when you battle. <laughs> <huh? laughs> you are looking. Oh, I'm, yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm swinging, bro. Straighten your eyes. <laughs> what, if it's a, like, what about like a legendary, like a blind swordsman? Oh, true. That does exist. Then it's zero percent. I don't think there's any mm. Ronin in the build. All right, I'm just, I'm no scared. Ronins around. Okay. Anyone, you better keep your eyes open, my. Oh, oh, we, only, we only got one sword to keep us alive right now, and that happens to be Spargo. Yeah, Not from that, that. <laughs> Spargo. <laughs> keep it moving. Spargo's the last sword to have us, uh, you know, hold us down. But as of right now, man, he's got to wait to see what happens here. We got a Sonic coming up. We got a Steve coming up, and whoever wins that will play up against a Game Watch and or another Steve, depending. Uh, and then after what ones that will be going up against some Spargo. So let's get into it. Our first game on to PS2. So one thing about make the best games. 
One thing that Sonic is so good in this matchup and just Sonic the character is good at, once you take out the bottom block against Steve, you are an immediate threat because you can spin dash or spin charge in. So that was something that was giving Cola a really hard time. And on top of that, Sonic's advantage state is just generally good, but specifically against Cola, it was crazy. He was blowing Cola yeah. up at port priority. And I mean, it's just, it's so hard because I feel like Cola can most of the time play pretty fearless, but when you start, start striking fear into Cola, it gets a way different, right? Mm -hmm. Up there and shield. Ooh, Damn, man. and the instant turnaround. Dude, he is like some of the one of the fastest players in the world at like, getting those turnaround back airs. It's such a crucial move for Sonic, man. It's so sick. Yeah, we've seen that a lot throughout the weekend. We're actually from both of them. I think I've seen a couple of uh instant turnaround back airs too from uh, Ken as well. So yeah. you know, good stuff for them to be able to like get that out so consistently. It's kind of a dream scenario for Ken to be here with Sonics as well, because like, what better person to bounce ideas off of when you're trying to get wins that Sonics has gotten before and for the first time? We saw uh, it against Light and everything else. Couldn't agree more, man. Ken being so astute and well polished in this matchup, that would be somebody I could see Sonics leaning towards and able to, you know, in, in, in such a crucial <laughs> battle. So the fact that he's got someone as talented as Ken in and on his corner just that, that just elevates him to new heights. Huge Ken fan, huh? Love that guy. All right. Do you well. know who the grudge is against now? Can we talk about it? Here? I'm coming for you, Como. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely Como, bro. It's, it's, it's definitely Como. Oh, my God. Hey, there we go. Akola gets the up smash. Wow, this is great. I mean, Akola has the lead here. Back at Port Priority, it was a triple two stock in Sonics' favor. So, yeah, this is already looking like a huge improvement since the last time they played. Akola has been studying those bots. I think Akola is actually just in the later half of this here uh, set, or since we got in the top eight, is more so leaning into, uh, for lack of a better term, the degeneracy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's down. Look at look at the way he's playing right here, bro. He's like, you know what? Yeah. You gotta. We're playing Fortnite now, bro. You gotta break down these walls <laughs> if you want a shot of doing some damage to me, brother. No build. No, I don't play that. I'm, <laughs> I'm still Damn. on classic. That's on facts, though. Not really? the '90s, man. <laughs> he's cranking '90s. He's cranking '90s so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> This really is Unreal Engine. Oh my goodness. It's different. <laughs> he builds him so fast. <laughs> All right, well. Is that an F? You Not the K Kona. I kind of like this kid for the walls. <laughs> <laughs> All the Fortnite players are like, yo, well, Kona's kind of nice, though. Jesus, dude. This kid don't want to sell me. Hell yeah, bro. That's, that's insane. <laughs> that's right. Keep him out. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> good, good one, E. <laughs> oh, hey, 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 oh, oh. That was not E. Oh, oh my God. God. Wrong initials. He's definitely, he's, he's doing it up, bro. He's definitely doing it up. He's finally getting a, a, the first stock off of. Stop uh, trying to say Or not the first stock off, but the second stock off here uh, of Sonic's. But Sonic's, or literally, look, look what he has to do, bro. The whole time he's been doing nothing but kicking walls, bro. Kicking gotta, rocks, kicking walls. It sucks, that's man. It's got to hurt yeah, at a certain it's, point. Yeah, it's <laughs> I would imagine so. Definitely, uh, I mean, for Sonic, who says he's so good at this match, and he is, I'm not taking anything away from it, it's just uh, pretty impressive that Akola's adapted this much and kind of changed up the gameplay a little bit uh, to deal with him in their next encounter. So I feel like he's doing a good job of keeping Sonic out more so than what we saw in Fort Priority, yeah. at least in game one. If you think about it, this matchup is Sonic's fault anyway. If you, he punched Mario to Minecraft, bro. Be here that right is now. true. Absolutely Dang, true. You're right. Actually, this is lore. Actually. Pay for your sins, Sonic. <laughs> Why did you do that, Sonic? The Hedgehog? <laughs> Why'd you say that? I, I had to bring the government, bro. The government name. <laughs> is that his government? <laughs> that is his government name, yes. The, the Hedgehog, he comma, the hedgehog. Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This I mean, is cool to be up to Why'd you say Hedgehog like that, by the way? <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm insane. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Hedgehog. <laughs> Bro, this is so. Why is he is the straight man of this uh, couch right now? Which I don't is just know how ridiculous. This I am yeah. just straight up enjoying this game. I'll tell you that much yeah, because bro. we see Arcola putting on an absolute masterpiece on how to handle the Sonic matchup from the perspective of Steve. And he, I mean, he right. has all that experience from Ken, right? I was so going to say, well I, I think what Sonic's got to do, he's got to call a lifeline and bring in Ken. Just for one stop, like a celeb shot, one stop. And <laughs> learn, listen, <laughs> learn how stop. it's done. Yeah, exactly. you, you got to understand something, okay? This success that Nicole is enjoying right now doesn't happen without Ken. Okay, so if anything, <laughs> of course, anything of course. he wins at this point, uh, he's just cool with my man. My it's, goat. It's like seven degrees of Kevin Bacon, but it's Ken. 
Any of them. It's one. We don't encourage splitting any of your winnings. <laughs> That's against the rules. No, we're not, no one's really splitting. splitting. Nobody read that shit. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was talking about splitting. <laughs> I was talking about giving them a celebrity stock. This is still very possible, though, for Sonics. I mean, I, although yes. this should be, like, super but, tilting, yeah. he... It, he's one stock and 27% away, and he's already got the damage on this stock to do it. So, y'all remember the Myron zone, of course. Shout out to Myron. Go, mm -hmm. let's go. We're Myron. about to enter the Sonic zone, which is when there's less than like a hundred or a minute twenty left on yeah, the clock. Yeah. That is the Sonic zone, a thousand percent. Don't let him. That is not the green kill zone. That is insane prediction. I, I actually really like that though. I do too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, is this going to be it with the forward air? Yes, it yes. is. Okay, we got a minute 20 We are on in the, the Sonic zone officially. Yeah, the chemical camp zone, bro. <laughs> uh -huh. Honestly, if Sonics can just pile up a little bit more damage, he can run this clock and steal game nice, one bro. back and right on cue. Did you see the damage off of, uh, the up? Uh, yeah, I, we out! It is. You know the vibes. Ooh, you, you, know know the vibes. The you know the vibes, baby! You thought you could time me out? I'm feeling vibey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him. I'm feeling vibey. <laughs> you feeling vibey, bro? I'm vibey, bro. <laughs> Don't let me into my zone, right? We certainly are here. This is where Sonic's uh, his win. Can we run the stats on that? What is Sonic's win percentage when he has the lead with less than a minute left? That has to be I, damn yeah. near close to 100. I want to see his win percentage when he didn't have the lead and the mm. minute before the minute. <laughs> and then he still. I'll tell you, if, you, if he like wins he this one, lead. if he wins this one, he'll be two for two this weekend on that because he oh, did yeah. it to Luis too. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Cola needs to really get in there. Just 20 seconds left. I don't know what you have in there, brother. We're trying to mine for some hope, but you need to get your ass <laughs> active. <laughs> get some damage up now. Uh oh, we out. <laughs> Yeah, you got 15 seconds to make a uh, to actually get a kill. That's what you have now, because you're definitely not getting it. Uh, Look like at Steve running here. around, man. Poor yeah. Steve. He has no yeah, mobility. Poor, poor Steve. Poor Steve. Why don't you just? <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Like this, it's it's the strategy escaped him in the last. Okay, well, it escaped him in the last minute. <laughs> That's tough. It escaped yeah. literally why, last minute why because he, he was the one timing out, and then it just so happened that he just couldn't. He couldn't actually finish the job. Why did right. Sonic's SMH there? Why did you shake his head? I think because he was like... The, I would, I would it, SMH it, at him. Like, you thought this was going to work? I'm Sonic. Like, oh, oh, you see. Oh, it's a, okay. Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah. And Understood. Like, yeah, that makes sense. There's also that side of the corner where it's probably like he's just thinking to himself like, man, that, you know, he led for like 90% of that, right? It was yeah. really that time for that help to uh, dictate him getting the, uh, securing the win, obviously. So. Yeah. I think there's a lot of people he could tilt like that, but you can't tilt the man that is also known for timeouts. Yeah. Like, I think that's a little yeah. hard to do. And so, I, think, yeah. I was talking to Buzz about it too. And like something you need to always prepare for every single time you go into a set against Sonics is that there is a really decent, like literally maybe a 50% chance it'll go to time or very close to time, like under a minute left on the clock. Like you just need to be very ready for that. I'm not saying Akola wasn't. I'm just saying that that is where Sonics is strongest, which is crazy because it's not like he's bad when there's full time on the clock. He's incredible. Right. 50% chance, huh? There's a 50% chance. He either times out or he doesn't. Yep, yep. Of course, of course. And I, I will say that Sonics has very high standards for his gameplay. Yes. So Sonics is a player that will win and get mad because it's like, oh, I can't believe this player like got me to last stock. Right. Like, I, I should have two-stocked him or three-stocked him. So, like I said, Sonics oh, oh. feels uh, like he is an ex like expert at this match. Yeah, I feel like his ego, like, it, it motivates him to an extent, yes. right? Like, it really, he's fueled... Uh, by the fact that he just thinks he's so much better than everybody else, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Wow. You can't put him in some precarious situations at times, but... Oh, yeah. At the moment, he is up a game against a Cola, trying to make it to... I think, I think yeah, it's really going to be who establishes this lead first, because I think while the Cola... Wow, uh-oh, hold oh. on. Whoa. Oh, my goodness. Going for the instant fair off the stage. It was either fair... Oh. Look for some, or wait out a defensive option right then fair. But either way, he had 0% a second ago, but now he's got 60. Kind of yeah. came out of nowhere, man. Yeah, I mean, that, I think, yeah, I was, I was saying, though, well, well, in this stage in particular, I feel like he doesn't get the same uh, level of good resources like he was getting on uh, PS2, so. Yeah. It could kind of work against him, but maybe he just wants to try to get some earlier stocks here. But oh, 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 my goodness. Wow, he Damn. is lining that up. Actually trying to send him back to Minecraft. Oh, yeah. It's like the spring action. Smart <laughs> 2 evades the minecart. He's like, I'm my fault, bro. Let me go ahead and see. One first class trip. This is a return trip right here. <laughs> oh, oh, no what? item, though. You see that? He just punched him. Hit him with the hands right there. Put the hands on him. Gotta do. Oh, up and okay. okay. A little snake. Oh, nice catch. Nice. I'm glad Sonic still got that first stock because you know it, Alcohol is playing very patiently back, getting diamond, getting some big percentage, but it was that all important first stock that was taken, and uh, the vibes are known at this point. Oh yeah. All right, he's got to get out the corner though. Yeah, the vibes are not that great over there. <laughs> over there, stop being a wallflower, bro. <laughs> <laughs> go dance with her. Yeah, go dance with her, dog. <laughs> <laughs> go dance with her. <laughs> 
All right. <laughs> Wild <laughs> reference, by the way. <laughs> Glad we got that. <laughs> Okay, a lot more wood on this stage, so don't I, I mean that's the one thing about PS2, you get so much stone material, which just has so much health here. The Sonic still doing a great job with the especially with these high platforms, you have so many places to reset with high recoveries like spring. Yeah. Oh. Man. Sonic's evasion has been fantastic. Just getting in enough damage every now and then to keep this lead going. And look at that, so quick on the trigger. Ooh, dude, he's playing around minecart very well yes. too. Back airing it there and also spin dashing or spin charging through it as well. Really good counterplay to that. He's always been good at that though. Yeah. He's also picking and choosing really good times to look like I'm gonna get, continue to run away. Like he's getting some yeah. pretty like I know Cola's probably like, oh it's time for me to mine, uh, because you're across the stage, but you know, Sonic closes distance quite fast, so Cradle me chat, you see someone say, so he had a four year long beef with the wrong person. <laughs> Just <laughs> four. I, know, uh, I think it was like seven. <laughs> This is Smash 4, man. You know what? We all, we all learn and we all grow, and now it's time to go on. To my man, my man was still in his 20s when he was beefing. Anyway. <laughs> I was spitting the block. Oh my God. Bro, bro just wouldn't come outside. <laughs> okay. Catch him in the skies. My cart is going to hit here, but Sonic's moving right over to the other side. Still keeping that good chase down, down uh, on him, though. That's right. Uh-oh. And this is how uh, Ooh, you see that? Hop? Yeah, that was yeah. yeah. Yeah, the intangibility on the hop up of spin dash, why the move is so powerful, right? Yeah. Great anti air, I mean yeah. great any anti because you're just fully yeah. intangible. <laughs> it's anti game at that point, basically. Yeah. Oh. And I'll tell you what, Sonics, this is a man of patience, nice. but Akola finally Very nice. able to break through that. Much needed stock for Alcola. It's still very doable. I mean, we got plenty of time left on the clock, but right. you can't waffle, okay? You can't, you can't let it get away from you. Yeah, bro. I know he's going to want to try to get the stock so we can get a very, very solid lead going. Uh, no, I mean, even though if we got three minutes left, huh? we, we still got uh, this. What? I don't know what went on there. Huh? That was very weird. Yeah. How's the hunk at from TikTok? <laughs> huh? Charles, Charles emoted. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm emoting this weekend huh? for sure. You are, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right. Scoop. Uh -oh. Scoop, hold on. That okay. is where Akola wins, though. Like, he'll send, like, 30 minecarts, and none of them will hit. But once the 31st one hit, he just kills you off. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's over for you, bro. It's really good. The move is just that good. You know, you, uh -huh. there's never a point where you just stop. Like, you know what? I think you're beating my mind. No, just throw it again, bro. Different timing, though. Yeah. <laughs> it makes sense. It's similar to, wow, did you see it again? The hops over are so good. Wah! <laughs> He's Sonic himself. <laughs> and the, the hedgehog? The hedgehog. The hedgy, bro. <laughs> All right, man. Akola will definitely be farming up some uh, uh, materials here, but it does not really matter too much to Sonic. He's going to be... Oh, no. Okay. I'm out. Why did someone do Pepega Ha, huh, by the way? That's wild. <laughs> Pepega Fist Emote Ha. Huh. Ooh, hold on. Wait a second, though. Akola playing brilliantly in the second stock. Ooh. Oh, oh, he man. almost had that lined up. You saw the F Smash coming out, but it wasn't fast enough. Bro. Oh, oh that, was, that was scary. Cool, let's bring this one back. Yeah. One hit at a time. Oh, oh and he oh. takes the lead, nice. Sonic, dude. Uh -oh. He really let that one get away from him. We were oh, talking about oh, it. Oh, they're in Pepega Ha. <laughs> dude, they're all <laughs> Come on, Chad, give us a ha. <laughs> give, us, give us a Pepega Ha. We need, he needs that Sonic's new emote for your. You're welcome. This one's free, by the way. New emote for your chat is so, a Sonic based Pepega that, with the Ha. He has a fist, doesn't he? A long, stretchy fist? Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Go sub to Sonic's. All right. <laughs> Sonic's now yeah, we, we see the Sonic team. Twenty-five percent lead at the in, in the we're now in the in the Sonic zone. What is it? Green kill zone. He doesn't get kills here though. That doesn't. I mean, when, when the time happens, like, this is kind of a kill. I mean, I guess so. Uh oh. Oh, just one by the way. Just one. A humble hit. <laughs> get humble back. king. Actually, uh, I call it kind of is a humble king, man. Wait. This is. I mean, this. Definitely down to the wire. Okay, that's gonna be a lot Ooh, of damage. Oh, yeah. Damn! Yeah. I didn't think that back here would connect, but Sonic certainly knew it, man. Good stuff. Very back and forth game. I mean, I, I hate to point it out, but we are in the Sonic zone. Yeah. I, I noticed that one like Luis did. Sorry. Hey. Oh, it was hey. about 40 seconds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he's like he's trying to get the stock here, man. That was actually very risky. If he decided to come down with an anvil, that could have potentially ended the game. Uh oh. I'm chilling. Blue and yellow. Juke. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, off the platform? Yeah, the spin shots. Yeah. Crazy high mobility here. And yep. especially on this platform. Oh, oh nice that was try. Good, good try by Alcoa. No way. Oh. Yeah. 
<laughs> my God. Look at him pop off. Akula. The covering of the up smash. He, wait, he just I, I'm wait, glad that. he's got that mask on because I know that profanity was slinging right there. <laughs> Boy, is happy. Dude, dog. Now, the coverage there, the use of the back air. Hold on. Jukes. And Minecart, Ooh. yeah, dude. And we talked about how well Sonic's played around Minecart that entire set or entire game until it didn't matter. Look at him pop off, bro. Go off, Akola. Hell yeah, dude. Akola had to do some tech there as well after doing the Minecart in towards the left. Ooh. Had to do a B reverse neutral B to face Steve the other way and then go for the backer. Because if that was a fair that connect, that wouldn't have ended the game. So great stuff coming out from Akola, knowing exactly what tech and where to use it and ending the game and getting the KO at 80% after the hit. After the hit. Bro. After the hit. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really surprised uh, Sonic decided to stay on huh? the platform for so long, huh? though, but, oh, man, man one more. Huh? You great, huh, on the screen, right, please? Was, he was break dancing. Can I get a huh on the screen? Huh? Huh? What's going on here? Bonk. Charles and Bonk. Huh? Huh? <laughs> 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 yeah, his ass does not break blocks in his game. That's the wrong character. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how Sonic's let that thing go. Oh, wait, he does. He just I jumps guess. on them. They're yeah. not blocks. They're like, uh, what are those? Springs. The power ups, the power ups he gets. Oh, the <laughs> springs. The I mean, he jumps on springs. He does jump on springs. Though, but yeah, they're the like those little box. Like the yeah, little boxes. Box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A box the is a type of block. With the question mark and the mushroom comes out, right? No, that's, yes, that's, that's correct, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, well, he opens the treasure chest and it plays a song. Your guy's game knowledge is insane. Insanely <laughs> good, bro. Anyway, <laughs> I'm moving into game <laughs> to game three. That's wow. the first game Akola has ever taken off Sonic in tournament. Ever. So and he, did that's it a big deal. he did it in grand fashion at that. Yeah, yeah great yeah, stuff. Absolute grand, grand robbery right there at the, at the very end. But hey, yeah. that was a well placed uh, uh, back air. And on top of that, that was a, uh, you know, if Sonic's gonna stay around that area where he can drop that sock to that so much. That is his. And it's on him. On him. So we're gonna be right back yeah. to what we probably nice. saw in that first game. Oh, God. Another seven minute game most likely coming at us. Getting tech chase with Diamond 2 on the, on the top platform of PS2 is so tough. And I, I think I'd love to run the stats on this too. How many times? <laughs> what? Oh, my God. <laughs> in the through the wall, dude. Yeah, he's speed running through the blocks. Uh, how many times did we let Akola go to PS2, and how many times did he win there throughout this tournament? Yeah, that's a that's a stat. That's a stat that for the stat people, bro. Might be a triple Maybe digit stats. stat in my opinion. <laughs> Very close. One Smash that, squeeze. Another thing that was so impressive about Akola's win is that those situations Sonic's is so comfortable in. Right? There's so many matchups where he wins in those conditions, and wow. then Akola was able to sneak it on him. So, like with 30 seconds about on the clock, crazy. Oh. All right, man. So no one, no one got, grabbing a super right. big lead here yes, now. Sir. Actually, the lead is only uh, between hey. by a, a percent until that up air hit. Got a percent lead, but obviously you don't want that stock lead. You want to be real comfortable on it. Something I love about why Sonics is so good against Minecart too. The thing I love about it is when Akola uses it. Ooh. Wow, neutral air probably yeah, off the top. Okay. Good stuff. Yeah. Mix, mix on the DI. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, the thing I love about it is it makes him waste resources, very precious resources too. So not only are you whipping a move and putting yourself in a position where he might be able to punish you, but you're losing those those critical resources throughout the rest of the set. Have oh. to farm back up. Yeah. 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 And I mean, Sonic does a really good job of always trying to destroy that bottom block. At least keep making Okola keep putting out the resources, right, as he's trying to mine them. So right now, Okola almost filling all the way back up here. Crafting another diamond, getting the, the iron back in. And again, on PS2, you get that stone. Once the late game starts to come through, especially on this either third or second stock, full inventory of stone, those those bots have so much more health, so much harder to break through. Okay. Charging it up. Yeah, you know, you're going to uh, leave, stay in shield for that long. I'm definitely going to be able to do some good damage to it. Don't expect a shield break in this matchup, at least not from Sonic. But, Wait a second. You know, still can definitely threaten uh, somebody and get a couple shield pokes yeah. if you want to keep it, uh, stay in that long. 102 to the 59, but that's a different uh, difference in stock right now between Nicole and Sonic's. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love the Sonic suit, the down tilt. It's a pretty simple thing he's been doing, but down tilting underneath the blocks. Who cares if you stay and move anyway? Like, it's all good, but then it gives you the room to spin underneath it or dash. Like, you just get up exactly, going right. right underneath it. You got a tempo mix up and some moves too. Sonic, one of the few characters in the game that can uh, do that really well underneath that bottom block. Very well underneath that bottom block, I'd say. Oh, okay, trying to find a down smash on just in case they did a standard get up, but now. 120. My man still uh, definitely has the tools that are the uh, the right tool to get the stray hit for the for the stock, but he just can't find it yet. Yeah, and now he's big chilling. <laughs> he's got to figure out a way to like switch this pacing up, right? Because mm -hmm. this is kind of perfect and tailor made for Sonic. Like he's really dictating how this is gonna go after he gets that first stock. You know, the, the meme come to life, if you will, because the vibes yeah. are definitely well 
in hand for Sonic. Yeah. Well, I think it's fine now. You know, I think both of them are playing with the intention of well, with the timing out, really. Well, one, so, one of them's way in a much better position. Yeah, I mean, we got three whole minutes left. I mean, you can definitely take your time until, like, the last minute. We're not too far back. Mm. I think it is get, starting to escape Ricola, though. I said that at around 60%, and then he took another yeah, yeah. For, uh, 30, so... Yeah, it's starting to definitely oh escape him. Well, 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 well. Oh, look at this again. And I got to point it out. It's on PS2 as well, which is very impressive for Sonics. It's just at this point, hey, you got three minutes, man. You, can, I don't think you have. I don't think you have the ability to sit back and farm anymore. It's time to go, man. Yeah, you he need actually to take two full, wait, has up. to get in there. Okay, okay, okay forward. Okay, yep. Like a little mix. Spin shotting back in. Yep. The easy punish from Sonics, man. Yeah, well, I think, you know, un unfortunately, at this part, there's going to be a pretty large 2-minute and 30-second comeback if he's able to get that, but I don't think he's going to be able to get a stock at all. Sonics is truly dialed in. They're wow, playing they're playing, uh, they're playing his favorite song in the club right now. The vibes are indeed immaculate. <laughs> 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 when your song comes on. Yeah, bro. Okay, destroying that crafting table. Going to zap even more of the resources that Akola is going to need here. Oh, Akola going to mine back up before he goes on. To fight this battle here, wants needs a little bit more iron. Iron is the main key mo mobility move for Steve. With no iron, Steve is just so slow. Oh. Boom. You know, at this point, oh. when it's like... Stock! Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Akula on the board. Let's go. All right, but let's be... It's is a start. It, is it's it, a st is <laughs> it realistic, though? It's not over till it's over. It's all about who wants it more. Right. <laughs> Tell me right now. Akola, do you want to at least put some more damage on right now? You need to find a way to get a hit and not get embarrassed. You do not want that JV3 on your resume. Sir, Ooh. you need to strike back right now. 185. It is a lot of trouble right now. He's yeah, trying. He's moving. He's moving. But the forward token to end it. And the JV3 gets Sonics the victory. Thank you. Oh, What's up, Phil? Thanks. Yeah, bro. You really brought that one home. I Jay. had to, man. And now here we are into game. That Red Bull kick. In. Hey, kick. <laughs> Red Bull, okay, yep. He's on his sixth one. <laughs> gotta, gotta, keep a, gotta keep a smooth level Red Bull in him, you know? The system uh, can't, be, uh, can't be empty. Anyway, for real, it. for real though, I got very impressive by Sonics. Not only, he barely lost that game, very clutch stuff by Akola in game two, but game three, very nice to have, not just a retaliation win, but a statement win, I'd say, at that. Remember, very dominant in their last set. Good to see right. a little bit of that comeback for Sonics. I wanna see what, what does Akola have here? What are we gonna see in game four, Chuck? What's I mean, he need to do? You can Shut try the Aegis. I, I think it's worth to try the Aegis. I, I think you, you don't think it's worth it at all? Uh, or, I mean, you can try to chase Sonic. That was a pretty bad game. I mean, I, I think it's worth trying it. Okay. At, at least Aegis can like, chase Sonic down, but I mean, we'll, we'll see. Maybe just going to stick it out with the Steve here. You got to play a little bit more aggressive, or you just have to bank on playing the first stock better. Yeah. That, yeah. It, you know what I mean? I, like, you're putting all your eggs in the first stock basket. Well, we're back on town, too, which is where he won, and I think, oh god, 50%. Anyway, congrats <laughs> to Sonic. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh, no, See, guys, betting the set, set on the kidding. first interaction. <laughs> I'm that, I mean, it kind of well, feels like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is, but I, yes, I was kidding. But obviously, there's a lot that goes into it, especially the first right. stock, though. The meme exists for a reason. Yeah. And I mean, that's really on both sides. The way that a has been playing oh today, my God. he has definitely been okay with looking for the timeouts. And so, therefore, the, yeah, this really does come down to a game of, uh, of patience. Like, Up all, of them, all of them are okay with using all seven minutes of this clock. Up in interaction, you know the vibes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See ya. Chilling. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Damn, 30? Didn't even get a follow up. I, I feel like that move gets buffed every 40 minutes. <laughs> like, what happened? Every 40 minutes. I feel like Sonic's just beating that move handedly at the beginning of this set. <laughs> it's just not happening. Mid tournament patch. <laughs> All right. Well, you know the switch is connected to the internet because Sonic's is Wi Fi on it, so <laughs> yeah. it, would, it would happen. <laughs> All right, slowly chipping away at this stock, now 50%, but Sonics setting up this offstage situation, going extremely high, riding the anvil down, throwing out some blocks needle. as well. Wow, okay, great defense coming back on the stage as a cola. Nice. I feel like okay. normally also, too, that uh, Huge. Sonics is, uh, or a cola is good at like watching someone try to break down blocks and then just immediately threading that needle with his own card. But I feel as though Sonics actually hasn't been intentionally breaking the blocks. He just weakens them a lot, and then yep. he backs off. So like they, they're gonna go away when like after that interaction is done, which is like a really smart way of dealing with blocks instead he, of just actually getting them out the way. Yeah, he has a lot of right, exactly. TK having those options and just having the knowledge has been so strong for Sonic's man. So shout out to him, more power to him. Clearly incredible at this matchup. I, I don't think we talk about him enough, honestly, when it comes to good players against Steve. Mm -hmm. Spargo, he kind of steals the spotlight there, obviously, but still, Sonic's deserves a lot of credit for what he does here. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh, we're even, out. Even the way Sonic's throws out some of these back airs too, so it doesn't <laughs> hit the cart, it hits Steve on. 
above the minecart too. There's so many scenarios where Sonics will just go for a raw back air or just going for up B back air and making sure to hit Steve and not the cart. Nice. All right, yeah, look at this. a couple back. Oh, oh, who's over there? Absolutely no one. Yeah. Luckily though, does manage to make oh, it back nice. to the stage. What a punish, by the way. He's good, man. He sees those openings. He doesn't let them go to waste. I love that too. The weaker material, Sonic's back here through. Oh, yeah. the oh, pace. Actually, dude. back to Minecraft yet yeah. again. Nice job, Sonic. He's gonna set the tone here at Watch the Throne. Hey, I'm sorry, Cola. This, this, this ain't for you right now, bro. Yeah, this is uh, for you right now. You know what Ooh, looks like? Oh, a, uh, he's up till thing it's over. I think that only made Sonic more, more upset, bro. He's <laughs> like, this should have been done in a 3-0 fashion. I'm gonna make sure that you knew you're supposed to lose. We're working on a, a potential another chance at a three stop. Oh, oh my god, god, dude! I'm saying when he hit that up tilt. I think that's okay. it, man. Back air, pressure from Sonic. Dash attacking. Okay, man, if you get through this time around, can he get a stock though? Looking for maybe an air dodge down, but Sonic's coming down aggressively. I thought he was going to do it again. You know Start what? the other way. You know what I think? It would have been interesting uh, if I pull a tried Aegis here. Mm. That's something I'm thinking uh, at this point. Yeah, I mean, that, that's why I suggested it. Like, in that scenario, or in this scenario specifically, at least Aegis has a better chance when Aegis is behind, right? And, uh, but Steve, in this situation, look, it's like, it's so it, hard. It took Spargo spanking him a couple times for him to try out Aegis there, so maybe it's just a, kind of a similar path well, they're on. Well, right. think about it too. Aegis is an even better coverage. If he has Steve Aegis, that covers Cloud, because Aegis beats Cloud as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Aegis good against Cloud and Sonic. I think this was really, really good data for Akola. On top of a good showing too, switching between, he clearly put a lot of time in the Aegis to go against Spargo, taking a game there, but then right. having to switch against Bloom with Steve, and then riding the Steve momentum all the way through here. So great showing from Akola. I'm, I'm so happy happy we had him here at Watch the Throne. It wouldn't have been uh, a key invitational without him, of course. Yeah, Such we, a key player in, in Ultimate right now. 100%, bro. All, again, all four of these uh, these guys in our top four just kind of vying yeah. for you know supremacy in this meta, in these rankings. And uh, you know one by one, they are falling, but that's just how it goes. And we're, right there, we lose a Cola, who will finish in fourth place, which will set up Sonics versus Mia. And, dude, Loser gets third. And the thing with a Cola, too, is he really only loses to like a handful of players yep. still. Like, oh, you it's want, one it, hand. And, and they counted on one and hand. And they just happen to be also in the tournament, right. also just blazing above him right now. So a Cola getting fourth is like pretty world shattering on it. Like that is really low for him, it's which is crazy. a compliment to him only. So shouts to Akola, man. Yeah. Love having him here. Love having him on the mic, actually. He opened up a lot when we had him on here. It was super which fun. Which is great, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. nice to see him see him do well with that. So well, shouts to him and watch. The yeah. thing about, you know, the Watch Throne event is like, this has been a very, you know, safe place for the players. You know what I mean? Like everybody- Player friendly, yep. You know, we're putting their needs first and, and stuff uh, of that nature. And I feel like that's really good. We're getting some good content, some good words out of them, some excellent gameplay. You know, everybody is uh, bringing their A game. Yeah, bro. No, I mean, yeah. I, that was uh, still, I mean, a quality set uh, between them, but Sonic's man really, really ran away with that uh, that second half of the set. I mean, he oh, lost yeah. that one game off the, you know, the tray back air. It was a really good back air. I mean, obviously, great place there for McCullough, but after that, I feel like, yeah, he just played with some uh, some fury that he was not playing with before that. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah I man. think the main takeaways for Akola were that he was able to take a game off of Sonic's mm -hmm. and off of uh, and off of Spargo. That's like yep. pretty good progress, especially the Spargo one because he did it with Aegis. So, yep. and a lot of people, to me, that helps him a lot beat the he has no fundies accusations that we see all the time, carried by Steve, all whatever. Doing well with Aegis against Spargo. Fighting Spargo sword to sword is not easy to do. I don't care if it's a winning matchup. Spargo is godlike, so. Yeah, and Spargo so plays Aegis too. So Spargo yep. knows a lot about Aegis and understands the ins, the outs, the strengths, right, the weaknesses, bro. right? So, oh, Rod, you, you, you heading out, bro? You leaving? Oh, no, Wait, man. Come on. Come on now. All right, yeah. Hey, don't do that, man. Rod's got to head out. He got a, a flight to catch. We're going to go ahead and say goodbye to our boy, man. That's my that's my guy, bro, man. It's good to see you out here, bro. Right, yes, man. sir. Shout to Rod, man. Go back. back. Travel safe, brother, okay? Had to leave safe travel. Safe travel. Appreciate you, Rod. Say bye, Rod. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Say bye to Rod, chat. Hey, bro. There we go. Hey. It's a homie right there, man. Yeah, that is definitely my guy, man. So right good. I'm glad we got to see him for, you know, like a day and a half. But yeah, yeah. he definitely came out here and, and, and made, the, made the throne more more homie, more comfortable. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, well, yeah, Rod, sure. you know, a lot of people don't realize this. He actually he does teaching. So that's why he's not available, yep. you know, for the, the whole day on like a Friday. And he has to be back on Monday. You know what I mean? So yeah. out there doing some good things for the youth. And we appreciate Rod. So safe travels back my friend definitely a, a key player in setting up watch of thrones yes. too very consistent showing up to the meetings and helping 100%. us run everything like there are so many people we have to thank and rod is absolutely on that list a thousand percent so thanks again rod great seeing you even if it was uh too short this time but we'll catch him again yeah, in another we'll tournament. Soon, yeah. no absolutely well, let me catch another set right here we have sonics and mia yep stepping up man 66 percent here uh to the 34 as they uh played 
But uh, oh, this is actually all in one tournament. I forgot. Yeah, this is all. Yep. all yep. Four. Yep. That's all four. One, one reset is, is where Mia got on the board there, mm -hmm. but Sonic shut that down quick in set number two. So see if you can have the same success. Sonic's, you know, coming a little bit of you know the, the Japan Slayer of sorts. You know, this guy is just really really good. Him and Spargo really match up super well against Akola and Mia. I think that's something that uh, should definitely be noted a lot. Yeah, we got to see how the, what he brings to the table this time around. Now, obviously, he was able to get AW, you know, 3-1 right here. But it's crazy that all their matches went 3-1. So it was like, you know, once the, once the wins stopped, started coming through, they just kept rolling. But got to see who ends up taking it this time around. Yeah, I'm excited to see this one uh, again. Send to see a run sure. back and see if he's able to learn anything. Because, I mean, even in uh, the, the reset, like, it still felt like it was kind of like an either way thing. When Even when it went up 2-1, you're kind of like, all right, this could end up going to game five. But, yeah, no, luckily, Sonic was just was able to close it out. So, mm -hmm. let's see what he can do here this time around. I know he just played a very long and somewhat exhausting set uh, from both sides. You know, that's not just a uh, because of Cola, but, like, you know, sometimes that's just how the game shapes out when you play uh, two certain characters on the screen. So, right. hopefully yeah. he still has a little more endurance in him to play yet another potentially long set. I was going to say, maybe the best thing, and there's a lot of things to compliment Sonic on in terms of his, his tournament play, but his tournament endurance, probably the best in the game right now. Like, it's got to be up there, man. Yeah. He's been put through the ringer so many times. The way he plays with a lead is incredible. He's just a player that, you know, when he gets his hits, he really makes it count. But at the same time, he's ready to run the marathon whenever he needs to gonna need to man you got a lot of competitors up here that are gonna require a lot of stamina and strong mental fortitude of course got past Akola Mia the next one on that list winner of this actually going to go to grand finals and get a rematch against Fargo who sent them both uh, to this losers positioning right now so imagine they're fighting for a lot right now it's gonna be good yep yeah, Huge I mean, set, too. I mean, we talked about the top four seeds here, top four in the world, probably on the rankings. So right, this right. is an enormous set. With Mia, you talk about valuable wins, right? Because you look at Akola and Mia and who they need to beat and what would count a lot for them when people are doing those uh, annoying Twitter arguments. Win winning against Sonics right here would help out a lot. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, every single win, every single outplacement is going to matter for this next ranking coming Ooh. up for 2023 here. Already, Mia starting things up with a 73% opener. Also, oh. it's a very important factor, especially about the top three here. They are crazy heavy on the Wi-Fi ground. All yes, three of them yes. a lot, especially very, very. Sonic. But right. obviously, you got Mia and, uh, and uh, Spargo, too. Very, very big on that, so... No excuses, Mom. It's, it's, I mean, it's just crazy, too, like this age of uh, Ultimate where, like, you know, the game first came out and everyone, the Wi-Fi Warriors, yeah, that was a, that was an insult. But all of them came up <laughs> and, and, and really proved themselves, bro. Yeah. All these guys who were, like, grinding that Wi-Fi are now sitting in these uh, these top spots, man. Spargo was a Wi-Fi uh, grinder as well back in the day. Very, very yeah, now look at him. Sitting, sitting in, uh, oh, oh, my God. Out there. Wow. He should be looking at Sonics because he is making the plays right now. Yep. Open it up. Big time to get that first stock off Mia. As a wise man once said, seeing is half the battle when it comes to fights here. 90%. Or 90, yep, 90%. 90% of the battle. 90% of the battle. Yeah, he, he, he definitely first saw that, that stock. I will what say that, is the other? What is the other 10%? Uh, confidence, my friend. That's hey, it? You yeah. just see... Okay. He definitely has confidence. I'll give it up for that. I'm, you know what, man? That's actually... He's kind of spitting on that. Why? <laughs> Why? 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 Beyond his ears. <laughs> anyway. 40% here on to Mia on his second stock, and he's still, you know, he can definitely find himself just a stray hit to take this one off of Sonic's, but it's actually finding that hit is going to be kind of rough. Sonic's is uh, currently heading up to the VIP section because the vibe's starting to look a little good, you know what I mean? Yep. Just saying. He's not there yet. <laughs> Trying to get up there, man. He's just lead attack. Oh! oh get great did you catch see from that? Mia. That was wow. insane. I've never seen that interaction it, It's before. weird because it's like a DI mix, too, because you're DIing for the fair hit, but then you get sent up. That's it's kind of wild, yeah. honestly. I've never seen that alley -oop before. Dang. Yeah, clean. The, mm. the up B altered the knockback angle, and if you, you can't alter knockback angles of the original move if hit so much after uh -oh. the first one hit there. So I think that's what Mia did. What a tricky way to get that first stock here, really bringing out every single bag of tricks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sonic's looking for a very... Uh, yeah, Ray and Ozark, so I guess F smash right there. Very uh, crazy went for uh, F smash and yep. then ends up taking 34 for it. But either way, 54 now on to him, but he's still got some good damage on to Mia. Could potentially see just a quick back air for the stock. If he got a little uh, antsy, he can maybe find an up smash. But 
Normally, that's uh, not nice. how you see thrown out too often. No. I, I like this stage for Mia, by the way. Look how we can trace Sonic down out of the sky. It's so important when you're playing against Sonic because you need to trace, obviously, the spinning, but also after the spring, he can act too. So there's a lot Game of Watch needs to keep up with. He's not the fastest character in the game, not at so all. you need a smaller stage in order to do that. I, I like this stage for both players, honestly. Oh. Oh, okay, nice. A lot of big damage, damage here, man. That was slick, kind of forced him into the corner. He's getting a lot off of that <laughs> as well. He just did it nice. again, by the way. Huge brain, honestly. Dude, he was hitting those against Sweet a lot, too. That jab has been... We've been seeing more of the jab from him than the ledge. It's such big damage, but... The classic timing. from Sonic, yep. Yeah, really good timing on that uh, on that standard getup. You know, he got through the bomb and the F throw all at once uh, to be able to get that back throw at the most... Uh, oh, uh, oh, well, 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 well. well. Maybe, they, maybe he doesn't like the songs up there. I don't know. <laughs> it, it was country night this time. It's like, I'm going home, bro. <laughs> I'm out of here, man. Get the cake owners back out yeah. real quick. <laughs> it's country night. No. Uh -oh. Everyone be leaving on country night, man. Yeah, this is definitely like I'm look everyone. at the way that the look at the well, not everyone, but uh, look at the way that the game has just absolutely changed. He went from uh, you know just immediately grabbing that lead to now 20 seconds later down by a considerable amount. And now he's stuck in the air. Mia is playing the gameplay that he was want to do pretty much the entirety of this top yep. four. I'm trying to put people in the skies and make sure they can't land. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy how quickly it can shift. And uh, there's still a lot of time left on that clock. So Mia can determine how this one's going to shape up with the fact that they're both on those final stocks. Trying to do whatever he can. I mean, you know what it is. Sonic's has this crazy damage output. B at the spin charge. Uh, okay, up B interrupting it though. Sonic was definitely looking for something big there. Oh. Unable to find it so far though. Play well, very patiently. Though. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Back onto the other side. Unfortunately though, he still has to get some more damage here. I mean, we do have. It's not a. We got a lot of time on the clock, so yep. I don't think it's worried yeah. about a, a time out here, at least from the side of Mia. But Sonic's can't make any oh. real bad mistakes. Oh, 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 he, oh he read that. Oh, he read that a thousand percent. Jeez, Mia almost just giving him the game right there by accident. That was so good by Sonics. Ah, not rewarded for it, though. It's so sad. Okay. Mia, that was a good air. Oh, what? Not the one. <laughs> Sometimes he's got to prime it just to see what he what he can get. All right. Now right. <laughs> Priming. Yeah. He's got one out. I think the next one is easily a two. A oh, seven. good catch. That was a brilliant. Yeah. Oh, oh, immediately dude. touched the ground and just ah. went back immediately. Like, let me put this back here out. Exactly oh, where you're going to be. I thought Mia did such a good job playing with the lead there right up until the first time he got hit. Yep. Once he got hit, then it all started to fall apart. And again, the vibes were so well known, dude. And dude. it's so weird because like last stock feels good for Sonics no matter what. It's like yeah. a Gluto effect almost. You know, it's not whopped obviously, but just the way he plays so poised in that last stock, knowing he can win it at any time. I feel like this happens so often today too, where like somebody is doing very well in the lead and then they get hit like once. Yeah. And it's just like it all falls apart. Enough, like, yeah. yeah. So sometimes, yeah, that first hit, I mean, like, you know? Gotta, oh, you gotta, yeah, you gotta start building yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Thought he almost hit a back air right there on the way down, too, but no, I'm looking for an up air instead. But either way, man, good uh, comeback there from Sonics, even after the SD. Going right back to Halo Bastion, got that first W here on the way uh, of Sonics. Mia, gonna be trying to fire back. And yeah, this is a good start for him, look at that. Huge, yeah, it, 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 I'm gaming, you're watching. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and deliver it right back. That was a slow fall on that down air. I like the, uh, the mix-up of the timing. I believe it's 2-0 for Sonic, right? Th that was definitely one. That was game oh, one. Oh, that was game man. one? Yeah, Charles. Uh, you got a bet on this? <laughs> <laughs> Never going to hit that parlay Charles, Charles, Charles long, but goddamn. <laughs> I, I, I was just reading chat, man. I was reading chat. Oh, okay. You're reading well, chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, someone said 2-0 question? Commentary's up here, Charles. <laughs> Look at that. Screen. Back to Earth. <laughs> back to Earth. <laughs> Welcome to Earth, Charles. Well, I'll tell you what, at the moment, Akola or oh. watching out, hoping his boy can get the job done, man. They came into this training together. I need somebody to go to top two. Oh. Don't say hi, commentators. Only Charles is reading the chat. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, oh, gee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Anyway. <laughs> at least he kept it real with you, Jeff. <laughs> 132 to 87 right now. Who's getting that first stock? That's what we're looking for. Sonic's definitely kind of hurting, and Mia, once again, doing a good job, kind of forcing him at the edge. But unfortunately for him, Sonic's has been quite good at just, you know, in, in the history of playing this game and playing from, uh, you know, from the corner. So. Uh huh. It's been something Mia's been so good at this weekend is, is mm -hmm. escaping the corner. I mean, Game yep. & Watch helps with that, but you can see 
even with especially with Sonic, like if you spring and read Game of Watch's upbeat, it's like going upbeat for upbeat. It's so good. Also, chat. The joke was I obviously was reading chat because I saw. It. Never mind. <laughs> oh, it's not funny if you have to explain it. Yeah. Wow. Well. Yeah, you, you try, bro. That's all. That's all. You guys laugh. That's Next all. time, that was me. He, he, well, he laughed, not me. Anyway, that's I, not true. I got you, Hazzy. Oh, all right. Well, what the? More dash action. Oh! oh! I don't, I don't like that. He's like, I don't like your food. Get out of my kitchen. <laughs> Having none of it right now. Me in desperate straits to at least tie this up, man. You don't want to fall behind 0-2 against Sonic's proven to. Uh, not being effective strategy. I do love that Sonic emo, by the way. I think it's so good. It is very the, the stretchy fist, yeah, it's yeah. so good though. Wah! I think the Pepega better though, honestly, Chet. Uh oh. <laughs> Sonic Zima yeah, had another situation where he's just having a hard time getting down to the ground, but now he's able to put on just a little bit of damage. Oh, whoa! Oh, what the? And he got a back air off that. Unfortunately, you know, took a trade hit, but I like yeah. the idea. You know, we, footstools are always high. I don't care what happens with him. It's just like, oh, in the middle of your combo? Okay. Yeah. I think, honestly, I was going to say Sonic's one of the best on-hit players in the world. I think Mia's right there, too, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. it's just, he's just ridiculous with his Game & Watch optimization. Uh -oh. nice. It's crazy that even though Mia parries Spin Dash or Spin Charge in the up B, which should technically be a clean punish, he still trades, mm -hmm. which is wild. <laughs> Got to catch him going to the ledge there with an active back air. Nice little lead here for Mia so far, guys. Nope. Okay. Out of there yet again. Hold on now. Going back and forth, man, hitting the old, the old infinite loop right there with, uh, with Sonic. Spin dash up, spin dash up. Yeah, trying to set up these forward airs is game of watch, but I mean Sonic is so fast, really doesn't oh. have to interact with a oh. lot of these forward airs. Yeah, that's nah, really what, what Sonic's benefit is. Like despite being behind, like he knows it. Really, at any given moment, he can shift it oh, back in his wow. favor. But Mia said, "Don't." Overthink it too much. Right, but yeah, that's crazy. He, he was able to get down and hit an episode as well before yeah. the, he flew too far away. So, got all that, got the damage and the knockback. Uh oh, got to find his way out. The spring does get him out of him out of there this time around. So, he's well, got. Oh, yeah. did he touch ground? Me is finding a lot of critical okay. answers right now. Loving to play oh, at the moment. Wow. Yo, what? just the wow. bro, that is true. Soft neutral air up smash, oh, dude. I, again, you can't compliment these players enough on how good they are when they're hitting each other. It's yeah. ridiculous. That was kind of nasty. He so. finds some pretty cool stuff, man. Uh -oh. I'm ready to like wait. Or like the first time I see him, I'm gonna hit that soft neutral air into the, the angled up F smash. I was like, bro, this man be <laughs> he be doing it. I yes, think he does. One key similarity between these characters that has played a, a big part of this matchup is how they can both act out of up B so well. I mean, mm -hmm. Game of Watch is obviously like the best in the game, but Sonic's is really good too. Keep right up with each other, man. There's a lot oh. of mix going around that. Hard time for Sonic to get down one more time. All right, able to mix up his way to at least touch the ground, but Mia still keeping that. Got a lot of damage off that. It doesn't even matter if like he doesn't, you know, turn this into pushing you off the stage. It's just like it feels like he always gets so much damage and you just struggling to get back down to the ground regardless. And now he has pushed him off the stage. 116. It's a little rough. Oh, oh, oh. snap back. That sucks. Yeah, yeah happens the best of us, bro. Controller monitor is here. <laughs> we, we paid for him. <laughs> we paid for him. Oh! oh we never get a stop like that. Hey! That was kind of wild. There we go. Yeah. Me awaken the crowd. I'm like, hey, we still got ourselves a set building up here. Maybe giving ourselves a little bit of confidence, too. Like, okay. That's one down. I can definitely do this. Yeah, I, I like it too because I, Mia definitely falls in that category of player because there are a lot of players who are, are very highly ranked where it's like, all right, they're down 0-2 or they're down even 1-0. It's like, it's going to be rough for them to come back. Mia always feels like he's in it no matter what. Like, he, he's just so consistent and good. Yeah, yeah. Always head in the game here. What the? What, what the? What is that? that Sonic on? music. Yeah. <laughs> that is ah. Coney. Oh, uh, okay. Sounds like right. somebody got caught up in leap of company. Whoa. Oh, nice, dude. It's a bracken. <laughs> it was just funny because we heard that and then cue in Sonic music. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is fine. Everything's cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Everyone's having a great time at Watch the Throne. Do, do, We're playing do, do, Sonic music. Screen posting. Oh, my goodness. Actually hilarious. All right, bro. Oh. All right, man. We're, we're getting we're getting fully themed right now. He even changed color of uh, skin too, man. Yep. He's getting he's getting straight themed right now. Is this gonna work? Uh, is this gonna work though? That's what really matters here. Sonic, trying he's to get moving. He is kind of moving right now. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, double nair. Oh, not gonna connect it up. You usually don't see Mia missing those there. Again, great punish on these forward air setups. <laughs> 
Wait, this song, Take My Lead, I'll Set You Free, it's kind of like, uh, it's wait, kinda, wait, you got the lead, oh, wait, hold up. It's what do you do with the lead, Sonic? <laughs> I'll make you free, <laughs> it's over. He's, and he's telling the punk to follow him. Mm. <laughs> I'm, waiting, bro. I'm capping you, bro, you take, follow you take me. This, take this literally. <laughs> Huh, it's all in the song, huh? Yeah, yeah. it is, man. The secret's in the song. Oh, the Sonic Uncharted. Illuminati is out here. Yep. I mean, Turn it down. Nice. <laughs> Push him off the Okay, a little neutral air action. But oh, get right back to that stage. Nice. And he is definitely trying to keep the pressure on right here from Sonic. Getting some good damage. He's able to double that damage in about 10 seconds. Nice to back here, but only <laughs> on to the right side. Oh, man. <laughs> Someone put follow me. Wow. <laughs> 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 Stop looking at that. Come to the menu. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. 120% here on Mia. Finally, the kicks, the backer, going to give Sonic this lead now and be able to chill back. And again, Battlefield, with this high platform, going to be able to spin shot to it or go ahead and spring in disadvantage. But Mia also using these platforms to frame trap Sonic. I don't think Mia should let him have this song. He'd be like, you can go to any damn stage you want, but this song is too powerful I, for you. Can you can you ban songs? I think honestly, I think if it's their counter pick, you get to if it's your counter pick, you get to pick the song. I really do believe in well, that. I, I don't see. Yeah, that would make perfect sense. Yeah, uh, there's definitely yeah, there's definitely songs I feel like if someone's about to pick, and I'd just be like, no. The, yeah. the, same the Buzz Darkon. I'm I'm fine with that, but like I'm tough. Like you know, I don't want to. Don't hit me with the environmental noises, bro. Come on, man. I think Play that's. An I do song. think that's a no electro plankton. Yeah. You know what Who I mean? Who sings this song? Uh, Crush 40, ain't it? Crush Sonic 40? the Hedgehog? Crush 40, yeah. Okay. I thought it was Sonic the Hedgehog. Isn't he the one saying Why would Sonic, yeah, Sonic him, doesn't even talk? The Hedgehog, man. That's just not true. That's Sonic <laughs> talks a lot. That's literally... <laughs> Is this Rick he Ross? likes chili dogs. I mean the movie. He no. All right. Okay. All right. I'm we're getting... I'm getting yeah, I'm getting baited. I'm getting baited. I'm getting baited. We're right. definitely getting... Yeah, yeah, we're all getting <laughs> we're, we're moving for him, bro. <laughs> Follow it's me. just so Ooh. funny because we hear it in the <laughs> background. It's it's like we can't escape. <laughs> that song is called City Escape. Mm. All right, follow me and that, that's e, e, follow me into deception. That's what's <laughs> we're going on over here. All right, seventy-one percent now. Yep, yep, yep. Here on to Mia, but yeah, he's got a lot to make up and. Well, I mean, we, we got a lot of time, so I don't really think Ooh. we're worried too much about a timeout. But still, you know, playing yeah. from behind is never fun. I guess I, I do really love Sonic's movement on the stage, too. I mean, Battlefield, the way he moves and dips and dives over the platform, plus just the base ground. Like, his, his dash dance has been tight. He's spinning out of the corners. Like, what if, yo, Spam had the funniest line by accident earlier in the tournament. I think he was casting Ken. He goes, yeah, Ken's spin base dash, his sp or spin base <laughs> game plan. It was like... <laughs> Yo, yep. Sonic's be spinning. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what he said, Devin? It was that was it. All right, good. Spin based game plan. I mean, you see the it's, results of that game plan. It's, it's like something you put on the the box art of a Sonic game. You know, <laughs> like nine out of ten spin based game plan. I IGN approved. <laughs> game of the year. Yep. Spin based gaming. No. <laughs> that shit killed me. It's like he, he's completely right. Obviously, I agree. It's just the, the way in which he said it was great. Hey, I mean, his ass is spinning. You know what I'm saying? Spinning and champions. Uh -oh. Nice, dude. Oh, big up with this lead, man. Nice. Huge opportunity. For oh, wow. Wow. dude, up yeah. smash too. I love it. Good stuff from Mia there, bringing this right back. Another last shock situation. 68% here on Game & Watch. Both these characters extremely light here. And of course, we've seen Mia get one hit and just get entire stocks or just a bunch of damage, right? Oh, parry. Wait for the panic option, all right? This is the third time the song is playing, actually. <laughs> I'll keep it track. It is kind of crazy they put songs with <laughs> lyrics in this game just to loop. Like, this could be a, an unlimited time match, you know? Yeah, Doesn't true. the singer get tired? I mean, it's Sukiyomi, man. Oh, is that oh, it? That's it. Nice, dude. Yeah. Very clean. Someone Something really Sonic. likes this song, bro. I'm just saying. At least, at least the loop, a loop is good. At least true. the loop is actually good. That's true. Yeah, good, good that, call. It's that one in the uh, the Persona song that, my, uh, that I like a lot. Oh, the Persona song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we almost got to the second verse a third time there. That's how I was keeping track of the time. You don't even got to look at the timer. All right, Chuck. Official. Yeah. Yep. You keep track of games through chat, though, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, game four coming up here. Sonic's looking pretty dominant, and I mean, he wants that rematch with Spargo, right? 
Yes. Right? He does. <laughs> That's right, Chuck. He's I've, eager for it. Couldn't have said it better myself. Okay. Fighting. Spin dash game play. <laughs> Spin base. Oh, spin, spin base. base. Spin base. Spin base. 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 That's too literal, Charles. <laughs> spin base game play. Step back. <laughs> spin base. Yeah, because like neutral air, he spins as well, right? Like there's a whole layer. There's to a lot it. of spinning spin going dashing, on. Spin spinning, spin charging, spin spin canceling. To be Board honest, everything he's doing, yeah, like uh, like ninety percent of his. He, even if he, he's not spinning in a circle, he's spinning some way. He, be sp he spins his arm in forward smash too. <laughs> true, the true. He's spinning everywhere, man. He spins before he odds. You think Bro gets dizzy? <laughs> he should, but like, I guess maybe he doesn't. Well, Sonic isn't like under the same rules as like a human. So. I didn't say really. That well, I wonder my, why. That wasn't not my observation. <laughs> he's a humanoid. He's a what? Humanoid. I think he's a hedgehog. He's Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, but he's a oh humanoid. Oh my god! You ever seen a hedgehog I, do that I, shit? Huh? I, you yes. ever seen it? Actually, many times this ha. weekend. Ha. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Engage the humanoid suit. The <laughs> protocol. The brother from Sonic is so funny. <laughs> yeah, the Bam Droid called for it, dude. <laughs> Have a great time here on the couch, and Sonic is yeah. having a great time in this game four. <laughs> big lead built up for himself, a full stock. Now Mia's is work. Oh, that should be a big punish. Yes, forward air. Mia's forward airs have been really, really good throughout this set too, especially on the platforms. You you yeah. you can line up game yeah. watch forward air, so it actually uh. detonates the forward air even sooner Ooh. if it's right Ooh. on top of a platform here. Not going to get the frame trap though with the down smash. That back air could have been the game in the set, to be honest with you. So yeah. good job by Mia, keeping his head on straight. Try to get the landing here. Great parry into the up B. Set up the bait. Oh, try to get the oh. up and over. But wow, that was so many layers. Good. Threw out the shaft, threw out the high back air, and then covered the air dot to the ledge with the downer. What a trap coming out for Mia. Dropping the hammer. Damn. Thor is here. Up angle on that forward smash, though. My man has been eat. Yeah, Mia's been getting punched. Uh, almost yeah, straight up, bro. <laughs> Again, bro. Only in this boy. Yep. Arm spin base gameplay. <laughs> you know, if he can spin, he, spin. he even spins on the back air if you look at it. You know, if you think about he, it, he does one good 360. There it is. Like, you know what? Like, it's, it's a full 360. You know what the bro. thing is? Game and Watch never spins. Forder spins He's literally <laughs> two dimensional. <laughs> he doesn't think never about it. Seen one of his sets. Wait, yeah, it's impossible to spin if you're 2D. The, yeah, best, thing, those, the yeah. best thing he does is a cartwheel off the web. That's it. That is, yeah, I do that's like it. that. I do like that. He, he, yes, he's not. He's not a spin-based gamer at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, he even spins on down tilt, by the way. <laughs> he just he spins on down tilt, forward airs, another like Wait, spin move. Yo, Batman is spinning, honestly. Yeah? yeah. How long do you think Batman knows about Sonic? Like, he knows a lot about he Sonic. He does know about Sonic, yeah. That's true. Well, we all know about Sonic. The secret's out, dude. <laughs> he spins. Yeah. Like. I mean, that man, Sonic's with a pretty big lead here. Mia yeah, already on the last <laughs> stock. Now Sonic's nice, being man. able to rack up this damage. Tries to go up and over the chef. Again, using that up B, that eject button, the defuse, a lot of this pressure, falling arrows coming out from Sonics. Uh-oh. All right, gonna make, oh, big bite right there coming in uh, from Mia, but now pushing Ooh. back on, he has been really good at getting those down smashes at the ledge like that, but luckily Sonics was able to grab the ledge this time around. Yeah, Sonics is gonna be kicking himself mm. if he doesn't accumulate more damage than just this. Uh-oh. Yeah, right, very true, very 70, true. At least 70, 80, yeah. What? Also, every single one of their sets has been 3-1. Yep. So I feel like Sonic has already point. locked it in, right? Uh -huh. If every single one of their sets are going to be 3-1. If history has told us anything, Chuck, it repeats. Okay, springing out there. Sonic still with a solid lead, 132. Backer at, by the edge will do it, but Sonic's not giving him that opening. A Sour Nair could already do it into back air or forward smash. Sonic has so many KO options. Right there. Oh, the bomb Huge. drop, but still, we got a lot of damage there. Yeah. As you yeah. say, you know, he's going to be kicking himself, didn't get extra damage. And I think he was around like 30 something percent when you said that, but now yeah, he 92. Got yep. Yeah, he's, he's able to put some good damage there, set up for, you know, the Pegaha. One. Let's get it. Pegaha is so funny. The uh, thing about Mia right now, too, is the, the option to put a ton of damage on the Sonic exists. Trying to pop him off the top of the neutral air. Very close for Sonic's closing out this game. Wants to play against Spargo very badly. Uh oh. Up air, nice call out there going uh -oh. high. Look at this up air. This is big damage. Big trouble for Sonics right now. Lots and lots of damage. Almost 50% already. Nice. Wow. The latest air dodge. Yeah. That was such a good choice by Sonics. Because that's at, that's the point where uh, Game Watch has the intangibility on the up air, or up B, right? So that's where most players will go for an area or something like that. Great timing on that. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. air dodge. Oh my goodness. Me is surviving right now. Nice job avoiding that critical back air from Sonics. Okay. Big situation, and we might be going to a game five. Honestly, we're very close. And that down, wow! The last hit of that down air just saving him. 
Yeah, it's yeah. definitely fine. Oh, that yeah, yeah. I was going to say. Yeah, needed that full-on cross-up on that one. If we get a berry, it could be huge, right? Yeah, a down smash could berry, be, that, that could be the game. I mean, Game & Watch follows so crazy. Uh, especially if it's towards the side of the stage. I think if he just hits it now, anywhere, he can yes. get F-Smash for the kill. He's got too much rage. What about just raw nine on a spin dash? <laughs> oh, I mean, that'd that, be so fly. <laughs> that would be great. Be, I mean, Mia's dressed stylish, bro. He's got to end his game stylish. Oh, the oh, pop-up tech chase! Gonna do it. Good stop there by Sonic. Closing that one out. You got to give it up again to Mia for making it so close. He was yeah. behind. He knew, about, he knew the vibes. I mean, he was down an entire sock that game four and almost brought it back right at the end. Really clean stuff from Sonic's, not letting Mia catch up. Well done on the handshake there. Good, good posture on that too. Honestly, bro. Yeah, yeah. great posture. Great yeah, posture. clean, dude. F1 racer out here. Damn, and that's the first seed of the tournament out at third place here. Man, really, just Sonic's and Spargo coming out to play. And I mean, these two are rivals. They play each other so much time on all these online tournaments. Coin box, of course, right? So, you, yep. you know, every time you turn in a coin box, grand finals, you're probably going to see these two battling it out. Yeah. So they're. Now here, grand finals of Watch the Throne, and me and Nicola already out at third and fourth. Crazy results here. Yeah, it ain't that crazy, bro, and I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell why, you why, why right now. E? Because right, so. I truly believe Spargo and Sonics easily match up the best with them. The fact that they oh, had yeah. to fight them. Oh, yeah. I oh, didn't yeah, even course, think yeah. for a minute that they were, I'm not going to lie, fair. I didn't think they were going to lose. That's fair. You know, that's not a knock on them. I just think, no. like, yo, they should be favored, and they just demonstrated once again why. It's a compliment That's in a way because there's really only two players who shut them down this consistently in this well. Uh, it, it's really cool to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah good not point. not a knock at all. Good no, point. Good point. absolutely not, yeah. Yeah, Actually, I mean, yeah. they have the stats to show it as well. You saw. Yeah, very, very good point. And again, I, I think these kinds of formats is definitely going to be a huge benefit to players like Sonics and Spargo. Not saying that they can't get to the end part of the bracket all the time, but I mean, it almost feels like a shorter yeah. path there, right? And one thing I saw a lot, too, after Port Variety was like, oh, well, you know, Sonic's only won because they never got to fight him again before. Next time, it'll be different. Nah. Yeah, well, it, it, was, it, was, not a, it was actually the exact same. 3-1. Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the prophecy Sonic was foretold. 3-1. It, it was, dude. Man, we're getting the grand finals already. I can't believe we're getting to the end of this weekend, dude. It's been such a good time. Yeah. Well, it's not, the, yeah. not the full end of the weekend. I, mean, I know we got grand finals now, but we do have some uh, a couple extra things right after grand finals, too. So uh, definitely stick around for that. But got to get through this tournament first. I'm very excited for this grand finals, too. Spargo and Sonics stepping up one more time. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. It'll be sick. I was going to say, yeah, I mean, it basically is coin box. I was going to say it's watch the box, but that's a whole different thing. Watch anyway, the box. Yep. Right, it's watch the throne. Yeah, it's right. a different, yeah, it's, uh, right, that's that's a different <laughs> hey. thing. You, anyway, <laughs> what anyway. The fuck? Hey, that was you this time. Well, hey, yo, what is he on right now? <laughs> Those different. Lost his shirt in his mind. Get this man shirt. What's your favorite site for that? Anyway, no. <laughs> I hit the keto. I lost the brain cells, bro. It's over. Somebody <laughs> keto Guido, watch out, ma. What the you keto? Huh? I got more. Well, you said what? Get it out. Ah, they give it up. They give it up. That's not. You know what? Well, somebody's gonna win that crown right there. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, this right here. Oh, this is that was the, the yeah, yeah. This was the trophy. Y'all see it? Yeah, we are we are dethroning the slime. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like the the slime has been the the king of the throne this entire oh, yeah. weekend. But slime is eventually These are purple going too. to get it's dethroned. Nice. Yeah, it, it's a beautiful. Oh, I love purple. Oh yeah, yeah it's uh, the 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 diamonds are cubic zirconium, but the crown itself is actually oh. fourteen carats. So. Yep. We spent we our whole budget. All the money. Yeah, all the money carats. that y'all y'all like spent on. Uh, merch actually went directly to that, so only fourteen. Make sure Yo, got to buy more jackets. It's only fourteen karat gold. Come on, guys, no, hit the no. shop. Actually, we're almost out of out of jackets. They yeah, are limited yeah, run, so make sure you guys run. get them. They are, are going all, quick. Yeah, we're all gonna get them. The whole staff here. We're very, very proud of how this event turned out. I'm like, a, I'm like a real note. Very cool. Good. Personally, I, mean, I think fourteen karat is fine, but. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with that. I don't we're know what it is. I'm sorry we're in a different tax bracket, but like 14 uh, carats cool for me. We're like, not giving it to Baker. Like, <laughs> settle down, all right? <laughs> it's Smash, all right? Chill. Settle down. Uh, but yeah, on the real, it's just been an event. Um, I'm personally very proud, I'm sure you guys are, to, to be very involved with on the ground floor and, and get it up and running. It's, it's been beautiful to watch unfold. And I'm just, I'm just happy the players had a good time, to be honest with you. That's and that, that the stream went well. And I think you guys are having a great time in chat, too, so. Yeah, yeah I, I hope you guys are having fun in chat. Obviously. Chat, if you're having a good time, drop a couple ones. Hey. Drop a Pepega Ha. And if you're not having a good time, don't <laughs> type it off. We don't care. We don't care. No, don't, don't type it off if you're not having a good time, okay? <laughs> like, you probably haven't been typing already, so you're going to come here just to hate? That's crazy. So many ones and Pepega Ha's. We love you. Appreciate chat. it. I don't Thank really you. mind sometimes when you see the hate because your dumb ass still watching. 
That's fair. True, uh, true, I hate true. watch definitely works, bro. You know, but yes. I know hey, guys, you guys love watching. It's gonna hey. be my man Coney down there, there as he gets us to the grand finals. Watching. Coney, take it away. You ever hate watch your exit stories? What? Sorry, I was yelling. I was yelling at my chat. They're pissing me off. Okay, we're here at Watch the Throne. Are you guys ready for Grand Finals? We've come a long way. Is it that camp? We've come a long way over these past few days. 16 of the best players on the planet are now two down to just two, and I will introduce them right now. First up, are you taking my spot? He's taking my spot. First up, from Baja, Mexico. Please welcome, coming from Winner's Bracket, it's Spargo! And his opponents from the Dominican Republic, Sonics! Casters, back to you. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I love my, my me and my ex are, are great. Love you, Tori. So that's my that's my dog, bro. Huh. <laughs> Sorry, that's, that's my dog. <laughs> that's, that's my dog, bro. I have a question, but I don't know if it's going to be appropriate. Then you whisper probably it. shouldn't ask. It. Whisper okay, it. To I'm going to type it, and you're going to no whisper it on this okay, side. Okay, okay, come out right here. All right, whisper. Are it. we are we about to telephone? Here, go ahead. <laughs> no, that. No. Oh, okay. Oh, the side with the mic. Nice. <laughs> you almost but. got him. I can still hear you. I can still hear you. I can still hear you. <laughs> Why do you not have the headset? All right, look at the uh, head to head here. Four to eight in Spargo's favor here. Um, yeah, these are all offline tournaments. The last time they were facing off, obviously, we're here at Watch the Throne, but they also face off. Good, I think that's a good question Miami to ask. Well. I think that's a good question to ask. Oh, okay. Phil has a, a question no, for I'm not, the chat. I'm not interested. I will ask it off stream. I would like to know, so definitely put it in the put it in the chat, bro. What is about to ask? All right. <laughs> anyway, Spargo coming through. Look at that man. He got two because yeah, I say he's ranked two, but I, he's feeling like number one in my heart today, bro. Yeah. You can't yeah, leave sure. chat out of this. They got an opinion. You know. Uh, yeah, that's the problem. Just say it before the set starts. Shut up, Jim. That way it's Talk not. Talk about the graphic. That way it's not the, oh. Talk about the graphic. Sonics, he's here. Seed number three, <laughs> ranking number four here Sonics. from the Dominican Republic. Sonic's going to try and take on Spargo right now, even though Spargo does have the win count right, over him offline. I mean, we've seen Sonics do well against Spargo in so many tournaments, right? He's just so proficient you, off stage. The way you spelled that is so mm, funny. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm just curious. I'm going to keep it on, bro. I'm not... And then you guys I, are doing chat. the not thing. No, okay, don't... Y'all did that all through last game. I don't want to hear nothing. Yeah, yeah exactly. I don't, exactly. don't want to hear nothing, yeah, bro. I'll, I'll give it up. I'll give it up. Give you, it got, up. you got a guy in the chat, Matt. He said, comment on the game. Even though there's no game on, that's how mad he is. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Talk Look. about the players Talk standing the there game. right now. My fault. Yeah, let me get back to the hollow level. And they're standing there menacingly. Talk about Oh, looming over the game. We, my man has got it. I think that was a water. Okay. Yep. Uh, Love to see play that. play by play here. You see them both standing right now. Very important. They will soon both be sitting. All right. Now why, that is key. What a read, Has. Are you sure? Why are we okay. humoring this guy? Okay, go talk to a mirror because that's your only <laughs> friend, jackass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Great handshake nice. right there. You, you call them a Great jackass hairs. from there. You call them a jackass. Shout like about real goons in the chat, bro. That's what we mess with, man. Pro worry proper, about that. Yeah, proper, sit, proper sit right there for Sonic and Spark. Type something. Chat going too fast to even see it again. Go ahead. Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you let man. him know, E. You let him, him know. know. Jesus, dude. They, 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 they really do just be both, talking sometimes, though, bro. Come they on, both did it. sit down. Great read, has. I like this, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I like this a lot, though, because, like, what a way to end the tournament, because it, we talked all weekend about how there are great new rivalries Talk coming up, and this is one that has been around for a long time, dude. Sonics and Spargo. Charles, what's the set count between these two? I know you were looking at them graphics. Four and eight. I also looked it up before this block because I'm always a studious student of the game. Absolutely. You do not. I looked them up before the block. Dudes, man. Dudes, man. So who actually looked it up? Uh, uh, has always looked it up. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, well, then give us the answer, bro. Uh, too late. We are into match right. PK and oh. already 60% on both competitors. How is it too late? <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> Right. The match is started. I can Ooh. only talk about the match now. Right. Check well, this out. I will say this. If you're just tuning in, you're wondering why is Spargo on cloud 
actually switched it up a little bit earlier yeah. in their winner's encounters. Three owing Sonics with Cloud, so go ahead and go ahead and keep that uh, I guess that strategy alive, nice. at least until it doesn't work. So. Yeah, I'm curious to see if he will switch to Aegis at any point. The nice thing about Spargo sitting on that Grand Finals winner side is that he will have two chances uh, to take the set down. So, oh god, dude, his down airs have been so good this tournament, whether they're at ledge or anywhere on the yeah. damn screen. Down airs and dash attacks feel like the MVP for Spargo, really innovating yep. his cloud gameplay. And I believe the last time Spargo went cloud against Sonic oh! was at Genesis, a pretty, like, long time ago. So, a while ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, and Sonic was able to dismantle yeah. that cloud. Damn. It's so hard to recover against that, bro. Like, wow. clouds do not be snapping the legs, Wow. So. It, you know when you can immediately retaliate and take the stock that quick, it just kind of nullifies. Yeah. Doesn't feel that bad, yeah, so. Yeah, exactly. That's so good for Spargo. But Sonic's plenty of fight left in him. These two, no strangers to go in the distance in multiple game five, set two. So, could be in for that one right now. Grand Finals underway and kick it off in a major fashion. And I think the big reason, again, that Spargo's even in this position, so many fantastic recoveries throughout this entire bracket, yes. right? Especially against Mia. And you're going to have to bring it against Sonics as well. Already have done it in the winner's side. I mean, both these players have faced Ooh. off. Oh, reversing the up as well. Trying to connect that down here. Wow, trying to end this Sonic stock so I thought early. he might drag him down with he, that up yeah, He probably yeah. thought about it, yeah, but was it? didn't want to commit to it. I get it. Maybe just beat him on stage. And he's done a good job of that note, that previous encounter. Trusting in the fundies. Yes. I respect it. Trusting in the fundies. Yes, sir. Nope. Okay. Fundies. Big chop right there as he sends him over to the left side. They're trying to keep that pressure up. Sonic's trying to run out the corner, but only getting met by another back air. Hold up. Man, it, it's so fun to watch Spargo with limits specifically. He's already one of the fastest players in the game to do it. Mm -hmm. You give him the limit buff too, it gets so Damn. crazy. But Sonic just going ahead and dismantling limit or not with that fair confirm. Hey, limit and stock all being taken away. I mean, I mean, definitely jettisoned to that blast zone. That was no, no doubt in our minds he was going to be gone off that. But that's not some good damage on him. Looks like he might be able to start hunting for that up smash. He definitely swung it. <laughs> he, he, it started up. It started up, but yeah, it just wasn't up fast enough. It's taking 56 off just like 69, too. All unanswered so far. Nah. Hold up, Sonic's hey. playing with a new a new, uh, new level of you know, fury. Well, you know he was just pissed when he lost, didn't he? Mm -hmm. and yeah. Was, uh, like, you know what I mean? Like, it was written all over his face, so. And Ooh! You know, Downside, Sonic. we don't see that too much from Spargo, but yeah, when we not. do, it do be hitting. Oh, he's out of there. Oh, right, great down throw on the normal getup, okay. It's definitely where you got to watch out, though, man. Spargo. You know, you're stuck in the corner. He's swinging. He almost got limit as well. Oh, Ooh. damn. I'm Sonic back. was looking, man. Whoa. We already know about that. Oh, not going up there, man. Not going to connect there on the lead trap. A lot of these forward airs coming out from Spargo. Limit with the hops here. Oh. Trying to connect into the dash attack. The down air to two frame. No. Great oh. call from Sonic. Oh, God. Oh, into oh, the confer oh. fair confirm. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Look, bro, he's just having fun, dude. And what? the thing with Spargo is like, Yo. usually when he gets activated, it's because he's pissed off. But today he's just playing clean and loving life. And I've never seen him play better than he is here yeah. at Watch the Throne. This is unequivocally the best I've ever seen Spargo this play. This is amazing. Bro, he like, just... This is insanity. Literally just hammering away at that ledge, bro. <laughs> just, yeah. And I'm just throwing wait, things oh, oh. out. Where are you going? Switching, switching. Mithra's out. Hmm. I like that. Keep him guessing. Keep mixing it up. Because you can argue, Three. okay... Sonics might have let that one get away from him I, as you know a little bit more so than he wanted to. Let me go to Old Faithful here in Look this matchup. Man. Keep him guessing. He's already acclimated through four games to the cloud. Now we give him a different look with the Mithra, at least for now. Let's see if it works out. I, I love like seeing it. the kid smile at his own gameplay, dude. Because, you know, in the past, he's been very reserved, very quiet, yeah. like all that good stuff. But just like Akola earlier today. Oh, never mind. Hold on. Sonic oh, Show. Hold up. He's got well, he's, he's got, he's got to dial in, bro. Like, you know, he's been on this cloud for quite a bit. He's got right. to remember, you know, he's got to remember these swap characters now. He's got to get back into the groove of the Power Mithra. But as of right now, I mean, hot start there for Sonic. He was smart and he wanted some good training. He should have hit up my man Ken. A speed master you already know. of his character. You easily the second best Sonic on the planet. Not And it's not even close. <laughs> not even. Honestly, after this weekend, maybe there's a... Hmm. I'll make the debate. The thing, too, uh, shout-out to Spargo for recovering there, because that is really where Sonic wins this matchup. He is so good. It's surging off the stage, man. Oh, Ooh, switching to the Pyro there. A little early on the swap, too, man. No, all right, yeah, I'm going to go back to the Mithras. Still wants to play some neutral. Didn't really get too much damage yet to be looking for uh, you know Pyro to come through. Just kind of clean it up with one hit or two. 
Right now we have 120 to the 35. This is a very, very good start uh, for Sonic 2. He's now just trying to find a way to take the stock before. It's not going to be enough, but he is at least going to push him off the stage. Oh, oh back door. Yeah, wow. dude, oh kidnapped him. That was beautiful. Yeah. Dang. Needed the parry for that grab, mm -hmm. specifically on that platform. Sonics, what a setup. What a stock here to start this game number two. Mm -hmm. Game. Oh, all right, good up air right there to go ahead and cover that uh that spot wow. where he's gonna land and ends up getting a down to two but can't get the follow up. A mm. lot of Sonic's like mm. ambiguous land of landing options around Pyro like don't really matter because their sword is so big. It's kind of crazy that you see that from a homing attack and stuff from Sonic's, but still trying to find this first stock. Spargo can get something early here, swinging a miss though on that spin dash gonna be big damage. Spin charge. Falling air here. Ooh, okay, tried to come up with the rising arrow on that high platform here. Gets the grab, goes for the forward throw, wants the pyro ledge trap here. Back up a little bit, trying to get this down to any kind of tilt, but Sonic's navigating around all of it. Back air off the top, no. Great DI coming out from Spargo. Ooh, oh, and, and the tilt. forward throw, Dang. yeah. Still alive though. Double switch, triple switch, oh, the, platform. the platform. Good Dang. awareness, yeah. 100%. Fighting for his life out here, but Sonic's weaving around the side B too. Wow, really good stuff from Sonic. Again, you can see why Big the trade. idea of going cloud uh, sticks out to Spargo now, man. All right, I got a feeling though, if this Aegis doesn't pick it up, might be a switch back, probably to a stage. Maybe a little more cloud friendly as well. Okay. I might have to hit the switch on the character screen, you know? Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Come on, Al. It's not that, not that bad yet. No, oh, I don't know about it's this. It's getting there, though. It's getting there, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's getting there, bro. Getting a little I mean, out of control here. Honestly, on, on this stage, again, like, the robbery is real on this stage, so we'll see what happens. But Sonic's so elusive and so good fighting out of the corner. I, I think this has to be one of his best stage, period. Well, it, another thing, too, is maybe Spargo didn't want to play Cloud on town specifically. So, yeah. Saw it as an opportunity to maybe try just see how the Pyramids is doing right now, right? Definitely. So I, I like that Spargo's doing it on Sonic's counterpick. Uh -huh. So it's a, it, it, there's less value from the win, essentially. Mm -hmm. You got to give Sonic so much credit for how much he changed the perception of this matchup. He used to, I don't want to say a free win before, but it was definitely heavily favored for Aegis. And now it's just kind of coming back into this area where it's like, dang, maybe we want to look for some other options dealing with this character Sonic. That's just, I mean, I feel like he's doing so well with the, with the cloud. I don't really feel like there was yeah. a reason. I mean, this is probably just a good test. You got, you know, you got games to work with. Yeah. You're on the winning side of things, so if you really wanted to, you know, kind of just mess around the matchup for a little bit and still think you have the confidence to win in the second set if it goes that way, then it is what it is. But the cloud has just been cooking Ooh. this entire weekend, bro. So I'm, you know, I, yeah, I'd like to see the cloud, you know, especially like just considering like oh, what's wow. warmed up oh, wow. versus, versus what's not warm. Bro, these platforms have been him almost there for Spargo almost every time he's had to recover. It is a dash attack, switching to the Pyra. Maybe you can get a down air here. Nice. Had to air dodge there, too. Sword was still away from him, side B. Oh. Chill air tries to DI check him off the top. Yeah, and Sonic's is doing an incredible job of not letting the Pyra down air. I mean, that was the main out, oh, right? Oh. And back air already taking so much damage, able to get on top of the platform, but. Sonic's is just doing a great job of passively doing so much damage to Spargo here. Even if you do take this stock, it's still going to be such a hard climb. Oh, okay. Hit him to the other side, but still. Oh, the up smash is still not going to be enough, though. Unfortunate. Yeah. There okay. it is, though. Well, hold on here. Uh, maybe. Pro Prominence Revolt at the ledge. Uh, a lot of knockback on that, I would say. Well. Oh, tried to use the spring as a trap here. Okay. Get some damage, get on stage Big. here. Maybe, Way. maybe you can just do some great Mithra neutral, Mithra advantage state here. Ah. He needs to just jump off and go for the spike. Woo. Leo tried to do it on Friday, didn't work out. Maybe Spargo could be the one to figure it out, man. Wow, that neutral air I think would have killed at that point. Ridiculous. Well, well, and yeah, well, we're gonna find well, out. Well, yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Why did that take so long? <laughs> Jeez. He's a man. <laughs> you just hear you Sonic in the background. That was, that was a very different shade of you know the yeah. vibe. Yeah. The hands yeah. are Sonic's is the angriest winner you'll ever meet. It, no. it, it, it was I just love funny. that though. Yeah, and it's just funny because you hear Sonic in the background. <laughs> Piece of cake. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> that, that, that definitely was, what very much was a why did you think that was going to work? <laughs> like, I don't know. All right, man. We got to go back to the cloud most likely. But geez, yeah, Sonic's is not. He's having a, he's had enough of ages to the, this weekend. So the cloud's back out. Sonic's though. You know, regardless if, it, if you feel like it was gift wrapped to you or not, a win is a win. And sometimes you just need that uh, that momentum to really carry into your next few games. So. Right, fact. 100%, man. 
holding. <laughs> I don't know these vibes. Uh, <laughs> stretching it out a little bit, thinking. What, do we know? I, I think he's talked about it before, but he switches costumes uh, on Sonic or <laughs> skins on Sonic based on the way he wants to play, right? He's yeah. talked about that before. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You see, Gluto does that too. There's a couple players that do it. Like, yeah, Gluto like got a reverse three zero. Like green means more spin based gameplay. Right, like, right, of course. Like neutral is like I'm gonna be a spin. Uh, I'm focused on my spinning in this gameplay. Right, like, there's, right, there's right, a lot right. of different ones. I would yeah. say normally when he does go, like I know for a fact that when he goes to the, like the more darker Sonic, like he's going in. Yeah. Like the, he starts playing for real for real on that. Felt like the light blue one too that he did against Mia was like movement focused. Mm -hmm. It's almost what it felt like. I don't know though. All right, but let's see what he gets here though as he take gets it over to FD. Sparkle, though, is going to swap back over to the cloud. Oh, God. Oh, this is a bad start for Sparkle. He's going to have to use that limit to come yeah. back. Double jump and limit there. Mm -hmm. Really tr saving every single resource to make sure this first stock doesn't take get taken so early in the game here. Sparkle already kind of put in the corner. Nice. The start of this game three. You My see man's the idea. getting no damage, bro. Jesus. You see <laughs> the idea right there, though, is throw Blade Beam Clank with Sonic and then try to punish him with Dash Attack, too. Sparkle is swinging away at the Sonic right now. FD is going to be the pick. This is going to be a lot of what we're going to see. How neutral is going to be played out between these two. See the clank? Important to clank with the spin dash or spin based gameplay from Sonic. Woo, wow. That was a rough first stop uh -oh. right there for Spargo, but a great stop there for Sonic. He does start to come back and fire back on this uh, first stop of Sonic's, but man, he really just ran all, all over him and spun all through him yeah, absolutely uh, did. On, that, on that first stop. And, Jeez. and this makes it so much more terrifying, too, if you're Spargo, because you're kind of starting to see, okay, did that second game allow Sonic to get a little more confident? Wow. As this mm. set starts to uh, wind down. We don't oh, see Sparkle bring out that uh, S match too often. Yeah, hey, so. he's just like, I just want this stop going. Back to even footing. Oh, a little too early on the punish after the parry there. Sparkle not going to connect the cross slash. Going to have a clank with the dash attack here. Try to use the projectile to force some kind of action from Sonics. It's going to be a little harder, though, because Sonics is up three stocks Ooh. to two here. He's moving, though. I mean, Got these blade uh, beams on the ground. Absolutely oh, just moving around here. Hold up. It's vibey time. Uh-oh. All right, 113 though, but like, unfortunately though, with all this movement that oh, is being wow, nice. I feel like he almost got all the way through that. Did you yeah. see that? <laughs> he almost got back to the stage, bro. Wow, imagine if he's been saving that for so long. He's like, actually, you can SDI through Limit Cross Slash. Oh, man. I, I don't know if that was SDI or a directional air dodge. Oh, did you only get clipped? Okay. I, it was crazy. I, I, I'm, I'm not, sure not too sure. We could, we we'll, could replay yeah, it. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab it. it. We'll grab it. But either way, uh, I will say though, like, you know, with him having that lead, he really didn't get a chance to capitalize on it too much. Sure. You know? He was... He got the stock, Wait. and it was at, like, 20. And then he only did, really, 20 on the second stock, so. Shout-out to Spargo, man. Brought this right back. Dead mm -hmm. even game after that explosive start from Sonic. So very clean gameplay. Yeah, a thousand percent, man. Locked I love... All the way in. I love these down airs that yeah. uh, Spargo's throwing out. So usually, ah. you're just going halfway across the stage where Ooh. Sonic will go ahead and jump out of the spin dash or spin charge. And we saw Leo do that uh, with Corrin at, when fighting against Sonic's at Wave Dash. So kind of would back up and throw the corn nares where he thinks Sonic is going to jump off the spin dash. So Spargo having a very excellent strategy here, especially on this stage, particularly final. Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. nice. That up smash. He's been more sparingly with that as well. But when it does come out, finding it smart. Yeah, Look. for sure. It's really tough to catch Sonics with that, right? He's so tricky, so elusive, but he's ready for Tiger Tiger Woods, y'all. Yeah, bro. Oh my God, the, the golf swing is indeed out. But okay, hold up. Now the upbeats are coming out. End up getting limited oh. off that too. Watch the dare, the two frame. I mean, we've seen Spargo clutch out so much stock, specifically this yep. tournament, man. Okay, nice air dodge back down to the ground. Still, though, Spargo, yeah, gonna nice. have to do something with that limit. Uh, I like man. the juke right there from Sonic, but. Oh, hey. oh, 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 man. Dude, if that down to the hit, it honestly could have been the game. Going up and over, great neutral air dodge and position right Ooh. by the ledge for the neutral bar. Up the ledge slap. Living that though. Have to air dodge away. Not a lot of options here. Going low underneath the, the spring. Very clean movement there. Spargo barely staying alive. Oh, I don't man. know how much longer he can do it, but going above the back air. Immaculate nice. facing, and now he's getting even more of a lead here, extending it out. All right. You got another. You got another. Oh, I think he's going to lose that stock. Nope. Still living. It's a little stale at this point, TK, yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. Dang, that barely reached. Fargo makes Cloud look so broken because, yeah. uh, especially this tournament, he's just not getting edge guarded. If, if Cloud gets back to stage every single time, yeah. the way you can what? survive what? for so Top long. Okay, okay, okay. okay, 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 okay. okay. Every, all right, calm down. I got her. Yeah. So, yeah. Something else, Sonic, Sonic's is getting a little jumpy out of Shield, too. There was one point where Spargo was ripping a jab on Shield. Yeah. He dropped it and got hit. We saw it with the cross slash there, too. I, I don't know if Sonic's is getting a little antsy here or what, but Spargo just doing so well in the offensive seat. And the back air, pushed him back off that stage. Now, 
trying to get that uh, limit just in case that's, the dash attack. That's, that's not going to be enough that's yet, crazy. but we are looking. Oh, he's, he's he's like he's like just at the edge. Of the yeah, he's, he's saving the it. Limit. He <laughs> doesn't want to get cheesed off Sage. He wants to save limit. Yep. He doesn't want to get back thrown. Yep. He didn't want to use it to get the kill because he's just going to dash attack again. Fresh I, stocks means fresh moves. He's I ready to go. Never in my life seen like the way he has incorporated this dash attack to be his number one Ooh. killing option in these sets is insanity. Yeah, it's yeah. Like ridiculous. The refinement yeah. is just next level. Yeah, Spargo right now looking like the best player in the room. <laughs> Let me tell you, all the best players in the world are in this room. Yes, so Spargo is looking so damn clean and all these new strategies. And I don't want to say a new character, but we've been seeing a lot more ages. So the switch back to Cloud when he really needs it to kind of yeah. come through, at, especially in the tail end of this tournament. <laughs> Give me that. Dang! Give me that, man, bro. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't tell if they if they uh, if they side bet or if they're just like, yeah, that's our boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> the set ain't over, bro. <laughs> you know, like, could be a little bit of both. Oh man, hey, that's nuts, man. Spargo one game away from capturing the first ever crown here at Watch the Throne. Sonics love it. Gonna have to really rebound right now to force this game five. Spargo locked in. And now we are loading up for game number four. Let's get it. We've been talking about rankings a lot this weekend. It's not necessarily just about who's number one in the world on the rankings, but who's number one in the world on this weekend. On any yep. given weekend in the specific format, and Spargo has certainly looked unstoppable, but Sonic's... He's oh, not spinning. He, you know the vibe. Yeah, bro. There's He's not, not spinning, there's man. Not very base uh, gameplay. Oh, wait a minute. This, is, this ain't the color to be doing. Oh. You know what? Yo, we're playing a win right now. I'm actually cool with the fact that Spargo oh, is like... He also like... Sonic's hit that like, yeah, I'm gonna sit here Yo. and Spargo said, yeah, me too, bro. Yo, they are playing a win right Look now. Look Spargo, he's having fun, dude. He was laughing a little bit. Sonic's is pissed, he's not spinning. There's no spin-based yeah, game plan here. analysis was off about eight hours ago. Well, okay, how many, do you think you'll mess up the parry? I think like, yeah, I, want him, to, well, I like, want him to mess up the parry and get hit, though. And, get and hit. then, and yeah, then yeah, Spargo yeah. just like, no, hey, grabs ledge, bro. Hey, hey, radio down there. What? Radio They're playing the game. Like, no. Shut up. Remember, shut no. up. Remember, shut up. No. No. Shut no. We're going to give them an infraction. Infraction? Infraction or not A playing. yellow, what, yellow flag? They did it at that one Evo. False start. Yeah, bro. Game four. But remember, we didn't like those guys. We like these guys. Oh <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Yo, low key, play on. Pause. Play on. Pause. Play on. <laughs> All right. Incredible <laughs> neutral to start it off. Game four. <laughs> grand finals. Play on. Like Limit on deck I here. Can't. <laughs> All right, bro. They're playing game now. They're, the game is being played. <laughs> the, game the thing is, is honestly, huge brain plays from Sonics because we are that much closer to the Sonic zone. So it actually worked out really well for him. <laughs> that might have actually been like the low key strategy. Yeah. That, that, that's, this is, so this is what a six minute timer game would look like. All right, everyone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, Charles. This is your, this is your <laughs> yeah, theory. Yeah, yeah. This is my theory crafting. <laughs> Charles you got to get a PowerPoint, Chuck. They won't take you seriously. They're yeah, Charles posting. Those. What are they doing? Charles will make a deck. You'll be good. <laughs> you saw how Coney made a deck for that one thing everyone's talking about. You just need a white man to make you a deck. I'll do it. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I mean, it, I mean, they're still talking about that Coney video. He I might know. be onto something. I'm definitely onto something. <laughs> there's, a lot something. Of, there's a lot of influence in that. I just feel like Sonic was just pissed. So he was just like, yeah, I'm just going to do this. I'm I not mean, moving. he's absolutely pissed. Oh, beyond. Rightfully so. But, yeah, I thought, yeah. I thought this oh was my God. Bad. I thought this oh was the aggressive God. color, too, though. Like, he, he actually said, you know what? I'm mixing you up for real, for real. He's I played the black one. You thought I was going to be going in there? No, actually, I'm chilling. Yes, he's sir. feeling aggressive, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Up this, till? The aggression's wow. in his face, for sure. Yeah, up he's smash. mad. Up till, up till, up till, up till, yeah. This is going to be the angriest rock god review in history, bro. <laughs> Didn't that happen in this venue? No. Oh, really? It was main stage. It was main stage. It was main stage. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang. Okay. The double up? Just in case, you know. Just try to try to catch him coming back up there. Wow! The I timing. got timing, though. Don't, no. don't forget. Man, those spins. So good. Man. Uh, he's really he's really practicing the spin-based gameplay, yeah. so. Yeah. Got to give it up to him. Yep. Spargo content to take his time. Got, nice, dude. Don't give nice. Sonic these free openings, though, man. You must wow. remember. Got to remember who you're up against. This guy is no joke. Pissed or not, he is still that dude. Spargo let up a really sizable lead get away from him early. Yeah, yeah, I mean, nice. Bro, dash attack is definitely like the MVP for Spargo so far at Watch the Throne. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, back air, obviously, but. It's like his sky hook. I, I don't three. know. Dash attack and down air feel like the two standout moves. Yeah. Oh, okay. With the up throw, combo Boom. starter. Boom. Gonna get the platform reset, yes. Another one, no, not gonna get another reset on that second platform here. Spargo able to reset back to neutral here. Damn. 
A lot of damage actually being added up to Sparrow. Wow, now movement. actually a lead. Yeah, the movement. So he's, he's back. He's like, you know what? If I see an opening, I'm taking it. Either way, though. My man is, uh, wow. Oh, like only, only a percent between them until that blade beam hit. And now Sparkle got a slight lead. Good back air here. That timing on that back air. Is Ooh, oh, my wow. goodness. I love and it. the commitment. He doesn't do it all the time. So it definitely was a good move to catch Sonic so far. He's been down airing all day. Yeah. Everyone was thinking down air there. Fade over the ledge down air. I was no definitely thinking Aggressive that. Yeah. with the back air, saving that one for sure. Spargo in the building potentially, trying to close out the tournament against Sonics. But again, you can never count Sonics out. We're chilling though. No. Oh, up tilt on the platform. All right. Oh, spin shot. Do Just kidding. Oh, okay. Well, he, he got his ankles turbo broken right oh, there, yeah, actually. Sometimes, sometimes you but, just, you know, sometimes you get juked. But the thing I love about it is Spargo's laughing and smiling, bro. It's a whole different kind of mental I've seen from Spargo this yeah. weekend that I love. Playing free and having a lot of fun as well. Definitely. Uh, everyone plays their best in friendly, so if you can somehow magically make tournament feel like friendlies, as Spargo is seemingly is doing here, some magic can happen for sure. The man's just having a good time, bro. And it looks like he's about to be having a good time all the way into the uh, first place spot of Watch the Throne. He can keep this type of gameplay up. 120 there on the second stock. He's already got a good amount of uh, extra credit here on to Sonics, which could actually just turn into a stock if he finds the uh, opportunity. Oh, no. We're getting to those points where you can start swinging that up smash. Yes, we are. Or, we are at that oh, my God. Wow. He also fell out that, of it. Yeah, two bro. minute mark as well, man. Mm -hmm. So got to keep that in mind, too. This lead incredibly sizable for Spargo Ooh. knocking on the door. Oh! Oh! Of capturing his first Watch the Throne yeah! championship. And there it is. The pop-off deserved. And the champion on stage, nice. Faze Spargo, is your Watch the Throne 2023 champion. That's how he's going to start swinging that up smash. Exactly what he looked for. He's like, don't you get, don't you do a standard get up here. I got those. And well, yeah. he got those. Don't he definitely that. did, dude. He's been covering so much of the ledge so well all day. MVP moves for Spargo this tournament. Dash attack down air and back air, of course. Back air has always been his MVP forever. It's just a tool that Cloud has to use all the time. But man, the way he guarded, he watched the throne and he guarded the ledge there, man, for sure. He did such a good job with down air and dash attack, catching people two frame or otherwise. So, so well played from Spargo. I love to see it. Some big ups to him, man. Yeah, the We Are So Back sign, you know, perfect timing on that. And I Goats. love this exchange Goats. of sportsmanship between these two. These truly are uh, the future of Ultimate and the future is in good hands, but it was definitely Spargo's day today, taking down a very game Sonics to win this. You can come up here, man. I see you looking confused. We'll get you get, get you suited oh, real quick. Oh, I got a jacket There it him. is. Hey, yep. the double All jacket, right. double jacket. Those jackets are for sale, by the way, on something GG. Don't forget. Don't forget, you can buy one yourself. It's you true. You can look Actually like Spargo. Clean. There you go, man. You can't look can't play like him, right. but you can look like him. Let's get a Spargo chant there going down is. there, Chad. Get Spargo chant Spar going down there, Chad. Come on. Put the crown on him. Who's that? Put the crown on his head. Put the crown on his head. Put it on. Don't oh, yell at me again, boy. Hold on now. You're getting too comfortable. Calm down. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, well. There we there go. go. The king. We'll drop some crowns in the chat, too. That's hey. the king. The throne has been watched, but it's his throne now. Congratulations so to Spargo. What a way to end uh, one of the last tournaments of the year here, of course. Spar goat. Spar goat, man. Spar goat. Drop you already know. Chatty. Some crown emojis. We got the goat emojis. Yeah. Send them all in the chat. It, it's, bro, so smart it's so appropriate too, because like we've called this guy like the young king for the longest time. Very true. Now he has the crown to match it as well. So I'm dying to know more about his mental state this weekend because 100%. it really is something where sometimes it's Fargo. It, we always talked about that double-edged sword, right? Where he gets pissed and sometimes that means he takes a stock at zero instantly and other times he gets pissed and he does not play very well. It's a double-edged sword, but this weekend, yeah. After uh, there was something, something flipped on Saturday where he just started smiling and playing his game. And when he's playing his game, I think we all know he's near damn impossible to beat. So Ain't nobody going to argue with you on that, man. Congratulations to Spargo again for winning the first ever Watch the Throne. And I uh, can't wait to get him up here, man. Love to hear a few words from him at some point. Me too. We get yeah. Spargo if, up here? If he yeah. is inclined to check. Okay, cool. Yeah, man. Of course. Spargo, man, really, I mean, he's, look, I just, the way that he played that, I like the fact that he did try, you know, the Aegis, just to see, you know, if he can maybe bring that home, but I think yeah, after he saw the Aegis gameplay, he was like, all right, you know what, you seem like you're ready for this, yeah. but you don't look like you're ready for the Cloud, and the Cloud is definitely cooking today, man. Hit, hit all the Cloud classics, man, a lot of down yeah. sledge, a lot of up smashes, didn't really get to a crazy amount of cross slashes, but we did get one in there, that one that uh, Sonic's almost, almost SDI'd all the way through, yeah. that was... 
that was something. But yeah, still, man, got to give it up to him. He is back. Oh, here he comes. I he see him. He is back. Actually, and I he did it with his favorite character. Right. With his favorite character. You want, Chuck, you want to say? Huh? You want to say? No, no, I well, I know. I, I well, I know Bam also. I know Bam also wanted to talk to him too. So okay, yeah, we'll both get up then. Okay. okay. Hey, man. Thanks, chat. Okay, we had a great time here, but uh, yeah, we'll probably be back for. Well, we have to do some other stuff up here too. But yeah, let's get the champion over here, Spargo. 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 Yeah, the crown's a little big. <laughs> get up for Bam. Oh, Charles is. Jim? Yeah, yeah, I can. You get up for Bam. Congratulations, Fargo. I am Thank Bam. you. Amazing stuff, man. You did it with Cloud. It was sick to watch. And then um, I'm going to swap with Bam real quick so we can get some uh, questions in. And yeah. Yeah, you all do that. I'm going to talk to Spargo. Hey, Spargo! First of all, what was we talking about downstairs? You said what? I'm feeling good, EE. I'm feeling like I got the world in my hand. Yeah. And I feel like I got this tournament in my hand. And what happened? You won that. I got to say this. I feel like I love the cloud selection. I thought that was actually really unique. I feel like the only struggle would be getting edge guarded too easily. It feels like you've refined your recovery to the point where that's not even a factor anymore. What, do you, what, what did you change up about the cloud to really get you that W there? Here, lift the mic up a little bit. It's a little, yeah, there you go. Right well, the here. people that hear you, don't be a little higher. There you closer, go. man. Don't be shy. Okay. I got you, okay. I got you. Don't be shy. We got Clorox. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Uh, so the reason I went cloud was because I was playing against Sonics in friendlies, yep. and I was like, okay, uh, can I go cloud? I just want to warm up my cloud because I'm gonna play. I think I was gonna play Tarek, so he was like, okay, sure. And I went cloud, and I was I was just farming him. Like, wow, oh, it felt way easier than Aegis, and I realized that I felt more comfortable with cloud because I think cloud has a better recovery than Aegis, so it's it's harder for Sonics to give me. And overall, I feel like it was way easier to like net trap uh, to just like pressure Sonics because uh, with Aegis, the one thing I, I struggle a lot is when Sonic is on the ledge because none none of Aegis uh, moves hit Sonic when he's can get on the ledge, but mm. Cloud can dash attack, weight beam, down air. Yeah, multitude yeah. of things. Yeah, you caught him a couple of times with dash attack when he was just hanging there, right, for some time, right? And he, whether you would do that, whether you'd go for a double jump and aerial spin charge, like, you were always prepared, right? And it covered so many options. Like, it was just phenomenal to see. Yeah, it was. I, I got to say, Spargo, I think you did an immaculate job adapting because you had a pretty rough Friday there, you know, down 3-0 against Light. How did you adapt? And I think it's something you're doing so well as a player as you continue to grow and get better. But how did you adapt your mental when it came to switching from that Friday to Saturday and then Championship Sunday today where you played so well and so confident the whole time? So the first day on Friday, my cloud was not playing good and it, it was my fault because I was practicing a lot of coring in uh, on Wi-Fi and I was like after port I stopped believing in cloud because I lost to Riddles in a really stupid way I got game at zero so I was like no I don't think cloud is the move but but after thinking about it for a while I was like he's still my best character so I I need to play him and after I lost to Light, I, I felt very demotivated. Mm. I felt like I was washed. I felt that I just didn't have it anymore. But after thinking of some time, I was like, okay, um, I can still do it. I just need to like, I need to practice because that's one thing I struggle a lot is that I just sometimes I think I'm good enough and I don't need to practice. So that's why sometimes I underperform. But after losing, I, I stay until like, what was it, 2 a.m., grinding with Sonics. Mm. Where were you grinding at? Uh, under stream. <laughs> but yeah, I, okay. I was like, okay, uh, I want to win this weekend, so I'm just going to grind as much as I can. Yeah. That's amazing. And I think one thing that you did so well in particular was your dash attacks and down airs at the ledge were super consistent all weekend. Is that something that you focus on specifically or something that you kind of started hitting in friendlies or how did that come to be? Because I, I don't think I've ever seen you hit that many. It was incredible. Yeah. Um, no, I don't really practice it, but I feel like when my cloud is Dang. on point, I just hit those things. Nice. Oh, it's amazing, Spargo. I it mean, is. you played so well, and I love what you said, like the story of you coming in, and I, I think everyone gets those feelings at some point when you get washed in tournament, right? Like, you just feel terrible, you get down on yourself, but you picked yourself back up, you grinded, you got back here, and you're the champion without dropping a set with getting a lot of huge wins here at the end. Who was your favorite opponent? What was your favorite set that you played this weekend, mm, and why? I would say Mia. Mm -hmm. it, was, mm, okay. it was way harder than I expected. Uh, I always feel like the game of watch matchup was like really annoying to play. Like I have to play very defensive in camp, which is something I struggle a lot with because I'm like really aggressive. But 
I really wanted to play Mia because he he was like contender for number one. Like he won Kagaribi, he got second on board. So the last time I played him was uh, like seven months ago, I think. So it was a match I was really looking for because I was like, 